Look who decided to crawl back to the front line. <laughs> <laughs> Leithel sent Kalafak to the Shadow Realm and it turned him into a Dark Lord, basically. Yeah. Sundanas are now on your side because you've defeated their dragon. If you go and deal with the smuggling thing for the Eldrins, they will also be on your side. I don't believe we've ever met. It's me, High Sorcerer Baradun! Leithel! Ah! <laughs> this team is the worst! We are the f***ing worst. And you're the ones who are destined to save the world. Correct. <laughs> There's a smuggling problem that needs to be dealt with. If you can pin any of it on the custodians, we'll definitely owe you something. See if we can take on a woolly mammoth. It's my birthday! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're leaving so the campaign. The campaign, what? I'm gone. Cup of mammoth blood. No, no, I'm Cup right. of mammoth I'm blood. I'm at the laundromat. I'm not even here. <laughs> hey. Hey. Welcome to the technically the studio. Yeah. We're yeah. in the office, though. Yeah, we will be in a tavern. Shortly. Next time, but then that's not next. That's not for a while. It probably will be next time. I think the tavern will be done by the time by the time these really? episodes played out. The tavern will be done. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. a few minutes here a first. Few... He's locked him in. Oh f <laughs> Okay, I'm going to talk to the builders about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we are in our new office. Yeah. Do, question: Do we need our hard hats on anymore? I mean, I hope not, because it says something about your your uh, interest in that my was safety. A, that was a gag. That I do not have. We one. do not need the hard hats. Oh no, I thank God. That was really uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh. Mine um, was actually quite comfy. I found it comfortable. Well. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, pretty good. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, with the, the I kind of wanted the tavern to be done for this session, but it's not. It's out down there, it's about heavy. to be built. But uh, we're in, we are technically in the studio, yay! Yeah. Because oh, yeah. we didn't want to film in that <laughs> location. <laughs> we we hate that location was. The, it was it was gr good. It looked good. What a great um, background. Great background. Horrible to organize. Yeah. Yeah. So glad to be in our and own filled space. with the fly. And yeah. filled with the fly. <laughs> but if the wouldn't... fly has followed us, we got given an amazing fly swat by a fan who sent it to our PR box. It's genuinely pretty. I amazing. really like that. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm insecure that I've got hard hat here. You do have hard hat, mate. You've got a little bit of a hard hat line, but we're yeah. probably all doing. We can, we can work with that. The, uh, the, well. the, the, the costume and props lady Cece was looking at this, going, "This is incredible work." <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. "Amount of detail, yeah. 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 to get them all insane. in line." Like, blah, blah, blah. it's quite kind of for a fly to be killed by that is quite an honour. It's quite yeah. an honour yeah, for the yeah. fly. Like, yeah. so, uh, Do you have the stat block for it, Rob? Did I give uh, it? I, I didn't. The end what? Up with it. There's, a, there's, a, there's a stat block for it's it around as well. Oh, a stat block. I'm gonna. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'll get the stat block. Thought we were saying stab lock. A stab, stab lock. A stab lock. Oh, yeah, you so you can lock the lock the stab on it. And it's from it's from Rilla. Rilla. So thank you very much. I'll give you yeah. the honor of reading out the stab block. Thank you, Rilla. This uh, this this magic item is known as Buzzer's Bane. It's a <laughs> melee weapon, crafted from the skin of the fastest known dragon to have ever lived. This weapon has been enchanted to be especially effective against all insectoid races and monsters. Aye. It has the ability to one shot kill them regardless of size and health. However, this is only possible if the target fails six consecutive dexterity saving throws. And it deals 1d6 bludgeoning. That's really good. Very, very really good. good. Thank you, Rilla, for sending me that great little flesh swap. Yeah, that's great. Pretty amazing. Very in world. Right, what the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah, Rob, this how to play D&D. Not I. <laughs> Not I. I do. Good, good. Adam gets to start Sweet. with the hero you point. take over. Uh, let's let's do a, a minor recap for you guys of, of where we're at then. We're mm. on Tule. We're apologising at your beach batch mountain house forest lake uh, <laughs> ravine. <laughs> ravine. Right. <laughs> and uh, and we're celebrating your two hundredth birthday, which is the equivalent of about a 30, hey, thirty year old yeah, in that, human man. years. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Um, to celebrate in its spectacular blade song fashion, we uh, your family brought in a, a woolly mammoth and uh, and your young. Nephew, lab, uh, niece, sorry, lab um, has splashed it with some potions and given it wings and an aura and made it fight you guys. Um, and then you exploded it from the inside out and all your family jumped in and enjoyed it. And blood yeah, got man. everywhere, including over Greg in his brand new white robes. Your so he left the up. party to go to a yeah. laundromat. Um, <coughs> and as you're all just sitting there enjoying the sunset and, uh, and basking, drinks, in the basking in the blood. Basking in the blood. Page, uh, page the, uh, the, the, the book. Uh, who is definitely not a book uh, <laughs> says to Clem what are you doing? <laughs> you're meant to be a student studying a thesis on the Archfey and ever since leaving the Feywild you haven't done any writing of all the things you found out there <laughs> uh, you really should be getting back to work and she was reluctant and she said yeah okay fine uh, and so she turns to each of you and gives her goodbyes uh, I'm not going to attempt a Brit accent but she 
Actually, could be from British Britain? accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah my, accent, my impression of Brit is British. Um, I get it. She I get, get it. So, so for any of you who's watching didn't get the joke, it's because it's like Brit-ish. It sounds a little bit like the word British. like British. Like that. Yeah, so yeah. she says, like London yeah, town. Like London. Good day. Yeah. I'm so going now. So just if you didn't get the joke, yeah, yeah. And that's her name is Brit. That's the entire episode. Thanks for coming along, guys. <laughs> she says she says her goodbyes and leaves, and then uh, your um, your father Gregory Ange, um, <laughs> and your mother Philantrius, they yes. they approach you um, and says, uh, um, Bob, could I, could I, me and your mother Philantrius, uh, want a, <laughs> want, a, want, a, want a word with you if you want mind. Sure, Gregory Ange, <laughs> whatever. Um, the f- no, you. No, no, Gregory Ange. Gregory Ange. It's, it's, it's from French descent. <laughs> yeah. Only French, I suppose, means something else here because we don't have a France. So yeah, we're going to have to work that into the story now as well. Yeah. Um, he he uh, approaches you, takes you to the side, and says, "Look, we're um, we're proud of you. I wanted to wanted oh. to just say that uh, on this birthday, um, we're really proud that you're making something of yourself. You're getting out there and, and being a hero and adventurer." You know, Bob, me and your mother, Philanthropist, yeah. we've been talking. We're just really grateful that you've turned out all right. Oh, like, thanks. You know, a lot of our family do life of crime and all that, but you're a real hero. You're like a good guy. Well, hey, hey, Bob, I'm looking for that mask. You know the curious mask, the one we stole from that old um, woman. The one that, the one that you sent crazy. Do you remember that time there was that like, wizard that you exploded? I was just think oh, about yeah. it. Yeah. They exploded. <laughs> and Everywhere. You exploded you mur- the we murdered them. You, the people that you murdered. When, when I don't know what you had, Like the mammoth that you jumped inside of. You've jumped inside anyway, of so many people. Only, only creatures. You ready to go rob, do that robbery tonight? Oh, no, that's right. We're doing the robbery. We're doing the robbery. 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 It's our friend, Robbery. He's a... Ah, right. He's a small dwarf that we take care of. Right. Oh, it's good of you. Yeah. You're such a good person. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. We're proud of you. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> that was close. You didn't stay here to get mixed up in all this nastiness, uh, the family business and life yeah, of crime. I mean, and my all. life He's has pretty... been nasty free. Yeah. Like, <laughs> are we witnessing this? this, this <laughs> well, okay, you're, okay. you're elsewhere. Oh, no, 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 I would just be not agreeing with those at all. Okay. Because, um, <laughs> your brothers and sisters were... I mean, um, we're not complaining. We're, they bring in the money, and uh, we live the life we do because of them, mostly. Um, but I just, we're, we're proud that you get out there and bring joy to people, bring bring happiness, and you don't just spread misery mm. and crime and. Definitely not. Uh, I also <laughs> definitely do not have a demon lord living in my head. That's for certain. <laughs> yeah, weird thing, a- weird thing to specify. Um, just specifying. But you know we're proud of you, and, and we're proud that you're what you're doing for the family name. People will hear the name Blade Song, and they won't think, "Oh no, the mob's come for me." They'll think, "A hero come to save the save my life, save the day." And yeah, for that reason, um, me and your mother, Philanthropus, we want to we want to. Get so where are you getting information from about about Bob? Like, does, <laughs> this want, is what Bob told you. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. We we want to um, we want to let you have use of the family book. Um, the family book is something that you were aware of uh, because it only recharges once every hundred years. It's called the Manual of Quickness of Action. And if you'd like to uh, oh, if you'd wow. like to read that, he's wanting to give you the use of it. Thank you very much, Pops. What is this? Yeah. So, uh, the Manual of Quickness of Action, as we all know. Uh, is a book that contains coordination and balance exercises and, is wor- and its words are charged with magic. If you spend 48 hours over a period of six days or fewer studying the book's contents and practicing its guidelines, your dexterity score increases by two, as does your maximum for that score. Oh. The manual then loses a magic but regains it in a century. Oh, damn. Yeah, and I presume dying. it's active currently. It recently Unlike recharged. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, long story short, yeah. you get plus two dicks. If, plus he, two dicks, if he spends so 48 hours reading the book over over a period of six days, then he gets plus so two dicks. Right, so I spend 48 hours reading it right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right. By the end of the party, <laughs> you're good. If they just give it to me, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Immediately Don't move from Shut the up. living room. <laughs> it is. Uh, the usage of this book is one of the reasons why your father's such a good bladesmith. He's uh, used this over the last few centuries because, as an elf, you can yeah, use it several course. times in a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so his dexterity is really fine for his his, his fine work on his um, on his blades. Uh, likewise, uh, a couple of your brothers have used it um, in the last 
couple of times. Yeah, right. Um, but you were only 100 years old when, when it was last active yeah. and somebody else took it, mob or someone. You honour me, papa. Well, <laughs> it's the least we can do for all you're doing for the family name out there in the world, making something of yourself. Yes. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's, let's get back to the party. Um, at this point, mob comes over as well. Lights up another cigar. He's never seen without one. How's the throat, Mom? Is it? It's, a, it's a real bad. <laughs> if it wasn't for magical healing, I'd have some really fucked up lungs. Be missing a jaw. Especially, especially <laughs> smoking for literal centuries. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really bad. Maybe, maybe it's magical elven tobacco that doesn't yeah, have any yeah. carcinogens in it. Um, listen, uh, I wanted to, uh, wanted to honour your birthday on this on this special occasion. On this day of my brother's birthday, <laughs> your birthday, my um, I've uh, I've arranged something with Fab, and Fab comes over your your sister, and she goes, Bob, um, I, we've got to be Cockney, but also, <laughs> also all right, fabulous. all right, darling, but fabulous. we all just speak like this, fabulous but Cockney, all right, so so Bob, darling, I love the I love what you got going on, happy birthday, Thank you. she gives you, a Thank mm, you. Mm, on both cheeks. Absolutely. Um, this whole bat cloak thing, it's it's beautiful, it's wonderful, yeah. uh, every, it really works for you, darling. But Thank you. what we've decided is in at the moment is pockets. <laughs> okay. So, so what I'm going to do is I've worked on a little something recently. I'm calling a horse pocket. <laughs> um, so it's an extra dimensional space that I can put into a pocket, and you can keep it. It's like a bag of holding, but in your pockets. Amazing. And Mob says, "Yeah." yeah. So um, I've arranged with you guys doing this smuggling thing for me soon. I've arranged for Fab to put a, a horse pocket in you and your friends' uh, clothing. Nice. Uh, so you can more easily walk around without your... Uh, you look into the corner office. and you see Bodger just standing there, <laughs> randomly. But he's also got a cigar, that's all. <laughs> Would he, has he actually, has he he actually he managed cigar, to get a cigar? He's got a cigar, cigar and he's just going... <laughs> hey, look at it. <laughs> where, does your, where does your friend keep getting these cigars? Because I've checked mine and they're not mine. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know where he's, a, he's a mystery. No? I have mine let me, let me tell you, don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just standing here and I think you've got a stellar family. <laughs> on with it. Thanks, right, Bodger. Right, right then. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, so, Fab over the next couple of days is going to uh, going to stitch a horse pocket into each of your uh, yeah. your clothing, so you have um, uh, an extra dimensional space. So I have another <laughs> bag of holding. So you have another one, yes. Um, I will warn you, as as high sorcerer, uh, arcane specialist that you are, you put would a bag of holding in a bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, yes, you would you would know the repercussions of doing so. I'm officially warning him now, everybody, so that when he does Put it eventually, a bag of in the bag of holding, whenever he like it. inevitably takes his clothes off to get into a disguise of some other kind and just puts it in the bag of holding, does that like rub a hole in the space-time continuum? I don't, I don't know what it does, exactly but that. I'm imagining oh, really? it's like exactly filming that. a screen that's the footage just going into way the screen. Way worse than that. It's way worse than that. Way it's worse. Than like that. this kind of and <laughs> what? Like, like I just said, it rips a hole in the space-time continuum, and Rob went, yeah, and in reality, basically. I can do it, just do it. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe throw away the bag of holding, maybe. No! <laughs> maybe, I'll so you don't... I'll just be careful. careful. I'm the most careful one amongst us no. all. No! Can, can I just say that the, 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 that ability seems like, like Something that an evil lord could use just to destroy. What if it, like is that is that our like, is that the nuclear option? Is that like we're losing a fight and you're like up oh, bag of Adam, Adam, Adam overstated the importance a little. It tears a hoops fabric in the space time. Everything within ten feet oh. of that thing gets sucked into the astral plane, uh, including uh, including the person. The person, person, person yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Otherwise, it's like end, end of world. Yeah. yeah, right. All right, Bob. All right, Bob. Um, darlings, I've got you your horse pockets all ready and made. So here's one for you, my darling. Mm, Just be yeah. careful with it. Here's one for you, my darling. Thank and here's you. one for you, my darling. Sick. I've got one for Greg as well. Now, there That's is an good. interdimensional space in here, isn't there? There is, yes. So it's very important. A uh, couple of things. Don't ever... Is that a bag of holding? Yes, it is. I'm Don't put it in there! Don't put it in there! Don't put it in there! But then I can keep my interdimensional space in my interdimensional space. Yeah, so the thing about that is the... Where, where are you putting it, darling? No, I'm just reaching inside saying, what's in there? Oh, nothing. See. There's nothing in there. No, nothing yet. Uh, no horses horse. in there. So don't put it in there, please. Please don't do that. At least not until I'm 10 feet away. I'm it doesn't gonna, end yeah. the world. I'm like, if you're just going to sacrifice yourself, then, just whatever, goes then fine. Done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Like maybe that's a little bit yeah. too risky. You can just run over to Calathac and be like, ha ha, and then <laughs> yeah, well, done. All right, keep, just, keep that in mind. Keep it in mind as a last resort. <laughs> Baradun doesn't need to survive. I'm okay with him not surviving. What? Same. Yeah. <laughs> Same. I'm very much okay with. I'm it. Like, yeah. 
Just yeah, but it solves the keep problem. It. There's, there's, <laughs> a, keep it in mind. there's an infamous item creation in 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 the D and D reddits and things of somebody who's made an arrow and they've got a rolled up bag of holding at one end of it and then like another one behind it or something. You shoot it and then as soon as it impacts, it forces one into the other and it's yeah, like right. you do it from yeah, a distance. Right. Amazing. <laughs> but serious, legit question. So if we all now have a horse pocket, yes. What is that? So we effectively have all have a bag of holding. When you, you do, get yes. Tons of copper, like you did yeah, last. Yeah. You just got copper into the bag of holding. You it, don't have to think about so it. So, for one thing, oh, it's a way of me not worrying about your encumbrance anymore. <laughs> yeah. For a second, yeah. it's a way to. I, I like easily this. You should introduce things. more of these things. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, in my, with my horse pocket, dived into Baradun's horse pocket? Is it the same thing would happen? Because your horse So if Baradun's not willing to do it, I will just. Just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> don't, don't dive into anyone's horse pocket because you can't breathe in there. Yeah, yeah, but uh, wouldn't it, that 10 foot thing would happen F where everything FYI. All right, so the horse pocket is yeah. an item that I have created. Um, uh, it's a wondrous item, uncommon. It can be found on any, any relevant item of clothing, indistinguishable from a regular pocket, but has an interior space considerably larger than its outside dimension. The wearer of the respective clothing may use an action to place an adjacent willing creature or anything that they are wearing or carrying into the pocket, or use an action to retrieve the creature within the pocket. So it's Quick question. A yes. bag of holding wouldn't be big enough to hold a horse. Is this big enough to hold a horse? It is designed for horses, yes. If used to store creatures... It's slightly bigger than a bag of holding. If used to store creatures, the pocket can hold up to 2,700 pounds, not exceeding 300 cubic feet. The mouth of the pocket will magically adjust in size to accommodate the storing of any large or smaller creature. So large is the, is the maximum of the horse pocket. Uh, any creature in place inside the pocket can remain there for up to 24 hours, after which time the creature is ejected and lands in the nearest unoccupied space, uh, landing prone and under the effect of the confusion spell for two rounds. While inside the pockets, the creatures do not age, they do not require food and water, and are unaware of any events outside of the pocket. So the Pokemon? Pokemon. Great. It's a little, little Pokeball, yeah. Awesome. Um, <laughs> Blah, 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 other things, other things. <laughs> Definitely not important. If the pocket is damaged, it ruptures and is destroyed, and its contents are scattered in the astral plane. Placing a horse pocket inside an extra dimensional space, such as one created by a bag of holding, destroys both items, blah, blah, blah. Great. Cool. Well, so, thank so you it, very much, Mob and Fab. Yeah, yeah, so that's what they're nice. going to do. They are going to. Uh, they're going to. Oh, so gonna be because these. I'm going <laughs> to break this somehow, and I want to know how I can break this somehow. <laughs> you can't breathe inside a bag of holding. You can. You, you can breathe up to ten minutes inside of a bag of holding. But you said twenty-four hours. In twenty-four the hours horse for the for the horse pocket. So important to remember, darlings, is that the horse in the horse pocket will only survive for up to twenty-four hours. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they'll start mm -hmm. to suffocate or <laughs> maybe ejected, depending on the. Oh, okay. So if I put twelve goblins into a bag of holding, is that twelve? Is that twenty-four hours or is that two hours? Well, that, each. that depends on the goblin to horse oxygen That's ratio, what I mean, goblins right? are smaller. Goblins are smaller than horses. How, Wait, so it's a finite space. How big is it? Uh, big enough for a horse. Oh, okay. Right. So if I went in there and smoked, say, a jazz cigarette, would it be kind of like an auto hot box? Oh, that's you could a make question. Merch that sounds like an fashion. You could. You could make like a merch about having a horse pocket. You could. You genuinely well, I could. I suppose you yes, could. I, I suppose you, you could, could have like the pocket uh, on the top of your shirt and say, uh, have a horse pocket. Have a little it. horse sticking out of it. Anyway, sorry. I could, you... I could get lab to do some tests. Can I keep a yak in there? What about two I... yaks? They're smaller than horses. A yak Are they? smaller than horses? If well, I jumped off a ship, on horse. a floating ship, but just before I hit the ground, I put myself inside the pocket, what would happen? What do you hear? It might what do you hear? Oh! <laughs> it might. I don't speak whatever language that was, um, but he might Gibberish. survive. It might, it might rupture the bag, in which case it, we go back to the whole destroying the universe thing. There we go. Right. Okay, so you'll destroy also, the universe. Also, if you rupture it, it destroys the universe. Potentially. I'm not sure. What if I put it up my butt? <laughs> <laughs> magic. That's magic and shit. What's for it? All right. Um, uh, towards the end of the party, you've finished it, your uh, laundromat, and you, mm -hmm. you you make your way back to the uh, mountain batch beach farm. farm. Can I immediately see me? Oh, Greg, welcome <laughs> back! No, no, and run no, up. No, 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 but I I have turned around and run away. <laughs> Greg, welcome back. No. Birthday hug. No, 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 and Bob is enough. Well, not. okay. I can run all day, Bob. So can I. And guess what? I don't sleep. Ha ha. Shit. Yeah. So this I'll is catch you eventually. <laughs> I'm like the doll. <laughs> Allow it to be consensual, Greg. Uh, there it uh, is. Gotcha. Ah, oh, bloody good hug, that. Uh, oh, bloody good. Do you get it? 
bloody good. Mm, that's not bad, actually. Do you think they got it? Because of the blood? I mean, you emphasizing it actually kind of lessens the impact. Yeah, yeah. I guess I go back right. to the laundromat. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, we got rid of my doll, right? It doesn't, it's it's we, in you. It's still, no, we, we got rid of it, didn't we? Nope. It, yeah, we got rid you. of it by putting it in your arm. <laughs> what the, no, we, what? I thought we got a, I thought it got a cleanse from me. No, no. So no it's still inside Recap on me. that, what? You know, what? the mummy doll yeah, yeah, was yeah, following yeah. him. The session you were away oh. at, um, caught up to him, fused to his arm, and then slowly just dissolved inside of him. I'm sure that'll be Looking him in the eye and saying, mummy, oh my god. I thought I asked for at the heart's, Palace of Heart's Desire. You like, asked her please. to identify what the situation was. And she it. said she no. Said, she, she said, like, it's oh, a doll and it's inside doll's you doll's and it doesn't have any malicious intent. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Villain. it's inside you. I can't do anything about it right now, but I, c I can't sense any malicious intent within it. And but it like, can well, provide I guess you that's fine. unlimited cigars, apparently. So this <laughs> yeah. is where it comes yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. The cigars just <laughs> pop out of his nose. No, no, because it's in his arm. I imagine it's like Spider-Man. Spider-Man goes, go like that. And he just accepts it. He's like, all right. Yeah, the first time it came out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to question that. Body Free cigar. Free when it, cigar. Whenever I do a Jason Statham accent, it's just I'm like, I like what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's already cigar. lit. Yeah. It's, it's already <laughs> lit. Anyway, continue. I am one paragraph in. <laughs> it cauterizes <laughs> itself <laughs> as it comes out. Oh, it's on fire. Good. Perfect. Um, all right. So <laughs> He's like, to recap, Mob is happy to stop his smuggling. Stop his smuggling for you by pinning it on the custodiates. Uh, Nab comes up to you at the end of the party as well and gives you the items that Mob has procured for you to, uh, right in the to, horse to pocket. things right in the horse pocket. Um, Mob is very explicitly clear when he says you are not to take any of these items for yourself and you are not to take anything from the custodians either because if you steal anything from them it's more evidence that can be tied back to you. And are you listening? <laughs> Listen. Are you listening? You are heard. <laughs> I hear you. I'll the, things, the things he gives you um, uh, I can always just re yeah. recap for you. Sure. Um, he gives you a bunch of drugs, so he gives you some blue Great. one, blue one mushrooms, some oh, kind amazing. of some kind of grey glassy powder, uh, and a blackish sludge <laughs> in <laughs> vials. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, <laughs> like, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> Now, I've managed to get you all of the things I'm going to need for you to smuggle. Imperative, you don't touch a single dime of it yourself, all right? Don't add it to your own equipment, don't eat it, don't consume it, don't take it, all right? It's very important you plant every single bit of what I'm going to give you. Sure. So, let's start with these drugs, all right? So, there's mushrooms Perfect. here. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, both of them! Oh, that's... Hi! That's going to... See gonna, what happens. That's going to hit. All right, well... The next ones are these particular types of drugs. Now, this is not to be consumed. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, uh, Bob, really warn you. Mm -hmm. This one is not to be. No! All right, that was my own fault. Should have <laughs> probably stopped that from happening. Uh, at, least, at least these ones you can't have. So this is this is coins. This is golden oh, coins. Hold on a second. What? Gold uh, coins. Gold coins, yeah, there's 10,000. Yeah. I mean, that's actually pretty impressive. Can you, do it? can you do it again? I can always get more. How many could you... How are your teeth? Pretty broken from eating so much gold. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. That's impressive. Also very expensive shit you must have. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, do I not to take any of these? No, uh -huh. oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, now can you get dead. us some more of those blue ones? <laughs> Odie's dead, then Sandra pops Sandra. up. Sandra. Oh, hello, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining the party. Oh, there's a bit of a party going on. Love parties. Continue, Rob. All right, so he gives you a bunch of drugs. Blue one mushrooms, some kind of grey glossy powder, and a blackish sludge and vials. He gives you some weapons, specifically a blade that he calls the life drinker blade, oh, a blade that he calls the blade hard. of the gorgon, oh. and another one that he just calls the amputator. Oh, that's oh I want all of those blades. <laughs> so you would. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he gives you a potion of invisibility. Um, Elven wine, a bunch of elven wine, dwarven whiskey, and a lot of <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rare orcish spices as well. Cool. Uh, Twelve Erangal steel ingots, a bunch of. <laughs> you're, you're, you're just, this could have been this could have been a miscellaneous list of things, but you're purposefully saying this to fucking bait us into stealing something. Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah. Twelve Erangal steel ingots. We should have just been like, no. A bunch of. Like, close. Let's put it. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Let's close. close. We're not looking at close. what it is. Close. Yeah. No, we're not. It's like Bodger like with the the fish from uh, the crag cats all over again. Oh, okay. I'm just going to take. Oh a yeah, little. Just, we'll just take a little, a little bit. bit. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got to the best part. He gives you a bunch of jewelry, and he gives you ten thousand gold pieces. That's <laughs> you. 
What? We've got more than. Oh, you, <laughs> wait, is that you eating gold? ten thousand? Three little mouthfuls. <laughs> three thousand three hundred thirty-three. Yeah, right. Nice. And one left over for me. Yeah, exactly. Three, yeah. three. All right, so that's the stuff he gives you, and oh he says God. you need to plant this on them. You need to plant them in strategic enough places that it's yeah. believable. Don't just leave yeah. the gold on a kitchen counter Is this and still expect just a people to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, no. No, 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 no. At this point, no. at this point, while well, he's given this stuff, yeah. he would have gotten all of you together because he needs and to all to understand. Just to clarify, it's fine if we take a little bit of that stuff no, for us. No, no, do not take a single gold. It's Bob, important. Can you just emphasize what the the consequences of that would be? So just you screw, up this, you screw up the whole sort of yeah. the whole framing mission. We're is, listening. Like, like, the we things that we've chosen are very right. specific, so that so that the uh, so that the laws on the border security will be lifted again, and people yeah. won't be as Is, is, is this because specifically those items have come have been noticed coming through border they security? They have been noticed coming through. Then, uh, we need them to know. They need them listen, to find all of those here. things. If listen any here. of them are missing, they'll be like, "Well, we caught one of the families, but there's another family obviously smuggling somewhere, and it won't lift." Security on us. Bob and I have a, a peculiar set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> a, a peculiar not, not set of skills. <laughs> a what, what are they? <laughs> Just trust us. I mean, he's right. We've got this <laughs> covered, mate. Do. What does that yeah. mean? It, what? <laughs> Plant them in. Stop, stop eating. eating the gold. <laughs> we need three more gold. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like, what they pitch? Just chowing or? down on some like <laughs> iron ingots. <laughs> <laughs> what are those pe Piz dispensers? Yeah, yeah. Like, Piz dispenser like, <laughs> like with with gold. Because people have them for the things that they yeah. feel like quarters. Yeah, 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 yeah. like an old train conductor. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Okay, can you give us? Like a little buffer of gold, just like because he's gonna he's gonna steal, so he's gonna pop he's some. He's gonna back. eat some. He's gonna eat some. But like he's proven to you, like how many have you eaten now? Nine, twelve. Twelve. <laughs> You're wanting a favour from me, right? So yeah, what man. I'm doing <clears throat> here is I'm trusting you. Well, keep your blood business. relative in line, please. <laughs> he's not trusting you with my business. So. Uh, so, uh, as a as a cleric, I'm sure you have ways of yeah, controlling great. your your, fo I, your flock. I right. calm down. Shepherd, my we yeah, elves have a way of the light. You don't know Craig, my flock. Line, I'll keep him. I'll keep him in line, mate. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. We have a special way of talking. I know he's saying all this stuff explicitly, <laughs> but I'm very, very clear, <coughs> very clear that you are not to touch anything. Loud and clear, mate. And you're not to touch anything at their Stop. place either. <laughs> there are no lines. Stop reading between them. <laughs> There's no lines. All right. So. Then the party ends, everybody goes their separate ways, back to the Manipulate! Uh, you have, no, what's you have your things. <laughs> Are nothing. you taking any of the drugs that he's giving you? And is Nab going to have to replace the ones? Because you can take them while you're at the party and Nab will just have to... Oh yes, more. then definitely. Alright. <laughs> I need a constitution saving throw, please. Wait, what, what have you just agreed to? What have you done? Just took some drugs. He's taking you some drugs. idiot! <laughs> Had these, these, had, no, just, just to clarify, these drugs yes. are things that we're supposed to be planting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, because yeah. he's literally okay. He's taking so the no party, point so following. He's gonna have to be like, okay, I'll go get some more. I'm still if, you like do, that, if you oh, do that, calm down, so it's Greg. Eleven. <laughs> Eleven plus your con mod, which I think. There's is no zero. point following through the mission. Uh, yeah, no, no, they're gonna replace them. They're okay, it's gonna replace them. Okay, so not enough. So you immediately start tripping. And if I check my mission accomplished. If I check my. It'll be the worst. <laughs> oh, thanks. But so wait, wait, wait. What's just happened? You, you, you're taking drugs, but they're going to be replenished. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. He's, he's taking. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I can only assume so <laughs> because <laughs> Rob said so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, on the DC that you rolled, uh, you, su you suffer a bad trip. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, bad, bad trip. trip with Bob could go real yeah, bad. Yeah, bad trip. Uh, for the next, how long does this one last? Uh, where is it? Please don't be more than Effect. eight can, hours. Can we, I'll, I'll this, I could have, I could have blessed you. I could have guidanced you, but I'm, I'm not going to because you need to learn a lesson. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to learn a lesson. Yeah. To be fair. No, I. Yeah. <laughs> it does not do anything for the, ne the first 29 minutes, and yeah. you start to think like, that's oh, shit. Odd. Oh, might as well make pop it, a few more. <laughs> I was going to say, make a wisdom oh, save. See if no, you just take it. Uh, <laughs> 20! Alright, with, with that wisdom <laughs> save, you know better than to just like pop some more right Aww. now. Um, <laughs> boring. Uh, so you suffer a bad trip, uh, which means that you suffer terrifying thoughts. Yep. The target is considered frightened. The source of fear is determined randomly each minute. Oh. So, oh. so for the next little while, while this is going on, you um, at the party going, <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, huh. thank you very much. Yep. Ah, what was that? Huh? Oh, I shouldn't eat it. Oh. 
too late. <laughs> yeah, oh. oh, wow, they are, they are fast acting. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a bad one. It's a bad one. <laughs> bat country. Watch out for the bats, everyone. It's bat country. <laughs> and... And that's not all. <laughs> uh, you also suffer loss of control and insanity, which is co which is uh, um, controlled by your uh, you rolling a d10 as per the confusion spell each round, which sometimes has you attacking your allies oh as one God. of the things that happens during confusion. You're welcome. Uh, and it lasts for two hours. Two and hours. You are considered poisoned. Well. <laughs> Oh, I, uh, oh, sorry, I, I no, walk away. No, no, wait, I'm it's two hours. I'm going to go elsewhere. I'm going for the wander. Yeah. For two hours. <laughs> no, actually, five hours. <laughs> for five hours. Uh, because it's, it's uh, poisoned for five for hours for minus an, uh, an, a, an amount equal to your con, con mod, and you've got zero con mod, so it's the full five hours. You got so you are, cigars? you're poisoned with a bad trip for the next five hours. We're going to go for the last five hours of your party. Everybody else has vacated and just left the beach mountain ravine farm. And you're just running around attacking things. I'll kill you! You're being the man, the mammoth is definitely coming back to life and attacking yeah. you, and you're just attacking it back, and yeah. you're getting yeah. like absorbed. You're that like ah, it. and it's strangling you, and the trunk has somehow got wrapped around <laughs> what you. What does what does Bob bring to the party? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, f you very I, much. Greg. I'm just saying. You, I, I, what I, do what, you bring to the party? <clears throat> healing. <laughs> Yet to see it. <laughs> No, nope, I've healed before. No, you you have well. forgot everything. Yep. Um, he has healed before. To be I've healed clear. multiple times, you. not well. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> the rest of you, uh, you have your long rest, and uh, you can Thanks. choose your new spells or whatever you do in the oh, morning. This is a level ten moment, is it? No, not yet. Oh, oh no, that's not yet. Saying. Not choose new spells. Um, but in the morning, you are tasked with starting this custodian smuggling, planting, um, framing business. Now we business. had, uh, was it Fib or someone else is going <laughs> with us? Make another constitution saving throw to see how you feel in the morning. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, Fib so is coming with 18. you. 18, pretty good. 18, pretty good, yeah, um, you feel good. fine. In the morning. Fib, he knows how to deal with hangover. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy. Because <laughs> none of us know where we're going. Uh, so. True, yeah, so Fib, Fib uh, catches up with you and says, all right, fellas, um, I'm here to help you uh, talk your way into certain things if you need me. Uh, so no. the one that betrayed us all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right, right. I just just and I now, momentarily forgot that. Yeah, yeah, song, yeah. yeah. It, it's been, it's been, it's a, been a long time. Been now a, we have I literally mean, no idea how to get all of this shit from one island to another. What's what the hell is right, the plan? That's right. That's right. Uh, so you've got them all in your in your horse pockets. Um, fab overnight has been working. I'm just going to cut to the chase. So oh, we're putting all the shit into our horse pockets. You're yeah. genius. I like it. Oh, we'll split it up between us. Yeah. 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 All the, okay. right. You've split them up in between your horse pockets. I'm going to say that Fab's finished that overnight. Right. Had Very a couple nice. of them already made that she just had to stitch onto uh, your existing clothes. Mm, sure. Um, right. And in the morning, uh, you uh, so you can get around the islands in between the islands fine. Like okay. it's only if you have to go through customs at the border that's going to be a, a more of a search or a problem or anything. So shall we head off uh, to Straya? Straya then, yeah, that's what I'd say. Uh, you head down to the Tule um, port and it's seven silver each to uh, to get to Straya. So mark off seven, seven silver. silver. Um, mm. I want to go to Waterworld while we're in, uh, or, or Dream, or dream, Dreamland. Uh, yeah, dream, dream, Dreamland. Dreamland or yeah. Waterworld. Um, yeah. Maybe uh, Straya Zoo. Yep, yeah, there's some, <laughs> some fantastic things to see uh, in, in all, all the all the local wildlife at Straya Zoo. Yes, uh, Sid Hip yeah. obviously has the um, the operatic house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah really no, I have been to that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand what you guys are doing. <laughs> ten silver and one gold. Uh, ten silver. Ten silver into one gold. So yeah. I'm yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just. I thought you were just offering to pay more. Yeah. <laughs> he was just like, "I'll give him ten silver and one gold." <laughs> All right, if you want. <laughs> All right. So uh, same procedure goes. Some kid that's not getting paid enough doing his minimum wage job. Keep your arms and legs inside the cell apart. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you set through to Straya. You are immediately met with dry heat and a sweaty smell. Mm. Uh, you can hear buzzing and chirping of insects and uh, the teleport staff. <laughs> Hey. The teleport staff is wearing a strange hat with little cocks dangling from the brim as he approaches you. Yeah. G'day, you beautiful bastards. Here's me face. <laughs> this it's, is canon. It's, this it's, is yeah, this not. Is, this, this is, is canon. This is, this is, that's why we're doing it in the voices, because yeah. this is canon. Well, <laughs> to continue. G'day, he you beautiful it. bastards. Here's me face. It's here to welcome you to Australia, mate. 
You'll have a bonza time so long as you stay away from out back of that there correctional facility. This yeah. is just Too like right. owls. I that's love how they, that's this. How they is, talk. I, I'm just thinking about like other fantasy games we can start. <laughs> <laughs> See, elves, and, <laughs> elves, Ellen, elves. Look, <laughs> he's a he's an elf from, from Australia. Australia. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Right, here we are in Straya. No, I love it. No, no, none of this There's is canon. Sidhip over there, nope. the Sidhip Bridge. This is one of know. this is one of my most favorite official canon places in this our world. Correct. It's yeah, not yeah. canon. Oh, good eye, fellas. Oh. Hey, welcome to Straya. It's a native where have, Australian. Where we have a native Australian garb. Yeah, this is Australian. <laughs> We're in the Australian garb of the the high elves of Straya. This is normal. This he's, is what everybody here Australian. wears. What are you having for dinner, Straya? Oh, probably a shrimp on the barbie hey, or something. Not yeah. Yet. Oh, I better go. A dingo ate my baby. Oh, so no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's just sick. Oh, <laughs> Australia is amazing, Greg. Not canon. I, mean, I, I love how I we can talk. See I'm outnumbered here. <laughs> yeah, great, good. Just get used to it, mate. Yeah, this good. is the normal good. Australia accent. Great, good. <laughs> this is Australia. And Australian fan base has dropped. <laughs> <laughs> this is Australian. This is yeah. Australian right here. Cool. Australian. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. Cool. Sorry, so I'm so he sorry. welcomes you in. You're, you're, you, uh, you head out of the facility and into the town of uh, the city of Sidhip. Um, what Sidhip. is your Sidhip. first Sidhip. protocol? Oh, just go. Um, <laughs> so wait, as we're carrying a bunch of stuff to plant, is that like in your Fib, uh, do you know where the custodiates' uh, base of operation is? Oh, I don't know myself, but there's criminal p criminals around a city that would know of them. So if we can, why find are we a trusting this sometime, guy now? Yeah, no. Oh, I'm, all, I'm all good, mate. I'm, I'm, you are you're definitely to not. Kill all yeah, but only for money. Frick. Well, oh, no, that doesn't make it better. If there's no money in it. There's exactly. nothing for me to do. To, no reason for me to kill you. There's right? something. There's I don't know. Do you know what the good thing is? If he betrays us, we can get his family to kill him. That's true. If we, yeah, if he's he's we can join mob, in. Mob, mob, mob was very clear that if I betray him again, he will kill me, okay. and it will be painful. And yeah. what's better than family killing family? Right. right? <laughs> exactly. A lot, of, a lot of things. Family. A lot of things are better. I don't know. <laughs> Most family, things probably. I don't know. I don't know, Greg. <laughs> so um. I reckon if we just find somewhere shady, we can start talking among the so criminals. We, shall we head to a shady pub? Got. Is there uh, shady pubs nearby? Let's have a look. Um, Australians love. I'm gonna go get a VB at a <laughs> at a pub. Um, I'm trying to. What does VB stand for? Uh, v <laughs> very <laughs> bear. Very bear. <laughs> I was gonna say Verderin, but I'm no, like, no, no one knows Verderin apart from us. That's goal, a very we don't know specifically where we're gonna be smuggling stuff nope. uh, yet. We're trying to figure that out. Correct. Yeah, right? yeah. Right. We're trying to find their base of operations. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. So you uh, you you find a uh, a shady pub. Let's just roll to see how long that's gonna take you. Um, about 10, 20 minutes or so of walking yeah, around the, nice, the nice. streets before you see something like somebody gets. Shattered out of a window, and you're like, yeah, that'll that do. Like that'll that do. Like before, before we walk into the pub, we should probably come up with a bit of a little bit of a plan. Now I walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I not my style. I wonder how uh, often they have to repair that window. Yeah. Like, okay. How long? How long have you been <laughs> it's, away? It's elven magic. So as somebody gets shattered, the window goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long like, have you been away from uh, the Sullivan Islands? Oh. A long time? Quite a while, yeah. Okay, so a custodial family, a random custodial family member would not recognize you as a Blade Song family member. I don't. Think when do you so. stop aging? Like, at what point, though? Like, if, if you went yeah. for 100 years, but you uh, look exactly the I've same. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. The plan is we go in. How do you attract uh, criminals? You act a bit dodgy. <laughs> well, you you squirm go, with whiskey. We, we need to go in there <laughs> and we need to just be dodgy. Okay, let's go. Yeah, no. Easy. Um, you're kind of right. I love it. I just want to know if we need to magically make him look different. Um, I, that's a good point. Yes. Uh, let's go. What have I got? You mask of familiar, 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 familiar faces. I've got a spell called Disguise Self. <laughs> Which that's we discovered perfect. yesterday. <laughs> Which, I wonder if that would work. <laughs> I was going through Ben's spells and I was like, how long have you had Disguise Self? He's like, since the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reckon you use your spell Disguise Self. And okay. You probably should have done bit. it already. <laughs> We've been looking for 20 minutes, apparently. <laughs> it's like, where's the number? Put it on. <laughs> you okay, just... I make myself look like mob. That's probably a good idea, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I reckon you go down an alleyway real quick and do it yeah. down an alleyway. <laughs> What should I look like? What should I change myself into? Just, just a random like a geezer. Geezer. You, want, you want to just look like a geezer. Yeah, a bit of a, a, a bit of a geezer, geezer. A geezer. A geezer. Some, yeah, someone is a bit dodgy. A okay, I look like Jason Statham. It is. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, there you're we go. your master. You reckon we can get him for the green screen? 
Yeah, I reckon Absolutely. Reach out yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, so his disguise is little. He just gets out. He just shaves his hair back. Like, disguise. <laughs> disguise self. <laughs> disguise self. Yeah. Right. And we go act dodgy. Act dodgy. No, no. We're what bit, it is? Bit dodgy, no. Right? Here's what it is. Is Bob just gets a big moustache. Yeah. A big moustache. Okay. That's it. That's, yeah. that's yeah, it. Yeah, I got. I disappeared down the which alleyway. Is, which you is, wait for a second. I come back and I've just got a big <laughs> And it was the vibe of the party's like, oh, fine. Which is super conspicuous because elves can't grow facial hair. <laughs> so it's just, it's still just big moustache, and you've kind of like dampened your ears. So you don't like, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. trying to not be an elf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've taped my ears down. No, you've, you've just got vivid and crossed it out. I've, I've, got, I've crossed, I've out, crossed the out my ears. <laughs> you've crossed out the tips and put a uh, big moustache on right. one. Okay. So we're, guys, and, and I come over. Guys, guys, it's me, Bob. No, we know. <laughs> yeah, I can still tell you're dressed the same. Do we? <laughs> Have you seen the? All right. So this Bob here is known for being shady. There's a lot of people in there. If anybody knows where the custodian is, it's going to be these folks. Right. right. Pro- problem right. is, problem is, blade songs are known around these parts. Don't want to be seen as asking around. But... Oh, oh, I've got the perfect thing. I know a spell that I've never actually used called Disguise Self. I can change myself into anything. Well, I can create perfect. the perfect disguise. Perfect. Yeah, you can do anything. anything. All right, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me, let me think. Hang on. I'll, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. All right. So he's going to look like a pretty lady woman or something. Um, or like a dwarf or something. Just something completely different. Mm. And then... Ah? Uh, huh? Huh? Bob, that's just a... That's, Who's Bob? That's... You're literally never heard like of Bob him. with a moustache. Hang on, i got to do my voice too. Who's Bob? I've never heard of him. You, I am simply a mustachioed man. You literally look like yourself growing a mustache. Well, who are... It's nice to meet you. Oh, who are you? My name's Margaret. Margaret? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. You can't change it after you've cast it. No, no you can't. No. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, boys, shall we go into the thing? Yes, let's go into the pub. By the way, guys, it's me. It's Bob. Bob. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. I thought you were Margaret. It's because of the moustache. It was a moustache. Ah, uh, this is fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any better. Should we... Okay, so we're going to go act on it. You've spent a We're, tra- we're to trying to find out information. Yeah. Well, he has okay. an item that does it for free, like infinite times so, a day. Let's just go in there and we're, we're kind of... I'm, I'm squir- Like, I'm really not comfortable acting dodgy, but I'm trying my okay. best. I'm like, I'm, I'm a bad guy. And we walk in and we enter. Trista! And we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> who wants to f***? On me. I'm one of those corrupt clerics you hear yeah, about. Yeah, I like the uh, exam. I'll take, I'll take bribes. And I start <laughs> twirling my moustache. <laughs> All right. What do you I would do? Like, I would like a performance check from you guys to see how well you're performing at your dodginess. You're bad guys. Uh, uh, you, you have an advantage because of your moustache. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> 17. Nice. Uh, I got good. 11. Oh, uh, not good for uh, me. Sorry. Performance. Oh, no, because I have such high one. charisma, it's actually really good. 11. 10. Actually, I got 12. 8, 10, 11, 12. 12. Plus two, uh, 17 plus 2 charisma, so 19. that's 19. Isn't it? So Bodge is <laughs> good at acting no. dodgy. <laughs> Who knew? He doesn't um, do anything different. The rest he of you are uh, average at best. Yeah. 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 Nah, I'm a bad guy. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> nah, see? Nah. 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 I am a bad guy. Nah. <laughs> Fib walks up to you and goes, why don't we just use thieves' cant? That's usually how criminals find nah, other criminals. Shame. What, wait, so what did you what? say? What? what? Oh, thieves can. We have a language, like a secret language that we use as thieves that can just, you can walk into a place and the way you hold your body, where you like sort of move you. Like Why didn't you tell yeah. us this before we can oh, right, You're right, and funny, I go to rip it? off the moustache and forget <laughs> that it's not, fa- it's like my face has grown up. I go, <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Oh. <sighs> Okay. All right, we'll use Thieves' Cunt. So the three of us... I mean, us the disguise over... thing wasn't to do with acting dodgy, though. That was to do oh, with yeah. not looking like you. <laughs> so... I put it back. I hold it back on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the three of us are off in the corner going, we're bad guys, and you two are over there. <laughs> Before we get into that, I just want to kind of just... What I'm doing, we're all doing our own thing. Yeah. I'm just there kind of going like... Yeah. <laughs> We've got things to hide and mysterious. Yeah. Squirming with mystery. <laughs> No, you're saying, you yeah, don't look like a bad guy. You, you look, look like a just a pervert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a bad guy. I got, I got, yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got <laughs> different kind of bad yeah, guy. That's my, a really bad guy. My, on my chick, so I'm just going. Yeah. Ben doesn't think perverts are bad guys. You heard yeah, 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 yeah. You're not a bad guy. You're just a pervert. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Oh man, we are not. This is not going to work. <laughs> and I and I can and I can see I'm starting to attract. I'm you, starting yeah. to attract like some. You're definitely stuff. attracting attention. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm dropping my charade a little bit just because I'm like really put off by sure. the. <laughs> There's it's a it's it's almost the saloon thing of ting 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 and then yeah. the, the and the just everybody sure. looks at you. People stop. I'm a bad guy. 
Somebody's about to hit another guy with a chair and just stops, looks across at you guys. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, j- just because I realized that we should have come up with a, again, we should have come up with a plan before nah. enacting the plan. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just quickly message into your head and just go, what do you think about a plan that- Should we just quickly, we walk in and then walk back out. <laughs> so, so we can come up with a plan. So <laughs> we all walk in going, I'm, I'm a, a bad man. guy. <laughs> Looking cool, looking looking dodgy, looking looking like I belong in a dodgy bar. Don't All right. S- don't say that. Okay. All right, what's the plan? Okay, so the, we don't have a plan. Shit. Let's go outside. Okay, new plan. Outside, formulate a plan. Excuse me, fella. Do you know where the uh, uh, custodians operate from? You know that meme of <laughs> Grandpa Simpson walking into yeah, the bar, the hat on and then, nope. put the hats on and then walk straight back <laughs> <Yeah>. out again? <laughs> so it's just like, and shit. Uh, and we all quickly <laughs> go back outside and go, we, sh- we need okay. to start coming okay. up with plans before enacting the plans. Plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, we're not, nobody else is around. And then I immediately go, <laughs> and break! And then we walk back. Okay, our plan. Good the, plan. The, the pl- uh, what I'm thinking the plan could be is trying to ingratiate ourselves. What is that word? Uh, get in the good books yep. with uh, the custodian family. <laughs> get it. And we could, we could say that we have uh, stolen a whole lot of stuff from the Bladesong family and want to give it to if the custodians? To, if, mm, That's an option. Mm, mm, mm. It's an option. I think the plan it's is to simply find this. It's Finest. an option, but then we're <laughs> trying to smuggle the stuff into them and frame them. And if they, if we go yeah, up to Yeah, they'll know the, it's us, but then they'll go to jail. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but they'll know the Blade songs are potentially I think it's about finding their base operations. Sneaking guys, in with guys, the Batman. I, and pref- I prefer to just kind of feel this out. I go inside. <laughs> As you... you sh- okay, <laughs> wait, Greg. He's <laughs> gone inside, it's fine. So you so guys, yeah, yeah, you yeah, guys are okay with There's the actually plan. no loss there at all. You guys are... Yeah, <laughs> absolutely no loss in this in Bodger. <laughs> um, you guys are okay with the plan then You're not distracting us anyway. Just finding the base of operations and sneaking in. We're okay with that? I think so, yeah. I think because so. I, think, I think the less... <laughs> Official contact we have with the custodians is probably best. It okay. doesn't matter. As, doesn't as, matter. as okay. Podger walked right. inside, Fib walked outside. It wasn't outside for the little huddle. Fib walks outside and goes, I found where they operate from. They operate <laughs> from the warehouse outside of... Uh, so this whole table bit was pointless. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I found out where they operate from. Perfect. I can take Let's this go. off. Oh! One, oh, no. I mean, we're going to the custodians where they operate. We still need you to not look like a blade song. Oh, shit. All right. What do you think? Why did it hurt? Isn't that an illusion? No, it's like magic. It makes my makes my uh, uh, facial hair actually grow. This oh, is how my facial hair really grows. Oh, that's and so a, much worse of a spell. matted, flat thing. Oh, God. No wonder you only did that rather than changing your whole form and like... Yeah, could, exactly. Could have broken your bones or stuff. Exactly. That's, <laughs> that's, a, ne- really that's a nasty painful. spell. Yeah. Oh, all right. Does it still look good? I'm still, and I'm, I'm still, still just there. bleeding <laughs> from my top lip. I'm still in there just kind of like... <laughs> I can't wait to get does it. Roger, I, I does Roger job, achieve like... anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> it depends if he, he gets tries a couple anything. of numbers. <laughs> I was going to say, it depends if he's trying anything. And I go, I don't know. You. He gets you, some restraining you. order. Surely with a 19, look over... he at least makes contact with is someone who yeah, works yeah. with a custodian. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, you. Come here. You, Who's yeah, that? You, you gesture as some, a fellow comes over. He's an uh, elf. He's got an uh, eye patch on. Right. He's got a shaved head. He's a bad guy. I have both my eyes, but I just like this I'm looking for something. Oh yeah, what are you looking for, mate? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're looking for that? Yeah. I don't swing that way, but uh, no, no, I can no, get well, Gary. No, 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 that's not what I meant. No, no, I didn't mean that. Oh, I mean like, uh, do mistake. you know what I could find? <laughs> oh. Can I, by this stage, I'm- You're looking I'm, for, or are you looking for, or are you looking uh, for, well, I'm looking for, are you looking for, I'm just gonna let this play out. Are you looking, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> Maybe use words. <laughs> hey, mate, mate, mate. Not enough. Keep it on them. Ah, uh, so. all right. I'll get you a selection of things. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, and then I walk outside and I go, I got a cupboard, boys. And this guy has just gone out back and then come back into the bar and go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, he's got a smorgasbord set. He's got like a little tasting glass. Wow. Charcuterie he's got board. Some, he's got drugs. some drugs. This took a long time to set up. <laughs> don't, you guys, don't you guys worry. Found it. Come Great. back to this guy inside. Oh, fucking, oh he's, he's pissed off. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I think he was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> um, good work, hey, good work, Bodger. Good stuff. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fib says, um, yeah, they operate from a, a warehouse uh, just under the Sid, uh, uh, Sidhip Bay Bridge. Right. Oh, good. Um, Yep. <laughs> you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking up the blood that's pouring out of my upper lip. Mm. Yeah, yeah I, found out same, I found out the same information for 
yeah. Right. <laughs> Sh <laughs> shall we? <laughs> I, I think Bob, as the person with yeah. the best uh, stealth, you, we, yeah, we right. should. I say we, and when I say we, I mean you should go do a little scout to see how the how we're going to get inside. Yeah, yeah. Go Presumably under the cover of night, because that's when you do these things. Pretty. Yeah. It's it's like afternoonish, like afternoon one o'clock in the afternoon yeah, or so. So who do we? Once we plant it, who do we notify about that? The Aldrin family. The Aldrin family. Okay. So it's like it's okay. We're going to plant it, and then we're going to be like. Hey, we found out who's smuggling us. The smuggling thing. We don't need get to do there. anything. We just need to get inside, go, and then run away. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sure. Cool. So, how much of our stuff do we need to plant? <coughs> all, of all of it. All, all of the stuff. stuff. All one spot. We're not going to scare Well, no. Out. So, uh, Mob yes. said that it needs to be planted in a place that they would obviously be keeping it. Don't just put it on a kitchen counter. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be It'll pretty obvious planted. that they're being framed. We need like, to really plant it, not just. We kind of need to. Like, uh, so if they have, if they, if building. you get in there and find out that they've got a place where they keep weapons, you need to put the weapons there. Uh, if they've got a vault, then you need to put the gold and the jewelry in there. Gotcha, we can't just dump it all <coughs> once. We, we just go to, and then go. Oh, they're smuggling. We kind of need to learn, know the layout of the building, then. Yeah, yeah. Which is what I'm saying. We need Bob or some some other or what's it to go and do a little. He can go invisible, can't he? And you can look through his eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's pretty perfect for scanning machines. How about we and send what's it Yes, scout. Scout. I was wondering, I I was wondering into if, a any of you, if any of you would remember you have a... Let's uh, send what's I use my rope to climb the wall. <laughs> and also, he is a, he's also a f***ing draftsman. He can draw a blueprint for us when... Who's he, a draftsman? What's it? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> While he's in there, he can draw a blueprint for us <laughs> of the entire f***ing... <laughs> It's a skill. I, we went over this. There was a whole lot. What's it? He's. <laughs> you can honestly so tell me that and be like, okay, <laughs> sure. I'm fine. He, he, you would, and so would I. I would have believed he was a draftsman uh, at this point. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Man, I need to just start saying that shit in character. Yeah. He's a draftsman. Send Watson in. And All right, Watson, go in there. Draw like you draw, I guess. <laughs> but you should also be looking check. through his eyes, and we should be drawing at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, yeah. So we go to the thing, and then I go, All right, Watson. I've, I think I need to spawn Watson, don't I? Uh, you do, yes. Yeah. Um, All right, so I. He <laughs> pops into existence. <laughs> All right, mate. I ain't what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob, how mean are you going to be about where we're doing this right now? We find we find a we find a good spot to do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we find a good spot to do this. <laughs> where is this? How far away? Paranoid old How far away, how <laughs> how far away? Paranoid old Adam? Really. How far away is this building that we're going towards? Uh, Twenty minute walk. Twenty minute walk. And what what? Is it? What sort of building? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a well. You go there and you'll find out. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so we, we go there. Just, we, 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 we slowly we just from a distance. Slowly from, distance. slowly from a distance, we go there. Wow. All right. We're being careful because you know we wow. have to waltz in there and go plant. Goodbye. Yeah. All right. So you make your way towards the Sid, uh, Sidhip Bay Bridge. Um, it's a tourist thing that a lot of people come oh, to right, see. Just, so yeah. it's uh, you know it's not unusual to have people of all kinds. Is uh, it a nice big arched bridge? It's a nice big arched bridge. Is there fireworks displays on New Year's? Uh, I assume so, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. I mean, it's not New Year's right now, but if you stick around long enough, you'll, you'll <laughs> right, see Right, we're set up camp and we're waiting for you. We'll get to the smuggling thing. So, it's so currently what? January 5th. So part, what? Of the, <laughs> <laughs> part of the process is that we, uh, we, we're waiting for the, the fireworks so that the custodians are distracted. Yeah. They come out oh, of their genius. warehouse to look genius. up at the fireworks. Just wait a year. Great. Sweet. Um, so what does it look like? Um, so you, as you're approaching, you can see that it's sort of an abandoned industrial estate looking thing. There's a couple of um, a couple of warehouses, uh, warehousey looking buildings around the place. Um, it has, let me see, uh, it's fenced in by Erangel steel fences that are 15 feet high and barbed wire on the top. The bridge is overhanging the, the, um, the premises uh, from about 60 feet up. Um, there is one gateway at the front and it has a guard house and a solitary guard on duty. And you can see three buildings on the inside. A large one that looks like a warehouse, a slightly smaller one that kind of looks like one of those annex buildings, one of those sort of container buildings, um, and then a smaller but more permanent looking structure. Presumably, it's all going to be in the warehouse where mm. we need to drop the stuff. Now, they I'm really- safe for money in one of the other buildings. They so. could do. Uh, but what's, how long does what's it stick around for? We've got forever. Yeah, well, we've got a while. We're, and he, as I say, it's invisible and you can look through his eyes. Yeah. I w I'm really worried. I heard the barbed wire. I looked at the barbed wire and went, what's it doesn't have many hit points. <laughs> yeah. He climbs up and gets hit by one barb, he'll die. So I think <laughs> we need to throw what's it over. <laughs> you, you could throw what's it over. <laughs> 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 
but first, I'm gonna go. I can distract the guard. Slide, first, let's find. But he doesn't need to climb over. He can run the past light. the guards. Like he's invisible. Oh, of course. Have you heard? Have you heard? I was wondering if he could also fly. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. What's yeah, he can well? not in his regular form, but he can turn into a bat or something, a raven. Um, he can turn into some kind of flying creature. Okay, creatures. so Fla- let's, find, uh, let's find a very inconspicuous area where no one can see us and start enacting said plan. <laughs> I, was just, I was just really hoping that you'd forget that he can fly yeah. or just walk past the guy. <laughs> and you'd end up oh, lobbing yeah, him over the... Oh, yeah, the invisible thing. Yeah, <laughs> of course, he can just walk past the guy. Lob him and he catches, like his <laughs> gut catches on the barbed wire. <laughs> Spills out all of it. Suddenly just entrails. Oh, well, there's no other way we could have done that. All right. What's it? Listen to me. I've got a plan. No, I've got a... Shh, shh. Listen to my plan. Okay, we need to get no, inside this building and scout it out, all right? Father, oh, I just... a big fence. So, <laughs> would you shut up for a second? I've got a plan. Listen, I am going to oh, grab father, I can, I can and fly. throw you over Lots the wall. Hopefully, you miss the barbed wire. And then once you're in I there, you're going to very... Can you shut up for a second? God, you're the worst. I'm going to throw you in there, then you have to be... Super stealthy and hide, all right? All right, what? What were you gonna say? I can turn invisible. Oh yes, you can go invisible. Yes. That's perfect. Okay, you'll go invisible. Then I'll throw you over the valve wire, and hopefully you make it. You ready? Okay, here we go. What? No, what? Wait, possibly. Hey. Oh, he hit the barbed. Oh, he popped. He popped. It's amazing how he pops. It's like he's full of air. <laughs> well, that was the only way it was going to play out. <laughs> okay, Sorry, now, it. now summon him again. <laughs> <laughs> just sits outside, sets up a brazier. Like eventually, over the course Fire. of the night, it's just like like hundreds of attempts. It's like the whole fence is just covered in like. And then we like look to the right, like oh, you could just walk through that. <laughs> All right, uh, so go. to cut to the chase, uh, you summon what's it? What am I, What's my task, Father? You turn him invisible, and what yep. is the task you tell him? Right, what's it? We need you to scout. We want to know the layout of this place, and we want to know if you can see anywhere where they store their smuggled items. The gold, the weapons, the drugs, the etc. Um, gold, weapons, drugs, uh, it, it's, it's magical steel, items. Magical items. Uh, Aaron Gal Steel. Oh man, this, I, can I, I should have written it down. What else was what, there? Can we, we make ask? it three places? Don't make it. <laughs> There's not necessarily that many places. We just need to know where those things are. Yeah, they could all be in one place. Okay. Drugs, yeah. weapons, mm. potion, elven wine, whiskey, and oh, spices. Yeah. Yep. Steel wine, ingots, spices, jewelry, and gold. Jewelry, gold. But the jewelry and gold yeah. you're assuming Pleasure. will possibly be in the sand. <laughs> Bob needs to pop back three. Take it out. 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 <laughs> That's my whole spot. And then, yeah. and then yeah. much like we learned, I go. Oh yeah. And uh, Quick. Pop, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. yeah. Bob, yeah. no Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> no Heimlich maneuver. Stop that. All right. Um, so he goes aside with those. Yeah, but I say, and, uh, and you're not to attack anything. There it is. You're not to kill <laughs> so anything. Like, have... You just, you're just scouting. All right. And okay. if you come back, I've got this head of a mice, head of a mouse you can eat. Very good. And I have I have a quill and ink, and Bob is you're going to describe to me as he's doing this what the hell's going on. I'm drawing. Is that a, b- right? a building bit? Um, <laughs> I was going to say this corner. is a serious game of telephone. <laughs> and um, it's like. Um, <laughs> I can imagine the sketch is just like a square with like two <laughs> lines on it, and he's like, I don't, I don't, know. Like, I don't know what you want. Some dogs, you I think. It's kind of like There's that thing guy. where you try and like draw on someone's back, and they try and draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah, right. So, so what well, um, do you want to draw? Then? You... <laughs> <laughs> and then it'd be like that uh, Pictionary game where you're blind, yeah, yeah, blind yeah, drawing. Yeah, exactly. He's looking yeah. at something else while he's drawing it. All right, uh, the premise, blah, blah, blah. We've gone over that bit. The warehouse, all right. So the first thing you see is it, um, he walks straight past the guard. Guard's just like reading a book or something. Ah, I'm a man, I'm a ragtime gal. <laughs> Doing his tap dancing. He, he gets in there, easy peasy. Um, it's uh, mostly just stonework floor so that they can like have wagons coming in and out as needed. Yeah. Um, no dirt or mud around. The, he heads straight to the biggest building, the warehouse. You can see that there's one uh, one large front door and uh, a smaller door on either side of it. It's about 30 feet, uh, sorry, two doors on either side of it. It's about 30 feet tall. Uh, I've lost my place. It's about 30 feet tall, about 60 feet wide, and about 150 feet long. So it's quite a long building. Is it possible for him to get in it? Mostly looking, mostly looking like it's made of wood. Uh, as he gets closer, he can hear the sounds of um, people talking towards the back end of the building between the, the two rear doors. 
uh, but no no sounds coming from the front half of the building. What do you want to do? Send him what do you want to make him do? Because uh, you can take control of him, I think, or you can tell. I, I can tell exactly. him. Uh, you tell him him and give him commands as you're going. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I, I say, uh, is there a way for you to get inside? Are you able to get inside? The doors are currently all closed. Um, he hasn't tried them to see if they're open, what, but what's going on? What's going on, Bob? <laughs> you can knock on the door. Straight up, that's what I was going to say. Knock on the door. Um, well, what, what about windows? Can you climb up to look inside? No, the window? genuinely, no, I think no knock windows. on the door. Because if somebody comes and opens it and knock a door right. Yeah. yeah, all right, fuck it. Knock on the door. Window. All right. Yeah. Which the same window, window, window first. <laughs> Okay, the big main well, door, go, go, go or one of the four the sides. Were. Yeah, go go around to one of the side doors. He goes down towards the left side door and he <laughs> scratches on the door. Um, it doesn't take long before the door opens and uh, what's it can scram scramble in invisible. Yeah. Um, I'll have you roll a stealth check for what's it. He has advantage, and then use what's it's stats. Is that a sixteen? Ten, I think. <laughs> you need to get more readable dice. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen plus uh, stuff is plenty enough three, to beat their yeah. passive perception. Um, uh, and it's invisible. Yeah. Can't exactly. Know. It's just he is making sound on the ground. No. He's, he's invisible, <laughs> Rob. Singing. And dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Even his sound is invisible. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, sound is usually invisible. <laughs> you, he, he heads into this. Uh, it's super invisible. Now. He heads into this room and sees a bar. It is a convert. It's sort of a, a back room of this warehouse that's been converted into a sort of tavern, as it were. Uh, he walks in to see. Oh, we're gonna have a fight! Yes. <laughs> it's just it's just Watson in the fight. He walks in, he walks in through these doors. Yeah, walks in through these doors up some stairs. Off to his left, he can see that there's a little bit of a um, a raised area, kind of like a, there's a bit of an apron and a. Um, a, a narrow stage, mm -hmm. bunch of tables around, bar off to his right, and some seating uh, seating tables off, over to the uh, the far corner. This uh, this door would lead through to the rest of the long warehouse bit, and this is the one opposite. This is the Bob, back. How many people are in there? Uh, what's it looks around? <laughs> what's the one it? looking what's through it? his eyes. <laughs> yeah, <totally>. twelve. <laughs> All right, <laughs> no, there are twelve people in here. <laughs> Hope I've brought enough minis. Um, <laughs> heavily armed. <laughs> All look about level 20. <laughs> All about level 20. <laughs> Giant cyborg mages. <laughs> so, once it enters the tavern, it's mostly empty. Except, except for like 50 guards, right? I mean, yeah, sure. Nailed There's 50 it. guards in there. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, they're not too... And the 50 guards have laser beams. Yes. All of them have laser guns. Yeah. They've got yeah, laser they've guns. They've got laser guns. Uh, and then there's giant demon lords that are like, that are like they're spewing out demon juice. Uh, like demon, demon juice. Demon yeah, smoke, demon smoke juice. Smoke. Sure. Smoke juice. Yeah. 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 And other things that, you know, that really would negatively affect us. Yes. 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 Negative oh, things. Good Negative affecting great. things. I'll take yeah. it. Uh, no, he just sees like three people in there at the moment. Yeah, um, one guy's standing behind the bar, another one's st uh, sitting at the bar talking, and the guy who op opened the door. Cool. All young men, all elven, um, all all criminally kind of looking dudes, rough, rough, housey kind of all dudes. Going. <laughs> they're all going. All they've all got eye patches and scars. Every um, one of them. I reckon continue on. Yeah, we, we, yeah. This might be the place to put the alcohol and the herbs. Potentially not. Let's keep going. Yeah, I don't know. Heads, uh, sto little scrabbly stone uh, feet across the stonework. Thankfully, they're making enough noise amongst themselves that it doesn't get heard with that stealth check. Uh, heads through this door and into a. I feel like warehouse. we need to put the stuff where people aren't, right? Because if you put them here yeah, where people yeah. are, they'd just be like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, and they would yeah. see us. And they see us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the main thing. Is seeing, but what I'm just, I mean, we could. Oh make, yeah, what's it can't do that? Well, we we could like, make nah. them move on. He's just scouting at this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, you see the entirety of the building now. In this building, uh, he okay. sees this is quite clearly the warehouse. Smuggled weapons here. Smuggled weapons smuggled go, smuggled here. Gold. Smuggled here. Gold go here, smuggled gold goes over here. Man, and they're so good at organisation. <laughs> Thank you, custodians. <laughs> Alright, uh, he, there's a lot to see in this room, so have, a, have him make an investigation check. Uh, actually, we'll make it your perception check. Sweet. <laughs> Which really was good. definitely that was wasn't the in other one. one. That was for the other one. So definitely. So what's it gets an investigation of Nat one, but, but you, that's what's it, so looking through his eyes, Get a perception of 15 uh, plus something. 15 plus stuff. All right. Perception of plus 10, so 25. Okay. Jesus, you have to live with that. Yeah. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's a plus 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob. I've got inside and perception plus 10 and sleight of hand and stealth plus 11. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs>
<laughs> it's too high. Yeah, yeah. Rogues are meant to be. Handy rogues now. are meant to be really good at the things we're, they're good we're at. We're just oh, yeah. not used to him being. Good yeah. at not used to him doing it because yeah. of he, you, you might not realize he has a plus eleven because he usually gets around the mid teens with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he usually gets twelve. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, exactly. yeah, I got a fourteen. Yay. <laughs> um, all right, that is this one. That's the wrong house. <clears throat> Here we go. So you see around the place. <laughs> so because because what's got a natural one, he just walks up and faces a wall. <laughs> 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 And you, with your, no, no, <laughs> your 25, you can see a hell of a lot of I've detail. Of it's like a, it's a slightly moist, and I can just see in the reflection. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can see everything. <laughs> and I can see everything. And I saw it uh, all. Right. I saw it all. I've seen everything. You, you see a bunch of stuff that's not important that I won't draw attention to, like, you know, just crates and, and, and uh, barrels and things. The things that catch your eye with your perception are a series of um, black onyx statuettes of various animals across one of the shelves. Okay. Uh, you see that in a corner underneath the, this shelf over there is like a dog, ca uh, dog cage, like a huge dog cage, and in that is an elven child. Oh, um, Jesus. Okay. Oh, that's right. Dark. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty dark. Um, you also see that there is a. I forgot about that. <laughs> as he, yeah, as he walks. Oh, yeah, this oh, family yeah, that's model people. Human trafficking. Whoops. Um, he wanders down the front and up onto this little ramp up here and you can see that in that far corner closest to Rowan uh, that seems to be a tool shed slash weapon room there is a okay. bunch of weapon racks weapon and things here in, or there, here or here? in that little room in the corner yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he pokes his head in that little bit and sees a bunch of tools, a bunch of um, uh, equipment and mm -hmm. a bunch of weapons as well and then out of there and into this one over here it's kind of like a janitor's closet, kind of like a cleaning closet. There's a sink in there. There's a couple other things. Okay, not important. Um, Are there any people in this warehouse? Uh, not currently. No. Apart from slaves. Obviously. Not currently. <laughs> yeah, from slaves who don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're not not people. I'm thinking. Well, I want to enter this way because there's people over there. Yeah, so yeah. let's have a little scout here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, just seeing if I've forgotten anything. I don't believe I've forgotten anything. Uh, that's that's with a 25. That's everything of note that you have. Um, Eventually, he spent like a good 10 minutes at least, 15 minutes of like wandering around mm. doing all this stuff to mm. make sure he's checked everything out. Yep. Now, can I just make a make a quick uh, observation? Are these to outside or are these? Those are to the outside, yeah. Those are the we, side, haven't, side we haven't doors. found spots for gold in yeah. the other two buildings. I want to just, just a quick observation, a little hypothesis here. If we, in theory, just kind of found a way to just dump it all just anywhere, What's the romance? What, what's wrong with that? If you they then will they will go like what the f where did this? But, but they'll probably go huh? What, they're not they're not gonna immediately. You, what if these we, people <laughs> will go like what the f is all this? And they'll get rid of it. Or they'll what if we hide, hide it in a barrel or something? Are they that smart? Gonna, they're, they're gonna, but then if we hide in a barrel, it will look planted to the authorities. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Like uh, the main yeah, the main okay. thing is that then you tip off the authorities. The authorities come and raid the building. They see a bunch of stuff Random. that's been just stolen, just like anything, and they go. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't okay. think this, this is how the custodians yeah, would store it. They wouldn't just put ten thousand gold like steel the drugs. I think like my, the, my point is, the, it's just the custodians' guards. word against. Or, I feel like they would though if they stole them all in one. Th in the, one sang the sanguine guards, like the co cops, essentially would turn up and be like, "Yo, bad guy, yeah, see you've got evidence," and they'll arrest them. But like detectives will go, "Something feels wrong here. Okay, Something okay, feels okay, fishy," yeah. and they'll look okay, into okay, it. Okay, and right, right. I mean, if you I'll, say I'll, so, I'll drop you're it. The, and Rob's the one that's saying so. I am giving you the challenge that you. Yeah, need to plant Rob's these things saying, in the right let's places. see what the detectives say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continue, continue. All right. we, we need to search <laughs> the rest of the place. Okay. So, what's Oh, wait, it? there's something through this room? Uh, these, these are all side doors to the outside. Oh, sorry, this okay. is the so entirety of building. the warehouse so, building. So, so far, weapons? Yeah. What else, sorry? Slave child. Slave child, yep. That's um, it, really. You, I'll, I'll it say that you also find Ominous like, onyx statues? Yep, you also, those also caught your attention. Um, and we you can't do a spell casting check through his eyes, can not we? Through him. Damn. Okay, so that's the only real concrete thing with weapons. Okay. Uh, you'll you'll find that the Erringal steel would go in this warehouse as well. Go. Cool. This steel okay. I'm gonna write this down because yeah, this yeah. will be important shortly. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think this mech's been placed down here for any particular reason. No, no. Go. No, no, with no. all of the crates and barrels and sacks and things, the food and wine might. Fit in here as well. Yeah, yeah. The food, wine, the spices, and the the whiskey and stuff might be. Okay, in here. let's. We, you we, might we, have to check what's in the barrels and things once yep. you get in there to see if any of it's alcohol or whatever. Cool. 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 Uh, he is getting out of the place, but all the doors are closed still. So what's he doing? Same way to get out, I guess. He explodes. <laughs> no. Uh, 
That's a good question, actually. I reckon make, it just an, goes make an intelligence check for me as Bob. <laughs> One. A million. Sixteen. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> so sixteen. You think about her, he explodes, and then you go, oh, I can. And then you can yeah. dismiss him wherever you want and then re re reappear yeah. in next year. So you can just get him out of there if you want. Yeah, yeah, I, I genuinely well, was thinking there, there, <laughs> there, there, still are, there are other, other places. Yeah, yeah. For yeah, but he can just but I bring can him just out go. and send him back in again. For, then, for experience, can we just kind of go, what's it kind of just, he explores everything. So we no, there are need dangers to, get him into to the other doing buildings. so because yeah, of need stealth tricks and stuff. There is a chance that people find I'm just aware that this is kind of like, yep, he explores that part, cool. He, he explores that part. It was, yeah, because he rolled well on stealth. It could turn out poorly though. He rolled well on stealth until he wasn't seen. Yeah, if I had a nat one on stealth, they would have heard him and squished him or something. Okay, so I do go, oh, fuck it. And I get him to look around, I'm like, oh, fuck it. Sorry, what's it? And he goes, <laughs> a little puddle of viscera just goes. <laughs> 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 so he was invisible. Oh, wait, and then we, suddenly out so of the rewind. Yeah. He goes, Can we do it in a corner or something? So then I'll <laughs> yeah. just find a puddle of viscera. <laughs> All right, what's it? It's time for you to go away. And you know what that means? Yes, a very horrible, painful death. It's the only whoa, way! Whoa, 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 you don't have to kill him! Yes, I do. I don't want him here. No, you just magically make him disappear, you idiot. He goes into a pocket dimension or something. What are you talking about? He's not magic, he's a real thing. He is actual magic. It's like Find Familiar. He just goes away and you can summon him in somewhere else. Look, I think I know my own demon child, all right? Now, what's it? Are you ready? What? Okay, no, what? here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, sorry! Oh, god. I'm sorry, son! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh, god! And Ellie won't die. Oh! Just god, Bob! Ugh. You wanna have a go? Bob, I'm still alive. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. You gotta wait till you see his brains. You're a horrible monster, and he's a horrible monster. He is a horrible little monster, isn't he? I thought he just disappeared into a pocket dimension, but you're Wait, saying he dies rewind, and it's Is rewind a thing we can always do? <laughs> what? There's rewind. The yeah. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> it's a thing when it hasn't quite officially Yeah, when happened. it hasn't officially yeah, yeah. happened. There's this little grey area. So it's can, like when yeah, you send retract. an email, yeah. and it yeah. gives you that gives 30 you second it. window where you can just yeah, undo What does he look like when he just explodes? I'm just worried about Viscera being on the All right, I go, all right, all right. What's it? Um, can you just go behind that crate and check what's behind that crate well, for no, a second? What's the said he goes into a pocket of his No, no. <laughs> Ben. No. Bob, Ben. He's my demon, son. <laughs> okay. Continue. Just walk him into the fireplace. I, 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 I admire the, 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 the Oh, wait, come out the chimney. Come out the chimney. Is he going to do it? Good for it. Yeah, and he's a demon, so he's like fire and vulnerable. I think uh, so. Uh, the chimney. Sure. <laughs> so <laughs> he, I go, all right. <laughs> and I'm about to explode, and I go, wait. <laughs> It's your lucky day, Watson. Because <laughs> he knew what was happening. <laughs> Brother, please. Please don't. It hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so much faster. It's Shut up, pain. Watson. <laughs> I'm like, all right, run into the fire. <laughs> okay, that's better. And run up the chimney. Uh, one more stealth check as he re-enters the room with people in it. Please. He has advantage because he's invisible. Six. 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 Six, 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 six pluses six plus dexterity. Three. All right, so with a nine... That is not enough to beat their passive perception. As he dies, he goes, uh, the, 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 the Selwyn family send their regards. <laughs> <laughs> he comes to, 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 I just love the visual of Finnier and then just, <laughs> and it's like, you're seeing, just, just mad, like, you're seeing, <laughs> like blood you're seeing through his eyes. Like, what is that? You're seeing through <laughs> yeah. his eyes as he, as he scampers across the, uh, the, the tiles of this tavern. Um, and out the co out the peripheral of his eyes, you're pretty sure that you see somebody at the bar turn and look in his direction because of the sound he's making. Yeah. Um, and then there's, a, there's kind of a movement of the flames yeah. as he jumps onto the coals uh, and then scampers up the chimney and out the top. Finds a grate at the top. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, father, I can see. No. <laughs> I can still find a way. <laughs> suddenly the, the flames are. Did so it, oh, it, what is did that? Did Watson or us notice that he got noticed? Uh, he noticed that he yeah, was noticed. I, I reckon w you should send him back down just to see what they're doing because if they're walking in there, we're a little bit f***ed. Yeah, did he just pop his head back out <laughs> yeah. to see what they're doing? Fine. You He's all diligent <laughs> and shit. You know, so just to, re 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 to recap, you could have just made him wherever he was just disappear and, 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 and we could move on. Yeah. Yep. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Storytelling. But I'm having fun playing around with what's it? Yeah. <laughs> You're having fun playing D&D, &D. that's what it's all about. Right. Uh, so you, <laughs> you describe what's just out. Oh, I think he got noticed. Yeah. Uh, and so and Watson comes goes, back down the chimney. Let, let's be sticks his head out the bottom of the chimney. 
and sees that they're just like investigating the bottom of the chairs and things. They they obviously heard a rat of some kind, they yeah, think, yeah. and they're just like looking for it. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's an um, issue of, of any kind. Right. Yeah, okay, sweet. continue. Okay, so he crawls back up out the chimney. Oh, speaking of rats, I should have mentioned with a 25 uh, perception before, you, you did see that there are vermin in the warehouse as well, yeah, just right. small cool. mice and rats and things. So cool. you could have exploded them. Sure. Um, so, yeah. out the chimney, he starts to investigate the rest. He sees that uh, the annex building is about 60 feet wide, about 25 feet deep, and 20 feet tall, mostly made of corrugated Erangel uh, um, steel. And uh, there is a window and a door to this one. He, the door is closed, and he scrabbles up onto the window ledge, invisible, and looks in, and sees that there is a woman behind a desk in there. It's decorated very much like an office. Uh, desk, chair, cabinets, minor decoration around the place. Um, carpet. Is that simple the entire building? Safe. Simple stuff. That's the entire building. There's only any one room safe? to it. Hmm? Can you you do not safe? see any safes okay. in there. And then there's one more building? Uh, and then there is one smaller building that was more permanent. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to that. It doesn't sound like that. there's anything in that one. Off of that one, uh, he wanders over to the smaller building. Um, make a perception check through his eyes as you get closer. 19 plus 10, 29. All right. You can uh, see through his eyes and hear through his ears, right? I sure. think. I think you can sense all of his senses while Definitely. you're within him. Um, as you're getting closer, you can hear the sounds of animals in this building. Um, dingoes, it sounds like. Dingoes, Bloody dingoes. 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 Are there any babies in there? <laughs> you, I mean, he can, can get closer and see if Lol. the dingoes are eating a baby. Right. Okay. No, um, not, so not get closer. The dingoes so stole some babies. Stole some babies. And the babies so that they look, dingoes ate my babies. See, see if he can look through window, a window or anything. No windows in this particular one, but he can tell that it's a kennel of sorts. Okay, sweet. All right. So we. All right. So this I is the only one building of any <laughs> real significance. You can also tell with a 29 that not only can you hear the sounds of dingoes, but they are getting more frantic as you're getting closer. It seems like they have smelt him. Right, right, right. Okay. And they all right, all right, alert. pull back, pull back. What's a pull back? I can as smell he starts you, to pull back, the door <laughs> opens and you see a, an <laughs> elven woman come to the door. Um, she's looking out. She's definitely like the dog trainer, essentially, of these dingoes. Yeah, right. um, um, and she is looking around to be like they they usually like this when there's an intruder or yeah, something right, right, she's right. looking for him but obviously doesn't yeah. see him unless it just freezes <laughs> and, and what, they can't you see go, you. did you see a, a shed full of dingoes is that right well, <laughs> that, that shed's dingo <laughs> not bad guys not, you not set that bad. up didn't you, you not did. thank you not bad very <laughs> good actually what 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 can you see uh, it's a big warehouse. Okay, the warehouse, good. Uh, uh, we'll, he'll need to go into that. There's some guards. Guards, okay, uh, radio. There's an office. Office, okay, oh, we'll there's have a to big, check that. There's a big shed full of full of dogs, full of dingoes, I think. A shed full of dingoes? Yeah. What's that? What, what, what's that? What's, what's there's, a, there's, a big, there's a big like kennel or, or a shed, and it's full of dingoes. Oh. I, so I, I guess you could say, that shed's dingo. What do you, well, I guess, yes, you yeah, can. I mean, the shed has got dingoes in it. So, so, yeah, so that so that sheds dingo. What do you mean by that? Is that a reference I'm not getting? Like, what's going on? What's, uh, is, uh, is, is that something that you've uh, seen on a cool T-shirt or yeah, something? I'm just saying that sheds dingo. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, that would be a cool. That would be a cool T-shirt, Bodger. I suppose it would be. You'd have a dingo on it. <laughs> Look at how happy it's. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll give it. All right. That's a good one. Good. That's, that's good. pretty good. That sheds, that sheds dingo. Very good. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll give yeah. you a hero point. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, is that? Is, Inspiration? I think yeah. we win the game. Yeah, inspiration. I think we win. No, yeah, one hero point wins the game. When you won D&D. Um, I've already got so inspiration. That is everything to... <laughs> so we, <laughs> need to, to be start honest, using. this has not been... I mean, it's been reasonably useful, but we haven't found where the gold and... Drugs. Drugs go. And, yeah. There's uh, all of the buildings that you can see as what's it. Maybe right behind the bar. It could be that... I, I quickly just turn to Fib and be like, do they have other bases of operations? Have we not nah, found... They, they definitely said, like, I was, they were very clear. Um, that this where is where, where, where on earth would they be giving gold drugs? There might be trap tools and stuff in there, maybe. That what's it? Well, yeah, that what's it can't. Maybe. Or we might need to go in and go. <laughs> we might need to yeah crack up. We also might... <laughs> I have to... No, honestly, I have to my... Honestly, do that. Bod just sees the rest of you doing like magic things and goes. But, uh, I see, I see, I look, guys, I see what you guys are doing. It's not that hard. But, uh, <laughs> um, or Rob was saying we might need to crack up in some things that could just be in crates that we need to check out. Yeah. Okay. So I think but the gold, the gold might be in the office. Maybe yeah. I don't know. So don't far, know. all the, the only thing that seems concrete is weapons go here. Weapons and then probably crates some and barrels, random some stuff, stuff in here. In just there. kind of place it around. Oh, weapons and then steel was in there as well. Steel? What yeah. we and steel maybe food and wine, but you we have still the barrels and stuff. 
Um, I'll say as well, uh, what's it didn't go downstairs in the, oh, um, yeah. in the bar, so we can, he goes back into the place, yeah. okay. finds, knocks on the door again. Goes um, like, what the fuck is going on? This time <laughs> they're, this <laughs> time <laughs> they're <laughs> listening out for rat, ratty scrabblings and stuff, so make another uh, stealth check. With disadvantage, uh, with advantage again, because yeah, rolls have been oh, again in case it's a, qu a crit. Better rolls, mate. Not bad, not bad. bad. For um, what's it? Yeah. Three. What's Nineteen. It? Nineteen. <laughs> Sweet. Nineteen plus stuff for, for what's it? Stealth is fine. Um, actually, no. Nope, one of them got a nineteen plus their modifier, so they um, they're probably going to see you. What's uh, what's its stealth modifier? Uh, three. Didn't you think? Because it's dex, right? Yeah, dexterity based. Um, oh, ste skills stealth plus five. There you go. So he's got a twenty-four. Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's, that's okay. what's it has. Yeah, what's it has. Um, stealth possible. They definitely hear him, but then, but because their perception was very close to that, but not enough to pinpoint his exact location. They hear him come in, and you hear through his ears somebody go, "An arrest!" <laughs> Sorry, no, not Cockney. Uh, Australia, mate. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Are these bloody rats turning invisible now? Or something. <laughs> They're all those triggered NPCs being. Ah, right, what's that in? What's that in? What's that in? What's that in? What's that in, mate? Australia. What's that in? What's that in? What's that in? Oh, what's that in? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, stress. Start the plane crash. Australia, mate. These bloody vermin turning invisible. It's bloody. How are we going to get those ones now? Should we get invisible cats? Um, They definitely are aware of something invisible and that might. Increase chances that they'll put some sort of uh, some sort of safety nets in place to deal with invisible creatures. Um, but for now, at least, he heads down the uh, stairs, and he can see that there is a lab downstairs. It is a Some laboratory. Drugs. drugs. It lab is downstairs. a laboratory and a tinkering workshop in one. <clears throat> is there is there drugs? Uh, I mean, he looks around the place, it's pretty big, it's about 60 feet by 60 feet, same as one of these maps, coincidentally. Um, <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> what a weird coincidence. Uh, and he... It's, it's good this entire world is made of grids. Yeah, yeah. just everything really is helpful. in exact, perfect yeah. right, yeah. right angles. <laughs> it's great, it naturally grows. Um, he sees that there are two people in there, uh, currently tinkering away. One person's uh, a gnome with like some big like tinkering goggles on, with like... Yeah. Uh, looking at things real close. Tinkering with something metal. Uh, the other person is a an alchemist doing some potions, brewing stuff with all these weird spirally flasks and things. Um, definitely would be a place that you would put drugs. Probably you can't see any right now, but blackish sludge, sludge and greyish stuff and. Oh, it is. And so it's literally just the gold that we're missing currently as to where to put that. Mm. Um, so either behind the bar or the one, like <coughs> the office. Hopefully a crate. He also uh, can tell, being down in this lab, that um, actually make a make an investigation check using Bob's investigation. Seventeen. Nice. And a roll for You're this. doing well. This is better than fucking, this is better than old mate's treehouse. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Anything. We were gonna <laughs> yeah, just, just existing. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen plus four, twenty-one. Nice. All right. Jeez. You get indication. Everything's coming up, Bob. You get indication until it small, matters. Until until <laughs> it actually starts. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is just the scouting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to scout perfectly, and then I'm just going to burst through the doors, <laughs> trip over, fall on my own sword, <laughs> bleed to death. <laughs> well, that's the end of Bob. There, there are small hints Sandra around. Sandra pops up out of a crate. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> they were smuggling me. Yeah. I asked for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> There are small indications around the lab that it was ransacked a few months ago, and it's been, and they're in the process of rebuilding it. Um, okay. That it was potentially destroyed or broken up. Like you can see that there's like a big crate of just like broken um, lab equipment and stuff, and and there's not that many Bunsen burners and beakers and things around the place. They're rebuilding does, and reusing. Does, does, does that mean burners that and beakers, finished drugs there might still be suspicious? Yeah, potentially. All right. Okay. That's all you're going to get from his little scouting mission. So, bamfing back to you. And this is where I'm going to mix things up a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially turn this into a reverse heist because you're going in to plant things rather than steal things. It's basically a heist mission, but in reverse. And how I like to run heists is. Can uh, we edit this like Ben's like robber thing and <laughs> yeah, board? I knew, like, I, I, knew so I had to, I knew to, I had to get the drugs and the gold <laughs> and the weapons in there. This exactly. is how we had to do it. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
that's pretty much how I like to run heists because you don't watch a heist movie and like see them prepping, 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 and then doing the thing. You just see them doing the thing and then they have flashbacks to how they prepped for it. Yeah, so what right. you're going to do is each individual, you're going to tell me how you prepared for your reverse heist. One thing you did, you can roll an, one relevant skill check. Based on your skill check, you get um, a number of heist tokens, which you can then use when you come up against the challenge. You can then use that to flash back to how did you prepare for this particular cool. challenge. But all of us need to, the way we need to perform this is go, so I knew that they were going to XXX, yeah. X, so I knew that I needed to XXYZ. Okay. Great. Yeah. Bingo, exactly that. So what do you do? What do you do to prepare? You, you've, you've got the lay of the land now. You know what you're going into. Okay. Rogers is but, just going to be like, I knew they'd die by my axe. So I sharpened my axe. So I sharpened my axe. So I sharpened the extra sharp. And I went in with my rage. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Like, rewind time, like rewind really time really before that's canon. I mean, it's my hero <laughs> token, my, uh, my heist token. I love it, like, is it like a real detailed break? Like, I knew that. <laughs> uh, yeah, on I knew that, their necks would be weak to see. On, <laughs> <laughs> on that topic as well, it should be pretty obvious, but to make it explicit, if you go in there and kill anybody, <laughs> I'll yes. turn this into a combat in any way, then it's kind of screwing the whole screwing framing the whole, the whole, thing. Yeah. The whole thing. I hate you. Uh, you were hurt. <laughs> That makes me feel this like this is never not gonna work. <laughs> this is never gonna work. Like, we're putting we're gonna, gonna fuck, we're gonna fuck this up. We're gonna fuck this up somehow. Shing shing. Shing shing. Pop pop. Shing shing. Pop some mushrooms. I, I, I suppose there's a world where, like, say we do get you get discovered if you do, if it happens, and yeah. you either sleep them or or kill them. Yeah. And then dispose of the. There is a world where you can and like like yeah, yeah. like you can, it just you just have to be aware that like if you if something like that happens you go to plan B you, plan you C have, plan you D. You deal with, do with like repercussions. Yeah. Of that. yeah, yeah. Okay, we got to get into this warehouse. Mm -hmm. Now we got to do it stealthily. Okay. okay. Well, well, stealth is optional. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. No, but you know when stealth is optional, stealth is the best choice. It's the smartest way to go. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is that it's just an option. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, it will reduce collateral damage and, you know, we won't die. So, okay. Okay. there's that. Yes, but then you could kill people. Okay. Yeah, but I don't have a counter argument. That's a strong argument. But stealth, okay. stealth, stealth, stealth. Okay, stealth, how stealth. about this? How about a compromise? One sword and I kill half the people. Not me. Stealthily. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I'll creep up behind them before I brutally murder them. Decided! Let's this go! Is, this is the best I'm gonna get. It's okay, I never use Okay, what's the plan? So there's three people here. Three? I was thinking, Apparently. I mean, I could... Apparently three. I could oh, use my while very... You're, while you're here, uh, you also saw somebody in the office building. Yeah. Uh, you also saw the guard on duty in, in the, the guard house. Um, and while you're in the streets outside of this premise, um, you see another couple turn up in a wagon and like... Okay, I'll okay. start. Here so people go. are coming and going. They, there is a family that operates from this okay. building. Look at me here. There we go. I knew I had to get the swords. Cause I'll take the swords. Okay. I knew it. Give me the weapons. I knew I had to get the weapons into the weapon storage place because that's the only place that I took any real notice of when, <laughs> when, when they were talking about it, and that makes sense to me. <laughs> and I saw. I was you like, have been fixated on that. I have we, been fixated on that. Should we take? Should we come up with a group plan first? <laughs> yeah. Before talking about individual our different individual elements. Because like, I was like, like you should have some group together. skill check. Okay, so yeah, we can so, do it. No, okay, so okay, it's okay. individual skill checks. So you just tell me what it is that you're doing to prepare for the mission. And then I'll say like, all right, make an athletics check, make a stealth. Yeah, slide it might make sense to just send one person in with all the stuff, maybe. Well, how about the guy that can turn into a bat? <laughs> <laughs> can all of the stuff fit in one person's horse pocket? Uh, yep, yep, yep. Because horses are pretty big. Portals. Can you portal portal? Do the portal thing. Gen dimension genuinely door. could. Genuinely yeah, could. Dimension could, dimen door. could dimension door. So does dimension door make a sound? I don't think so. What's it? Okay. What's the casting? Is it a verbal component? Uh, the, oh, it's only a bit. Yeah. This is this oh, is going to work out great. So anybody, oh, so anybody, anybody near you when you cast it can hear you casting it, but the spell itself <laughs> doesn't necessarily make a sound. Okay. Very visual though, big purple. Oh yeah, but, yeah. So V is the only thing that's got there. So okay. put it put it into the weapons room, into a small room that wouldn't like because nobody's. I yeah. can't do it a lot, but what we could do is literally I dimension door Bob and and myself in there. Um, we quickly plant it all and we dimension door away again. Yeah. I can do back and forth. Well, obviously, two castings, but send someone in, unlock the back door. Is there an escape route just in case? And then yep, I could do that. Just in case, as and then and then we could come rushing in if if need be as well. Yeah. 
Mm. I could use my favourite spell, Disguise Self. Mm. Classic. <laughs> Classic. Classic spell. <coughs> Classic. Um, like, I'm, I'm just thinking of things. I could disguise myself as one of them, go and knock on the door. Yep. And I mean, I have, right. I, I, have dis- right, I have disguised self as well. Like, yeah. we've seen the guard. You do, with your mask? I do. We, we saw the guard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the is just like... Oh, I'm did you say it. two people <laughs> drove in? A bodge. Yeah, and then away again. Wagons came out again, yeah. Oh, we could disguise ourselves as the two people that we saw do that and be like, oh, we're back, sorry, I forgot to drop off a couple of... F- if we get discovered, yeah, yeah. that is. Ideally, we don't get discovered. If we mm. do, fine. Yeah. We forgot to drop off the other things. We just popped them down. Except Each of you make an investigation check, just real quick. 18. 19. 20. Shit, dog. Not 20. Uh, Not 20, dog. 19 plus 4, 23. Baradun falls on his face. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? No one. Uh, yeah, no one. <laughs> no one and not 20. 18 plus. Baradun is just standing in front Everyone of Everyone goes, wall. I know, and I go, <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, there's a wagon approaching. Oh, oh this yeah. is good. We'll see if they turn in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they are. They're turning in, so it must be a delivery. Ready, ready, yeah. ready, ready. Right, well, oh, guys, I saw the compound. It's over there. Shh, shut up. No, the compound's over here. That's, That's just a random building. I think it's a bird. It's a bird. It looks, it looks a dragon. It's a dragon. There's a dragon in the sky. So there's two drivers. Yeah. That's the if you have a close That's look the at them, maybe you can disguise self as them later. Yeah, right. Every right. hour on Get the hour. Get another moustache going. Yeah, so it's like like every hour on the That's hour. a pretty lady! Yeah, we're, doing, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot of... Because we're in Australia. We're, we're doing some reconnaissance at the moment. How the fuck was he at the high source? Right? I, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's water never, over never. there! I'm going to go for a swim! I hope he drowns. Hmm. That'd be uh, ideal. Ideal. They've got dingoes. That's dingo shit. That's dingo oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's just dingo. That's dingo yeah, shit. That's dingo yeah. shit. That shit's dingo shit. Um, you all, uh, you three, all got a really good look at the two people that drove in and Damn, sorry, um, me. and and came back out again. Um, you also recognise that they had a resemblance to someone you know, uh, and you, you rack your brains trying to think of it. That bard that helped us kill the hill giant. Ellie's character. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. I was like, what? The Ellie's character. I uh, yes. the, oh. the one with the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Like fami- what, what, familial going, familial resemblance. What's going on? What's happening in uh, your brain? He just going, goes no, he just watches what, them go. I noticed that on? one of the drivers that was coming in and out uh looked a lot like um you remember that bad El- that El- the Alduina? Bad, that the yeah yeah. Remember her? Ellie. <laughs> what was her last name? Harwa. <laughs> <laughs> what was Alduina's last name? I think it was last name Ali. <laughs> Wasn't it Custodian? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> No. Yes, it was. Was yes. It? yes, yes, yes. I yes, guess yes. so. That's a detail that, like, I don't know. Elduina Elvina Custodia <laughs> is her name. There you go. In it goes. Yeah. I'm actually remembering now, yeah, it was Custodia, now that I think about I'm it. I'm also, even with a one, remembering now <laughs> uh, that <laughs> shit. Well, I mean, I can make a remembering check, I guess. I yeah, can. You can just remember. Wait. Doesn't that elf look familiar to you guys? No. Nope. Huh? Are you sure? No. Yeah. Uh, maybe she should. Uh, maybe. She, like a family resemblance to someone you've met, maybe. Is that something? my sister? Nope. Guys, it looks a lot like that elf, the bard that we used to travel with. Who, who, who the heck are you talking about? Alduina. Okay. And remember her last name? Wasn't that like three years ago? Yeah. No, it's only three and a half months. I wasn't with you, so I don't know why I know that, but it was three and a half months ago in game. I don't believe yeah, that's her a weird name thing. was that's a weird Al- thing for you to say. Her yeah. name was Alduina Custodian. Whoa, what? What other name do we know that's Custodian? No idea. No idea. I wow. start asking random questions. Alduina, look at the top of the warehouse over there. It says Custodian Industries. Yeah, that's a weird coincidence. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's good that there's no like higher power relying on you guys remembering that information from three years ago. That is very good. Yeah. Not canon. She freed some slaves in Straya and was escaping from her family. That's right. Uh, there, there's the no only, way we can The work only backstory that she gave you was, I'm on the run from some high elves in Straya after freeing some slave children. And her guys, last I name think was we let custodian. her go. There's nothing to be gained and my here. My last name is Custodian. Oh, there's, there's so then no when I, synergy so then when I was like, ah, they're finally in Straya. The Custodian family smuggle people. And you were all like, yep. And I was like, Hard none out. of them remember that at all. Not at all. So not this is her family, family that she's running Good away job, from. Yeah. Not an ounce. Her own yeah. family. Her own family. So, so wait, she is. So when you, when well, you put that in the When you say I, with my net 20, I recognize someone that looks familiar. 
what you're saying is that it is her. No, no, no you're not. Okay. Familial that's resemblance that's to her. Okay, okay, okay. okay. that's what it. sparks you going. <coughs> oh, this is the one so you're running away from. So, so, not twenty. I don't remember. I just remember saying. That, pa- that person. I just guys, saying, not twenty. Guys, guys, no, 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 no. I just remember that person. Character, that that person walking out. Remember that bard. From, from what does that have to do with any of this conversation? <laughs> remember, she was <laughs> from. Re- she was a custodian. The same conversation. She was a custodian. Remember, remember, custodian. Yes. Yes. Custodian, <laughs> and, and so she was the <laughs> smuggling of the people. Remember? Yeah. The whole conversation yeah. we just had. Yeah, yeah, I do remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. There, there it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, anyway. 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 Forget that. Uh, let's, I reckon we continue with the plan. So I, I can't. I didn't see the face well enough, did I? So no, I you, I mean, you, you face well enough. No, but we've just told to. you that. But no, but sorry. In terms of you, doing in a, in terms of doing disguise oh, self, disguise on self, one end, I, you yeah, I can't do it. I didn't see them. Um, so someone you else. Could, needs you've seen, you know, Ellie's uh, <coughs> Elduina's face well enough that you could be like, I'm going to disguise myself to look kind of like her, but different, like a male version of her or something. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be a bad idea. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you, two of you, can do the two people that just drove away. I can see the guard in the guard tower. Yeah. I just disguise self as him and <laughs> walk up to him. <laughs> but we don't have a fourth person to disguise yeah, self so as. It's also as a little saying. bit suspicious that the guard isn't in the guard tower. He's in here for some reason. So you don't let me they finish. Asked him to, you don't let me finish. Him. So what I was saying. Right. Is that we could disguise ourselves mm-hmm. like that. Good plan. Good plan, budget. So, uh, so Greg and Bob. So Greg and Bob. Uh, the plan that we were already talking about. Yeah. Disguising ourselves as uh, yeah. as the sure. custodian. Bodger comes custodian. up with plans just a few seconds after we've described the plan. <laughs> <laughs> what is your like, what is your preparation? You can tell me like, oh, we spend the rest. Uh, my preparation is I'm going to spend the rest of the day looking to see people coming and going. Okay. That can be your preparation. I'll ask you to make a perception or an investigation check. Yeah, right, your right. perception might be like I I uh, I try and go to, uh, into the nearby town and I sweet talk one of the guards when he comes off duty and I try and like get the password to get into the place or whatever. And I I'll can roll walk. a persuasion check or you can be like, oh, I go I to can... the bar and I and I pickpocket a key from him and that can be your, and I'll be like. You know, slide a hand. Okay. I, I, you, so you we just tell me something you do, and we'll do one of these plans. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me one thing that you do that is like something that would fit okay. into an Ocean's Eleven kind of movie. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. I will ask for a single check that will acom- encompass your entire preparatory stage, and Go. I will give you a bunch of tokens. And then later, later on, when you need them, you can be like, "Oh, I don't have the door, the key to this locked door. I can use my token and say, flashback. This is how I got the key.' Yeah. Okay. Right. Go. Okay. All right. Prep preparations. Do the prep, the prep word. I prep. I would no, I know. Prep or we could prep. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep. Middle I know. prep. I mean, it could, like it could be anything. It could be just anything to prep for a heist. Just, yeah. just whatever like, you got. Like, like we could prepare creative. some pr- 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 prepare some for the heist. Like maybe you would go to the bar and like I don't know, try and pickpocket something useful from a guard or something. Or like maybe you could like go to the compound and be like, oh, I'm drunk. I'm an actor. Use your acting thing to oh. somehow like interact with the guards or something. You're charismatic. Charis- you've got charisma, so you mm. can be like, oh, I'm gonna talk to the guards just as examples. I don't know. You've got uh, animal handling or something. Yeah. You could be like, yeah. I'll go, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll go do the dingoes. I know what I know what I'm gonna I know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna use my charisma to talk to one of the guards. I think I got it. I'm gonna act like a homeless guy. Yeah, yeah. and then do the thing at the hey. gate. Hey, you are old pickpocket. You hey, yo. Oh, and I'll use my animal handling to like sort the dingoes out. Yeah. Go away. Oh, yeah, go away. We don't need your Go away. Geniuses. Yeah. Surrounded by geniuses. Tell me what you're doing individually right. to prepare. Yeah. So what I do is I yeah I go oh. and follow them. And they're in, they're in the pub, and I use my mage hand, I go, and I pickpocket them, nice. and try and see if they've got keys or any, right. anything on them. Excellent. Um, make a sleight of hand check. This is gonna. Uh, this is not gonna be like you get some keys. This is gonna be. Okay. Five. So how much? The bad rolls are back. <laughs> <laughs> if it had been a four, it would have recharged one of these. But yeah, it's, <laughs> so it's, so it's the perfect bad roll. <laughs> the perfect bad it's roll. It's perfectly as bad <coughs> as it could have been. Um, are you? Do I use my inspiration? Am I with you right now? Use it. You uh, get it back. Go, yeah, if you do I'll something cool, I'll give you it back. So what okay. does that do? I can re-roll uh, it. Re-roll it. Yeah, it's yeah, a hero sorry. point. You re-roll it. Five. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know. So, Am I with you now? Welcome back. Now that it matters. Now that it matters. <laughs> now that it matters. <laughs> now that it matters. <laughs> go f- myself, basically. And now, now do you all like, I knew I had to do the thing, so I f- up. <laughs> all right, five, um, five for a total of five plus uh, eleven, so still sixteen. Okay, sixteen's still good. That means you get two heist tokens. Sure. 
So you have two of them, remember them? You have two of them, so during the actual Hasty up. mission, you can twice go, oh, uh, I'm going to use mine to flash back to how I have the solution to this particular challenge right now. Yeah, Which you'll improvise at that moment. Yes. yes. Gotcha. And that's when you'll look down the camera and go, I knew, I knew, I knew that I would need this. So, and I then knew you could, I needed an elephant disguise. <laughs> and it, <laughs> and it will, I went and killed an elephant and sucked <laughs> skin in my horse pocket. <laughs> it, will, it will relate to how you got it in, in like, like if you need a key, you pickpocketed it in this moment. If you need a password or something, you pickpocketed it from them in the moment. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. Anybody else? What are you doing for the prep? Oh, God. Um, so, wait, you've just gone off by yourself, or are we like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, this I is saw like, people, montage. I'm, like, I'm, out. I'm out! This is montage where all of the different members yeah, of the all, heist team all, all do their we're thing. We're prepping. <laughs> I've got a thing, if, yeah, if you want to go. Um, so, I do disguise myself, disguise myself, and I want to, that you were saying that there were people walking around yep. the building, yep. like. Trying to uh, other guards, yeah. so I wait until I see one of those disguise self, and then I go, I get on their route, the and I go talk to the guard, right, and I'm yeah. just having a classic like smoke and chin just wag, a chin just wag to him, yeah. just uh, basically trying to get as much info as I can. Perfect. So it's really right. subtly, just uh, like I'm probably there for so a this while. Is, this is going to be some kind so of what so. The, I mean, my name's Perdu, and I'm the high sorcerer, <laughs> and I've. And lost uh, all my powers. What about you? One of your, one what your, about you? One of your charisma checks is going to be performance, deception, or persuasion. Whichever one makes the most sense to you. Yep. Um, I.e., which one you have the biggest the modifier one that I have for? Plus nine in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely didn't do this because of that. Twelve plus nine. Oh, nice. Twenty-one. Uh, you get three heist tokens for twenty-one. Um, all right. I want. I, I, <laughs> so you've you've got so, into the compound. My name's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a far just testing it. You use you've the pull of your high rolls and that's regressing you're to You're hanging out with a, with, a, uh, with a guard. Yeah, I'm hanging with the guard, yeah. Outside. <laughs> but I looked like, well, in the guard tower, I guess. In the guard tower. Was. Okay, right, right, right. Okay. okay. My name's um, Bird. I, I want that. I, what, in my downtime, I'm in prep for the heist. I make my way over to the dingo um, thing. I don't, can I get anywhere with this? Do I have to roll? You can't get into the premises. I don't want to go. Like, uh, into the premises for the dingoes, but. And what, you can't you get into the premises unless you disguise yourself like I did. Um. I'll use his disguise self mask. Can I, so yeah, we can I, I get some sort of you can, finish, you can finish your thought my, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see if yeah, I can yeah, make I, it work. I, I somehow try and get to the, if I, if I can make that work, mm -hmm. get to the dingo thing and using um, <laughs> my animal handling ability, mm -hmm. just kind of start to kind of make. Get them on side. Well, whether it's from outside, kind of like, hey, boy. Yeah, boy. Nice. Just, just get, get them all inside. Get familiar with your scent and things like, so they don't freak out. Hey, we're buddies and blah, blah, blah. Alright, cool. I'm out. Oh, uh, yeah, you've got a mask of familiar faces, so you lend him that. He disguises himself as a guardist and then gets into the premise. So you walk over to the dingoes, yeah, yeah. get them familiar with your scent. Uh, oh, maybe oh. an animal handling check, see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 20. Not 20. I'm not even kidding. Not 20 plus what? Uh, plus animal handling, uh, four. Ooh, one shy. You have three heist tokens, 25 plus would have got you four. Yeah. Um, so 24 total, uh, you get three heist tokens. That's you get some good good heist tokens going on here. All right, last one. What are we doing? Um, I'm gonna try. Remember, and you have to relate whatever you use that heist token for to, to something to, do to with something the... you did. Like maybe it was something you saw while you were doing the dingo yeah. thing as well. That could work. But like... yeah, I'm getting ready to improvise. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got my disguise. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, you can also give you back. Like you're doing your montage, know, montage know, heist part of a movie. Have you ever seen a heist movie? Why am I just continually so, explaining how this works? Okay. <laughs> and give me the mask back. And now, okay, I'm going to dress up like kind of a homeless, or not like a like a, a disheveled mm -hmm. um, local who's stumbling back from a pub and is lost. And cool. I think this this is my home. And I'm like, why can't I get in? <laughs> like, and I like I'm rattling at the door, and trying to and just like, talk and trying to distract the guards and bring them distract outside. Distract the guards, to me. see what see what security measures they yeah, have so against dealing with problems. Nice. Yeah, so, um, that's, that's so this plan. is going to be deception or pers uh, performance. So just check to see which you I've got an, more. You have an of. actor ability, an actor feat, which yes. gives you advantage on any any check made to disguise uh, yourself as somebody else. So yeah, I was going to ask if Greg still had all his. He still got the feet. Oh, yeah, he still got the feet. He took actor and lucky. Um, he still has but those, he just yeah. lost his artifice abilities. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, cool. So sorry, uh, so I'll use uh, deception or performance. Either one you've got advantage for because of your actor feat. Okay, and then rolls with advantage. And rolls with advantage. One good start. <laughs> good thing you have advantage. Okay, seventeen. Oops, seventeen uh, plus 18. stuff is good. Eighteen total. Yeah. Uh, you get two heist tokens. Two heist tokens. Excellent. Right. So between you, you have what's that? Three, six, six ten. eight, ten. Yeah, ten. Ten heist yeah. tokens. Nice. That's good. So, the heist now begins. The challenges that you have to overcome. The first one is the steel fence and the, the guard. 
How how are you getting? I through? killed the fence. So so I knew. <laughs> I knew that, I had to here, we go, go. here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Um, one of my high songs. I knew that the uh, that we'd eventually have to get into the uh, into the compound. Right. So we almost missed it, but there was a hole in the fence that was there the entire time. I got the information <laughs> earlier from the custodian guard. Anyway, weird question. If I was to get into the compound somehow and it wasn't through the front gate, is there like another way in? Oh yeah, mate. Yeah, there's a hole in the fence just down there that hasn't been fixed. It's the only place in the whole compound where nobody can see you. It's crazy. <laughs> Should really fix that. If you watch that carefully, you can see how I manipulated him with great expertise, and he reveals to me there's a hole in the fence. Is there like another way in? Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, there's a hole in the fence just down there that hasn't been fixed. So, we open the dicky hinge, we get through, and we're in to the compound. Bingo. Boom, you are in the compound. Well yes. done. One heist token down. Uh, the next is a uh, the next challenge is that there is a patrol of two guards with dingoes and bullseye lanterns. I knew that we had to get past the guards with dingoes, but I'd been planning for this moment because just earlier I had been using my animal handling skills to calm those dingoes down. <laughs> now I knew that at some stage the dingoes would come around the corner with a guard, and I needed them to run away, so I taught them this. Right, dingoes, listen, listen up. This whistle means run away. <laughs> The guards are tugged out of the way. You are past them. Well done. The next is, uh, by the time you finished all of your prep and stuff, it's now later into the evening. There are more people around now. There's more people in the bar, and there is now a guard on on the front of the warehouse. There's a guard on duty at the front of the warehouse. How sure. is something you've done going to help you here? I also knew. Oh, yeah, I, was gonna, I, 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 I can do something unless someone else wants to. Uh, uh, I got rope. I, I also knew that these guards here were very partial to the dingoes. They'd become good friends with the dingoes. And so using my special whistle, I was like, and one of the, one of the dingoes came up and, and, and then was that, like, hey, I want to play. I want to play with you. It was kind of going, ooh, 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 ooh. And then, and, and then and I was like, ah, come here, come here. And I chased after the dingo Thrown. and went, that shit's dingo. Yes. Now I had predicted that at some stage I would need to teach the dingo to come and distract the guard by playing with it. So I taught them this very complex whistle with my animal handling skills. Now, when I do this whistle, I need you to make a big distraction, do lots of barking. And the whistle goes like this. Yeah. That's dingo Sweet. shit? That's dingo shit. Oh, that's shit. dingo shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. dingo shit. And starts, he went to go starts clean picking up, up things and playing fetch with this dingo. Yeah, yeah. He drops the, it a little bit too, yeah, too soon, so he has to works. go and pick up the thing and distract the thing. <laughs> the guard, it works. The dingo distracts the guard on the duty. All right, now you're in the warehouse. Let's put you on the page. We've got you, we've got you, we've got you. And it's like a real high pitch one that no one can we, good, um, yeah. we haven't brought Cleric Greg for some reason. I don't know who's got him, but we had him last time, I think, and forgot him this time. Oh, well. Yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Can you put them up over there? Yeah. All right, you are in the entrance to the thing, Bob. You uh, We're in. <coughs> I've got two left. Ron's got one left. You guys two. have both got two. Keep in yeah. mind that uh, one of the other challenges, as it were, is that there is a rowdy pub of about a dozen patrons only 60 feet from you now. So there's nobody in the warehouse currently, except the... Do we enter here? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you went oh, in through yeah. the front entrance, through the, entrance, through the, where, the one where the guard was got you, got on duty. Yeah. Cool. I mean, it's so rowdy. It's, they're making a rowdy. lot of noise. They're making noise, but... You are six, you are you are only like sixty feet away. So okay. right. that is Perfect. something you got to keep in mind. Uh, but now we can go back to sort of regular D and D ish sort of things as we decide what to do in this moment. Um, I I we need to start looking forward to put the gold. So yeah. I'm gonna uh, my first thing is starting to just like open lids. Yeah. All right. So you start to look around for lids. Make me an investigation check, please. Probably uh, I follow behind Baradun and close the lids properly. <laughs> just is that what you're doing with your guidance? That's what I'm doing with my guidance? You give guidance. me guidance. I give you guidance. I give you guidance. <laughs> we went, went over this so much at the start. I of the give session. you guidance. So I and that's why I give him guidance. <laughs> okay. It must be in one of these boxes. Oh, um. It must be one in one of these boxes. If someone gave me some guidance, I might. I might be able to find it quicker. Huh? Maybe. I was just saying. Oh, I was, just, I was just saying. If someone helped me, gave me a bit of guidance, I might be able to find it in these boxes. You know? I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Like, you know, if if I was given guidance, yeah. I might be able to find it in one of these boxes. You know? 
Okay, I mean, that's a, it's a weird thing to keep like, saying. Like if someone here had the spell Guidance what a and guided me to where it is in these boxes. I don't understand what you're Use guidance on me, Greg! Code Use words. guidance on me, Greg! Oh, I, oh yeah, guidance. Thank you. So between <laughs> the two rolls, I get, what did you say I'm rolling? Uh, investigation. Uh, I'm just I patting get, him on the back of the head. Guidance. 18 to Guidance. Nice. Um, guidance. Slapping him on the back of the head. Guidance. Guidance. With an guidance. 18 investigation, yeah. you can see that some of these things are indeed um, storeroomy kind of equipments for the, the bar, the tavern. So it does include some food items, some drink, food. that sort of food, stuff. Food. food. You start food immediately chucking the, 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 uh, the rare, things, yeah. Yeah. Guidance. guidance. Rare orcish spices. Lead. Guidance. Wait. Get us lead. God. Lead. Can I see guidance real quick? Yeah. So Probably you see with this casting it. components, V and S? Yeah. So that means that they're, very in order short. to cast that spell, yeah. very short. <laughs> That's a very short spell. Very short spell. <laughs> it means that there is a, an S for somatic component, so there's like a hand symbol you do. Yeah. And then V means vocal, so there's a vocal component to the spell as well. <laughs> and in my, and in my rule, exactly. in my games, a vocal component, because it's specifically using the weave magic and the, the way that your vibrations of your sound is literally affecting the world, yeah. it has to be loud enough for anybody within like 30 feet to be able to hear it. Okay, so he said so you can't yeah, whisper the spells, feet, otherwise 60? it does magic. Okay. So, you can't get so if you start getting closer up here okay, and still you? casting yeah, okay. spells, like they're likely to hear you. It'll have the opposite effect. Okay. Yeah, it'll be, so yeah. you're wh whispering as much as you can, but you're... Okay, so okay. As, as soon as we're within 30 feet, hold. which we're not yet... Yeah. But then All right, so you start in investigating things. Uh, you find where to put the, the wine, the whiskey, and the uh, herbs and spices. Yep. You also find that the rats and vermin that you've seen around the place have started to get a little bit, m a little bit larger um, at night time. They're a little bit more active, so you see that around the place there are a few. They are getting larger? Uh, yes, they are. Oh. The, the numbers Magic are rats. getting larger. Oh, sorry, the numbers are getting, the numbers oh, are getting larger. There are no, more, no, no. Of them, more of them. But there are also... Large ones, oh, bigger ones. More of them and bigger ones. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Probably not a problem, right? Real? More of them, Custard and they're starting to scatter around a little bit. Um, like a rat king. Yeah, that's right. I was trying to think of what the name is. Is there. Right. One, two, three, four, five. So there's that many. One, two, three, yep. four, five, six, so seven. Um, uh, is this, are we treating this as a flashback? Or a problem? We can? I they're not yet a problem. They're, they're just they're just a, so a lot of vermin around. Without having to stuff. use like it's just that they are high potentially going to. Can I just be like anim animal handling? Hey, <laughs> you, could, you can try. Rules. Yeah, you can. So while he's investigating crates and you're fixing yeah, things behind him, go, you're going to use an animal yeah. handling check to try and make sure these rats aren't a problem. Hey, we'll make go, me an we'll animal go, handling check, please. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of cheese. Cheese. Where did you get cheese? We've got rations, don't we? I suppose, yeah. <laughs> People don't usually take ra cheese as part of a travelling rations. <laughs> oh, I knew I had to take cheese. goes off. I knew I had to take cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what food items do I have? <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, here we go. 16 plus 4. Hey, nice. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. Dirty 20, yeah. You managed to, um, you managed to assuage the, um, the, the doubts of your fellow companions around whether these rats are going to be a problem for now. Uh, the okay. smaller ones, anyway. The larger Wallaby. ones Wallaby. May, may, be, may still be an issue. Shall we oh, quietly um, creep up and put weapons in the weapon room? Yeah, I was just going to say, while you guys are doing that, I sneak up into the weapons room and... Alright. Oh, by the way, this is my weapon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you are sneaking, so make me a stealth check, please. I uh, meanwhile... Come on, guys. Just, just f***ing... Just... Come on. 16. Plus... Plus a, plus a million. million. Yeah. You easily manage to get up there. The you As you walk up there... You're a lot heavier than um, what's it? So as you walk up the stairs to this extra room, you can Scary. see that Scary. they are creaky wooden stairs that you hadn't noticed when what's it was doing it. So you're creaking creaky wooden stairs, but with that stealth, you manage to whoop, avoid them. Step towards the edges so that it doesn't bow as much yeah. and doesn't creak as much. You open the door, you see a bunch of weapons in there. Sorry. Very nice looking weapons. Um, very very sharp looking. Nice. I'm gonna nice I'm looking gonna, weapons. I'm gonna try something and let's see if Rob allows me to do this. Um, I knew that the, we're going to need to plant the drugs somewhere in the building, but we'd seen through Watson's eyes that the drug room had recently been busted and there weren't actually drugs down there. So I talked to the guard about where they're keeping the drugs at the moment, and they're in a crate in the warehouse temporarily. <laughs> so we're going to put the drugs in a crate in the warehouse temporarily. Uh... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's going to be very difficult to get into that lab and find the drugs, but I'd planned ahead when I was talking to that guard. Anyway, um, new topic. Refresh my memory. Where do we keep the drugs these days? Is it in the kitchen? Is it in the office? Is it in the warehouse? Is it in the laboratory? Uh, well, you know, it used to be in the laboratory, mate. Of course, yeah, 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 Then it got trashed, so we had to move it into the warehouse in a crate. <laughs> 
He was speaking in rhymes and riddles, but I knew exactly what he was saying about the drugs. It used to be in the laboratory, mate. Obviously. Of course, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it got yeah, trashed, yeah, yeah. so we had to move it into the warehouse in a crate. But it's the real logic. And he also bit. said, that everything is, they is, steal is, is in this crate, so <laughs> we can just put it all in it's there. It's the same crate. <laughs> for everything. He also said the main bad is here, and, and you can kill him with just one <laughs> thing. One I, will I'm not, I'm, I'm, I will allow I'm skirting the line. To I will allow it. I will allow He says that they are... I'll say that uh, your hero token is to allow it to be in this warehouse rather than downstairs. Because we, but he did no not, way we're getting past 12 people downstairs. But he, but he did not tell you where in the warehouse. He just said, yeah, they're storing them in the warehouse. We're going to have to look then. So you'll have to, you'll have to look so around, but like, with your hero token, hey, you've managed so to say that you don't have to go downstairs. Where are we downstairs. storing the drugs now that we got broken into a while back? Just out of curiosity, where are we storing <laughs> those? Because as my sorcerer, I need to know f yeah. where the drugs... I mean, f <laughs> my, name's, my name's Steven. Sorry, my Sorry, name's Steven. Did I say Baradun? I meant Steven. I mean, whose face is this? <laughs> whose face am I wearing right now? <laughs> whose face am I wearing? By that I mean, who am I? I mean, I'm me, right? Tends to vote. you. That would be the, the most unsettling thing to listen, say in the general conversation. Listen, that's song. What do I look like right now? I yeah. That would be the most horrifying thing, just be having a chat with somebody random. They, they do just... Who's, whose face who's am I wearing right now? Wearing right now? <laughs> like, I can't, oh! You have a mirror, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Um... Okay, so well then I start looking around for which particular uh, uh, barrel the drugs are in. All right. Um, yes, you start looking around. Um, Greg, what are you doing? You're guidancing him. I'm guidancing him, Baron. Uh, as long as wait, we're getting close to the door. Okay, we're now we'll start stop, I'll stop within yes. thirty feet. We're getting close to the door. Really close to the door. I'm going to. I'm quietly doing this now, just looking in. Yeah. Quietly doing it. All right. Um, yeah, looking around the place. You are very lucky. Several rounds have passed and nobody's uh, heard you. Nobody's come out to, to investigate <coughs> anything. And what's more is the rats haven't attacked you, which they might have done with uh, I, uh, up to the DC of them, um, what it would take Wallagoo. for them to attack you. But with your Wallago, uh, they've decided oh, that they're, they're was... feeling relatively placid. Um, um, you find them, The let's say that the, they're over here somewhere in these drop, ones, the, the drop, close oh, to the very drugs. Close. Guys, drugs. Oh. Real close now. No more guidance. I will have. I will have you all make a. There it is. I'll have each of you make a stealth check as you get closer. Mm. Now you'll be fine. Oh, be Bob, fine. Has, give the bottle oh, drugs oh. to Bob. Fourteen. Find <laughs> the drugs over there. Fourteen plus eleven, twenty-five. Uh, is it dexterity? Uh, yeah, it's stealth, stealth. So it's, it should and be one of the skills 15. under dexterity. It's a dexterity-based skill. Probably. Yeah, I got three plus one. I got eight. Eight total. A four total? 18 total. An 18 total. You two are fine. Yeah. Uh, you two <laughs> describe how you make a bit of noise, like you, something squeak. happens. Squeak, squeak. So I'm like, um, I'm like, oh, what about these ones? And I go, Greg, shush! <laughs> Greg, keep it down! Go, hey, Bunch, what about these ones? Shh! And Greg! Just, oh, oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> you're like, oh, I should have been, I should have been quiet! Oh. Guidance! <laughs> What? Greg, stop making so much noise! Shh. What? Shh. Greg, stop making so much noise! Oh, oh, oh shit, sorry, Shh. sorry! Sorry, we have to be very stealthy. Greg, listen to me. When he says shh, it means stop making so much noise. Hey, Bodger, okay, don't talk. Shh. I'm not making the noise. Shh. Shh. You're now you're shh. making noise. Shh. Now you're both making shh. noise. Shh. Shush! Shut up! Shut up! It's shut up! Shh. We have to be stealthy! Stop talking! Shh. Now who's yelling? Shh. If the guards Stop. come, it's not gonna be my fault! I'm getting fing lightheaded shushing you two. Now shh! <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to quickly do it. I knew that we were eventually gonna f up and make a noise. This is exactly <laughs> what you need to do because as the uh, as the Quickly uh, I knew that, um... As a, as a strain starts to come out to see what the noise is, this is your next challenge, what happens? I knew that I was about to mess up and make a noise. So I'd actually spent the last several days befriending all of the guards <laughs> and getting to know them personally, several by name. Days. So I was like, hey guys! So remember how, <laughs> you remember how you prepared for this? Was the homeless, rattling the thing as a homeless, homeless guy? guy. <laughs> they came the, over the to tell sense. you to piss off and then you made friends with them. No, like I, uh, no, this is days ago. <laughs> Oh, do, are we are we are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna jump day forward days? Oh, okay, we, so we can jump forward days if you want. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but remember, uh, I'm keeping a track I, of days. Okay. No, I. I have a. You do one, please. I will do this one. <laughs> yeah. I knew that, that, the, the that we had made. I knew that at some stage we were gonna go. Now, for the most complex trick of all, I knew that I would have to teach the dingoes to make a distraction. 
So I use my animal handling skills and all of my years of training to teach them this whistle. I want a silent one, but you can hear it. What a goal. I got them barking and distracting, making a loud noise. Yeah, exactly, perfect. All right, All right. so with your three dingo good. tokens used uh, expertly, this guy comes to the door to see what the noise is, but just as he opens it and looks through, he turns back because the dingoes are shouting and making a ruckus. And, uh, oh, it's just the dingoes. Oh, <laughs> it's just the dingoes, mate. Bloody dingoes. Oh, they're back on those bloody babies bloody, again. Bloody babies. And then he closes the door again and walks back into the And bed. then quietly I just say to Greg, <laughs> That shit's Dingo. <laughs> and I go, I don't understand the reference. <laughs> that shit's Dingo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if rats have supersonic hearing like dogs do and see if they also freaked out at the noise. They do. The rats freak out at the noise, so the next challenge becomes that the rats start to attack. Can you move your people oh, up here because you're all here? Wait, can I? Oh, look at that. that oh, shit, oh, that oh shit's wow. Dingo. Is it still available to buy or are we just Dangling it in their face, and I can't have it. <laughs> you guys can't this have this. So if that you'd have been, this is that what, was you'd have available been, once. This is yeah, what you if you'd have been had. quicker, next time, you could have that. get on the store quicker. That um, might be back. Uh, okay, if uh, I don't even know if this is gonna work, I wanna, I'm gonna try something. Um, I uh, pull out as uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember what the I think it's an eight max animate object, tiny, uh, tiny, tiny ones, objects, yeah, I yeah, or I think nine it's, at most. I think it's 10 for tiny for ones. So I'm, I look, pull out a whole up. lot of yummy food that rats would absolutely love. Oh, uh, yeah. Scatter it on the floor. Um, animate objects. Okay, I'm far enough away from the door that they're not going to hear me do this because it's a kind of somatic component. Cool. Um, scatter a whole lot of food on the floor and it animates and it all runs around the rats and then runs out the door. Awesome. I love that. That's very clever. Um, Animate objects is... As, as long as it's more than seven. That's an example right there of D&D &D, D &D creativity that I would just Ten. never apply. Yeah, Sam. I'm apply. just sitting here going that. <laughs> so I, I just go, um, oh shit, pull out food. <laughs> just ten, ten pieces of nuts and rations and like dried bits of jerky and stuff. The rats are all going to attack you because they're freaking out at his hypersonic whistle. Um, they start to attack, but then this, this ob these uh, little bits of all nuts the little foods go grow little legs and start and just scatter around the place. And the rats piss off. Um, I'll have you make a wild search check. Yeah, yeah I do need to do that. <laughs> uh, and it is up to two because you did your disguised selfie uh, thing earlier. Right, that one's 13. There you go. Correct. Cool. So you're now up to three trigger. Can you move that one? I couldn't reach. The rats all scatter to the, the wind, as it were. Excellent. You have gotten past one, two, three, four, five, six of the uh, issues. And, oh, seven of the issues, because the dogs might smell intruders is also one of the issues, but you dealt with that uh, just by your roleplay. You managed to Look at put Adam the Erangel Steel yeah. stuff in. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, we've right, done, we've done the drugs as You've well. done the Erangel Steel, you've done the drugs, you've done the weapons, uh, you've done, done the, the food, food and wine and, and spices. What have you got left? I want to go up and <laughs> check it. those onyx statues. I think got gold? You've got jewellery? Like oh, I thought we jewelry. dealt with the gold. No. Gold and jewellery, you need okay, to put well, in some kind of a vault or something. Yeah. Oh, and we don't know where that vault is. No, we don't. I, I have a feeling it's in that office with that woman. Yeah. Um, but while we're in here, I want to quickly go and check those weird onyx statues. <laughs> Bob said that out loud them. and I'm going to uh, use... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to use... <laughs> investigate magic. Oh, the metagaming is strong. I'm gonna go look at these statues. <laughs> huh. What was that? Did you find some magical statues, Bob? I didn't say that. You found you found all of these magical statues. Very good work. How did you know? I didn't say anything. I mean, I I intuited your must mean magical statues in the shapes of animals that might be magical, and I'm gonna do detect magic on them. Detect magic. Metagaming. And this is a lesson, ladies and gentlemen, about metagaming. Always do it. I'm gonna go Hello. look at these statues. I'm also gonna look at Lantern the of revealing? Question mark. Oh, look yeah. at that! Uh, in, that reveals invisible creatures. Yeah, <laughs> it's never useful. Yeah, is that all it does? <laughs> it, it has invisible, been useful invisible at creatures times, then he hasn't used it. Oh, yeah, um, if it's invisible, it reveals yeah, okay. it. Uh, so it's useful. You look around, you look see around. that there are no invisible creatures in the room. Yeah, yeah. That's that can be useful. Cool. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, look go. at the objects you discussed. What was it? Detect magic. Another wild search check. Isn't detect could, magic could a cantrip? I, could I? No. Uh, detect magic is a first level spell, but it is a ritual. So if you want to spend 10 minutes casting it, then you don't spend a spell slot. Yeah, I'll spend a spell slot. All right, so sorry. wild surge. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm rolling to make sure I don't wild surge. Yeah. And I don't. I cool, so it's up to a four yep. trigger. 
Um, as the detect magic goes off, you can tell that these little statues definitely are magical. Um, heavily transmutation magic. They have been altered in some way. Oh god, so they got dogs or something. Way. They're all different animals, lots of different exotic looking animals and things, and you have heard that the custodians smuggle live creatures. Oh, people and creatures. creatures they've smuggled. So yeah. it could be that they've right. smuggled well, creatures in as, as not, objects. Not security cameras. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah. smuggled creatures in as objects. Interesting, mm. okay. So I grab Leap. one and throw it on the floor. <laughs> all right, as <laughs> no, you do so. Now it's too late, I said it. And, and rewind. <laughs> yeah. Rewind for comedy. <laughs> yeah. comedy just a comedy I used my comedy offer. token. That was a comedy offer. I do have a I do have a friend who's ha who has a house rule where it's like because he had so much of that at the table that he just couldn't get through a session and he goes house rule once per day I can just say that happens <laughs> I'm doing it yeah. and it really cut down on the like okay well, let's let's so let's save those for when it's really funny just in yeah. case he goes yeah, yeah. that's that's um, it sweet okay well we've, we need to find the golden jewelry is what we need to do yeah you need to find a place to put the gold you, you, the jewelry does the not safe seem to be in here that might be in the office i would say so, so we need to get out that of would here make sense. we never got a proper scout in there did we no no, just no. The, at the windows because what was, was looking. looking around because there was a woman working that, in there that's i wonder if she's still there i think we give you all of the gold and yeah. uh and, and, and you, run away and jewelry i and run you, away you, and you i see. live a life of luxury <laughs> you would on yeah, ten thousand gold. gold yeah I, i'm not so sure about giving him all the gold yeah yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Uh, uh, is there going to be any particular place we should put this gold? Well, I always keep mine in my horse pocket for easy access, you know? Bob! What? You're not meant to eat the freaking gold! Why not? Because we need to put it in the vault! But what are you... Uh, I mean, I, I guess you can finish that piece. But now we need to put more gold into yeah. the... Stop, stop eating. So no more, no can more. I, can I try a piece? Oh I mean, my god. It's my gold, but... No, it's not. It's the gold we have to put in here. I hear you. You are hurt. Look, give me the gold. Give me the gold. No, you're going to eat it all. Give me the gold. Oh my god, that's delicious. Pretty good. Right. That's, that's a pretty good gold. That's really One good bit gold. of gold. This isn't how it played out at the table. That, no, it that is. Because it's happening here like this, which means it happened there like that. Yeah, completely different. And this is going to get edited into the episode. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, you're right. Sending him by himself is a <laughs> bad plan. Yeah. No, I mean, it's actually not a bad plan if it's stealth stuff. Well, it's, but um, you as it's a person. more about your, it's, your, 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 it's more <laughs> yes. about you as a person. It's you as a player. It's, it's you we do not trust. It's, um, it's Bob. It's Bob and Ben. Okay. It's a, <laughs> Let's trust him. The, the, and the longer we stay in here, the we, the three of us almost need to just. We can re flash back. We knew ben, Bob was going to betray us, so we <laughs> so we killed him. So we, <laughs> we knew we um, knew that the so guy. So we actually never sent him at all. Yeah, I guess I guess you could give me all. Like you could hang around to help in case shit goes. Pear shaped. Sideways, yeah. um, but I guess, yeah, we need to get out of here and go and investigate that yeah. room, see okay. if there's still anyone in there and working and yep. whatnot. So. Cool. Okay. So we're out the side door, the front door? I, it's that way, isn't it? The building? Uh, the other building's over this oh, side. Okay, out this door then. So going out that door. Before we go out the door. What about the child? What about the child? Oh. <laughs> and then say, we should, we should just leave. I'm sorry, Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. We need to leave no. things as they are. I'm not leaving it. I am refuse to leave. Oh, this, this eldest is a, this, child. Oh, this no. is a moral quandary. Oh, no. yes, it okay, is. Greg, no. we are, we're leaving the child. We're not leaving the we're child. Leaving hang, the child. Hang, it's hang either on. you part, Greg, part of my the, plan the or doing it myself. Tomorrow, the custodians are going to get busted and the child will get released. We, we we're actually might get things shipped out. Greg, we're leaving the child. Let, let me lay my case, okay? We, the most important here is set thing here. By the way, when... Is like that scene in the other guys where they have a fight at the funeral? The most important here thing here is saving the world from Kalafak. I am not leaving her. Listen to me. I'm saving the world from Kalafak. And if, if, if she gets discovered, and then our plan falls to shit, then we don't get help saving the world. Okay, let's uh, shush, 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 shush. I can hear rolling. <laughs> so let's, let's shut, uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use signs. Hark! Is Let's that rolling I hear? <laughs> it's conversation elsewhere. We start doing sign language. You can message inside of his head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shut, shut the f*** up, Greg. We're leaving. <laughs> you both got telepathy. We're leaving yeah. her behind. I'm sorry, Greg. I know it hurts, but nope. she'll get saved tomorrow. Yeah, she'll get saved tomorrow. No, but if I come back, she... she and there's me tell... You can I, talk I, back. back. Message, I know, because she might, you know, she might be sent off uh, tonight. And... This could what be our last chance to save her. What are we going to do with her? her? You know, like, set her free. <laughs> Just field. release her into, she's not a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> like, release her into the city. Better than Greg cage. opens the cage and then just rattles it. Go! Well, I assume she'll be not because she'll get s saved by the police. The, 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 the uh, uh, 
authorities will know what to do with her. We're just gonna what? Guys. Set her free into the city? It's a little girl. I'm a cleric of the light, not a cleric of the leave children behind to die! <laughs> He screams loudly. In the I, I, this is telepathy. <laughs> this is telepathy. Um, I'm sorry, Greg. I think we need to leave her. Let's, um, have a, let's have a vote. Who wants to leave the girl? Silently put up your hand. This is. Hmm. Um, what do I do here? Well, sorry, we had a vote. We no, I, I didn't agree to the vote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that's the point of a that's vote. So the, the three of them start to. The long, the longer that we stay in here, I'm sorry, the more chance that we're going to get picked up. Yep, that's what So I'm she's here, right? Yeah. Yep. So I start walking in, but I can't help but like, glance at her. What do I say? And like, You see her scared and huddled and. Tell her that we're going to save her. Tell her that we're going to save her. No, I, go, I, go, I go over. Oh, and, Greg! Yeah. Right. I go over and I'm trying to. Try, and, and I'm silently studying the lot. Shh, 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 quiet, 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 quiet. I knew, I, I knew that Greg was going to go. <laughs> 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 and I, I knew that Baradu knew that. <laughs> <laughs> And I knew that both of them were going to do this. <laughs> and I just whistled. <laughs> retract, 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 Fine. <laughs> Fine. Fine. We're, we're okay with that risk. Fine. We're all okay we're, okay. I don't yes. care that much about your mental state, to be honest. You can't control him. Yeah, you, you, you put me back! <laughs> Greg, you don't have long. We, we all walk out the door and fall into this weird <laughs> mat of like... <laughs> what the fuck? Of <laughs> ah, God. Someone cast Entangle? <laughs> Okay, Greg. I have I have a sincere okay. moment. Hey, 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 I have one sincere moment. I go, Greg. Pot Potter comes back inside. Greg, seriously, I know I feel what you're feeling. I yes. do get I get it. <laughs> I do get it. Yeah, look, Greg, none of us want to You're out there. You're out there. You're out there. I'm well, having, I'm I'm having I duck a my head back in. I stay outside. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. <laughs> fine. Oh shit. Yeah, it's no worries, mate. So I've been rolling to see if one of them comes out. I finally got that they're coming out. And then I roll <laughs> perception. I got that one. I'm out, I'm out so, of high so, tokens. Uh, there's no worries, I'm just going to get more than anyone. We just stopped, we just stopped. And he walks over to where the booze was. And he, he picks up a barrel and he walks back and in again. And he doesn't notice them at all. I rolled a nat one oh, on yeah. perception, so he... Uh, guys, there's, there's literally a girl in a cage. Yes, and yeah. we can't take her, Greg. I don't know if I can leave without her. Yes. Well, you're going to have to, We're going to have to, it's then. A it's a girl trapped in a cage, yes, can you imagine? But if we take her, they'll know she's gone and then all will be it's all. It's for the good. I am helping her. That's all that you noise in here. Must have been a wind. Do you not know sign language, Dude, Greg? You Idiot. don't know sign language. Oh my god. You know what? I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done. Oh my god. I can't believe those fools don't know a sign language way to talk. I know, right? They should just learn some magic where they can talk inside their heads. Yeah, exactly. Like us awesome dudes. Yeah, we're so awesome. Yeah, we're awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, let's go. Yeah, so Greg had just become far thing. too comfortable and kind of forgot <laughs> the dire, okay. dire danger we were in. Okay, I'm gonna come with you, but okay. You can hold this against me. <laughs> hold this against you. <laughs> you can hold this against me. If okay, you're... and then we leave. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you God. Leave, this is my origin story right here, though. You leave, <laughs> uh, you look off to your right and see that at the front of the building, the guy's coming back from playing with the dingo and he's now guarding the front again. Cool. Um, but you head across the darkened, uh, darkened part over to the annex building. And you can start to have a little look inside. Is it this one or the other one? Let me check. It's this one. Um, I assume the door's locked, and you can. Un I know you can <laughs> unlock things. No, no. <laughs> it's gonna nose it. <laughs> it's gonna. I'm gonna think. I knew I it was gonna be locked. Oh, that's wait. Why. Here, we go. here we go. All right. So as you approach, uh, you I have a little. It's gonna be locked. That's why I brought my sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I pickpocketed a sledgehammer from the guard. <laughs> 
It's a, retra it's a retractable I bludgeon. I a bulldozer from the guard. <laughs> <laughs> the world of magic, any means possible. You have a little look through the window and see that um, she's not sitting at her desk anymore. It seems like an empty office. Because um, it's night time now, right? Because it's night time. You head up to the door and it is indeed locked. See, I knew the door was going to be locked. That's why I pickpocketed a key from that guard. <laughs> I knew the door was going to be locked, so I pickpocketed a key from a guard. Ooh, a key. And that's it, really. So. Why did this need to be a green screen cutaway? Well, fucking everyone else got one. I'm sorry I'm so efficient in my heist planning that I did one thing and I did it really well, but I wanted my own time to shine. You did, you did well, mate. Thank you. My turn. Oh, what? My turn. Amazing. Gets the key out into the lock. It doesn't fit this lock. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is his house key. <laughs> retract from up. No, 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 retract from up. Retract from up. Retract from Retract from up. Comedy retraction. Okay. <clears throat> It worked. It's almost like um, if you let the joke sit for too long afterwards, <laughs> that's yeah. what it becomes. And it's, yeah, and it's real now. Like the yeah. popping things when Mob was giving him stuff yeah. went on a, to oh, a point where I was like, it. I don't know if this is if he's saying he genuinely he's he eats it. these things or not. Um, cool. Learning from his mistakes, he checks the lock for traps first. For sure. Uh, I, <laughs> I knew there were potentially going to be traps, so I was very careful to check. <laughs> You check it, it isn't trapped, um, <coughs> but it is locked. You use the key that you pickpocketed to open the door. You are in sure. the office. You have a little look around the office and you can see that there are cabinets and a desk and a chair and things. On the desk there are some sort of, because it's a high, high, el high elf and magic uh, world with lots of elven technologies, she's basically got monitors <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that she can use. And on the, on, in, on the desk in front of it, there's like a, a series of buttons that have letters on them. <laughs> she can press those buttons and they magically scribe onto the monitor. It's wow. crazy. Oh, I, I walk over to the magical buttons and they're a, a razor? What's a razor? <laughs> What's a razor? What's a Guys, this keyboard has got a razor logo on it. That's so dope. That's wow. one of the best ones that you can get in Azurim. That's, That's so dope. dope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, there's a whole lot of razor stuff oh, underneath oh, the desk. Oh, oh, what is oh it? my god, you can have that one. Oh, oh wow, oh, a Wolverine V2. Oh, 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 I've always oh, wanted one of these. Razor. Oh, god. What's that? Now, now, we know Razor don't really sponsor the channel anymore, but... They yeah. could. They is could. It, guys, is it just me or big parts of this, like, oh, invisible? Yeah. It's because it's so yeah. magical, it's invisible. It's here, cool? but it's it's here oh, and it's gone. Oh, wow. Oh, That's hey. how magical razor products are. Wow. Hashtag not spawn, but maybe in not the future. Maybe spawn. Hashtag spawn. maybe spawn. Anyway, yeah. Crazy. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you beautiful bastard. So, <laughs> you are in Pelenia's office. Pelenia Custodiate, the head of the custodiates. Pelenia, we've heard that name. Uh, yeah. You have heard it from Mob, I think. Okay. Uh, maybe. Or maybe I'm just telling you it now. Um, at some point during your, I knew they would know, <laughs> they would f forget the name, so they get yeah. Polenia's name. Uh, Polenia's office, you can see that the um, there's a bunch of places that aren't safes and chests, and, and there's no extra room or, or back door or anything. Um, but in your investigating quick look around the office, you see that there is a little post-it essentially stuck to her monitor. Mm -hmm. Classic. Password mm -hmm. on the monitor. A little classic. Perfect. It says, Valuable Animal Checklist. <laughs> Adult Black Dragon, Brontosaurus, Cockatrice, Intellect Devourer, oh, Ogre, and Polar Bear. So she's Intellect Christ. Devourer. Yes. Yeah, real bad. What we don't have to worry about that. We don't have any intellect <laughs> to devour. It's ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> intellect devourer used, devour used intellect. devour intellect. It's, it's ineffective. ineffective. It did not work. <laughs> Bob used empty Nothing brain. Happened. I, I, I'm just going <laughs> to count it as, as empty brain. There is, Bo there is a spell called Mind Blank that does exactly that. Oh, like, as Bob, I'm just going to kind of recall. Did I see a statue of a dragon? Uh, you did. You saw a statue of a dragon. Did we see a statue of a brontosaurus and a cockatrice? We see these statues. I don't remember seeing a statue. You did not see a statue of a cockatrice or a brontosaurus. But we did see a statue back in the other place of a dragon. There was a black dragon in the other place. Is this? Hang on. Is this? There's something embossed on this note. And so I, I do that thing where you get paper and I use a pencil and I go because it right. says vault access code. Yeah, oh and it, 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 it's the down the valuable animal checklist has been rewritten over the top of something that was written and, and uh, rubbed out. Yeah, because she realised vault, vault uh, access code was too obvious. There it is. There it is. 
So it's the code down the down oh, the edge. Uh, Proud of uh, 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 Sometimes <laughs> I D and D. Wow. Well, I would have just thought Rob made a mistake. That's what I thought at <laughs> like, first. That's I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I was like, oh, maybe you wrote it first, and then I read it backwards, yeah. and I was like, that doesn't say the same thing. <laughs> Is it like uh, the, the first letter of each thing? I would say yeah. The, the third, down, third down 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 the thing, down the thing. K- Well, we need to find the vault. To yeah, begin yeah, with. Yeah. Is there a vault in here? A I knew we were going to have to find D the vault. B. And that's why when I pickpocketed him, he had a note and on him <laughs> about where the vault was. <laughs> you can do you that want. if you want. If you can, if you want. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, I think, um, ABC. yeah. Well, Alan, do you want to do that? Because you've still got two points. Uh, yeah. When sure. I was a homeless man. When I was a homeless man, I... <laughs> All right, this makes sense. So yeah. we can make this work. So, we had the code for the vault, but we didn't know where the vault was. Or did we? Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, uh, my lord, I'm so... Homeless! Ugh. Oh, I just wish I had a home! Oh, hey, 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 come on, oh, come here, mate. Hey. What's wrong? Uh, I mean, I'm homeless for one. Oh, that's pretty nasty. How homeless are you? So. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm so homeless! Oh, wow, that's hey. pretty homeless. And I'm super drunk, so you can tell me anything. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Go on. Where's the box? <laughs> where's, the, where's the what? Uh, where's the vault at? Oh, where do we keep our vault? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's in the office. Oh, good yeah. to know. Okay. Weird that I tell you that. Where, where? But hey, you're homeless and you're drunk. You're not going to remember. I have no home. Oh, man. Hopefully you can lower that homeless level down to at least mildly homeless level. Oh, homeless. Right. Good luck with that. Uh, you, as the homeless man, uh, causing a ruckus and stuff. Yeah. You see Polenia. Um, she was a part of like the pe- people who came out and... Um, what's the what's the problem? What's uh, what's going on and all this? Uh, she, you overhear her as you're like as you're leaving. Oh, sorry, I thought I'm in the wrong place, and you mm. kind of stumble away. But you're listening intently, and you hear her go, oh, "God damn it! What's the vault code again?" <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, and she walks inside. Yeah. And then you hear muffled from inside. She goes, "Oh yeah, that's right. Um, it's it's this." And then you hear a magic <laughs> rip open, and. Somewhere in this office is the vault. To okay. You okay. just need to say the code. Just need to say the code. You didn't hear what the code was, but okay. you you know that she know gets that code from before, somewhere okay. in the office. So I'm going to yeah. constantly forget it. Just so we're not truly b- taken by surprise, I'm going to do de- detect magic. All right. Detect magic. Casting it as a spell slot again or ritual. Ten, ten minutes. Um, oh, this could. Mm, I don't want to fuck. Can that. it's I? Getting high now. Can I try and detect man- magic? <laughs> you, you can. can, I, I can see att- you can attempt it. I'm, I'm just gonna bring up my legs and reveal them real quick as well. I'm like, nah. So I, I got a 19. All right, with a 19, you don't detect any magic <laughs> in the room. Okay. Like, sure I'm gonna no try and see here. this invisible thing you're real pretty, fucking hard. You're pretty sure there's no magic in here. Uh, um, I bring I'm, up lantern I'm, I'm revealing. Lantern re- revealing. Okay. It reveals a doorway behind her in the wall. Hang on. No, no. Oh, lantern I revealing. I thought lantern revealing was for uh, invisible animals. things. Invisible. And objects. Uh, uh, and objects. Okay. Invisible cool. creatures, objects, anything. You invisible. find this is literally the first time you've ever used it properly. Lantern of revealing. Thank you. Lantern of. Cough, yeah, I'm, cough, even cough, I'm stunned cough. by. I've do like multiple. Because <laughs> like, it's never. <laughs> it's never oh, shit! Oh, look just, at what this thing can do. Just, <laughs> this is this is a thing. It, it does work. I was starting to really think it just didn't work. <laughs> you got a faulty one. They must be keeping the money here somewhere. Yeah. Um, detect magic. And I guess Is I'll it? try Lantern of Reveal! Oh my god! Oh, it actually worked this oh, time! It oh, 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 I can see things! You're not an idiot, Greg! You didn't do not a complete idiot! Oh my god, oh. Lantern of Revealing, shut up! Oh. It actually revealed something! Because oh. normally you, you use it and it's the worst timing and you're real shit. You Because you're an you're idiot. Normally, you're normally quite shit. Yeah. Why don't but, we just focus on the positive thing that's well, no, right no, now. but the thing is you're usually an idiot and usually use it in the wrong scenario. Yeah, and, this, and this, this is the first time you've ever used it correctly. Yeah. Can't we just be happy that I used it right this time? I mean, yeah. I, I mean I'm happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, but well, usually you're a f***ing idiot, Greg. You guys kind of took this moment away from me a little bit. Like, I was no, real... Yeah. Pa- like, Sorry, I, I don't know if you're you misunderstanding. this moment. You're misunderstanding. Normally you're shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, go on. Okay, <gasps> now we say, uh, now we go A, B, C, I, O, P. Nothing happens. Hmm. V A C. You can give it A B D B C I O P. Nothing happens. Yeah. Let me take a photo of it. Freak. So I can. A B C I O P. Did you hear her say the code? Oh, didn't no, you? No, I missed that part. 
I mean, yes. Adult. I knew that I had to hear the code. <laughs> <laughs> so no, we can figure it out from this. We yeah. can Adult out this. black dragon, brontosaurus, cockatrice, intellect devourer, ogre, and polar bear. Do you say and that out loud in character? He did, just think. I did say that out loud in character. All right. An alarm starts to blare from the entire thing. Uh, the entire comedy compound. retract. <laughs> <laughs> No! You fucked up by saying the not password. Yeah. I knew it was pretty likely they were going to set off an alarm. And that's why, luckily, when I pickpocketed those guys, they had the code word that you had to say to turn off the alarm, which is... I love that. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm was going off. We needed the alarm off code. Luckily, I pickpocketed a guy earlier, and he happened to just have the code in his pocket for some reason, God knows why. Mage hand activate again. Ooh, pray tell, what is this? It's a passcode for an alarm. Why the, excuse me. Why are you carrying a passcode for your alarm? That seems very dangerous. I'm always forgetting it, mate. It's a simple turn of phrase, just memorize it, you oh, Nah, I can't go. Wait, what have you got? Don't, you huh? shouldn't have that. I don't. I, have that. What? I don't have it. Keep drinking. Oh, it's mine. I got, I got it. This is mine. All right. Idiot. <laughs> Woo! The <Like> safety <laughs> word, code alarm. <laughs> like this is your last of your hero yeah, token. Your, your, your um, token, yeah. uh, heist tokens. Yeah. Um, what, is a, what, is a, what is an Australianism that will piss off our Australian audience for the code word to be? Throw another, um, shrimp, throw another, shrimp, throw another the shrimp on the barbie, barbie is what you've Especially got to say. Shrimp, I, mean, I don't think it's going to piss the men because Australians say prawn. I think it's going to piss everybody off. Yeah. Not, not just Australians. You have to say, yeah, it says, Dude, um, it's, uh, it, there's a note from uh, from Polenia to this guy that says, if I uh, if, if you set off that goddamn alarm while I'm sleeping in one more time, um, there'll be hell to pay. That's just true. remember, for Christ's sake, uh, throw another shrimp on the barbie. Yeah. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Oh, wee, God. But, I mean, guys, but, but, let's but be the quick. alarm's still went off real quick. Let's like, so be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, someone might come and investigate. Because look, look at that thing again. What is it? ABC. Adult Black there. Dragon Brontosaurus. Don't, don't, don't. No, I'm, not doing it in, I'm not doing it in character. Notice how I didn't do the accent. Yeah, <laughs> I love how quickly you both jumped on it. Yeah. Zump! Hey, uh, and what if we not, try? What if we try character. again? Adult black, uh, not just in character. Quickly, adult black dragon, brontosaurus, cockatrice, <coughs> intelligent devourer, ogre, polar bear, and we've tried. So we've if said anybody, we've, we've said the words in that exact order. We've yeah, tried. We've, an, an we've tried A B C. If anybody wants to make an, uh, if you if you oh, yeah. want to work this out, you can. If Let's you want to get some clues, I'll intelligence be. check, and I got eight plus. I think it's four. Eight 12. plus stuff for for twelve was it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Can I do a perception check? Uh, no, you can make an in intellect. What about a sleight of hand? <laughs> <laughs> you can make an investigation check if you want clues. Investigation. Go. Six. That thing, man. That's cocked as fuck. Uh, what'd you get? S s total, Barrow? Fourteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Plus okay, four. I'm doing an intelligence 17. check. Um, with a fourteen, you you learn that you you obviously see that these aren't animals, and it says animal checklist. So the things that have been chosen. Wait, hang on. I'm just gonna take a Specifically photo, chosen for a reason. With the 14, you also notice. Uh, oh, you also notice that there was something written here before animal, animal checklist. You already mm -hmm. found that out. And what about with the 17? With the 17, you also notice that these are written in alphabetical order. Yeah, right. A B C yeah. I O P is in alphabetical order. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I think. Oh, it's a. It's a. If we say. Yeah, I assume it's a thing. In, in alphabetical order. No. No. So if, so how? No, it's I'm, already. I'm not, I'm not doing that. It's already in alphabetical order. Uh, it's a word. A B C I O P is a word. We just need to figure out what the f it is. Okay. A if anybody, if either of you two wants to try with an intelligence check or an inter, a, a, get, a, get a better intelligence check than us. Well, is, is, is that is it the first letters of ever? Because the adult black dragon is A B D, like, or is it just the first letter of all of the? I feel like it's just the first letter of. Uh, he's rolling again, by the way. Um. An alarm went off, so there are going to be people. Yeah, yeah, our oh, people are definitely eventually. coming shortly. We need to figure yeah. this out who's quickly. Got, who's got tokens left? Uh, I do. Oh, yeah. You've got a token left? I've got one token. Okay, Wait, yeah. yeah You've got a token left? I've also got one. All three so of us have one left. No, I've he's used, used both. his. I've used both. The two of us have one left. If you want to do it, two do tokens. It. 
Because if we don't do it quick, we're okay, going to be using a token you, you, to stop someone walking you, here. Okay. So the token, yeah, the token will not be used to, for me to give you the thing, but you can use it to somehow distract the guards that are coming to check out what the right, thing okay. was about. Like you could, with your, um, with your preparation, you specifically got, got to know one of the guys. You could like make yourself look yeah, like yeah. a guy and be like, "Ah, oh, sorry, fella, it's just me." Yeah. Right. So that could work. Yeah. What's yeah? The illusion. Oh, so d- like uh, do we have to do that now? There's a there's okay, okay, you look so, out the yeah, window yeah. and so you see that there's knew, a guy coming um, out from that pub, stumbling a little bit. Yeah, um, coming over to check what the problem. I knew was. that if we set an alarm off, the people were gonna end up coming and checking on us. So I ingratiated myself with the guard, and we became the best of friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, oh, man. good. Anyway, the alarm that's in the compound. Mm. If I was to set, I mean, someone was to set that off, like who would come to check? Who would come oh, to me, check? Oh, me, mate. Oh, you're you. Old pal. Oh, <laughs> my old friend. pal. Oh, yes. good. So if I was to set it off, I'd say, I mean, if someone was to set it off, that yeah, see I'd you. come to check. And then, Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, good. And, then, and I'd, be, I'd be like, hey, mate. I yeah, mean, that'd be well, like, mate. hey, mate. Yeah, you'd uh. be, yeah, yeah, that's right. So I put the face back on and I step back outside and I pretend to be a little bit drunk and have a chat with them and send them up. Uh-huh. And, Don't worry, it was just me. I'm a bit of a drunk and a bit of a, bit of a clumsy klutz. You know us Australians, we love our liquor. Ah, uh, you know, mate. Come on, Fred, be later. Um, oh, you've been on those. Uh, <laughs> oh, you've been v- on the bloody VBs, mate. VBs. Oh, bloody know, hell. Yeah. Come on in and have some vomit drinks with us. Yeah, boy. Yeah, get some stubbies. I, I will solve you. Um, you managed to uh, you managed to get rid of the guy, but you did have to use a disguise self for that. Yep. So another wild surge check. Fourteen. And it triggers up to a six. Five. Five. Five, five now. That gave me a fright because I thought it said four, not more. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. All right. Um, is it, a, is either it of you two it, make an investigation check. You haven't done so yet. A B D B C I D O B P. In the thing. Okay. Uh, Thirteen plus. I've got. Say qu- that out loud. Nothing happens. I've got a question. Is an intellect devourer an animal? No. So to, on this list, that could be the only thing that's not an animal. Uh, the black dragon wouldn't count as an animal. Oh either. yeah. Uh, okay. Fourteen. The ogre won't count. Fourteen investigation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, the ogre won't count as an animal. Uh, ogre also not an animal. So Which ones, it, are what, what ones are animals? Um, the cockatrice in some circles might be an animal. The brontosaurus definitely is. The polar bear is. You would get. You would get then um, combined off of the fourteen on top of what <coughs> these guys have already told you yeah. from theirs. I'd say that the the fact that they're in alphabetical order means that the order of this matters, obviously. Yeah. But the first letter of each of the things is probably just to put them in an order. The first letter probably doesn't matter. The order does. Drongo. As you say Drongo, the second letter of each of those words, the door opens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drongo. Nice. Bloody Drongo. Drongo. I was like, how the f*** do you get Drongo? Drongo. Yeah, 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 yeah. As you say Drongo, <laughs> Craig looks at it. Drongo. Drongo. The door he opens. He screams Drongo. <laughs> he <top> screams <laughs> Drongo. <laughs> I've got it. He opens the door. <laughs> I've got it. As he says Drongo, the door opens and you see a vault that is extra dimensional space it is there is no you've been around the back yeah, of this building right. there's nothing so it's an extra dimensional space but it is like harry potter vault is like gold just everywhere in here actually no my mistake because they've not been good for it sh- it's got the room to do so it looks from the amount of gold in here that they've probably had a hard few months um <clears throat> there are there is still quite a bit of uh, gold in here quite a bit quite a bit of magical items and things you look around all as well all the gold jewelry magical items down <sighs> There's a lot that you would probably benefit now, greatly now, from okay, taking. Just, just hypothetically, <sighs> hypothetically, <sighs> yes. we, if we planted the new gold that way carefully without setting off... So it's like our gold's marked, right? Our gold's like, marked or whatever. We're, we're so rich, I just don't think... <laughs> let me finish, <laughs> let me finish. Hypothetically, I know you, exactly you, 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 just let me finish. <laughs> uh, you place it and then you get, take other stuff. How, where does that go wrong? Because Somehow, not, because Rob's where, gonna make I mean, it go wrong. Well, it well, it so the people tri- might notice the um, the custodians the might custodians notice. Custodians might yeah. notice, but then they will also so notice rich. all the. But when are they gonna, ever gonna? They're never gonna check this. Like this thing with the sa- like a room like this is you don't check it that frequently, right? Like, <laughs> well, she checked what? it. Dude, she, <laughs> like, she a, checked it today. She checked it today. Okay, yeah, but that okay, aside. <laughs> let's, say, let's say that, that, that aside. And that vault's got like $20 million in it, and then you take a stack of a thousand. You don't know if it's going to notice the, that unless it's like... It the gold, the, the gold silver, and platinum that is in here is less than the 10,000 10, that you've got. Okay. So okay. that notice. Yeah. Right. Trust, it trust looks me, like, I'm it looks right like with you, the, but I think it's probably... I think we it need looks to walk like away. the custodians have fallen on hard times for the last few months since their lab was ransacked. Fine, 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 fine. 
The and what am I doing? I'm a cleric. I, I want to steal. Don't steal. Nobody steal. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. There's, there's steal, steal, steal bad. There steal are bad. magic items in right. here. Steal bad. Let's, Let's po- turn around potions? and walk away. Are playing yeah. some potions in here? Was that? You see I don't know. There's, there's, a, there's a little thing talking. Here? Let's. <laughs> Have we already dropped off potions? <laughs> Have we already dropped off potions? Uh, there's a potion no. of invisibility you he, need he, to drop off. All the ma- we haven't dropped off the magical okay, items. Well, by the sounds of it, that they live here as well. So yep. we can drop there's off gold potions and potions. Yeah, everything. Okay. Okay. Gold, some, magical some items. Some rings that are definitely magical And jewelry, yeah. It's basically the rest of it. Yeah. Badum. Yeah. Some, Badum. Some wondrous items from our, our inventory. Choke. Very magical looking With this little thing that keeps talking. Magical looking <laughs> and we move on. All we right, you drop off your uh, your last of your items. My mage hand is just trailing <laughs> by so much stuff. <laughs> All right, oh. we leave. We have officially left. Oh, wait, so we've done everything. Left. Sorry, we've done everything on the yep. last. Great. Yep. You officially leave. You leave the custodiate uh, oh. premises. Yes, we leave without my stealing anything. My chaos tendencies are tingling. That's <laughs> <laughs> our mind, Bob. But I, you want make I, just, it out I just want to take a moment with Bob and be like, I'm, I'm proud of you. Like, good work. Thank you. Yeah, I've <laughs> 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 Put it in that car. Put it in. <laughs> you have to run back. Like, just. Mm-hmm. Watch him <laughs> up. Mm. <laughs> Get it out. Get it out, Bob. <laughs> Get it. Don't make me take it How out. How many do you have in there, Bob? Bob? How many do you have in there? <laughs> Is it just that 12 one? potions. <laughs> <laughs> just that. <laughs> Some blue mushrooms as well. I put my horse pocket old. in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. You have successfully. Uh, You've successfully framed I'm the custodians. So you just need to. Relatively well. I guess we head back to, to the. Out- well, it's in a sleepy sleep. It's at nighttime. It is nighttime. Back, you have back a sleepy to sleep. your fam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Fam, bam. Fam, dam. Thank have you, ma'am. Have a rest. Yeah. Have a while rest. They're and rest, then in the while, morning, off to the altar. While they're resting, after Bob's special alone time, he <laughs> reads the book. All right. You don't read your book. So no, you need to <laughs> six days. How, how do we? It's Forty-eight hours. Forty-eight hours over six days. Maybe we do this after our rest, but alerting the authorities or whatever. I think we do it in the morning. Go talk to Eldrin. <coughs> that should be the so very first, just so things don't fuck there. So like, like the sooner the, 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 the better, before the they get time to come here. To be honest, we should yeah. almost go immediately. Why don't we do it now? Eight hours a day for six days. But it's night time. The Eldrin family will be asleep as well. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't matter. The longer we wait, the more. Okay, the longer we wait, the longer they're girls, and I, I kind of want to really. We need to we'll go first thing in the morning. But first thing, in the, why though? The like, just, we, let's, let's we'll not be let's them crime. It's the middle of the night. Who it's gives a fuck? It's like the, it's cri- <laughs> this is like big crime thing going okay, on. Okay, Greg, big crime uh, so, okay. thing. Okay, somebody, wah, wah, got, somebody wah, wah. got murdered. Let's let's not. But let's notify the authorities tomorrow. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one was murdered. It'll look dodgy if we go right now because. Would it look dodgy if we go regardless? No, because we've been doing investigating. Uh, d- investigating isn't so urgent that you need to tell someone in the middle of the night. I'm, just, I'm worried about the girl. Oh. Like a, oh. um, as am I, Greg. No, I don't think you. I don't think. <laughs> any, I don't think anyone else is. <laughs> I don't think anyone else is. Good night. Candidate for high sorcerer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do not have. But my hey, this vote. is this is the thing of being a giant like world leader. You got to make tough. You got to make the tough choices. That's why I'm a good high but sorcerer. But you're not. This isn't well, a tough choice for you. Quite, you're not struggling with that. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go in the morning. It'll look suspicious if we go now. Well, I mean, I don't think it will look suspicious because we're just going to dob them in. That's a suspicious activity, right? Like, like I'm, 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 nothing I'm, changes. I'm, I'm a little bit confused about who we're dobbing them into. We're just going to the, the Eldrin, Eldrin family. family. Who are the who, ones? Who kind of commissioned us to do this? Although I suppose, uh, yeah, that will look kind of dodgy because for they don't know we've been smuggling yeah. stuff we've just been doing it so yeah if we do turn up in the middle of the night we are finished our investigations you should go I right mean. now investigating is not yeah. something yeah, exactly. that is so time pressing you need to wait i forgot that they weren't put in on this part yeah they're not in on, on the part okay. Okay. Okay, right. there is also the police force the sanguine guards you can okay, just an anonymous, an anonymous tip. tip to the sanguine guards could also that's true help. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. But th- is that is that what our plan was? With that the was not Aldrin's necessarily known. our plan. Our plan was to find out who's doing the smoke. Because because an anonymous tip won't necessarily be us. And so we go to the Eldrins and we're like, they got busted. And the Eldrins like, well, did you do anything? We're like, yeah. Did it have yeah, to be we us? planted this. Uh, yeah, because yeah. we're getting in the favor. <laughs> so we need to go. We let the Eldrin family call the well, second one. Guys, while so you guys are all like talking about this, I've just gone to bed. Okay. <laughs> okay. But what is going on? Yeah, right, right. Crap. Yeah, and I go to sleep. Where, where have you gone to bed? Are we not back at back at Song uh, Blade Song? Yeah. Well, we were debating. You're on a different like, island. You're on Stray. Oh right, yeah, we're in Stray. Uh, you just got to be in the, in the middle, middle of an alley somewhere. <laughs> like, alright. We're, <laughs> like, we're, we're, st- we're still in the out. office. This is bed roll. I'm going. I think we go back to the Blade Song. Mission accomplished. Blade Song. Let's go back to the Blade Song. Back to the Blade Song. All right. I don't want to. Is that seven more silver? Is that more Blade Songs? You going? Yeah. 
Sure. No, no, we're not because Rob's like, mm, yeah. Mm, 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 no, mm, I'm just mm, saying because yeah, it was very mm. I, up in the air about it. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I follow them. Okay. Yeah. Reluctant because, way. yeah, Baradun's right. If we go to the Eldrins in the middle of the night and go, investigation's done, for, but for no reason, you should go right now, right. But we assume. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. it's just a bit weird. And remind me why, why that's bad. Sorry for us, like... Just because as an investigator, yeah. it would never be so time-pressing that you'd wake them up in the middle of the night. Whereas if we'd done something dodgy in the middle I of mean, the night... I mean, I guess we could, because we could have investigated and seen that there's a child slave yeah. in there, and, like, we sh- you should potentially go... Quickly. Yeah. What? What? Okay. What is our story? What? What was? What that, is our official story? Important, but what is our official story? <laughs> the official story is we managed to investigate, ingratiate ourselves with the custodians, and find out that they are the ones doing all the smuggling. And, and, and yeah. And so, and, but, yeah. And part of that story is we kind of went um, into their. We, we saw their. We, we got invited into their house. We it saw. doesn't have to be, but I guess so. Like I mean, we could uh, just get uh, reliable we word. Or we had been told by a friend of ours, Alduino custodian. Because again, like we don't need to say you need to go and f- you'll find this, you'll find that, you'll find this. So, like we've heard, we've heard that they're that the ones doing it, and then they'll go and investigate and find. Yeah, look yeah, at all the probably stuff. Probably a, a more wise way to. I like that. Go this I like yeah, yeah, because us sneaking around and breaking in. Yeah, or we don't want to go. We went there because that gets dodgy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, sweet. Just like we've been okay. investigating. We left like we. we we closed all the doors and you windows. Did, Who could say? Nobody, <laughs> nobody did any investigation of the office to like see if there was anything other incriminating evidence about them or anything. Okay. But I'll just skip that part Thank of the document. You. Um, <laughs> you yeah, we kind of did just go in there and just go, <laughs> just vault, pl- sweet. I mean, it anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah. They're going to be They're investigated be, anyway. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. Actually, yeah, it was too late now. We're, we're yeah. back. Go back. It's too late. The whole traffic. I think it's just implied that we're close. Where was Paul? No, no, about investigating. I think it was too late. Oh, okay. To kind of go while we're while we're there, it would have been nice Let's, to go. Let's get some did, more evidence had, on the train. Somebody had one uh, heist token left. Yeah, I do. Yeah, um, Adam does. Right. I use both one. Uh, Maybe we can use that heist token to still be. While well, we were doing the heist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. After I the heist, that you we needed to make <laughs> sure that we looked into the things. <laughs> we did a, bit, a, bit, a bit of research yeah, we about did the things. And, go. and now the heist was complete. It was a shame that we didn't find out any information about how the custodians are doing their operation, or did we? I accidentally used a fourth token that I didn't have. I knew that there would be a whole lot of information in the office, so I chatted to the guard about where I should be looking in the office because he knows what's her name. Palenia. Palenia. Such a because he knows Palenia really well. He told me that I should be looking in her log in her office. I, so I, I had a big old look in her office. Hey, fellow worker, <laughs> how's it going? So where do we keep the drugs again? <laughs> now that we got broken into, that's right <laughs> in the crates and the why does office. Palenia keep what her incriminating keep evidence? Her? Yeah. Lots of incriminating stuff, right? Yeah, totally. Anyway, so to good see you again. Yeah. So good being a fellow criminal. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. The things you uh, discover while other people are trying <coughs> to work out the code and getting into the vault, planting stuff, trying to stop him stealing stuff, <laughs> closing the vault again, reopening it, get Bob back out of the vault, close it again, get Watts it out of the vault, stop it. <laughs> um, while they're doing that, you were on second looking for logbooks and things. Uh, the information you found is that they, the people they smuggle are prisoners from the Strayer Prison, San- uh, correctional facility. Okay. What they do is they... Uh, they will use their tinkerer, their gnomish tinkerer, to create uh, automatons that look like children, that vaguely resemble the prisoners. One of the females of the um, one of the females of the uh, custodiate family is a changeling. She can change her appearance at will. Mm-hmm. She changes to look like their spouse. She walks in with the kid for visitation day, and she like has a one-on-one visitation. The automaton disassembles itself. She gives them a potion of youth. The prisoner turns into the child, essentially, a younger version of themselves. The automaton takes their place and then re- and disassembles itself later in the prison, and then she walks out with them. They smuggle them out of the prison. And that and, and it's only for people who can pay uh, a, thousand, a thousand gold for the service. Oh, so they're uh-huh. smuggling bad people. So they're smuggling pr- prisoners out of prison. Wow. Yeah, so there's a, there's a high uh-huh. chance that the elf in the cage might have been a prisoner. Very good chance yeah. of that. Might have yeah. been a bad guy that you, we would have. Wait, so sorry, we're saying they're, they're, they're a bad, bad person, bad person or they're a child? Like, well, I guess if they're coming out of prison. Wait, so they're they're, 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 they're adults the custodians in are smuggling yeah. adult prisoners yeah. out of prison, as as disguised as children. Yeah. So, so the child in the cage was an automaton. Most no. Of no, 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 no. The child in the cage is someone who's been escaped from prison. And in the logbook, you also see in a in a separate book, you also see that occasionally when the when the when the spouse can't pay. They will keep the, ch- the prisoner as a child. They won't oh. give them the antidote to reverse the potion of youth. Uh. They'll keep them as a child and then sell them uh, as like child slaves. 
And oh, what, God, that's horrible. That's yeah, so dark. They're pretty messed so up. Dark. They're that's pretty messed up, which is why Elduino when, that's, which is why well, Elduino when she um, got to age where she was like, what are we doing? What are we doing for <laughs> Sorry, the family what? business? <laughs> she learned of what the family does and she was like, well, this is fun. She trashed the lab where they make the potions of youth uh-huh. and things. They trashed, she trashed all of the automaton stuff and then she scappered before they could kill her. That's pretty dope. Um, the other thing you notice is that they have been selling kids too, specifically... So they're not, they're not actually kids. They're meant no, to look selling, like kids. Selling they're like adults that have been adults shrunk that have been shrunk kids, down yeah. to look like children, and uh, they've been selling them to um, an entry called Auntie in Ewellyn, and an entry that just says PG in Honeywood. So, 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 say, say it again, sorry. They they've been PG selling these children Honeywood. mostly. They've been selling them to a few different people who want them, but she's been, they've been selling them mostly to Auntie in Ewellyn. A N T E. Uh, no, as in like your uncle and aunt. Oh, right. auntie. Aunt, auntie. 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 That's how it's properly auntie. pronounced. Auntie. 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 We're saying the same thing. Auntie. 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 So that's yeah. obviously a code. Auntie. Uh, auntie and yeah. Auntie and Olin, and then uh, PG in Honeywood. PG Who do we know as PG? Is it? And then uh, is it back to the present day, uh, well, just after you've left the yeah. premises, using your final uh, hero to- your, uh, heist token. Pig the garlic farmer. <laughs> <laughs> it turns Ooh. out that Greg's actually a child smuggler God, this God, whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you caught Ah, you caught me. I would have got Come away with Come retract. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's canon. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we go to sleep. Yeah. All right. Where? Uh, where? Are we, uh, blade tongues. Uh, blade tongues. Okay. Oh, okay. So mark off your seven silver for the transport back to the uh, island of Tule. You're gonna, gonna, I'm going to go to Tule and apologize. Turn five of my songs. gold into 50 silver because this is getting ridiculous. No, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remember how we've been through he's a real roller coaster. He's going to ask the customs agent. The real, can... the real roller coaster of you specifically asking me if you can take 700 copper pieces with you and stuff. And then you were like, I'm sick of carrying this. And you spent them all at the casino so that you wouldn't have to carry shrapnel. And then now you need shrapnel. <laughs> So I, uh, the, you ask the customs agent, hey, can you break one of these? Hey, hey, so. hey, customs, can you break five gold into 50 silver? Sure can. No. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, no. Sleepy times. So you all sleep at your family home in yeah. Tule and, and in I the morning. And I spend four hours reading my book. And you spend four hours of the, uh, of the 48 well, needed to read the book. Three hours and 50 minutes after Bob's special time. <laughs> Only 10 minutes, okay. okay. Um, and, and that goes like... <laughs> Fade to black? <laughs> Fade to black. Do we, so this, that information you told us about how they got the, the prisoners the out. Just the disappointed head show. Did, did somebody tell us that? Or is that just you? Maradun was learned that from right reading, there, right. piecing together information right. in, the, in, the, in the thing. Yeah, cool. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not well, stressed out about that girl as much anymore, so I do get a good night's sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good to know. Uh, in the morning... Um, Mob wakes you probably before all the rest of you because you're all elves, don't need to sleep so much. Um, <laughs> Mob comes and, uh, and you fill him in on your success. Yeah, yeah. Um, he sa- he's thankful, gr- uh, thanks you for your, your, your service doing this for him and says that sure enough, he's a man of his word, he'll owe you something in the future as well for doing this for him. Thank you very much, um, Mob. Part of that will be to cut back on his smuggling at least for a while to kind of ease off the tensions on the uh, Eldrins so that you can get in good with them. He also says that uh, Telenland, the dickhead that that got uh, got you aside in the in the um, customs and took five platinum from you, mm, yeah, he's yeah. not going to be a problem anymore. He's oh. uh, he's wearing he's wearing heavier shoes these days. Oh, oh. thank you yeah. very much, Mob. That's Greg, so good. you know what he's saying is <laughs> they've put they've put concrete on his feet and put him in the ocean, so he's dead. Dead. But we tried to. Dead. I, not a, a we did try to. Uh, we did try to lighten his load, though. He had this on him, and he hands you five platinum. Thank you very much. Nice. So he took five platinum from his dead body. I get and it. I him in the ocean. Thank you for clarifying. I. Ah. <laughs> This world, this whole world. <laughs> this whole, it's a this, harsh world. About this whole world. It's a dark, it's a dark. mad world. <laughs> I, go, I just go to a window and I can lean against the, the edge and look out. Do you still smoke? Oh, oh yeah. Cutting a plate? Yeah. <laughs> Cleric's can smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's smoking holy. Cleric had the light. <laughs> <laughs> cleric had the got a light. I got a, got a, cleric had the got a light. Um, he is. Uh, he's going to set you up with an invite to the um, the, Del- uh, the island um, Delarine. Delarine. He's going to um, set us up with one. Yeah. Oh. Because he's got contacts. 
uh, and you and it's an invite only situation so he's going to contact the authorities to tip them off and deal with that situation and then he's got contacts with the uh, Eldrin family to say hey these guys pretty handy having have a you heard, in the uh, mob have yeah. you heard yeah have you heard about this new adventuring party that's going around sort of thing he does for that reason though ask you what you want to be called when you are introduced to the Eldrins ah you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> no okay I've learned my lesson, guys, after that one time that I let my name slip. Maybe we don't call Baradun in the dickheads. Stephen Thorley the third. Stephen and the fuck. It's not. I don't know. What about about the dingoes? The dingoes. The the dingo dudes. (laughs) I don't have any any complaints. Lock it in. That's so you didn't didn't give us a chance to complain. What about about the Honeywood heroes? I prefer dingo dudes. Yeah, I prefer dingo dudes. Fuck you, Greg. Fuck you, Greg. A dingo dudes! Dingo dudes! Dingo dudes! That's so lame. You wouldn't pitch anyone here. You're not from anywhere. You heard about it. This new adventuring party, the dingo dudes. (laughs) Um, I also heard that uh, if we're going to the main island, we'll lose a lot of respect if we're not dressed up nicely. Would yeah, Fab right. be able to outfit us into a cool, uh, cool oh. outfit that on the yeah, green yeah. screen just looks like a fancy scarf and a hat? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, she can. She's, she's got away with that sewing machine for sure. Um, I'll have a, I'll have a set you up with something fancy looking. Friends, fans, and fine folk of the fashion house, it is my utmost honour to present to you the winter collection of the brand new and improved, if I say so myself, Baradoon and the Dickheads. The island Delarine is only uh, accessible from uh, sea transport from the island of Milius. Okay. So you're gonna have to get yourselves to Milius, but I'll get you the invite. These, these, uh, what? I, I what? remember coming up with that name, just being like looking at my keyboard, because I was just creating the map. I was like, <laughs> 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 Al, I don't know. <laughs> 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 An apostrophe. Milius. <laughs> uh, um, what island is the Eldrin family on? <coughs> uh, I mean, there everyone's on all the different families. If you look Specifically, at the Simera, thing, who put if you're us looking at Simera, Simera is on Tulay. Um, the head of the head. Do we need to go back to her? She you specifically can, you can sent her. us the sure. task. You can go back to her on Tulay because um, you're on Tulay. Uh, but if you want to talk to the heads of the family, which you do for the fi- the task of the five families situation. How? Sorry, just to rewind a, a tad. What's the what's the next step in, in this all going down? Well, I thought well, it was to go back to Samara Eldrin. No, can, well, he, he just said he's tipped off the authorities and stuff. Okay. But I guess we do Mob need can, to go. Mob can do that for you if you don't want to. Yeah, but, okay, so okay, great. Well, yeah, yeah, he's but Samara sort of but Samara is the one who gave you the task. You can go back to her if you want. I think we do just make sure it gets across the line. Right? I kind of want to make sure. Yeah. I... The, uh, the head of the family lives on Delarine, though. So eventually, to get the tick of approval, like... Finish this tech, uh, finish this quest, as it were. The person with the question mark is ultimately yeah. going to be on okay. Delarine. Well, t- t- Samara is lower in the family. Yes, let's go to let's go She's a second tier um, yeah. noble. Uh, so, y- so he's going to set you up with an invite to Delarine. Uh, it sets a- it departs from Milius, so you're going to have to get yourselves there. Um, just to remind yourself, Milius is the very expensive island. It's not like the w- it's it's the one where all of the people who aren't quite nobility but want to show off how wealthy they are. They they live on Milius. And he uh, and he sets this up for you through the rest of this day. He set, he, set, he gets in touch, makes the appropriate calls and things, and the um, the transportation will be in ten days' time. So you have ten days of downtime to level up. Yeah, you guys are gonna level up to read level ten. Level yeah. ten. And I read my book. You're gonna read the Heaps. book in that time. Okay, family book to increase my dexterity. Step one, run. Step seven, air punches. Step 34, jumping jacks. Step 56, agility training. Ow! Ow! I should do this without swords on the step. 105, dodge your own sword. Saha! Nailed it. I'm suddenly very dexterous. So you get um, a plus two to your dexterity for finishing off your book. 
Okay, so is that like a plus two to my dexterity score? Score, so it goes from 16 okay. to 18. Bruh. Is level is level 10 Bruh. the level where sorcerers get 100 platinum? Uh, uh, 110. 110 yeah. platinum, right. <laughs> what? It's not a thing. <laughs> okay, level up. Um, cool. So oh, that's right. I get um, you get your level ten features, level which 10? is some real powerful stuff. I can't Sonia. remember what I said. Yeah, or our level seven features. <laughs> level seven feature. So. Those who multiclassed. Yeah. <laughs> level seven rogues still still pretty impressive. Dope. Heightened yeah. spell. Heightened spell. Level ten. Yeah. Level ten cleric. Divine intervention. You can just be like, hey God, fix this problem for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that'll work ten percent of the time. Ten percent of the time, it works every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did a roll and rolled five out of six. Oh, nice. So yeah, you got average. five new. Hit I took the average because I don't trust my rolls. Five plus your uh, con mod. Remember. Oh, well, divine intervention. Uh, can I try it once a day? Right? Is sure. it the yeah, it does it automatically for you if you're doing the app? What? Divine intervention once a day. I can try it. Once per day, you can try, try it. it. Okay. If it fails, you can try it again the next day. The next day. If it succeeds, you can't try it again for another for seven week, days. Bro. Well, you can try it again, it's just not going to work. Cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. um, yeah, so Divine Intervention is for Clerics. Uh, he's got his level percentage chance, so it goes up as you go up. So yeah. if you do get to level 19, then you've got 19% chance of it succeeding. As a team, we should actually just figure out, like, what do we want? And I'll, <laughs> I, every day I'll be like, I want to try and get that thing. Try it in the yeah. morning? Boop. Boop. But if no. you do try it, like when you wake up in the morning, I'll try and do this thing. Then you get into a real dire situation later in the day, and you're like, yeah, "I wish true. I had divine intervention to call upon." Yeah, if it's we better end to up like fighting some f dragon. It would be better yeah. to be like if you get to the night and you're about to have a long rest and you haven't there used it, it yet. There that is. makes sense. That there makes more is. sense. Let's there stop here is. for thinking, down there for dancing, yeah. in the middle <laughs> in for the, the romancing. Yeah. Oh, um, I like that. The, the, the chances remember? don't increase every time. It's always just ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. Yeah, ten percent while he's level ten. Right. At level eleven, it goes up to eleven percent. And so oh. on. Ah, so it gets, reaches twenty percent. Well, uh, when you get to level twenty, it just automatically works. <laughs> um, I'm just trying I to so the highest the it, gets, it gets to nineteen percent at level nineteen. Yeah. When you hit level twenty, your your mile your um, class cap yeah. capstone feature is that your divine intervention just right. works. Right, and so I could just I wish that Bodger's mouth was sawn shut. And, and then God of God of language says like Shame on you, blood. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? How'd that work out for you? Just that awful <laughs> slapping meat slug. I'm glad I'm new, but yeah, but it didn't go the way you think it was going to go, did it? And okay, I'll wait a week and I'll reset that. I'll, I'll take it back to the way it was, I'm sorry. Um, during that downtime as well, I'm working on the, um, working on the, what's it called, quick save scroll. Oh yes, nice. Um, um, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, what's your level 10 thing you get? I get uh, intimidating presence. Yeah, boy, starts to get even more scary. Which means I can uh, target someone and go, Aah! and they get and they get frightened. <laughs> which and frightened uh, has a whole huge lot of, debuff. Yeah, yeah big, disadvantages debuff. to all attacks and things while ever they can see him <laughs> raging well, well, at them. So yeah, so basically I'm like, uh, I have any presence on that guy. Everyone come near me, and he's got to, he's going to stay away from me. I don't yeah. be just like going. Very <laughs> 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 useful. At Quite useful. Uh, if used we'll, in the right we'll see, way, we'll see how it works. Sure. What about your level ten? Um, so I've taken heightened my next uh, meta magic. I've taken heightened spell, and uh, from memory, heightened spell just means if I'm doing something when I'm forcing a check on someone, like like uh, maximum yeah. earth and grasp, I can give them disadvantage. Yeah, you can spend sorcery points for it. Spend, spend, sorcery. spend sorcery points to give somebody disadvantage. Me. I bet. I wish I did. Um, and then I'm doing a whole lot of spell swap in and out but um, <laughs> yeah. the short story is I'm taking Vitrolic Sphere Vitriolic Sphere Vitriolic Sphere which is like the acid ball version of Fireball it's yeah. just like Fireball so with I just acid. shoot an acid ball at someone and it's horrifying which is pretty cool and it yeah, does right. a bunch of damage and then it also does damage on the start of their next turn as they're still covered in acid yeah, yeah. yeah. I imagine that would continue so <laughs> <that's> continuously <laughs> it's very, very, yeah. very painful that's a fun one I'm swapping uh something out, I can't remember what, but now I've got Hold Monster, which is the bit, you know the one I kept trying? Charm, Charm, Charm monster. monster, and it just made yeah. them monster friendly against me. I was like, oh, that's not actually useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next level up, Hold Monster. Paralyzes them. Paralyzes them. Very useful because the paralyzed condition says that if uh, if anybody's attacking it within five feet of it, they have an advantage on the attack, and any any attack that hits is an automatic crit. There you go. So you, so can, I'm gonna you be can just hit its armor class and still as anything if Anything that strike. I don't want, we're going to be Hold Monstering. So, um, and useful. I've also taken Draconic Spirit, which I basically get a dragon pet. Yep. Oh, that's dope. He gets to summon a dragon. I get to oh, summon, and it's dope. my pet, and it's friendly, and it attacks for me. Can you write it? <laughs> I can. I you genuinely can write. can write. Part of the spell describes how the to condition, write it. how to write it, and <laughs> we write it. 
I'll have to check. Okay. I don't know so, if Greg would want to after his ordeal with the Jabberwocky. Yeah, true. He's already ridden a dragon. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, a pleasant wasn't. experience. Yeah. Okay. Maybe and I've killed um, two people right And yeah. as uh, tenth level says, yeah, a hundred and ten uh, platinum. And ten platinum as well. It's just a huh. sorcerer thing. Yeah. Regarding hit yes, point also. upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yes, hit point upgrade. Se- seven is the, is the if I want to just go the average. Yep. Or you roll. Or, you or I could roll a d twelve. Like, like, so I could just get one. Yeah. You, uh, well, in my games, I re-roll ones, but you could get a two. Two is the lowest you could roll. Two plus your con mod. And your con's probably quite high. Just, my do, con, it. My, just uh, do it. Pl- you uh, might get a twelve. Uh, all right, here we go. You've done it once and you got a twelve. The one right, time here you did it, you this got is a, a twelve. This is a, a D twelve. That is a D twelve. Here we go. Hundred points for the tank. Twelve. You've done it twice. That's why you always roll hit points. Don't be like a wuss. Don't be like a. Have you seen my testicles. rolls? Have you seen my rolls? No. Yeah. My so rolls are just you are generally insane. insane. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Ridiculous. As bad as his rolls are, yours yeah. are the opposite. And no, I tried to try that one. You, so I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> you got that one on a yeah. d20 as well. That one's on a uh, you're taking the average for yours then? Yeah, yeah I got a one. Like a wuss. So that's why yeah. I don't roll. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. All right. Cool. Uh, what was your level seven abilities? Uh, I take, I learn evasion, mm-hmm. which means that I can, any AOE attack basically, mm-hmm. I can uh, duck out of the way and I roll, and a failed roll means I take half damage, and a successful roll means I take no damage. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Sure. So that'll so be good. One, if, if you're, one more thing for him to forget. If, yeah, if you're in the middle of fireball or something, or vitriol at spear, you can just dead. dip out of the way. Yeah, the He's most dead. I yes. can get damage is half. Anything that anything attention. that forces a dexterity saving throw on him, he uh, even if he fails mm. it, he gets half damage. And it's pretty hard for me to fail a dex roll now. I yeah. once had a monk walk into a red dragon's lair. The red dragon knew she was coming, so it dropped down behind her to block her exit. Point blank breathed fire on her that fell something like 16 d6 fire damage. And she, as a monk, has evasion as well, same as rogues. And she just made the save and took no damage. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, no <effect>. yay! <laughs> no effect, d and No effect, d and um, And then I also, my demon lord that lives inside my head, yep. um, gives me the ability to form a shadow blade, which is a sword made of pure misery and darkness. <laughs> I bet that boosts uh, um, Califac. Probably, <laughs> probably. probably. It sounds and quite... Quite uh, dull, blade, like a dull blade. Like, quite not sharp. It's, it's, really it's, quite a it's squishy, shadow, like, so it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like kind of point. <laughs> yeah, it would it's actually, made of yeah. pure misery, so it does no damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like just makes them sad. Like maybe yeah. a slight tickle. Like, oh, stop. <laughs> now, but it does give me if I attack them in the dark, it gives me certain advantages and stuff. Like, gives oh. it, yeah. Mm. Cool. That's awesome. So those are the things you've got. Those are the features you've got. Now, in that 10 days of time, what does it look like? How do you get those features? How do you discover that you have this connection to your new gods? And how do you get in- oh, more intimidating and um, so on? So uh, my strategy, because I'm working on my intimidation, but I don't want it to be overt, just like, Argh! I want it to be a, like a, a present. I always want to have a present. Yeah. Yeah. So my whole thing is, I'm practicing on you guys, like Drax and, um, and Guardians of the Galaxy, I'll just kind of stand in the corner. <laughs> And just, just be a presence. And, and just be just a presence until you notice me and then just go. make people feel <laughs> generally uncomfortable. Mm. <laughs> I enjoy talking to you guys standing in a line. Yeah, this is how I enjoy oh! oh! some. Whoa! What are you- Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, you stop intimidating me! Stop intimidating me! Yeah, you did! Yeah! 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 You have quite an intimidating presence. Yeah. Oh. I feel so intimidated ah. right now. Ah. Uh, oh, 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 God. But yeah, this is the idea when I have conversations. Standing, yeah. in, standing in a line to have a conversation, yeah. it's very useful. You know what I pride myself on? My lack of being able to be intimidated. My Where are our bagels? <laughs> <laughs> I, like a pivot. I was <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a pivot. meditating, and as I was meditating, one of, one of my gods came to visit me, and he was like, hey. I was like, <laughs> I was, <laughs> hey. it was like a, uh, uh, angel goes, singing in and goes, harps hey. and stuff. And, and he's he, like, he literally was like, yeah. So you've been praying a lot. I'm like, yeah. He's like, it's really annoying. It's 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 <laughs> got started so but but it's it's getting a little bit annoying. <laughs> but, but it's I, I got to commend you on your commitment. If you 
if you uh, want something, let's make this you, a can once ask, a day. you can ask me. <laughs> yeah, let's make it a once a day thing. If you want something, you can ask me, and I will just, I, there's a chance I'll do it for you. Just, if I'm not busy. If I'm not busy. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Like, <laughs> what, what, what's the r r rough t like percentage? He's like, about know, 10. One in 10 times or something. About 10. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, a, pre I'm a pretty busy I, guy. I've, I've, I've got good. nine me meetings per day. Uh, yeah, so yeah. if I'm not in one of those nine meetings, there's yeah. like a 10% chance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, let's just, let's just, Tone back on the praying a little bit, and and I might help you from time to time. I was like, okay, deal. Um, so that's sounds like a pretty yeah, rad, rad god. I think he. It sounds like he was. Right uh, he was maybe the god of the parties and drinking. <laughs> yeah, he might have been. He was, he was slurring a little bit. <laughs> so I think he was like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dear God, I've got a lot to catch catch up with you about. One, one thing: did, did Baradun really like burn those animals? Was that a real thing? Oh, that was me. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's put a stop to this. Oh my god! Yep, one of them. Oh, yeah, wow. Listen. Wow, my god, I knew praying to you for eight hours a day would finally pay off. Oh. That's actually why I'm here. Yeah? Uh, stop that. Stop. It's really annoying. Oh. Yeah, so, so, I'm um, Gideon, by the way. Yeah, no, got, I. Got yeah. a fun. Hey, got a party. Yeah, nice, nice. To, hey, wow. Guy. Um, it's really annoying to be at a party and then hear your voice all in the back of your head all the time. Like, hey, it's, it's like, oh, I want this, I want that. Can you tell me things? Yeah. Stop it. Stop. Just stop it. And I, I, I mean, I, I get a lot say, of comfort. Let's, from okay, from let's say, let's say once a day. Okay. Okay. Once a day. If you, if you, if you take it down to once a day. Yeah. I will. Well, I can't guarantee you anything you want, but I will. Ten percent. Let's say ten percent chance. I will give you whatever you want. Wow. Ten, once a day. Okay. Just shut up. D too long. Did, too long. Didn't read. Shut up. D deal. Yeah. No. That was, it was really nice to meet you. I like. I. I. Yeah. Wow. You're very. Oh. Oh. There was more in there. <laughs> very okay. Cute. I think that was the last bit. Shut up. And I'll. And I might be better to you. You're. You're a handsome guy. What a bizarre encounter. I go off and find some fighting pits. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Easy enough to do. Find them in too late. Yeah. Um, and it's when I'm fighting a mage, and uh, I'm in the middle of the fight, and the mage fires up a fireball, and I just my demon lord. And I summon a my... shadow sword. <laughs> a demon. <laughs> I hit my yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong one. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. so that's how I died. Yes. My demon lord gives me a sense, and I'm like, he's gonna save me. And then a shadow blade comes up, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then I get hit with the fireball. And this then, is a long way of saying you've been in the hospital this whole time. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then I meditate and communicate with the demon lord in my head. I'm like, hey, bro, the shadow thing, Super great. Cool. Yeah. But maybe yeah. give me a way to avoid fireballs. He's yeah. so like, all oh, right. And so it Fine. gives me a kind of like a, a spidey sense for yeah, yeah. fireballs. That means I can evade out nice. of the way. Yeah, great. Love it. Let's do this. All right, classic pit fight. Fists right. only. Fists only. Okay. Oh, also, I'll probably use my demon son at some point. What? Sweet. Oh, and also, I have an eldritch god that lives inside my brain, so my eyes may go completely allowed? black and I use eldritch powers. Is that right? Oh, and one last thing. I will also use my shadow blade, which is made of pure sorrow and nightmare. Oh, I don't feel well, actually. I don't think I'm up for... I think uh, my toes are hurt. I've got a headache, so I'm, I'm a forfeit. Right. <laughs> I'm a forfeit. Please don't kill me. Right, I win. Who's next? Fair fight, just me and the shadow blade and my demon son, my eldritch lord. <laughs> um, I go back to Bob's cousin, I think it was, uh, lab. Yeah, nice, and, uh, niece. Um, oh, nice. And I am basically saying, what I want you to do is build me a bunch of animals and crazy things like she was doing with the mammoth. Um, that I can oh, yeah. that I can practice my spells Wait, no, on. Not Australian anymore. Cockney. All right, darling. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds um, fun. And just over the ten days, we're just kind of practicing. I'm trying out my new spells, which gets me vitriolic sphere, and I'm trying hold monster on them. And nice. you're summoning these Love creatures it. and throwing acid just on a, them. Yeah, summon yeah, them boy. to burn them into. Yeah, you're you're summoning some oh, wow, animals and throwing cool. acid on them. I'm not yeah, summoning animals. Assassin. They're real animals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're real. They're real animals. I thought they were. Yeah, I don't know if they're not. They're not. They're not fake. They're not yeah. fake animals. So these these are animals, and you're just summoning like. Gonna make sure. So, so bringing them in, doing genetic and lab testing on these animals, and then killing them with eyeballs. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it burns the skin so well! Alright, mate, I've just been exploding things from the inside out. Ooh, what are you that, up to? Uh, I'm, I'm just killing these animals with acid! Nice. Look at how their skin burns! Yeah, Greg, yeah, look yeah. how our animal skin burns! And it burns wow, like a bloody it? pool. It does! And it made me level up! Ha, <laughs> that, that magic spell sounds and looks incredibly real. See that long line of animals over there? I'm gonna use the, a spell on them the, and kill them! The long line of magical animals. No, they no, don't no, actually no, exist no, or no, feel pain. No, 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 those are real animals, those ones. It's the pain that gives it the sweetness. Yes, that's the thing that makes me level up by killing real animals while doing lab testing on them. I can pop a few if you want. Do you want to I, pop the back ones? Hey, whoa, yeah, sure. I, 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 no? How about, how about no? How about we let them live their lives? Why not? Tell you what, you're a cleric, you've got healing stuff, right? Maybe I can pop them, you can bring them back to life, then I can pop them yes! again. We can have a bring popping factory life. life! Oh my god, this is genius! We're gonna level up so oh much! Oh my god, we're gonna do so well. Bring that one back to life. He's do a it. puddle right now, but Healer. bring him back to life. There's no way I can do that. He, like, he's, he's a puddle right now. How about I bring him back to... No! Ah! I, I, I oh just, God, my, so yeah, no, Greg's not okay with this. What don't you understand, mate? Yeah, you no, weren't there, you, you don't know what's happening. Greg, you I, know what? Like, t you can't avoid me for 10 days. <laughs> hey, Greg, you used to be cool, man. <laughs> you used to be cool. Um, can we put on all can these you a quick meeting about Greg? Yeah. He's um, just in so the tent. Nothing cool. any of you say I want to save children in cages. I know. The heroes, the heroes like the of the world, world everybody. Um, but also, I'm going to But also, in it's doing not all gonna, this, I'm never going to snap. In doing all this, I um, <laughs> all of my spells that do require saves, I'm kind of figuring out like how to stop them doing so well when they yeah. save. So now I've got heightened That's spells. Really well. I'm trying to meditate awesome. while I hear I this, these screams of animals being covered in acid, like throw me off my meditation. Ah, like, yeah. oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Um, I will allow. So, because the downtime has to be focused on like how you're leveling up, I'll allow you one one of those days you can do to your okay. scroll of quick save in the same way that he spent so, his day reading. And I'm also gonna. The, I can't see any downside to me bending luck as I do this, just to give me an extra d4. Uh, it, bend luck is the one that gives. It means the next time you cast a spell that day. You get a wild surge. No, that's tied to chaos. Tied to chaos, okay. Bend luck is sorcery points? That's all I, the only downside is I have to spend two sorcery okay, points. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, then you can bend luck on that. Um, it's nothing, yeah, it's not. It's nothing um, that, uh, it's during the day of downtime, so it's nothing else is going to happen that day. Yeah, so yeah exactly. Um, you can bend luck on this. So, it, f yes, 19, 2, Oof. 6. So 19 plus 8, 27. 27, all right, so 27 onto that takes you to a total of uh, 67 points now, currently done. It's what are we at with it currently? Uh, total, of, total of 67, we'll get there in a second what that means so for what, you. So what is this are you doing again, sorry? So my plan is that this, we got the scroll of quick save, yeah, which right. allows us to rewind time a minute. I just kind of want, I'm just trying to upgrade it. I want it to be better. So, for example, if we were ever in a proper heist, not a reverse heist, and or there was something where we wanted an item or we wanted to duplicate yeah, an item, that's right, right, right. I, we can do the minute, grab a thing, and when we rewind time, the thing goes with us. Yeah, right. That's dope. Yeah, that Wonderful. rewind time is only hasn't really been useful yet, has it? Well, it's a one-time. It's a one-time thing. Right? It's a one -time oh, it's use. a one-time thing. Right. But, but, but it's yeah. it's like when you're setting up something that's got really high risk, high reward yeah, situation. Yeah. You're like, there's a chance all of us die so. when we go in here. Everybody, like is everybody ready? To bring back like six drinks at once. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we might. <need laughs> I might spill one. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Read the um, scroll. But get the the, the downside, however, of tinkering with the scroll is. If I ever roll a one on the Arcana check like I did just then, uh, Wait, I just literally roll like you did just then. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, on the how did you get a nineteen from rolling an one? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Then I ruin the scroll and can never use it. So there is a chance that I. It's everything. a very powerful item that he's tinkering with to make it even more powerful, but it at the risk that he ruins down. it. Uh, you are now at 67, which means you have met the progress DC of 50, which means that you get the first effect of your scroll. You're starting to see some progress with it. Instead of the scroll acting as originally intended, you can now use it to, uh, as intended, but while you're, while you're in that minute of, of quick saved uh, minute, you can take an item back with you. However, the item uh, will be displaced from the original spot that it was in for one round after you return and okay. then pop back. Six seconds. So you'll get six seconds of an item when you pop back to your real right. timeline, when you quick load, 
uh, you'll have the item that you you took with you, but it'll just and it'll. Ah. Yeah. 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 I can't, can't see how that's yeah. going to be useful I yet, can't. but we'll keep working on it. If you keep working on it, it'll get better. Useful, like we got information, we shouldn't go down that path. Yeah, yes. that's, that's, the that's idea. probably the most. Yeah. yeah, the idea when I was making it is like you're about to go into a fight with Lethal or something. You're like, hey, we're, this is a real chance that we're all going to die. Let's use this scroll in case it goes badly, and then it, the fight goes really badly, and you're like, quick, quick load before yeah, you start yeah. the fight. Okay, cool. Have it so that is the progress you make. Have um, you done your plus two on your big old boy? I have. <laughs> on my big old boy. <laughs> plus two. Yeah. Plus yeah. two. Now. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what, so is, what is all your business at now then? Like I've got a plus 12 on my sleight of hand and stealth. You get to a point you're just going to be plus 20 and you're like, I don't need to. Well, there's a point roll. very soon where I upgrade where I can't fail certain rolls, basically. That is amazing for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm trying wow. to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, like how, anything, how anything under a nine, under a ten, you can treat as a ten, basically. Ah, oh, man, yeah. So for any sleight of hand or stealth check, it'll be impossible for me to get under twenty-two. Yeah, it's okay. very useful. It's called reliable talent. Anything that he's trained in, anything right. he's got he just, proficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can yeah, still right. like fail an handling <coughs> check or something. No, I'm right. pretty sure it just makes everything perfect. So when does that ha when does this happen? How much how much until Bob becomes like useful? Three levels, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like three levels, so probably like another three two levels. years. Okay, okay, two, years two, two years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, continuing on. All right, so you um you you've gotten all this stuff together. You level up. It's it's approaching the day of your invite to Delarine. You've got to get make your way to Milius. Okay. So you head to the port. Mm -hmm. You pay the price to get to Milius. Any port in the storm. <laughs> well, no, okay. the, well, this, this particular port. port. This yeah. particular port. Yep. Ideally. How much are we paying? This Forty-nine good. gold pieces each. You what? You asshole. That's what I said right at the very beginning when you arrived in Thilaburn. Milius is the wealthiest of the wealthy you islands. You are they, But like, no. Nah. They, they, You're they, just not going to come. <laughs> You're just staying behind. <laughs> I'll stay in too late. <laughs> as, as, we, as we go up to each. the customs agent. Are you two I, that aren't marking anything down? Just like uh, in, inventing minus, money for yourself? No, or? I'm just I'm just waiting like, are we, are we going to spend that much money? I mean, I've only got 527 gold. I, I'm just going to call... I, I don't know how much I have. I, 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 go, up, I go up to the customs agent and I you say, this is daylight no robbery. I, because you yeah. uh, can spent we, it can all we just say that, up to the point we, we were We're going to pay it, but we're just going to be a little bit caring about it. Tickets? Tickets to Milius? Only 49 gold pieces? I beg your pardon. I can't believe it. How much did you say? I want to speak to your manager. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. How? I've never been treated, treated like this before. Daylight no, exactly. robbery. Yeah. Yeah, yes, quite. I mean, of course, of course, we can afford it. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. But it's not about that. It's the principle. It's the principle. It's the principle. I refuse. I refuse to yes, pay. No, yeah. we're, go, we're going to a fancy island. You expect us to admit, yes, the common man what would pay. What is your badge us. number? Yes. Yeah, what is your, your yes. badge yeah. number? Yes. I am the manager. I would Why would I What oh. bloody oh. f***ing Well, dumb. we'd like to oh, talk oh, to oh, the oh, head. Speak to your manager. We'd like I to head talk to the head of the portal service. Please, yeah. yes. get them on the yeah. blower. What is your badge number? Milius, as you arrive, the uh, teleportation circle takes you to Milius. And uh, as you step in, not like the sweltering heat that hits you with uh, Strayer's teleportation. Instead, you are greeted with the gaudiest and most opulent and really in-your-face showy wealth kind of just... Mm. The architecture is unnecessarily designed with all sorts of frills and things that's just... There's gold everywhere. There's gold everywhere. It's really tacky in mm. certain parts as well. Um, and uh, and this is the home of all of the, the richest of the folk here. Um, you can see that there are a few... My mage hand is tingling. Because people want to show off that they live here, there's uh, in the welcome hall of this... Um, uh, this, this teleportation circle, there's a bunch of the different portraits and, uh, t and plaques to the people who have donated to the, the teleportation circle's upkeep and blah 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 uh, so that they can be seen as soon as you walk in. Uh, one, of them is a, one of them is a troll face. Oh. Um, uh, some of you recognize him uh, underneath. It's Elon Musk. Uh, he's uh, one of the richest trolls in the land. Um, he's recently he keeps... picked a fight with a disabled person on, tw on Twitter. <laughs> did he? Yeah, oh, this yeah. is the yeah, Elon Musk most recent thing. Great. He, um, yeah. we, 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 Go Elon. When did we talk about Elon Musk previously? We <laughs> have, yeah, you did. Yeah, and that, we did. And I, I added it to my things to add. Control <coughs> Elon Musk. He, um, he, he, the play on words again? He's uh, Elon Musk. Oh, Elon Musk. Elon. 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 We talked about him about a troll that's so he's super rich. He's the wealthiest rich. troll in the land. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he keeps all of his wealth in a, a sort of tomb of sorts that he calls the crypt of currency. Great. There's also one next to him of uh, a fellow called Zhang Yeminator, who uh, is the creator of Toctique, the tabloid paper. Oh, great. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, you step out into 
milieus into the lands. Uh, I want you guys to describe what does what does the what is wealthy opulent it's godliness so look, it's so much look like? It's just like ah, <laughs> guys, God. this looks so beautiful. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to live here? Ah. Look how beautiful this is! Exactly the kind of style look, look, I love. I, I'm like Everything's a, I'm gold like a and purple. I'm like a walking eye roll. I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> but doesn't it look beautiful? It's purples Ugh. and golds and everything sparkly. The amount of good they could do with this. And I'm just like, guys, what do you think about me just trying to steal everything? I don't stand for it. I don't like it. Okay, that's one. <laughs> I don't think it's the best. I, I mean, it sounds like you could we literally could, walk up to a wall and try and break up <laughs> a chunk of wall. It could ruin everything. Yeah, right. I'm amazed like, we've got this. Go look at me. Look at me. <laughs> it could ruin everything. <laughs> what are you rolling for? <laughs> what is that roll for? <laughs> deceive by. <budget. laughs> Was it a wisdom save to see if you can avoid <laughs> <laughs> stealing everything? No, I don't. Uh, but I am. I uh, like my eyes are just shifty as fuck right now, just looking for anything <laughs> loose that yeah, my mage, mage hand can. Your mage hand's invisible. Yeah, exactly. Were we given? But the exactly. things he steals isn't invisible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> were we given any directions of where we're meant to be going? Go to the pot. Oh, the pot. Okay, bro. Um, yeah, because it's only accessible by uh, via the ocean or via the uh, the lake, rather. So you um, you head to the port of Milius. Describe the port for me. What is what is o- it's very opulent? Very gl- <laughs> <laughs> What does <is> opulent <laughs> wealth, godliness look like? What is, and just throughout what is the, the whole like? city is just an overpowering perfume. Yeah, yeah. Like they just have yeah, like, perfumes just, just spraying just over the street. Just <laughs> 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 magical sprinting perfume. Like, oh, fuck God, God, it. God, 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 Jesus! I get a whiff of it. Is that fishlish? <laughs> so you're no, because go they'll charge like 100 gold per fishlish. Oh, I, yeah, I have to, fish I have to see it, I have to see it. <laughs> well, this is a little bit much. Yeah, I hate this place. Yeah. Hoity toity. Hoity toity. Yeah. It's like, in case you couldn't tell, we're f***ing rich. Yeah, oh, it's so eat. amazing, isn't it? Look at all this amazing gold and purple and everything's got gold trim on it. That's so cool. That's like my bed used to be. It had gold trim on it. And my blankets were made out of gold. And my face cloth was this made out of makes gold. Makes a lot of sense. Is that fish fish? I, oh, I wouldn't bother. That. That's going to be very expensive. He's going to regret that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, fish fish could be cheaper here. I might be, I don't know, because it's, like, yeah, it's not like way in the yeah, frozen. They're not having to no, import it. No, but we did, I did get into this recently with some comments about like, why would it be that expensive elsewhere? And I was like, well, I mean, it could be whatever price I want it to be, but... You could also imagine that it's expensive in the dead frost because they have to import honey, yeah. but it's expensive elsewhere because they have to import the fish from the dead frost. Yeah, Because it's only knucklehead trout that's proper fish lish. Yeah. People make mm. it with tuna and stuff, but it's not the same. Uh, so I'm, just gonna, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm taking the time now. You're gonna go for fish lish <laughs> right wanna, time for that? Yep. All right. Yeah. You go to a you go to a fishlish uh, so vendor fish who is not go just a casino. not just a crappy yeah. stall on the I'm street. Not, it's me, like a okay. every time we go to a new town, we're going to do fishlish casino, and Bob just got to get laid. <laughs> every and single then, time. And then we, we can kind of move on with the. So go yeah. ahead, stop. C- correct. Yep. There is a fishlish restaurant that you find. Um, oh. That's a, that's that's mm. fancy. I imagine it's one of those ones where you go in and there's like glass cases of fishlish on the. Yeah. It's 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 called a booty fishlish. Yeah. It's mm. co- it's called somebody's like name or something. It's like a fancy yeah, Emmanuel's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just called Emmanuel's, and, um, and, and you walk in and there's fishlish, and it's like you wonder how much is the rent on this place because it's just huge, and they're not utilizing it. It's just like <laughs> these individual cabinets of fishlish made with different types of fish and different different uh, qualities. Different lish. One fishlish, different please. lish. One fishless, please. Fish. Fish. But they've got many fishlishes. Oh, that one. Yum. Oh, a grand taste. Uh, would you like it presented with? Uh, Do you want to check meals? what the price of that is I, first? It's fine. I, it's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, well, this is going to be one of those restaurant situations where you get the bill at the I end. I will. Uh, I'll have that presented in its finery. Very well. Uh, all. <laughs> you wish Let's just establish real all quick that you are. Wait, are we staying outside? Yep. Yep. I'm not because he will try and take. Right I did all that thing where you kind of walk into a store and go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just walked in and went. Nope. All of the trimmings. All of the trimming. Very well. Um, <laughs> and he, so and, he, and he, he sort of... <laughs> <laughs> and a team of people come out from the back, all dressed in fineries with things sort of draped over them. <laughs> Some bunch of preps. Wait, he just wipes now, his eyebrows. Is, is it, yeah, wait, yeah. Bo- wait, I quickly pop my head in. Bodger, um, so we know how people eat fishless in the dead frost. Do you know how they eat fishless here? Uh, I'm assuming at, according to its culture, <laughs> which is from where it originates. We all, uh, like, just there's, there's just a window. This maitre d' sort of guy waves his hand boom, and magically yeah. this case yeah. lifts off of this thing, just sort of levitates up. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> you see that there's what a fellow with I don't know what he's doing. Said, but get my eyebrows out of the way. There's a, there's a gentleman with um, with uh, two magical uh, magical tongs that are only this big, but he like uh, activates them, and this this golden light emerges from them to extend the tongs. How much gold do you have? He takes the he takes okay, the fish lish, um, and then he passes it down to the next person, and the next person has this bucket of uh, <sighs> this bucket of. Uh, I don't know enough about food. <laughs> He's got gold some dust. Gold dust, and he and he sort of rolls it in the gold dust. Mm. Uh, the gold dust is the herbs and spices that the fish lush would usually yeah. be rolled in. Um, it, it takes to the next person who has this. Um, uh, he's just he's just magically holding out in front of him this orb of boiling oil, and it just passes through, and you can see it. <laughs> as it passes it's through this. Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> expensive. A place that costs forty nine gold just to get. You? It's like slowly comes around, and then you're just gone. <laughs> <laughs> the camera follows it down all of this process. Yes, Butcher is legging out the door. Butcher's just like, nope, nope. Yeah. Uh, it gets uh, yeah. there's there's a um, drizzled with rubies. <laughs> Goodness, it's <laughs> crushed ruby on top, and um, mm. and then it passes mm. past in front of um, a a druid of sorts mm. who conjures uh, create uh, conjure, Are these guys conjure woodland. In the back yeah. to like wow That's for the price yeah. bro. for the price that he's yeah, about well, to pay they can mm. all get, earn a decent <laughs> wage. Um, this <laughs> druid casts conjure woodland beings and conjures fairies, and the fairies sprinkle pixie dust over oh, it man. as if goes. <laughs> mm, taste yeah. this pixie dust. <laughs> Is that, that? That's great. Is that? I want one. Um, I want one. A fishlish, please. Excellent choice, sir. Would you prefer the perfection package, the spectacular package, or the extravagance package? I will spare no frills. Very well. Good. One with all the trimmings. Let's do it. Here it comes, sir, pulled okay. on a golden chariot by a griffin. <laughs> Great. Well, as, it, as you can see, they are going to take it from the chariot with golden tongs and place it into the vat of oh, oh. acid. Oh, there's no, no need to... I'll just take it. Well, almost started, sir. After the acid oh. that was uh, procured from a hill giant's stomach to season the meat, it is taken from there and placed into golden droppings from a unicorn. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh, After it has been rolled, sir, of course you don't want to eat it yet, no. so it moves on to the next stage mm. where it is dusted lightly by the tears of a celestial r- rainbow maker god person. You're doing well. Thank um, you, thank you. I want each of you to give me something as well, what else? Okay. Um, uh, the honeycomb, there's like a honey, like I guess the like, I don't know, bee, there's a beehive. There's a bee, an entire beehive. <laughs> a beehive. Like, it's like, it's a beekeeper. The, bee, like, the, the beehive is brought out yeah. on like a horse and carriage situation, yeah, but yeah, the horse yeah. is like a griffin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's yeah. in this golden carriage uh, with a bee, uh, beehive they, on the back. They extract one drop of honey and then burn the hive. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> with a dropper a wonderful so, <laughs> and kill the griffin <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> behead the griffin take a drop of its blood <laughs> a drop of the griffin's blood um, how much does a griffin cost? The, they, uh, yeah. the, there's mm. a miniature black mm. dragon that they have that I don't know it's like the potion you talked about earlier yeah, to yeah, make yeah, it yeah. small and it passes in front of that and the black dragon goes and, and no, like, you know what else? And like, it's, it's like dra- dragon caviar. Like, there's dragon yeah, egg yeah, caviar. Yeah, yeah, and they sprinkle some of that on as well. <laughs> just yeah. like, you're all watching outside. Just, just you're miniature. Up against the window. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just miniature dragon. So it's, a, it's, it's not an illusion or something. It's a real mm. black dragon that they've yeah. miniaturized. Yeah. 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 Just how I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, you go. Oh, yes, perfect. <laughs> I love the black dragon. And then, uh, and then eventually, it's presented to you, and the and, <sighs> and they sort of work. It's they, presented they, on a naked woman. <laughs> it's presented out on, on this day on a, on a, you can on a dryad it as well. If you want. <laughs> it's, a, it's a dryad uh, that they've brought in from Ewan Forest just for the purposes of presentation. Yeah. You can um, ask the price yet, or? and then as it as it gets presented, <coughs> you go through it, and they say, "No, no, not quite." Uh, well, there's, <laughs> a pre- there's a prison, and then there's like a, a stage yeah. play around it. <laughs> this guy claps on the other side, yeah. and then the the walls sort of shift up, and there's like a pe- a, a, a huge orchestral band yeah. <laughs> around the start to start to play um, as you are presented with this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yum. Gonna be good. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Ooh, yum. Oh, oh, oh. Is everyone just, and it's also, does everyone stay? Everyone just watch so this has been said, but it's also a very small fish. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, it's smaller it's than the one we had in the fish and yeah. the dead frost. So all these people just standing around behind you right now, yeah. just wait. Oh, yeah. Them. Just, oh, that, yeah, that was. And big. and they bring along security to make sure the person doesn't run. <laughs> like yeah. they, they're, Oh, they're, there's magical security. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> How are you eating it? So, um. 
Immediately all of the eyes go wide. The van just stops. And as you can see, after it has been lightly drizzled in the blood of an actual god, it is finally ready to eat. Wow, it's quite, it's quite small. I mean, oh, it's small but flavorful, sir. Um, okay, well. Uh, Would you care for me to get you the utensils? Uh, oh no, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's, I've come from, you know, the frozen north, so we, we do things a bit differently over there. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, I'm wealthy. Don't worry. I've got my, you know, don't think that I'm from like oh, look, this is a bit of my glasses. <laughs> right. Just that yes, we do. <laughs> Um. Ah. Yeah. Would you care for another? Is it good, the Bodger? The crunch in good? <laughs> Please tell me it's good. <laughs> it is a new experience. Oh, that was alright. It might be one of those ones that it takes a while to like adjust. It's it, but you, like, but uh, I mean. That's that mm, one of those mm, fancy mm, restaurants where it's like, yeah. oh, that's <coughs> interesting. That's 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 interesting. Was interesting. Nasturtium. Mm. Yeah. Look, no, it's quite bitter. Um, <laughs> compliments to the chef. See you guys later. See you guys. Um, <laughs> please don't work Thank out for that the sample. improv as a price. <laughs> oh, I'm looking it up. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't wait to see how much this costs you. <laughs> Lucky you lo won a lot of money at the casino. We should back away so we're not within. Yeah, so he doesn't see us and mm. try and take more like our money. Oh, he's not. Gonna, you can try fucking try and take it. Oh, Why would he? But he, 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 there's a way that he could like incriminate us with them being like, I know those guys. They'll they'll help me pay. We should. No, we should. Hey, no, well, Roger, you start to feel really alive, like oh. like vital v vita vitality is coursing through your system. Like, whew, you're feeling really good. Mm. Uh, you are going to gain the benefits of a hero's feast spell, which is a sixth level spell. Um, it gives you several benefits. You are cured of any diseases and poison. You are immune to the poison condition and being frightened. And you make all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Th yeah. That's what I've currently well, got. You've yeah. currently on got me. all of that cast on you. Uh, it lasts for um, it lasts for one hour. Wow. Well, we got to do shit now. <laughs> no, sorry, it lasts we got, for. We got one hour to find Caliph there. Twenty-four hours. Twenty-four hours. for twenty-four right? hours. Um, you have your hit point maximum also increased by two d ten. Jesus. Temporarily for twenty for twenty four hours. How I still want business. to know the, the bill. Oh bill. man, it's going to be so expensive. <laughs> oh. They've just basically cast a sixth level spell on you. That's going to be expensive. Because what well, was the fish list? Like a hundred gold or something. Sorry, six. Two gold. Uh, your your I hit point maximum goes up by nine. 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 But still. Uh, for the next twenty four hours. We got to get in a fight yeah, to yeah. take advantage of this. Yeah, we got to go outside and just pick Temp a fight. <laughs> uh, temporary <laughs> nine points done. And then they and then they present you with a bill. The, the, the bill is presented by a, uh, what's something, let's see. This could be our first combat. The, the, like, same pixies, ah! the same pixies that did the dust. Yeah. Uh, they, they, flitter, um, they flitter off and then come back and between them they're, they're carrying a, a tray. No, a golden kind of like 300 pixies come back and form the receipt <laughs> form out of their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're carrying this tray mm. and in it is the, the receipt. It's a single slip of paper that says 100 gold pieces. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's not too bad. That's, that's pretty bad. It's like he could afford it, but... It's cheaper than I was expecting. So, <laughs> so how much is it? How would you like to pay? Are you oh, paying, just in, just a, oh. paying in art? Sorry? Would you like to uh, trade of art? Are you paying in coinage? Are you pay paying in I just, gold I ingot? <laughs> gold ingot? It's right there on the wall. Platinum, I, we accept. Normally these are. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, written yeah. in chalk up on the yeah. wall for yeah. prices. <laughs> yeah. It definitely wasn't um, written in Did prices. you have to get a dragon caviar? I. Is that, is that, is that all? Is it all? That's, that's, is it all it costs? That's, that's all? Wonderful. Yeah, For the particular easy. one you chose, easy. there's others. Um, if you are, if you are not satisfied, there are others. No, no, that no you it was could. wonderful. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm, amazed at, I'm amazed at how cheap. Um, it was wonderful. The bar bargain price here. Here you go. Oh, it's coins can, in can a Can you do some sort of check? Like, do they believe him? Like, I mean, if he's giving it? them the gold. Yeah. Coins in a coin pouch. It's been a while since we've done this. So how do you dealt in such money like so? I'm not near you. <laughs> it sounded like you, you could pay with you, art. How do you normally Do you care for the, the, the pouch art? back? Um, no. You, do you wrong. have anything else, by the way? Do yeah, you right. have... you? We stole some art from somewhere. 
Oh, so there's other ways to uh, pay. I do have a uh, Chris Beryl gem. Mm. I have no idea its value. You yeah. haven't got it evaluated yet. You could just. No, I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, you've got hey, hey, the hundred. Can gold? I just get? A, I want to get a feel. I just want to gauge this. Like, like, so can I just rewind? I haven't quite given the gold yet. I'm just throwing the gauge. Like, oh, I could pay with the gold, or I could pay with the Chris Beryl gem. Oh, I was just kind of. Mm. We accept. We accept. Yeah, yeah, any, yeah, like, any form yeah, of payment um, that you'd prefer to pay. If you prefer to pay with the gem, I can I'm have like, that evaluated. Be like, be like, just gauge it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you're expecting his yeah. ears to make an, yeah, yeah. an insight <laughs> check. <laughs> try, I'm trying to get like. A, <laughs> 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 uh, I should have uh, first tried to work like that. Like you just <laughs> held up and. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. oh. Insight check. Uh, four. Right. Four. <laughs> you are unable to gauge, um, mm, but they said that they can have it evaluated if you want. Um. Oh, uh, could you evaluate? No, that has no, to go away. Oh, all right, here's 100 gold. We're done. There you go. Yeah. You pay the 100 gold and you're done. You mark uh, off the 100 walk, gold? As uh, you, I am about to. As you mark off the 100 gold, you see that these runes around the doorway. Oh, right. There was, yeah. Delight. <laughs> you had planned. Ahead. You were oh, never yeah. getting out <laughs> of there. You were getting out of there without paying. I was like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Inst <laughs> Instinctive pounce! Hey! But, but, <laughs> but I, I have had, I'm, I, I can't remember the, 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 the details, but Hero's face. Quick summer? Uh, if you were diseased or poisoned, that's gone. Well, I, I you are immune so. to poison for the next 24 hours. Diseased poison is like having a doll inside you? No. Poison? No. Fortunately not. No. More of a curse than a, a okay. poison. Um, <laughs> good, good try. For the next for 24 sure. hours, uh, you are immune to poisoned and the frightened I'm condition. Permanently, or temporarily immune. Yep, yep. immune to poison and poisoned frightened, frightened yep. condition. Uh, and you have the temporary hit point, uh, the, um, the okay. increase to your hit points, and you make all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Correct. There it is. So you arrive at the port of Milius, mm -hmm. and you are waiting for your uh, your invite to Delarine to uh, to come to fruition. Is, is someone meeting us here? I presume. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. Is like standing at the port. We have like an invite to get there. We yeah. have an invite. You and we've got there. nothing we're not going to add to that because <laughs> I, I have no energy to add to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is it after lunch? And it, might be, it might be after lunch. That's it. Our improvs are usually three step Can I just yeah, say yeah. this is just one <laughs> double shot espresso Starbucks is actually quite delicious and Tom, you said it wasn't. Hashtag non-spawn. This Hashtag, is not sponsored. I don't know if you want to put Starbucks advertising. <laughs> Wait, we oh, can that. Edit that. I that enjoyed that. Thank you. Continue. Oh, well. oh refreshing one. Starbucks double shot. Mm. That's wait till they pay us <laughs> before Hashtag giving them free no advertising. Oh, this is how it works. You know. you you the them. Them in. So the four of you enter the scene. Uh, Baradun, you see this beautiful vista ahead of you. And on this horizon, you can swear you can see a little And glint. while I look at the vista, I have a sip of a Starbucks coffee with the logo facing out. With the logo facing out. Goodness, I'm hungry and I could do with some Burger King right now. Oh, Burger King. Yeah. While I'm eating my Burger King, I might use my Apple iPhone. Is this sponsored? Yeah. We I love well, Apple you know iPhone. What I, love too? I love to explore Asra and flying Air New Zealand. Air this is New Zealand. Zealand. None of these people That's are a great money. call, Greg. I'm loving it. McDonald's. This is no, not no, sponsored. No, Why no, are we giving free sponsorship? Nike, Adidas. Whoa, there's meteorites coming to, from the sky. Kill you yeah. all. Uh, oh, we better get a Tesla shield. Let's get a SpaceX rocket. Air New Zealand. Fuck I don't know. After a, a while of waiting at the port, you ah. see that this <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Put it down, Alan. I have, Post I have lunch a dragon. chaos. I have Post a dragon. Post lunch chaos. I will use uh, the uh, dragon. Everyone, okay. everyone. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. So you wait at the port for a little while, uh, looking out at the ocean, looking across to the horizon where you can see Delarine, and then you see the water starting to bulge a little bit closer and closer to the um, the shore that you're standing on, and. Eventually, this leviathan starts to emerge from the water. This humongous whale-sized fish seems to approach. It gets right up to the pier that you're standing on, and then it stops. And you realize in its eyes that it's not quite real. It's not like a real living creature. It's a mechanical beast. And as it opens its mouth, this tongue unfurls like a red carpet down onto the pier. It's a submarine. It's a submarine. <laughs> Um, and as the captain, as the captain, <laughs> Good one. he's allowed to be excited about yeah. submarines. I don't know. There's just something that really tickled me about it. It's a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that wasn't Adam saying that. That was Baradun's <laughs> voice. As it happens, Ooh. Baradun goes, "That's a submarine." <laughs> <laughs> it is a submarine. Uh, the captain, Captain Findle, uh, walks down with his three-point hat on and his very large uh, feather in his hat. Um, to greet you, and he has a, um, he has a, a what do they call it, a manifest of the, uh, the, the passengers. 
and he, in very lots of pomp and uh, elegance, sort of gives a big old bow and says, uh, I, am under, I am to understand that you are uh, coming with me to Delary. Absolutely. Mm. I immediately I'm dislike Absolutely. him because he represents the minus 49 gold that's been <laughs> taken away from me. I'm like, mm, you know, well, no, that was for the whole ride. That was just to get here. Oh, it's this free. free. Uh, yeah. then, I, then I'm like, hey. <laughs> No, I like. I it. sense. Yeah. I sense he's just annoyed. I'm like, just, just to be clear, that's not the 49 gold. <laughs> We've already, yeah, paid we've already done to that. Get here. I apologize. I'm here. Mm. I apologize for my stern look. May I? Yeah. May I have your names so that I can check them off of the list? <clears throat> Who are you? No, Gre Greg. Greg the garlic farmer. Greg, I have you right here. Please. Um, my name is Bodger. <laughs> Bodger Blodger. Bodger Blodger. I Thank have you, you here. Bob or Bartholomew Osiris Blade Song? Ah, oh, one of the Blade Songs. I have you. Uh, you may have my official title down there. It is uh, Stephen Thorley the Third, of course. I do. Good. Have you of course. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. Good work. I just wasn't sure if he had. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's got yeah, that's enough. What? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Just. Um, I Sorry, I just wanted to know. I just think. I just think. Maybe be quiet. <laughs> Welcome to the Leviathan. We hope you enjoy your trip. I'll just have to tick you off of the manifest, sir. Your name? Bodger. Ah, uh, Bodger Blodger. That's one. That's the one. Right. Enjoy your trip, sir. Go. Cool. Your name, sir? Bob. Bob. Oh, uh, oh. Bartholomew Osiris Blades. I have you here, sir. Enjoy your trip. All right. Sir. Uh, Greg. Greg, no surname. Excellent. Enjoy your trip, sir. And your name, sir? Um, 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 Stephen Thorley the third. Ah, excellent. I have you here, sir. Enjoy. And you, um, Stephen Thorley the third. Yes, I have you on here, sir. Stephen Thorley. Oh, so you you, you weren't, weren't expecting like, like like uh, like High Sorcerer Baradun wasn't on the list? No, sir. No. Nope. Should, should he be? We're we expecting High Sorcerer. I mean, uh, hey, Stephen, maybe shut the f up and come this way. Come on. You so don't do, need to tell, do, tell, do tell me. Tell me yes. things. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Who are you? Hey, what's, what's your favorite? favorite? Yeah. What's your backstory? <laughs> uh, and he gives you the backstory. Um, Which as, is? You, as, you, as you get on the show. <laughs> if you want me to improvise Captain Findle's backstory, I will. Just the rest of today's hey, session. Get on the, the rest of today's right. session. Man, he was Perfect. crazy. Captain Findle, what a backstory. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He was always he always admired the sea. His father was a fisherman, took him out when he was young. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried the fish? Oh, yes, I, can't, I can't believe that his father died in the ocean. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a By lot. the way, I just realized a submarine is because it's submarine. <laughs> oh. are, you, are, you, are you serious? Yeah. There was one of those things where I'd always just heard the word submarine. You know, just something. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. I get the sentiment. I, 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 I was going to judge you for it, and then I was like, God, it's I same. don't think so. It's like, it's like, like a suitcase. I put a suit in a suitcase <laughs> once, and I was like, man, that's perfect for it. It's a suitcase. <laughs> it's for suits. Welcome, Ben. You know? Or no, an I, airport. It's like I, a port I, I, I'm, for the I'm air. Fighting, I'm fighting the instinct to rip into you, but I'm like, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> my get we've it. all had it. My don't was don't act like you're above me. No, we've all had this. My instinct was to rip into you to, to feel bigger than you, but but you actually, that you saying that was the first time <laughs> yeah. I thought of submarine as well. See? Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Submarine. You know? uh, it's like, because you just hear it as one word, <laughs> you and so you take word. it as one word. Yeah, you don't yeah. think about the... Octopus is because they have eight, and octo means eight. Eight limbs. Yeah. Mm, and they've got eight pusses. They've got eight pusses. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think that is pusses. where we need to leave that conversation. <laughs> <clears throat> so, <laughs> after, uh, after Captain Findle explains the origin of words to you. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you, uh, suffering. Right, wow. He says, um, we'll be disembarking as soon as the rest of the manifest has arrived. Uh, we just have a few, few more to wait for. Is what can you Chris, <laughs> quickly tell me what some other people's name on the manifest are? Uh, we're, we've got Princess Ladakeep is arriving um, uh, and her very entourage, nice. mm, and then nice. we'll be sitting, sitting off. Ladakeep. Oh, is that the last yeah. person? Uh, to Princess, Lon Princess Lorna and her entourage, yes. Yeah, entourage. Um, oh, who's in her entourage? And as she, uh, oh, as you man. turn, you see along the. You turn and see as she's arriving up the pier as well on a carriage, um, Princess Lorna Ladagip, which we haven't seen yet in this campaign, but in the in, in the um, isolation games, uh, was played by Brit. Mm. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> You remember that? No. Just FYI, this is a spoiler warning for the Isolation Games short campaign that we ran. If you haven't seen that, there is stuff coming up in this campaign that will spoil the ending of that campaign. It's a short series, it's on this channel. You can go and find it and watch it. Should be an easy watch. Go do that now and then continue watching. 
She murdered your character. Yeah. You remember that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's been seems so long. Like, seems like we need to get Brooke back for the green screen. There's twice now that she's going to appear potentially in the green screen. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I was I was really trying to get you guys here while she was at the table, just so yeah. I could force her to interact with her own character, like you guys all have. But <laughs> c'est la vie. Um, she marks off the manifest as well and uh, climbs aboard. Um, she is introduced to you and is um, uh, happy to see you. She doesn't know any of us, no. Uh, she doesn't know any of you, um, not in this, in this particular campaign. And then the carpet, the, the carpet tongue of this leviathan I just quickly walk rolls up. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that because Baradun <laughs> wouldn't know that. Never mind. Rolls up and the mouth closes and it whew, sets off below, below the ocean for the, um, the voyage over to Delarine. At some point during the voyage, uh, Lorna Ladegeep will come to you guys um, privately and say, um, I understand that you're adventurers, mm. heroes of sorts. Yes, You've we You've been are. responsible for the, uh, the death of the dragon on Erangal, I understand? Uh, yes, uh, there was also a uh, stone giant in there as well, mm. um, which we... Sorry, uh, when you say privately, is this one-on-one -on -one or just as a group? Privately as a group, Pri privately from her entourage and the rest of the passengers. Remind me, the stone giant killed the dragon, we killed yeah, the stone giant, yeah. but we're going to go with it that we killed them both. The, the, the Let's just be vague. <laughs> we, the pr we took care of the problem. Yeah. Took care of the problem. The, the dragon is dead, and there was also a stone giant It's also dead. Wonderful. Um, Money, please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My family oh. doesn't really deal in uh, money for such things, but yeah. more mm. favours when you get to this sort of favors, level. Favours, please. Well, uh, favours usually go both ways. If you do something you for the ladder geeps... Because you're not actually saying that, are you? No, I didn't say that. Comedy if you, offer. If you, yeah, if you, yeah, if you go, go there, like, if you give favours uh, for the ladder family, we can owe you something in return. Um, mm. What do you know of the Silwins? Ah, yes. I... Oh, mate, uh, so just, so not just specifically, so what do you know of the, the only thing... <laughs> the only thing uh, I... Ah, yes. <laughs> their name? <laughs> that they're a family? I want to I hear what Podger thinks of the yes. Sylvans. Well, are they... I'm glad they... Is it they actually I immediately go, do you know anything of the Sylvans? <laughs> I I Sylvans. I I'm glad you asked. The, Sil the Sylvans are one of the high families. Good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they... In they, they specialize in a special type of specialty. <laughs> magic. <laughs> You're kind of still right, yes. really. That's amazing. <laughs> Keep going. Let's I see, how much, can, let's see yeah. how much you can get right. You're, you're stumbling they into do, all they the do right answers. They, they do specialize in a particular type of magic. They, they specialize in magic, and uh, I, I personally am a big fan. Oh shit, oh, really? <laughs> the, I'm a big fan of 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 vanquishing. Well, of of putting, putting them, them in line. line. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm cool. a big fan of putting them yeah, in line. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Uh, uh, is, absolutely. Uh, yeah, was, I uh, mean, uh, unnecessarily. It seems our, it seems our, our, a big um, fan. You felt everyone <laughs> just clinch. <quenched. laughs> <Everyone's laughs> <watching. laughs> the only the only thing. <clears throat> well, I know a few rumors about the Selwyn family, yeah. but the one main thing I know to be true is uh, Inquisitor Bonecaller, of course as we know was you know the, the worst necromancer in the entirety of Azerim mm. right was used to be a Selwyn ma family member yeah. exactly it angers I, me I, how I much defeated you know. him because <laughs> I, defe I defeated him you're right okay and, and me, retained and, me, and a whole, me and a whole lot of adventurers defeated him so right. it's um it's the used to be a whole lot of adventurers and I Shars would be the right English there <laughs> I was going to accept either <laughs> I'll allow it I'll allow it it's the used to be which is concerning the Ladagib family at the moment. Mm. There are rumours that the bone caller is not as defeated as one would think. I need to talk to those He's adventurers undefeated. that help yeah. me out. It's, right. <laughs> it's also possible that, given the, the rumours, allegedly, that the Selwyns are mm. dabbling in necromancy, it is possible that bone caller could have been defeated and then brought back. Reanimated. Reanimated. Necromanced. Necromanced. It's like romanced, but necro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, neck romanced. I'm biting my if, you ro if you romance somebody's neck, <laughs> neck yeah, romanced. Neck romancing. If Shut you up. as <laughs> if you if so you're I'm saying so you're saying angry. bone caller. Shut up. Shut up. So you're saying bone caller might be back. Possible. Just so you know, uh, the, the, you may not remember the Inquisitor Bone Caller is the, the character I played. In that episode where you and Brett, I'm vomiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh. We're on the so he page. is still alive. So canon. 
Ken-ish. Ken-ish. Bone Caller Ken-ish. is already a canon character that it's exists a, in the NPC yeah, world. Yeah, he's that part's canon, yeah, for sure. <laughs> It, okay. As adventurers <coughs> and, and heroes of the land, mm. if you could possibly look into the Selwyns, see if there are any, as if there is any truth to these rumours that they are dabbling in unscrupulous magics, the ladder keep would be forever, forever grateful. It is a, a wise decision to have the ladder keeps in your favour. Well, mm. yes, we need to destroy a big bad evil. I've heard. You've heard. Where right. did you hear it from? I mean, we've been fucking talking all Owen's over town, but where <laughs> did you hear it from? <laughs> when Owen Sundana returned from Palette's house uh, a week or two ago, mm. we, as a fam, as a, um, what do they call them? Would they be like a council? Council of the Five Families or yeah, something? Yeah, the council. Uh, as the council, we connected and caught up, and he explained the situation. Mm. Oh, mm. Califac. Yes. <laughs> well done. I'm afraid it's going to take a little so longer each as, time. As, um, <laughs> it's very close. You, you obviously had a big and deep discussion with Owen. Um, did he tell you anything about Stephen Foley the Third? Me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to add that part. <laughs> no, I just wanted to know if you know anything about me. I, I, my family are a, smooth, um, real smooth. My family are friends with the Tholey family. Yes, so I am aware of who you are. The Thorleys are a real family. Wow. Oh, As we all knew, because you're part of that family. Of course. <laughs> why are you, that, why don't are you, be weird about that. I know, I'm being why weird. Why are you asking about this? Was Adam at the table wants to know if he said that I'm buried in. Not oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Which, I don't Make know. Make an inside check. I, yeah, is she talking in code, being like, don't worry, I know you're buried in. Right, 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 right. Uh, 10 plus 4, I believe it is. You get the impression that she's not like giving you a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm on your side about this thing. It's it might be that she just genuinely knows, knows a family, family called family. Th- the Tholies. Remind me where, Ste- where Stephen Thorley the Third came from. I just one day it was, was name, the first thing that tumbled out of my you mouth. Made up. Literally, but, something that tumbled out. Ah, what are the odds? Yeah. What are the chances? What it's are not, the odds? Honestly, the <laughs> amount of coincidences <laughs> that happened uh, in this game. Uh, it's just right. insane. Off the tr- Rob's off. definitely not made up a Thorley family since I've said <laughs> No, that's so weird. Yeah, exactly. so imagine you, you imagine guys, when you, you first made up that family. Yeah, people would be like, so what? You got, I know, if you go back to that moment, he's just Tim Thorley, I'm like, they're a huge what? deal in the later half of this campaign. Holy um, shit. several gears. This is off. <laughs> this is going to pay off. And, and uh, okay, I mean, good. So you know the Thorley family. Mm. And uh, you didn't happen to talk to... Uh, I believe your grandfather's on Dallarine at the moment. Is oh. he? Yes, I didn't know that. So. That's fantastic. Well, I'll have to catch up. Well, I'll deal with that. I'll text him. It's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Well, yeah. Um, um, and then, have you ever... Do you? And then... Yeah. I just want to know if you also, uh, before I do this in character, what was the name of Lethal's cousin? First name? Yorin. You, you, right. you didn't also happen to catch up with Yorin Lethal as well? No. Or, or, or um, the soon-to-be high sorcerer. Belandra? Uh, Lethal. Belandra Lethal was here about two weeks ago, yes. Oh, good. Oh, has he, has he gone back to... Um, I haven't seen him in a... Uh, who the f*** are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> it makes you angry, doesn't it? Though? It <laughs> does! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know any of these people? <laughs> yeah. No. Mm. Remember when we saw Laethal on that ship stuck into the cliff? Yeah, I remember. And it yeah. wasn't Laethal, it, it was his cousin. But it wasn't and... <laughs> this fucking guy oh. went up to him and was like, hey, just so we know, it's my bad dude, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm right. Literally it was just trying familiar. To is that right familiar? Now. Is that the. You, you said it was like. It was a familiar. Yeah, familiar. Yeah, familiar. Yeah, familiar. familiar and you're, yeah, I'm literally just trying to ascertain now whether how far that fuck up has gone. <laughs> okay, very good. I'm on board. Um, Lethal, uh, Belandra Lethal was here to meet with the, five, the heads of the five families about two weeks ago or so. Oh, and he's probably um, gone back and to. And I think he went Calibor back now. to Calibor uh, oh. after that. Oh, good. I just, you know, being from the Thorley family, I wanted to talk to him, but I've missed him, it seems. Oh, well. Yeah, it seems so. Oh. I'm afraid not. Um, we, we, I'm sure you'll be able to access um, um, of course, through of other course. means. Of course. <laughs> as, as we all know, the Thorley family are very <laughs> well to do. Tell us. Yes, very. <laughs> as Why you reveal it? <laughs> no. no, it does not reveal it's anything. Not reveal it's Sorry, just a bunch continue. Of we, we were talking yeah. about, as Buncher <laughs> just said, we were talking about uh, the great evil... That has hit this land, the Dark Lord that has come. The main, the main quest. Yeah, yeah, my, we were talking about, we were talking about the main quest, yes. My, my fathers will be happy to hear of that. If Your you fathers? Yes. You have two fathers? Yes. Okay. That's fine. 
Yeah. Why wouldn't that be okay? Make it a big it's not, deal. It's okay, it's just unusual. <laughs> what? What is not unusual? <laughs> How does? Say, have you ever said my father's? No, because I don't have two fathers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, my fathers will be uh, happy to talk with you about the situation with the absolutely, uh, absolutely. The thing now, that Owen knows about. We yes, because obviously our, our utmost importance is ridding the world of this great evil. I think, yeah. I think, yeah. we're, I think yes. we're in a line with that. Every so often I just look at Roger and go, whoa. Well, thank, <laughs> thank you for coming in to speak. Was there anything else you needed to mention to no, us? No, I think we should um, not be seen talking uh, when we get to Dalarine. Okay. And it's probably good for the best that um, our first meeting is when you come to the Ladigi uh, estate. Sure. Okay, Indeed. good. Good, good, good. But if you could, uh, if you have any information on the Sylvans by then, um, we would be happy to owe you a favour at that good. point. Yes, we absolutely. do not wish for such a cancer to exist within our midst, no. uh, right under our noses. Yes. Yes. No. A- any no, any right. any points at where we should aim first for the Sylvan family? I mean, I Sylvan assume you're I we assume you're meeting with the Sylvan We accept we your quest. Well, <laughs> just yes. appears over Lorna Ladigate. We accept your quest. Excellent. Um, if you uh, if you wish if you are going to be meeting with the Sylvan head, then I'm sure uh, having a look around his estate would be a good way Skip. to start. You skip the rest of Lorna Ladigate thing and then eventually she's just Gra- not there Greg's always she's been, away. Greg's I've always, always wanted to try that. <laughs> Greg's always <laughs> been skipped, yeah. 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 Try I've always wanted to try that. Sorry, sorry. And you're left and on your own. On there's the no important information in that speech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're left on your own in the uh, in the submarine. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm also wondering how a net a- anatomically correct the submarine is, whether we're like <laughs> in a whale stomach. <laughs> well, I was going to go look out the window. Didn't you say like, it was yeah. kind of robotic or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a, what I mean. It's like the how shell and the tongue that allows you to walk up it. But once you're inside, it's just a submarine. <laughs> boring. Just a boring old <laughs> Boring old It's a very submarines. nice submarine. Very nice technical, <laughs> magical, yeah. high fantasy submarine. All right. Eventually you arrive on Delarine, uh, disembark down the tongue and to the, uh, onto the pier. And you see that Delarine, while... Technically, excuse me, well, technically more wealthy than Milius is not as showy or gaudy because they don't accept visitors. It's not about showing off to people who are coming and, and, and showing off. It's more the once you get wealthy enough, you go back to wearing T-shirt and jeans <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, uh, so like it's, billionaires it's, never look like billionaires. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's very nice and very well. The, the thing that gives it away as being a wealthy place is that it's super well maintained. Uh, the grasses are really nice, uh, nicely trimmed and like the spread out street lamps and it's very mm. ready, very wide open, open areas and things. The uh, at the port. Waiting for you uh, is a, um, a butler uh, of the Eldrins because mm. they've been. Um, yes. It's them. They're it's them that have invited us. you. Um, you are greeted by a, um, uh, an Elvish uh, person called Yolen, who greets you and takes you into a chariot that is pulled by Pegasus. Oh damn! And uh, and then you you uh, aboard the uh, the chariot and uh, take to the skies as this chariot takes you across the island. Are we alone can, in the chariot? Uh, just the four of you, yes, and and Yolen. Um, so, by pure uh, good skill by me, we have managed to ingratiate ourselves with two other families who... D- wait, no, two? One. There's going to be a second one. I don't know what you're saying, sorry. Uh, so <laughs> we've ingratiated ourselves with one family, there's going to be the second one. Do we tell them that I'm High Sorcerer Baradun? Because the whole point is that they vote for... Uh, don't vote for Leothel. We need to kind of be like he's eating to bring you back. Can, can I? Kind of can I just pause for a sec? What we did the first task that was and first, that was for the first one was the Sundanas, Sundanas, Sundanas um, yeah. who were Dana. the El- Erangel Steel mining operation. We did that, Dragon. Dragon. and then we Dan. did the. They're on your side. The second one, which was Eldrins, like, which you're about to tick off now. We're was about, the, to, we're about to tick off number two. That's Eldrins kind of what is asking, what so. you're yeah, about right. to tick off, saying, "Hey, you're on my side because we dealt with the 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 smuggling operation." What what I'm trying to get at is, should I be like. I'm Baradun, we need you to not vote for Leothel because he's evil, or do we just go, I'm Baradun, I'm back. Or do we we just go, oh, thank you for doing it. Our favor is don't vote for Leothel. The three, yeah, the three remaining Mm. families are the Ladagips, and Lorna has just told you what it will require to get them on side. Mm -hmm. Some information one way or another on the Silwins. The Silwins, which you haven't spoken to, you don't know what they'll want, but if the rumors are true, then they'll want something shady. Um, and the Phantasmos. And you need to speak to the Phantasmos anyway because you've got Ricky Phantasmo as the uh, ex-head of the uh, Illusions Duplicates, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And he was he was un- under Leothil's employ when Calathac went missing. Yeah, so there's probably some dodgy shit going so on. So you need to talk well. to Ricky. That's on one of your quests already in your quest book. Talk to Ricky and Phantasmo. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so maybe we don't need to say that I'm Baradun. We just need to... 
So or, the, whole, the whole, the in, in theory, the world thinks that that you're the, that I'm dead, and there's an imposter. There's an imposter. So that rumor was spread around the the, the globe, whatever. But yeah, we maybe. have we have easily um, managed to convince people otherwise by just telling them the truth. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm an advocate for, for telling the truth. And telling the truth to the highest level of an elven family is, especially ones that we know to be reputable, so maybe we don't say it to the Sylvan family. But mm. Yeah, to, 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 the, to people who are, who are good. Yeah. Uh, ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, say, I say we can. Okay, go well, let's wait till we get in within closed doors, but sure. yeah, let's continue. Okay, okay. Right now. Good chat in the wagon here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll say that Yolen was out front of the wagon on the riding seat. So That's why I asked if we were alone in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so you, uh, from, the, uh, from the air you can see a view of the island of Delarine. It is essentially a five-pointed star, each point of which is a home to one of the heads of the five families. And then the center, central part of the island is a communal space and for the government halls of, of Thilavan. Uh, this, is, this is the island where, uh, where the um, Thilavan government is essentially run from. You're, uh, you're uh, not not too long later. A short ride later, you uh, touch down uh, in front of the Eldrin Estate. You see that it is a huge dome, similar to the one that is above you. And looking through this dome, you can see that it is a, a miniaturized version of the entire lake. It is a, mm -hmm. a, a bunch of islands within the la within a lake within a dome on an island within a lake within a dome. They're very. And uh, if we look closer, you look on closer the main on the one, 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 there's yeah. a dome <laughs> and <laughs> tiny, tiny islands. Dome. There, there actually is. Um, because oh. uh, as you as you arrive, you see that uh, spread over the different islands, the miniaturized versions of the island, is their estate. They've, they've got a different building on each of the islands, and they're connected by walkways and things. And on the dome that is uh, on the island representing this island, Delarine, uh, there is a small fountain, and it's a little dome um, uh, oh, so with it's a smaller fountain. islands inside. Ah. Oh. So, well, this is some weird match. Should we squint and see if we can see us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, wait, wait. So, wait. One, one, one more time from the biggest yeah, yeah. yeah. dome to the smallest dome. Go. Sorry. There is a real dome in the in the world yeah. that you are inside of. This yeah. is the entirety of the lake and the Thilavan Islands. The dome so covers the entire Thilavan Islands. Thilavan Islands. You're on, Islands. You're on so lake and everything. You gotcha. are on one of those islands, Delorine. Yeah, and that one has our dome. On Delorine, there is a section where the Pel uh, where the uh, Eldrins live. That they have covered their estate, their mansion, in a dome. Yeah. And their mansion is built on a model, a miniaturized version of the uh, the lake and the islands. So their house spreads across the small version of Delarine, the small version of Milius, the small oh, version of. I've kind of creatively gone. Oh. We'd like to craft our thing to look like the whole land. Uh, exactly, cool. because the Eldrin family are the ones that created the dome in the first place and and are in charge of maintaining the dome. So, so they've two tried domes. to honor that by being like, hey, cool, it's a dome. Two domes and then... You Once you're inside and you're being led across the different islands and the different, it's like a Japanese garden sort of thing and it's lots of fountains and, and beautiful um, uh, sights and smells and things. You're being led across to the Del Delarine Island and on that Delarine Island, there is a small fountain off to the side, about yay big, that is a dome and smaller islands on it. Oh, like a little model. Like, little model. Like, like, like for, yeah. for and so that people. fountain is literally what it sounds like. On well, the, it's on just the a it's dome a for fountain. ants. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Look real close on the island in the fountain. <laughs> there's probably a tiny little dome. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Look, the fact that it's a fountain is the only thing that suggests that it's not this weird magic thing where we are actually. In <laughs> You're the not level. actually in there. No, it's okay. just it's just, just, just a cool thing. Edge. I'm just on edge. Cool yeah, thing. yeah, right. We've spent a lot of time. Okay. I reach into the dome and grab myself, and then a huge hand comes in. That's what Greg's going to be having a nightmare about yeah, <laughs> tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. All right, so you are brought into the um, the mansion and presented. Uh, Yolen presents you. Uh, may I present the Dingo Dudes? Was that it? Uh, the, the <laughs> Dingo Dudes. Dingo Dudes. Dingo Dudes. Just the Dingo Dudes. Dingo Dudes. Um, and you are presented as you as one does the, one of these formal occasions into the uh, the drawing room, uh, the sitting room of the of this mansion of Pelenia mm. and Fiestra. And Pelenia and Fiestra are there waiting uh, waiting you and um, and they're going to be setting up for dinner soon, but you've arrived a little early. They're the two they are the two heads of the family. Pelenia is technically the head of the family, Fiestra is their wife, yes. Yeah. Um Aldrin family. Uh, Alright guys, try not to kill everyone. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Alright. Just a little <laughs> description of them. They are very uh, very thin. Uh, Pelenia is completely bald. Um, and very androgynous to look at, uh, wears non-gendered clothing and uses them, they pronouns, and Fiestra is um, uh, a beautiful elven woman with long, glowing, uh, long, uh, glowing, yeah, why not? <laughs> glowing hair. Um, she's got golden hair is what I was going to say, but it does sort of glow. She uses a particular type of magical elven condi <laughs> conditioner that, uh, that glows okay. slightly. Um, 
and uh, they welcome you into the, the drawing room. Again, it's a very nice, a stately sort of a home, but not too in your face, like golden walls and things like that. I mean, so after the pleasantries that you'd often obviously yeah. have, I guess we get to the business of being like, yes, so we did. Uh, I'm not sure if Samara told you, uh, Samara, 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 Samara told you yeah. we got to the bottom of that all that smuggling business. Yes, I, I heard. Um, um, yes, ho ho horrible that the custodians are doing that. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, couldn't believe it. I know. Oh. How could they be doing that? Smugglers. Under? Get rid of them. Yeah. Horrible. Honestly. It's certainly going to save a lot of trouble um, now that you've um, solved that problem for it. Yes, no. Hopefully that is fully dealt with. So what did, very did, did, you, did you get a report? Did you get a report back at all about what, um, uh, you know, what's happened? Have they been all apprehended? What? Yes. So in the last few days, <laughs> in the last few days, we've had um, a full report made. The custodians have been found to be smuggling people out of the prison on Threa, um, a correctional facility. <laughs> 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 You all right, Bodrum? I'm the fine. Correctional, the correctional facility on Threa, they've been smuggling people out um, disguised as children. Mm -hmm. um, they, we actually found uh, evidence of such um, on-premises. They'd, uh, they'd, they'd had a, a young woman who was a um, lifetime... Uh, what's the word? She was uh, under lifetime parole. Um, uh, um, she what was, was her crime out of interest? If she to, oh, if she to have escaped oh, mass from the cage <laughs> that she was in, she was a mass she mass was a mass murderer. Oh yes. Uh, so she would got out of that cage. Psychopathic. Psychopathic. Goodness Psychopathic gracious. Goodness, wow. That's lucky. With that's lucky, for, isn't it, Greg? Wow. A, taste, a taste for blood. Oh wow. Uh, that's oh, wow. lucky, it's isn't it? Thought to have can can cannibalized bad. many of her victims. A cannibal. Been, oh. A cannibal. Cannibalized many of her victims who were never found. Um, Wow. Well, I got so so we got it's so I was good. really close yes. to trying to get her out. So it's good that they, they caught her as well. Good, um, But it does explain a lot of the uh, disappearances of, of uh, yes, certain prisoners very good. in the strain. So congratulations are in order. The mm -hmm. custodians have been apprehended good. by the Thanguine That's Guards. Very good. Yes. Very good. Uh, turns out they actually have one of their smuggled prisoners on premise. Oh, yes. wow. D disguised as a little girl, no less. Yes. Oh, oh, interesting. Yes. In, in, oh. In a in a cage, yes. And a young girl in a cage, yes. Greg, I apparently. Have, I actually have the prisoner's rap sheet here. Um, starts off with uh, grievous assault. Um, oh! Uh, petty theft, grand larceny. Comes Whoa! Up, um, uh, oh, uh, one count of uh, with assault with intent to murder. Um, That's interesting. Uh, oh, two, almost. Two counts of uh, attempted murder. Oh, oh. Si six counts of actual murder. Imagine if we let oh, someone, imagine murderer. if someone let them go. Seven counts of arson. Uh, we've wow. got oh, murder. a Ooh, real 12. hardened criminal. 12 oh. counts of cannibalism. Imagine Eight. if that person got free last night. A literal a cannibal. Attempted mm. genocide. <laughs> attempted a genocide. Yes. Fratricide, patricide, <laughs> matricide. Uh, Killed a mattress. Yes, mattress. All of that. Listen to that. Imagine if that this person This is why got you out. don't free slave girls. Sorry? Well, that's, a, you know, not always. Actually, no, no yeah. hard rule from let's, now on. Let's actually talk about that. That's a, that's hard not, rule. That's not a hard rule. Hard rule. Mm. I'm just oh, imagining a parallel world where I sit here free. I just would have now hearing this for the first time and it's like, yeah. I'm just, I, and that would help. Oh, no. would, would just it would have enriched us. Over you. It, it would have enriched us. <laughs> yeah. so we much. would just live. Yeah, this. yeah. We would God, that's really actually the main reason, reason I'm glad she didn't get they out. Were, they were found to be uh, through a series of logbooks uh, that they'd kept. Uh, I'll say one thing for the custodians they kept stringent logs, um, mm. probably to their detriment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, they, we don't record your crimes. They, they <laughs> were charging a thousand gold pieces a piece, and, uh, and there were uh, 12,000 gold pieces found in their vault. And so they'd obviously That's found a lot of gold pieces, uh, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's quite a significant margin. Um, a number of the things that we'd found being smuggled into uh, in, into the Sullivan Islands, uh, drugs and things. What else are they? Dr uh, all sorts of uh, illicit like, substances. Oh. Um, weapons, probably. Weapons, yes, probably weapons. Probably like statues uh, and things, probably. Uh, Sorry? No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Anyway. Um, so it's good that we've put a set of. Yeah. Um, well, we're, we're glad to have helped. Actually. Glad to so have helped. I actually yeah. just want to. I'm glad for you. I just want to pivot the conversation. We, I mean, obviously we are. Uh, don't look at me like that. I just every time you say anything like that, I'm like, oh, f where are we going? Uh, we we are upright noble adventurers, mm. and we have <laughs> actually, <laughs> we have. I mean, look at it, it's a cleric. Uh, we, have up I'm up, right? we have stumbled. We're well, sitting down right now. Uh, we yeah. have stumbled upon. I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. A great evil threatening the land, right. and we do need your help. 
Well, we'd need everyone's help, really. I was hoping to talk to you about that. Owen Sindana... Yeah, I heard that you may have, you may have had a bit of pre-knowledge about this. Oh, you did? Um, Owen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What <laughs> Owen, Owen was like, I'll tell the others, and I'm like, good. <laughs> good save. <laughs> so yes, Owen, Owen came back and, um, and reported uh, a number good, of things. Good, just like I asked him to, Brent. Said, <laughs> <laughs> said that um, it would be it behoove us to um, meet with you in person, so mm. I'm grateful for the opportunity now. Um, while you're here, I hope you get the opportunity to meet with the Phantasmas. We are um, looking to the do that. The Largip, the, um, the mm. uh, Thelwins as well. well. The thing is, we need all the help we can <laughs> To destroy this evil. You mm. sound right. a lot like a Phantasmo family member. Yes, uh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very vague re familiar resemblance as well. To ah, if, yes. if you were an elf, perhaps. Yes. Mm. If you in, were another, in another world, hey, in another life. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, brilliant. I'm hoping you'll stay for dinner. Will ah, you be, be, be we'll our be guest. Absolutely. It would be absolutely wonderful delighted. To stay for dinner. Sure. Yes. Yeah, uh, great. Grateful to have you. Mm. Um, pl please feel free to make yourselves at home. Dinner will be served in oh, about an hour. Wonderful. Well, thank, you. thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Make it. So thank you for your service. Uh, please make yourself at home. Oh, really? Oh, oh really? really? Oh, really? really? I'm going to take my pants off. Uh, excuse me, little dwarf man. Run me a bath I mean, and make me dinner. Uh, give me our quests. Oh, and uh, actually, oh. if you could get me, uh, make sure it's like gold, like coated hamburger or something. That would be very nice, yes. And make sure that bath is at 72 degrees. No hotter, no colder. Anyone gonna help me find my sheep? Let's pause it before members make it. Uh, is like, huh. <laughs> All right. Interesting. <laughs> they, will, uh, they will vacate, um, leave you in the sitting room to discuss things among yourselves. Oh, uh, they're vacated, okay. If uh, I you want to grab them as they leave. left to talk about me being Baradun and everything. I guess we can do it over dinner. Mm. Can Maybe that, that is the time to yeah. to do it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's still got the accent. <laughs> You're alone in the drawing room. We're we're place. Roger, we're alone now. <laughs> you can just talk normally. Yes, uh, look, I. this is who I am now. <laughs> <laughs> this is who I am now. Brilliant. Great. Okay, I think over dinner, yeah, we need to, we need, as we're talking about in the carriage, we need to <laughs> unload that. We are Baradun and the dickheads, and that they need to vote for. Uh, are we away? Is that what we're. No, I'm pretty isn't sure that what we decided on? No. Dingo, <laughs> dingo <laughs> dudes. Dingo dudes? Oh, yeah. We're I, still mean, dingo, we we're still dudes, right? I mean, we can say dingo dudes, Baradun and the dickheads. I suppose, okay, yeah. we can say Baradun, Baradun and, and the dickheads. dingo dudes. In case they'd heard of us, maybe, like, reference there, but make sure you emphasize we've changed that now. No, <laughs> I, well, I, I, think, <laughs> I think now that we've got here, we'll go back to that. <laughs> we've, established, we've established the branding, we might as well use it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, well, okay, let's, make some, let's pr make some merch of it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. bring it back. Well, for that reason, that maybe, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. That shit's dingo, dudes. I mean, that, that, that shit's dingo, dude. That, that, yeah. that shit's dingo, dude. Right. Well, uh, dinner, dinner time. time. <laughs> yum. Dinner time. Yum, yum, yum. All right, so an hour passes with you in the drawing room, just twiddling your thumbs, doing whatever you do, lounging in their chairs naked. <laughs> oh, it's good to spread out. <laughs> spread on like, there's like a, um, there's a, there's an owl, a polar bear owlbear skin. Yeah. <laughs> a polar owlbear. And you're just in front like, of a fireplace. La no. Lounging on it. Nude. We trust these, these people completely. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Look. En enough, enough. Okay. Uh, we, uh, you know, the world's, you know, well, it's, it's a dangerous place, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, eventually eventually we really don't know much about these families, to be fair. Like, there, is yeah. a, there is a tingling ling as Yolan comes into the drawing room with the little bells. His, uh, dinner will be served um, sorry, in approximately sorry. five minutes. I was just wondering, you don't happen to have any um, fish lish. Like I had the marvellous fish lish before oh, I came here. I'm afraid we don't have any honey and not, not seed, a problem. but we could get some in if you're here for dinner tomorrow. Well, I mean, if you don't mind. Of course. I don't think we're going to be here for of dinner tomorrow. Uh, if you get one hour and do it. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, lads, I think we should. Um, <laughs> you head to the dining hall and uh, present. Uh, you, you are presented again. Um, may I present the Dingo dudes? <laughs> is it just? Oh, yours? Okay, Steven, I just want to totally we, This wasn't like uh, uh, like my first choice for a name. It was just was this or the Honeywood Hero. And this was the lesser oh, of two. I would have preferred evil. the Honeywood Heroes. I think that's oh, absolutely not strong. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's as we mentioned, it's just where people are from. Honeywood. It's not actually right, who. What no, sells I mean, better Philip, on a T-shirt? What? what? <laughs> Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> Philip. Quick poll. What would what would you buy on a T-shirt? Honeywood Heroes. Oh, I don't wear T-shirts. Dingo dudes. Baradun and the dickheads. Just mm. quick poll. Oh, oh, I just. That's. But why would it? Why? Why? Why, why, why would, would you it be Baradun and the dickheads? It's just a random. Just don't look language. into it. It's just a random name. I don't, I, I don't wear t-shirts, but if I did, uh, I would not wear something with such vulgarity on it. Right. Uh, I mean, let, let's say it was a mug. A mug that. 
Like a China teacup. Honey mug with heroes. Like a China teacup, perhaps. A teacup, yeah, like money. Sounds like Honey with Heroes is the winner. Right. Yes, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes. I'll eventually come up with a plan. In theory. As I keep talking. It's like a thousand monkeys at a time. Exactly. Eventually something will come out if <laughs> I keep going. talking. Valenia, could, I, could I have a word, please? <laughs> Uh, yes, certainly. Pal- <laughs> St- stands up from the table, leaves with Stephen Foley for the first. And Stephen Foley the second says, Sorry, who are you then? What is, what is going on? Yeah, man, I wanted to do what he just did. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I have an understanding? Are you related to us in somehow? Um, I mean, I, I, I mean, I am of the Foley family. You are what? not my family. Uh, there, there is a big misunderstanding here. Just t- time out for a second. Time out for a second. <laughs> yeah. Hadn't we just decided that you were going to tell the truth anyway? So yeah. Yeah. just quickly, what <laughs> the f*** tell- are you doing? I'm going to tell the truth in front of the f***. Uh, El- uh, Elgin family. I don't know these random folly pieces of shit. I feel, I feel yeah, like I guess we're so deep now. We're kind of the only choice is honesty now. Okay, God sake. I think yeah. it's it. <laughs> right, when they come back, <laughs> when they come back, eventually they come back in and plenty. I, says, I uh, have a large revision. I I have heaps. I have a large apology to make to you, uh, Stephen Thorley, the first and the second. I, uh, of course, Baradun. as you realize, am not, and Baradun, nice name, by the way. Um, <laughs> I Thanks, am, so I was named after the uh, High Sorcerer, well, the hero. I'll have big news for you today, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have been using the moniker of Stephen Thorley III as, a, uh, as an uh, alias because I am actually High because Sorcerer Baradun. And you use that name because because you really uh, because because respect and love them. I be, and I use it as an alias because God. I want I want people to respect me and 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 the Thorley name is a respectful and, respect. And it, it just name. sounds so cool. It doesn't adjust. Yeah, exactly. we definitely haven't done anything to drag the Thorley no, name down. No, 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 we haven't. Um, I I am sorry. I have been using your name uh, to cloak my identity as Baradun. Um, you are. The High Sorcerer. Yes, I, I, I'm I, sorry, Polinia, this is not quite the time that I wanted to bring this out. I wanted to talk to you about this in private, but we do have some uh, very important business to discuss around the fact that I am Baradun and I'm in hiding. I had heard. Uh, so because of that, uh, Stephen Thorley, Stephen Thorley, Baradun, um, <laughs> Dune. I would ask that you keep this quiet for now, please. Of course, uh, you ha- have my understanding there. Um, I had heard rumors that you were not as dead as the uh, stories would have us believe. No. And that you may even be in the Sullivan Islands. Where had you heard those rumors from? People talk all, all over. It is not for me to disclose my... Strangely enough, I've been keeping it very hush-hush, so wow. it's wow. weird that people know. It is not weird that people <laughs> it's not know. not weird at all. <laughs> it's amazing that anyone still knows the original story, yeah. to be frank. I don't even know the original story. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Um, well, uh, as uh, my, my... Nope, that's Pelanya. As, as my grandson has said, um, he was named for you. Um, we were big admirers of you and all the work you've done, so it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Um, okay. His birth name is actually Stephen Thorley III. But his nickname is Baradun. We, we I, I love it. Absolutely love it. If you're, you're, you're a big fan of the High Sorcerer Baradun. Yes. Uh, and you know what he looks like. Well, it's not exactly like we have television here, so it's, not a, it's a high fantasy world. I'm always on stories. I'm always stories of world, things you know. and names of people. <laughs> Excuse me, and if, you don't know, if, if you don't have televisions, how do you know what a television is? Got him. Very good point. Got him. Um, I well. Uh, have you seen, have you seen <laughs> pictures? Yes. What about but parades or, you know, but yeah. I'm sure you had yeah, like parades. Yeah, 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 very, yeah. very rarely photographic. Never, ne- never seen them in real life. Right. Photorealistic pictures. They didn't in know that this, is what I, this handsome visage here is what I looked like. So, you know. Also, we could, we could, anyone who's a fan of Baradun is immediately suspect in my eyes because he's a bit of a dick. But I am the most respected person in the land. The Bob, thank you young very much. Baradun says, So you're a sorcerer? I am indeed a sorcerer. Can do you I want see to see some magic? magic? And I do prestidigitation. <laughs> Thank God. <sighs> I was expecting I do, a <laughs> <laughs> do you have a spell book? Um, I do have a spell book. Can I see it? Um, and I, I get. Don't I don't know. give That's it to him. Idea. I just hold it and go. Oh, there it is. That's Oh, cool. show it to you later, right? Okay. He's gonna try and steal it. He's gonna I guarantee, That's why I'm I guarantee gonna show it to you. You know the thing. Bar, you know bar, the bar, thing bar, you do with children, bar. where you go, look. How about we have a little play? Place it away. I'm sorry, uh, the Thorley family, but do you mind if we have a bit of business talk over dinner? 
Uh, uh, please do. Um, I, I was hoping to talk business with Plenia, and uh, then I heard that you were jo going to be joining us. And to be honest, I'm grateful for the company of uh, someone who will understand what we have to talk about and not just some random adventurers. What do you have to talk about? It will come up at dinner, I'm sure. Are we not at dinner right now? <laughs> I suppose we are. Yes, that's a very good point. Maybe we start the conversation. Perhaps, perhaps we can food. talk about it food. right now. Let's bring the food in. So you said that Belandra Leothil is actually evil and has been behind this whole thing, has been besmirching your name all of town and is potentially bringing about the end of the world with this, inadvertently, with this Califact business. And but what I don't understand, though, is that you've been spouting your name all over town as my grandson, Baradun. Oh, so sorry. I asked that question of Pelenya, not, not, a, not of you. What? I'm very confused. Oh, crap. I'm Pelenya, aren't I? Sorry. Um, it's quite hard to keep track of all of the uh, NPCs when you're doing theatre of the mind. Yes, <laughs> I understand. Um, yes, so, awkward. retract all of that. Um, what were we saying? Uh, God, it's late in the day. Yes, it's we, and it's very hot. Can we move it's to doing half days soon? Oh, yes. yes. Once we're in the studio, it'll be fantastic doing half days. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yes. Anyway, more wine? I'm going to have a grape. These look delicious. Oh, I'm going to have some chicken. This is delicious. Um, um, I, I, I wanted to uh, bring up that uh, I have been in hiding since... Uh, you may not have heard this, but... Uh, I'm going to rewind slightly. I was ousted as the high sorcerer by Leothil, Belendra Leothil. He tried to kill me, and, uh, and ma thank God I managed to portal away to Honeywood, hence why Honeywood Heroes was going to be our other name, which I pitched. We I pitched thought it, was quite nice. It was, we started oh, our adventure in Honeywood. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, Water under the bridge, move on. And I have been in hiding for the past three months, growing my, he stripped all my powers away from me, and I've been growing those powers back. And if he becomes High Sorcerer, it could spell doom for uh, all of Azarim. Baradoom. I have lost all respect for you. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's like... <laughs> no, sorry, I take that back. That was very funny. <laughs> what did he say? Baradoom. Oh, like, yeah, it, could, it could spell could Baradoom spell for all of us. <laughs> yeah. Greg, if we don't get my spellbook back, this could spell doom for us. Baradoom. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Oh, no, I am so sorry about that. I didn't, no, I did, I'm not that guy anymore. No, I deserve that. No, that is not I okay. I like this initiative, Greg. No, that is not okay. I like this initiative. Oh. I think beating up young boys is a very good idea. Also, I'm not sure how old I'm meant to be because Robert just kept forgetting at the table. So I'm, I'm meant to be like 17, but I'm playing I'm like I'm six. At no. a, some point, somewhere in that range. If, the closer you are to 17, the better, better I feel. Yeah. Sorry, that was very funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just in a bad I just place say, right now. I just want to say, <laughs> to interrupt you just for a moment, you I personally am okay with moving on with Honeywood Heroes. As I'm okay man. with it. Like, I, I mean, could I get on board with that. With I think that in we mind, move on with Baradun in the decades, but I, we'll decide that later. I feel, I feel like... <laughs> um, Continue. Okay. Um, so I just want to let you know that Leothil is not all that he seems, and we should definitely not be promoting him to High Sorcerer. Related to that is the matter that I wish to discuss with Belenia. I was meeting with Belandra Leothil about, it would have been just shy of two weeks ago, when he, how do, how do the commoners say, fobbed me off. Mm -hmm sort of um, decided to cancel our meetings uh, and return back to Gadorn with haste. It mm. seems he had other business to attend to. All the reason he gave me was that he, uh, he had recently discovered some uh, information that needed to be acted upon. And then he left. And I wish to discuss you with Pelinia what, what, what that may have been. What that might have been and also to um, discuss uh, if there was anything that Pelenya knew uh, based, the, based on the fact that the Eldrins had recently met with Lethal as well. Do you Which know Pelenya, why that may have been? I, I do not. Um, I had heard that um, after Lethal had returned to Gerdon, uh, cut their time here short, shorter than they had expected to. Um, but I had assumed that as acting high author of uh, the Weave, it must have been important information that had come to light about perhaps the Third War or the orcs or, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm afraid I have no information. We should try and find out uh, why that is from someone else. Can you summarize what he just said? <laughs> Lethal went back. Lethal went back, thank you. <laughs> Lethal went back for a seemingly very important reason. OK. 
I wonder if that was us. Right, a, a quick meta chat. Two weeks ago, we've not been here two weeks, have we? We've yeah, been here ten day level. 11 days. Quick meta we chat. Day La day like, like uh, not, necessar not necessarily in cahoots with Calathac. Who's not? That Laethel. No, no, not that, at all. That's no, separate. Laethel in fact, in yeah, right. So in fact, Laethel and could have could have been being an ally one day. Who knows? And maybe this thing. Yeah, because we don't know why he. You, we don't know why he banished Calathac, and we don't know if Calathac was evil before he got banished. He or probably just banished Calathac because he wanted the job. He wanted to be on the Maybe, sister. maybe, maybe. All right. Anyway, meta, <laughs> meta chance. Meta chance. Um, so uh, you, the dinner starts getting brought out. It's a very nice uh, feast sort of a situation. Uh, what is it that you disclose to them? Everything? Do you leave anything out? Exposition throughout the whole dinner? Uh, just to tell them who... <laughs> everything. We tell them... No. Tell them um, everything. I don't know. There's I, no reason to tell them literally everything, right? I mean, the the main points, like, the main overriding... Don't you don't go into details about we like, could who I sleep with at the brothel and stuff. <laughs> don't, don't go into it. Just literally that he's trying to kill us <laughs> and that uh, he tried to kill me, I portal away, then he tried to kill us again and send us to the dead frost. And that now we're trying to stop him from becoming High Sorcerer. Very well. Um, you disclose that information. Make a persuasion check to see how persuasive an argument you're being. Uh, you're, you're doing. Make it with advantage because you're telling the truth for the most part. Twelve plus nine. All right. Yeah. Very persuasive arguments. You have. Um, you have the truth on your side, so you know how to how to to talk about talk. the stories that you you need to get across. Um, it seems like at the end of the thing, the question mark becomes a, a tick or whatever, and you have got the el Eldrins on side. Um, <laughs> the Eldrins are now on your side, as are the Sindanas. Uh, you've got the, the the approval of two of the five families of Thilavern. And the um, Thorley family. And the Thorley family. <laughs> tick. <laughs> Meridian, what's your uh, perception modifier? Oh, start with that, hey? Mm -hmm. um, my perception modifier. Mm -hmm. Where the do I find that? Oh, just perception. Oh, just one, unfortunately. Just one. Um, cool. At the end of the meal. <laughs> 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 the My the perception's meal. ten. Your perception is ten. Um, still not enough. Jesus. Baradun, with a net twenty, um, has very light fingers. It seems. Oh no. So as you uh, yeah, as you finish I your meal. It. Um, hey, he's got your spell but As you finish your meal, you I break his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. I was just gonna, randomly I was gonna just suggest snap. like doing something like. I don't know what you could have done, but just hide it, like clinging onto it, or <laughs> put it in a horse pocket. He asked you if you had when you showed him it, and then you put it away, and he saw where you put it. So uh, then I rolled sleight of hand, and I got a net twenty. So oh, he yes. has your spellbook. Good grapes. They are good grapes. Nice. Good grape juice too. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's mine. What? It's mine. Um, this no, is mine. No, the gold's no, mine. No, the stuff's no, mine. No, the chicken's mine. Stop. No, actually, actually not Baradun. Adam, stop being a cheeky little bitch. It's already happened. All right? But I want he, all my no. thing. He already took it. You weren't watching, and he took it. Yeah, he got a successful sleight of hand check. And that's what happened. I know what happened. I know what happened. I saw, I saw it happen. No, you didn't see it happen. You realized after the fact. And then you can't retcon it, you metagaming little bitch. Um, but I don't, don't know that. And you don't know it. Who? The kid. The kid. Who does, yeah. Stephen Thorley the third. Um, oh, what, what it's stage, stage of dinner are we at? Technically, technically he has yeah. Leothil's spellbook, because it's not yours yeah. anyway. What stage of dinner are we at? Uh, right before dessert. Okay. I'm doing that thing where you're kind of like, you've had a bit of a big dinner and you're just standing up and yeah. you're like, before dessert. Just checking like, your spellbook. <laughs> just I, as you know. I, yeah. I am going to be, I'm like, oh, child god he's i guarantee he's gonna hound me after dinner if i don't do something about this so i wander over to him and kneel down next to him so you want to see my spell book do you radio here we isn't he gone have you Is lost it no he's done yeah, oh yeah i don't have it um and i stand up and go back to my seat and look under the table oh, yeah. you can see mine if you want and he takes out your spell book uh d where did you get that? That's my spell book. No, it isn't. And he opens the front cover where you wrote Property of Stephen Thorley the Third right before coming through customs and th into the Thilavan Islands. I wrote is, that. I've been going by Stephen Thorley the Third, so that's right, that. but so that's my legal name. And Stephen Thorley the Second says, Baradun, did you steal Baradun's spell book? He says, No papa, this is mine look. Does he does he have a spell book with fifth level spells in it? He does have a number of spell books, most of them 
acquired through different means. Shin but shin. Most of <laughs> I, <laughs> um, please, I mean, please, please, please. I, I, think, I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> don't want to start an, start uh, with an international incident, but I think your child may have just my book from me. I, it does, uh, it does have his name in it, so I'm not sure exactly what I can do about that. So maybe you. How can I prove that? Use your Leithel's second. Oh, how indeed. <laughs> Does it have layers <coughs> in it? Does it have property of layers? It's like a li old library out. book that has Maybe the you can, yeah. you, you can tell him to recite, like, what's the first spell in it then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the first so, spell in it? Not the first spell, but I could, I could say what are some spells Sorry, in just it. Got big here. Thank you. Thank you. I think it's up this. Yeah. Um, well, uh, w without... Uh, sorry, uh, Stephen Thorley the first. I, I don't want to do this. It's very embarrassing at a dinner like this. Would you be able to get Barudun to tell me one of the three fifth level spells? Oh, sorry, not fifth level. F oh, yeah, fifth level spells in the book. There's only three in. Only three in. With, without, without, opening it, without opening it. Without opening it. Without opening it. Without opening it. If you could tell me one of the three fifth level spells that are in the book. Well, I have lots of fifth level spells in here. I probably have. Just say it's one. It's going to take a wild guess. Just say one. See if he and happens see across if it. I'm going to open up the fifth level spells on Indy Beyond and, and I'm going to roll randomly. Actually, I think there's currently only two in there. Not three. Let's have a look. Um, we're going to get the spells up. And he's going to uh, roll randomly on the spells and hope, <laughs> hope to land on one of the ones that's in there. Because there's not just two spells in there. There's two spells that you recognize in there. But if you remember, this is Leofil's spell book. Yeah, so sure. all of Leofil's spells are in there. Oh, so almost and every spell will be in there. As you're, this isn't, this isn't as you're, as you're learning them, you recognize certain sigils. And you're like, oh, I can read that now. Yeah. But it's Leofil's spell book. Uh, Leofil doesn't have every spell in existence. So I, I do Dust have Leofil's stats here. What's it? Dust it for fingerprints. I'll have your fingerprints all over it. Mm. We'll see how well this goes. But then I like that idea. <laughs> all right. He is going to. Da, 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 da. We do handwriting, or I'll just I'll just message into his head and make the kid go insane. That's okay. And then we can yeah. steal the book <laughs> off him. Yeah. Not the, I mean, not the worst idea. Of course, there's um, arcane hand in here. Okay. Um, um, I could um, tell <laughs> you. I was like, oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, let's open uh, the book. Cloud kill, of course. Let's open the book and find out. Stop. No, I just said one. <laughs> Flicks it open. I've got Leithel's spell here. Leithel's spell book. Arcane hand is in there. Damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so like, ah, now, 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 <laughs> now, let, now let's pop the book aside, and I want both. Uh, I want why don't we? Why don't we do this, Papa? Totally why don't we do this, Papa? Um, no, this th Baradun <laughs> and I will both go outside, and we will cast spells at, uh, from the book, and we'll see who can cast more of the spells. Okay. Stephen Tully says. Can we also do a handwriting me. thing? I'm going to write my handwriting. <laughs> we'll see whose looks like the writing and that says Stephen Tully the third. All That's right. How old is this child? He's, a, he's about 17, 18, mm. give or take. All oh, right. So, I was expecting like a, I was thinking like an eight-year-old. Yeah. yeah. When he came yeah. in, I said That's precocious late, little late shit. Is that real? Uh, real cup. Yeah, not real. Hello, little boy. Do you like magic? Oh, he's he's not a little boy. He's like he's 17 years old. What? You yeah, I'm like almost an adult. I thought you were a little boy. Yeah, that's my fault. Because I, I, I was wildly inconsistent with the character because I forgot how old he was meant to be. So I gave him this sort of childlike voice, but he's actually like, he's, he's like late teens. So it's a little bit weird that I'm kneeling down next to a like, a, like a teenage boy yeah, and treating bit. him like a young boy. Yeah. This is awkward. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of, it's, uh, to be honest, it was kind of weird. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to see my spell book? Yes. That's my spell book! It uh, says probably a Stephen Thorley the Third. That's my spell book! I mean. So we're both gonna, on the same piece of paper, write Stephen Thorley the Third and right. see which one matches the book. <laughs> uh, yours, he rolled, he rolled a uh, forgery check because he is proficient in forgery kit because he does yeah. this a lot. He steals people's spell books. Um, but he did roll a two, so his, his uh, plus his modifier is still pretty good, but um, yours does look a little more like his. And he goes, Well, I wrote it a long time ago, Papa. That's kind of one each at this point. Mm. <laughs> he's he's, okay. he's well, got the arcane this. hand, but you've got the hel handwriting. Uh, so Pelenya says, well, I, I didn't have uh, after dinner um, entertainment planned, so Spell I, why not? Spells it is. walks outside to the okay. back lawn, essentially, of this thing, and they put the spell book down in the center of the, uh, on, on like a, a podium looking out over the, um, over this, this really immaculate, uh, immaculate lawn with a couple of fountains and uh, trees and things. And, uh, and Stephen Thorley the third says, 
Age Before Beauty. Welcome to tonight's game in the red corner, weighing in at 160 pounds, Baradun, high sorcerer, and uh, all-around nice guy, so he tells me, aka Stephen Foley III. And confusingly also in the red corner, because he demanded that red was his favourite colour, weighing in at only 100 pounds, Baradun, aka Stephen Foley III. The only difference is this is a child and this one's high sorcerer, I was told. Anyway, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, okay, here we go. Well, uh, you all may know the spell uh, quite well. We're all uh, big adventurers. You might know this as well, Baradun, Thorleys, and uh, Eldrins. And I cast uh, above the building behind us, I cast Draconic Spirit. And oh, have the, yes. Then have the dragon, f like, right <laughs> over the... Um, the Billa. And the incinerate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and pull off the place, and then I take the book Kill back. everyone. Yeah. Um, and, then it la and then it lands on like the little garden in front of us. And it's awesome. got Draconic Spirit. Awesome, I love it. Uh, wild Surge check. <laughs> and then I explode. Six, 19. 19, uh, you're good. So it goes up to a 2. So that was only the first one cast today, wasn't it? Yep. All right, it comes to him. Uh, hmm, he's going to have to go big. Uh, he does know arc in hand. So as the, um, as the dragon <laughs> comes soaring down, uh, he follows it up with um, with what used to be called Bigby's hand, arcane hand, and out from his hand, kind of like your um, mage hand, like a silvery glove, and you think, mage hand, I can do that. Uh, but it immediately starts to grow until it's about the size of the, because the dragon's, what size? Large? Huge? Uh, huge, yeah. Huge. Uh, so it gets to, I think Bigby's hand from memory is only a, a size large, so it gets to big enough that it can grab a hold of the dragon's tail. It goes forwards and grabs a hold and just yanks in the dragon. <laughs> And then the dragon disappears, but the hand stays. So this is going to be essentially like a wizard duel situation. Oh, the big sure. hand is left. Okay. Um, what, we're looking out at like a big, like big lawn, a big yeah. lawn, big, big garden. garden. Lawn. Is there any large? Bob's found some is, like a is there any large, large statues? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a so there's I, a statue of the original Eldrin, the one who <laughs> raised the barrier, uh, who was known as Edwin or Buzz. Okay, <laughs> brilliant. So I see uh, that large statue, and I cast uh, animate object on it. Oh, nice! And it and it <laughs> steps off its pedestal, steps off its pedestal, and just gets over. Uh, does it have anything in its hand? Probably a um, staff, maybe. Yeah, staff, a wizard staff. And it just brings a wizard staff down on the hand, and smashes into it. Oh, nice! And the hand, <laughs> the fingers break backwards. Oh, uh, awesome, 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 awesome! <laughs> um, wild search check. Yeah, will be two. Nope. Okay. Uh, three. Was it? It was, it was fine. Oh, right. I thought you said he rolled it too. It's close. Uh, so you're up to a trigger of three. The uh, the kid then casts the fifth level telekinesis as he um, he flicks through the pages, sees the telekinesis in the book, and then uh, reaches out towards the statue. And then, as the statue is kind of lumbering over, it can't move can't move much work because its its legs start to bring off of the off of the floor. It's like a huge statue. Yeah, there he is. Look at that. <laughs> Starts to just it gets lifted up into the air as the kid kind of just holds him there, and then you can see that parts of it start to crumble away. And Belenny's like, "Oh, if you could." No. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, hopefully they're not too attached to this <laughs> family heirloom <laughs> statue. Uh, high magical family, they'll be able to mend it. Shocks it. Yeah, true. He crushes, and uh, and there is a um, hmm, how would this? I think there's just like his telekinesis uh, is. Encom encompassed by the, the sort of floating ball of gravel now in the center. Mm. The kid is now out of fifth level slots. <laughs> um, I uh, cast Major Image and. Uh, oh no, I need to do multi multiple castings for that. Just say the word, Baradun. <laughs> <laughs> say the do you murder the young boy? No. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> just Bonds just walks word. up behind him, just, just quickly <laughs> slits his throat. <laughs> Problem solved. Can you summon the? Uh, no, we said an, comedy an retraction. <laughs> <so> that <laughs> comedy <laughs> retraction. And that happened. Can you summon the uh, an image of Paul Rudd as salary man? Do you, do you what? Man? Salary man? Do you not? Know? Uh, there's, there's a okay. Uh, everyone who's seen it will be uh, cracking up at home right now. <laughs> 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 it's hilarious. It's, yeah, uh, but ca carry on. I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 that one at the computer. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Let me show you how a master does it, little boy. Summon Draconic Spirit! Oh, <laughs> cool. um, uh, Bigby's hand grab the dragon! Okay, here we go. And animate object, stop the hand! Okay, statue, uh, I'm gonna telekinesis grab that statue and crush it into rubble. Hey, hey you guys should summon hmm, Salary Man. What? 
What? You know, who's, salary man? Who's salary man? A Paul Rudd. The video on Tuck What has it got to do with? What are you? This? We're having a. Wizard. It would have been funny. It would have been funny. Greg, we're having a wizard battle. I, it, okay, have fun. Each thing kind of leads on from the next. It's the point of a wizard duel. Like each one leads on to the next thing. Anyway, 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 your, anyway okay, oh my um, god, I'm so sorry about him. That's okay. Oh my god, he's a weird garlic farmer. Yeah. Now he's a cleric. At, um, uh, I'm okay. Oh, I know, I know the, the dancing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. You got it. Um, That's I, I just want to see um, that in our world. I do a major <laughs> image of Baradun, not me, of the kid, of, of the kid um, out on the lawn, just where everything's falling apart after he broke yeah. it. There's a little major image of him, and he looks all powerful and mighty, and then his pants fall down, and he trips over his <laughs> pants. And he's <laughs> like, oh, Mommy, I fell over! <laughs> Does he shit himself? Ha <laughs> oh, ha, oh, that's you! <laughs> Awesome, love it. Uh, all right, let's go with. How is this proving her own? I know, I don't know. Shh. <laughs> uh, eight. I did not. Wild you did surge. still do wild surge. All right, illusion thing. I light another What's cigarette. I'm what cigarette number two. <laughs> Man, you're you're a legit smoker now. Oh, yeah, it's becoming that way. It's how I deal with this. Um, it's how I deal. The See, I just drink. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. Eh, I know what he's worth. Um, and then the ground around it starts to lift up as he casts hallucinatory terrain. Um, as the uh, and he changes the terrain of the garden to cover up this counterspell. This, uh, oh, oh, nice. Oh, he's going to counterspell your counterspell. Has he got that prepared? He does. He's got it prepared. It. Um, so he's going to counterspell counterspell, which in my games triggers a wild surge, because two oh, triggers a wild yeah, surge. Triggers a Both wild of surge. us, or just one of uh, us? Just at the point that the counterspells are happening. So you just do a wild surge. Exactly. So he is. So uh, you need to cast. Counter spell at fourth level in order to counter his well, fourth I level hallucinatory terrain. Did it the wrong one then. You can do it at third, but then you'd require a check. Yeah, yeah. no, it's fine. I'll but if you want to just no, checkless, it's all good. Uh, he will also do the same, which means he's out of fourth level slots as well now. Um, but a wild surge triggers. Um, all right, so you counter spell. Was so there this kid on the ground terrain. with the, the ground started moving all around him? He was like, ah! He was still like, mummy, <laughs> mummy, <laughs> fart shitting himself. <laughs> Essentially, while well, this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's an image, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. It's still hilarious. He's still over there going, mummy, I'm the real <laughs> boy. <laughs> I'm just sitting there looking at him. Oh, fuck our life. What? Weird. Okay. What? Um, I was like, what is He counter spells your counter. Oh, is he going to do that, though, in front of his dad? This is a bit. It's getting a bit much. He. Do he it. thinks about doing it. He do definitely it. does it. He definitely does he it. Definitely does content, it. mate. Content. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely oh, he's right on the verge. All right. I, yeah, he's going to do it. I whisper. I message him. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. You see him do it. Do it. I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. I don't know. He's going to find out. Um, he rolled a 33 on the wild surge check, which means maximize the damage of the next spell you cast. <laughs> so he is pissed at you for doing this and the fact that he might be losing this fight. He's, yeah. so he's going to now turn it, he's gonna now turn it from a friendly like wizard duel of like yeah. illusions and stuff to just like outright hit it hit it at you. Oh. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god, so yeah. he's going to hit you with a spell it. and it's going to be max damage. So what, what does that it, mean maybe. he's going to choose? Let's see. He's got third level spells. Oh my god, this is actually what could be. This is going to be our first combat with this family. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry, let's I've got see what's he got that's not going to be an area of effect and kill everybody. Um, mm, mm, mm. This guy's a little shit. This he's, guy's a, he's, yeah. a little he's a little, little shit. shit. Yeah. It's a, I've got a weird feeling in my chest now. Where you know where someone who looks up to you, or someone who said they look up to you, and you're like, <laughs> and yeah. then they turn out to be a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 Oh. It's like, oh no, is this what oh. I, I mean, like yeah. I said, right? Anyone who's fan of fan of Baradun, probably a bit of a dick. You, Bob. <laughs> I mean, one well, for one. He did say you're a and he's acting very much like you. Yeah, exactly. One for one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which one's he going to go with? I think classic. He's going to go with Lightning Bolt. All right, so as you counterspell his thing, it maximizes his. Uh, still the spell. Cat out there. <laughs> I, I counterspell it back. I counterspell again. You're going to try to counterspell that one as well? Yeah. All right, uh, what level are you casting this at? Uh, oh, it has to be at third. It has to be third level. Yeah, yeah. He's got third as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, worth it. He's going to counterspell yours as well with his. Oh, is he going to counterspell back again? Yeah, which is going to trigger another wild surge. Quadruple the power. Um, no, which means it counterspells yours, which means the lightning bolt goes oh, off. No, the white so the yes. hallucinatory yes. terrain goes off, then the lightning bolt goes off, which yeah. maximizes. And I'm imagining a Harry Potter battle here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that like, you don't roll for it, you just go counter, the other one just says counter. You do roll, but it depends on what level you're casting it. Yeah, yeah. He was casting a third level lightning bolt. He cast counter spell at third level, so it just happens. Mm, if yeah. he'd cast it at fifth level and he was casting a third level, then you have to roll to see if it mm, happens. Okay. See if you can counter counter it or not. 
Um, and it and it uses a spell slot. Oh yeah, you've been rolling well magic for counter spells. Uh, I did for the first one, so thirteen sounds still good. So he's still good. The triggers up to uh, six. Six now. Um, I then earthen grasp, <laughs> w but do the. We need the lightning bolt to go off first, which is a dexterity saving throw from you. I counted it. No, he counted your he counter. Counted the counter oh, again. Which means oh, the oh so, so I off. still need to do yeah. that. No, okay. Um, what am I doing? A dexterity save. A dexterity saving throw. Jesus Christ! I'm still going to get hurt regardless, right? Yep. You've got plus zero on your five. decks though. So five. Yeah. All right. So five hurt. is a fail, so you're going to take the full amount, which is uh, maximized is eight d six, which is forty eight. He hits you wow. for forty eight lightning no, but damage. Now, but now, but now, shit's just gotten real. Ghosts. Oh, and now we're and, <laughs> and the Tholis and the Tholis go, whoa, 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 Baradun, stop it! Baradun, stop! And they rush in to be like, stop, 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 stop! This was meant yeah, to be a friendly whoa, fight. Whoa, 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 Baradun! This is meant Goodness. to be a friendly fight. That final uh that final wild surge was a one. The final wild surge? Yeah, because he counted oh, okay. he's he's done a counter spell of your counter spell twice now, which is each time is a wild surge. The first one was the maximized uh, the next spell the next that he one did. One, yeah. And then when you tried to counter his spell that and he did it again, that rolled a one. And a Kay. one is Roll on this wild surge table at the start of each of your turns for the next minute. So if it, he does another ten wild surges and he can't stop them because they're wild. Surges. Everyone stand back! <laughs> so as, wow. as everybody rushes in and goes, stop, 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 stop. He's just a teenager going, I'm about to wild surge. Uh, he's oh, he's he's oh, 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 oh mum, dad, don't look at me, I'm wild surging. Oh, 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 oh god! <laughs> Major image, look at you! And you're pulling your pants and that's crying! Not, that's not cool, I'm gonna cover it up! Counter spell! Counter spell! Counter spell! Counter spell! Wild magic! Oh god! Oh, it's happening, it's happening! Um, <laughs> six seconds later, a six Ooh, seconds later, a, a, a mechanical yeah. being like a small orb, oh, kind, kind of looks right. like a snitch without wings uh, and with legs instead. A little modron appears um, oh, and oh. disappears a minute later. He's just gonna be there, be like, <laughs> be there for a bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for the next minute, so that was two. Somebody keep track for me. That this is the third. The second one the was second, yeah, uh, the on. second one was for the next minute. You can see any invisible creature you have line of sight to. Cool. Um, so he has <laughs> I, I, eyes of la lantern of revealing. Yeah. There's no invisible Number creatures three. around. The third one is six just reveals this random naked man who's just like, <laughs> watching. <laughs> Or he just likes watching this. Oh, oh. <laughs> he can, he can, <laughs> How do you see me? But nobody ever checks for me. <laughs> <laughs> he just steps up into the forest. Runs off. Just a greasy old man, like greasy. The third one was. Can't me. The third one was a 68. For the next hour, any beast within 120 feet of you is inexplicably drawn towards you. Oh, great. Uh, so like oh, creatures wow. on the on the property just start like wandering Walking towards, towards him. wandering That's towards three. him. I'm lighting another uh, The third yeah. one is 69. Nice, which is you swap an ability. Go with the nearest creature. Ooh, it's not me. Other people uh, are rushing towards them. Roll one d six. Let's see. Uh, so he swaps his oh. dexterity score with his father. His father was the one running out, the closest one, um, and the scores remain switched for the next minute. Number five. Number, uh, five. number five is a twenty six. Which, oh, by the way, this is a homebrew table. Um, so if you if you like, that's not the table of the PHB. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> uh, the the top of his head, the top of his head starts to bud, and a duck grows out of the top of his head. Nice. And then what separates. What a duck head, am I right? And, yeah, nice. and then the, and then it separates from him and flies away after a minute. Ooh. And during that time, he has disadvantage While on this charisma happening, checks. By the way, I'm and I'm just like just checking go, the mushrooms. Just so you all know, like, yeah. take those who's mushrooms? the superior sorcerer here? The, the father has how many times has wrenched the book away? How from many the times kid. did I cast and not a single wild surge? <laughs> Father's wrenched the book away because like it happens it to, to a you. lot of people. But you, you say that by like, like. <laughs> I can get control wasted. of it, Dad. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. had your opportunity, Baradun. Uh, the next one is fifty-six, which so. is your hair grows extra long, full-bodied, and glorious. Uh. <laughs> it reverts to normal after twenty-four hours. So after the duck flies away, his hair grows. No, I imagine the duck stayed there. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, Mainly because at the end of this, I'm going to ask all of our artists in the fan base to draw what he looks like at the end of ten. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, great. Uh, we got right a fifty-four. Um, whilst crying. Seven. Whilst crying. Whilst like no jizzing, jizz face. <laughs> <laughs> whilst no jizzing, but he's like, Aah! but like kind of oh. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Continue. Uh, fifty-four is a goblin chef appears in an unoccupied space within five feet of you, holding your favorite dish. All right. Dish. What's the order? <laughs> 
<laughs> if you choose oh, to eat the food, roll any die, and if it's an odd number, you take poison damage, and even number, you gain hit points. So purify food and drink immediately. Eat. <laughs> 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 Are you going to purify it for him? Yeah. Or for him? Oh, yeah, because he's, he's going to eat it. Yeah, the oh, yeah, yeah, sure, purify. Oh, oh Greg. No. no. He, he nah, he's reaches out. Listen, hasn't he? yeah. he's yeah. Eat this, and the, and the goblin's like, I go. Ah, if you ah. eat this, it'll be fine. I'll make you all of the magic go away. And the guy believes him. He eats it, and he got an odd number, which is an odd number. You take poison damage. I go. Ah, ah, so the kid takes. Uh, the kid takes four points of poison damage. He's got to learn oh, lesson. Dude. He's got to learn lesson. How many have I got left? Uh, that, that was seven. The Sorry, eighth seven. one is a seventy-one, which is you gain resistance to all damage for the next minute. Could have done with that before the yeah, poison wow. damage. Yeah. The ninth, ninth one, one is eighty-nine, eighth which one. is. No, this one's nine. Oh, this one. Uh, 89 is you become invisible for the next minute. During that time, other creatures can't hear you, so he can see himself. It's super easy to draw. Okay, yeah, so don't draw that one. You don't can see himself. You can draw him like with an outline. Yeah. Yeah, you can see himself because you can still see invisible creatures. Is your, it, your lantern of revealing. Yeah, 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 yeah. The drawing. The drawing. The drawing has to be Greg at the side holding a lantern of revealing, <laughs> otherwise you can't see it. Just like start, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Uh, during that time, other creatures can't hear you either, so it invisibles his sound. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> invisible sound. All comes back around. And the last one. And the last one. Uh, 80, exactly, which is He's pretty hot. flowers grow from your head and stay until they're plucked. So his flowers are duck, <laughs> long hair, He's see, his eyes Seeing are glowing. He's yeah, half so if he's looking at himself, himself. there's a goblin poisoning him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And Jesus. Great. Right. So that went exactly as I'd planned. So kind of puberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what puberty feels like. <laughs> this is what elven puberty is. <laughs> You got hair growing in weird places, ducks. <laughs> ducks popping yeah. out everywhere. You're invisible. Yeah, you have your, <laughs> you have your chizzing all over <laughs> the place. You have I, your book back. Stephen Tyler, the second I've got, the, I've the, got the book back and I put that into my post pocket. Yeah. Um, he grabs him by the ear and he's like, "We're gonna have words, kid." <laughs> and and but, but then got, I go over to him. I go over to Baradun, Stephen Tyler the third, and I put my hand on his shoulder and go, "Good work, though. That was very commendable. That was." Uh, I just want to be like you. And wow, that's like really forgiving. You're a lot closer than you think, mate. <laughs> that's very forgiving. I, I that's very I, I want I want you. to foster this kind of passion, Greg. I don't know if <laughs> this kind of reckless chaos. Correct. Yeah, I don't I mean, know if that's the idea. Um <laughs> Just yeah, kill maybe, maybe less stealing in the future, Barry. Yeah, the All dude right. steals your book and tries to kill you, and you're like, commendable. Good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, thank uh, you, Greg. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, cure, cure, heal, heal. Cure, heal. Cure, cure, heal. Cure, heal. What do you I really use? hope we're not going into and another battle after this because heal. I used <laughs> most of my spell slots. Um, use cure wounds? Yeah, I used cure wounds, I think. What level? Just first level? Uh, yeah. Wait, first how much level? damage did you, did you do? It? 48. 48 damage. Jesus! As did anybody in the immediate line behind you, but I'm assuming <laughs> that everybody was standing back enough watching this damaging fight. They've seen you cast fireball on yeah, yourself sure before, so everybody else has taken a good 20 feet back. back. Yeah. Yeah. By uh, the way, do we have a card for that shadow blade that I got? Uh, yeah. Maybe is it is it a uh, spell? Yeah, sure. Spell or an item? It's a, it's a spell. spell yeah, um, yeah. I don't have I'll a check spell later. card. I'll check later. Okay. Uh, let's go second level. Second level. Two d eight plus four. Two d eight plus four. Uh, five, four. So nine plus four is thirteen points of. Hit Thanks, bro. Sweet. Thanks for the show. Mm. It was fun. Yeah, I will admit, Baradun, that was fun. Yeah, it, it was. It was very fun. I hope I can be as powerful as you. One my power after Leithil stripping my power from me, it's coming back, and that this, was enjoyable. Has this happened to you before? <laughs> uh, no, I never have wild surge has happened to me. It can, but it never does. Huh. Well, I yeah, would I never know. like watch no, 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 like, it. You have to tell him at a certain age we all wild surge. Like I better get used like, to sometimes it. while it's we a perfectly natural thing for a young boy to do. Sometimes <laughs> while we sleep, even we wild surge. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You wake up and you've wild surge. <laughs> sometimes you have a wild <laughs> surge <laughs> dream. A <laughs> wild surge dream. That's the way it is. You, you got to comfort him through yeah, this. Yeah. You know? Sometimes right. you're with a girl and you're no, no, stop. <laughs> sometimes well, you're if you're wild having no, no, if you're having a magical night with a girl, you might wild surge. You might wild surge. Get up. Um, he uh, he says braiding his hair and plucking the flowers, flowers important from his head. Have protection. <laughs> <laughs> like like counterspell. Yeah. yeah. Like counterspell. He's got like certain flowers that he doesn't realize are still there, so they're just still just growing for until somebody plucks them. Great. Um, his father and grandfather leave it because they think it's hilarious. And you go back inside and you finish your dinner. Um, if there's anything else you wanted to <laughs> tell the pol- uh, the, the um, elders about, you can. Otherwise, so we we've, de- we've definitely talked to them about the fact that I'm Baradun and uh, and that they shouldn't vote for Lethal and that there's a big evil coming and we need their help. The, yeah, the Generally whole Kelethak situation. Did you mention Kelethak specifically as the big evil or is it just like Maybe a, we, a dark lord? May, I don't think we did. Should we over-desert 
have a bit of a chat. And do you say, like, although I know you don't need to role play it out, but like, do you say I th- it's Calafact? I was just checking for dessert, if you've got it. Do you have Squishlish? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you've got it. What <laughs> Squishlish? Is squishlish. Squishlish. It's a, it's a dessert. What, but is, it what like is, is it banana? It's like, fish, it's like fishlish, but it's jelly? Uh, gelatin? No, no, this is made of, of pure gelatin. <laughs> it's pure gelatin. Um, just just also. <laughs> ground up hot It's pure That's gelatin. It. Just that. Yum. Just in a bowl, do you hop it? Just, no just sugar. Pure flavorless no gelatin. No sugar. No nothing. <laughs> but, the, but there's, I don't know how it is they prepare it, but squishlish. So it's, it's not delicious. on a it's not on a stick like fishlish. On a stick. It is on a covered stick. Covered in honey. Yeah. Still. So it's gelatin, honey? but it's like honey. not a yeah, little bit of honey. That's right. Yeah, yeah. A bit of honey. Yeah. So it's just pure so gelatin. So big, pure slimy, gelatin. Yep. slimy Hunt gelatin stick. covered in honey. Covered that's right. That doesn't, that doesn't it sound good to me. And it's still oh, oh, it's still ate in the same way. Yeah. Same way. Still have to. Put the honey right to the back of their yeah. throat. Do you so, have as, so as we're having... Let's see. Let's as see we're if they have honey squishlish. Squish they have it first. Sorry, I'm hijacking this. So they, I just want to talk to you about, they, they about said, the They said earlier specifically that they didn't have uh, uh, honey to to for the fishlish. Because oh, yeah. oh, you asked for fishlish and they said, oh, we don't have any honey at the so, moment. Well, if they there come are with, some variations. I think if they have, if they have squishlish, then. they do not, I'm afraid. Give it a 20% chance. Okay. Worth a shot. Over whatever lovely thing we are having. not. We have instead... What, what do you reckon's for dessert? I didn't Blish-lish. think about it. Bl- <laughs> Blish-lish. Blish-lish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is this after dinner or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it's, no, I'm just kidding. Blish-lish. That, obviously. Bitter. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> some kind of ch- ch- chocolate ch- cheesecake thing. All right. Yep. What are you, what are you going to um, say? I think we want to tell them that, uh, yeah, it was... Le- to further the conversation about how bad Leothal is, is he tried to dispo- depose, rather... The high sorcerer. Oh, I'm going to keep going. He tried to dispose of uh, the high sorcerer before me, Calafac. I'm just going to step in here and say that Calafac has since become an evil dark lord. We yes. don't. We don't technically know if that was the case before Lethal banished him. We're assuming Lethal banished him to try and get power, which is what he did. To no, Baradun. I think it is the case. He he banished him, and the spell went awry, and it sent him to the. Um, but we don't. Do we do? Do we know why he banished him? to try and get rid of him. He would. He just portaled him away. But cool. I think what your friend is saying, did Leothil uncover that Calithac was evil and therefore tried to get rid of him? I can't remember those or days. Was Calithac? No, no. I don't think was Leothil know. just no, power-hungry he, he, and wanted uh, uh, Calithac was studying with the giants. And that's what... Uh, and the storm giants. Yeah, and Ben. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, actually, actually, dude. From, from memory, I just me at the table yeah, now. Yeah, like, yeah, what? I was oh, just sorry. kind of banished there and yeah. then... By being there, he, he didn't. Okay, it, was really quick. Inti- it, was, it was never intended to be yeah. there. Like TLDR, yeah. like, so Calithac, I just want to it was the high sorcerer Correct, went, before went me. before you okay. yeah. and got banished by, by Leithel. Leithel. And then that, and he mysteriously and disappeared, so yeah. I became high sorcerer. And, and Calithac, Calithac would have, Calithac would have, oh, sorry, not Calithac, Leithel would have been pissed off by that because he would have been like, oh, what? So did I Leithel, banished him so I could be high sorcerer. So Leithel did it with the intent of becoming high sorcerer. And then we're assuming. assuming. Because I was an all powerful young man and they were like, this is the so you, you Jesus figure of the Yeah. Thanks. No. no. I was, was the one who won powerful. the second one. I, I guess it's fair to say Leithel's right. plan just like, didn't quite work. Just like, yeah. just like right now, Bar- the high sorcerer has gone missing. They've gone into a period of uh, grace period for him to turn back up again. Yeah. Uh, eventually, the, after one year of him being missing, they need a high sorcerer, yeah. so they have a sabotation day, which is like right. an election day, essentially, right. where the council of the Order of the Weave vote on who to be the next high sorcerer. Right, right. In that time, they have an acting high sorcerer, currently Leithil. Oh, At the time, it was also currently it was Leithil after oh, Kelthak. So Leithil was uh, sorry, Kelthak was dis- uh, was was banished. Leithil stepped up into acting high sorcerer yeah. and was acting high sorcerer for a year, expecting that he would be then elected as high sorcerer. Subtation yeah. came d- day came, and everybody voted for Baradu. Yeah, right. So and Leithil was because like, I, w- f- I was a young, promising young he promising was, wizard who you were, saved you were, you were Gerdorn close, from right. in the second war. He was right. Chloe Swarbrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, which everyone in You're the world can understand. Viewers. Which everyone in the world. Even New Zealanders, really. Our three I mean. audience. Yeah, true. <laughs> Maybe one person. Yeah, if, you get, if you get it, you get it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, nah. so I'm pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure that. Uh, yeah, the the <laughs> spell. G- Google's gonna be like, why is there a sudden spike? <laughs> a sudden close spiking close rubber. <laughs> <laughs> she is really good. She's great. Actually. Actually. She's great. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. She's a politician. Just so you know, spoilers. Um, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> Real life doesn't spoilers. 
Oh, <laughs> they were all going to go to the election and uh, now, no. And then he was going to look her up. Um, but oh, uh, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah, the spell went awry and yeah. he ended up in the dark. Uh, look, I'm kind of just playing devil's advocate because you don't know that later. Pretty all, but, you know, all the How evidence. close are we to that grace period being over the one year for the next vote? No, uh, you're about three or four months in at this stage. Three or four months in. Three or four months in. You're about three or four yeah. months into the one year. Okay, so we've got a long we've time. We've got ages. I feel like it's been years. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Simpson speed. On, on, on that time, and now Kalithak has had his mind twisted and warped. And unfortunately, <laughs> he is uh, enacting uh, dark schemes Doing for the Dark Lords <gasps> in, yeah. in Azerum. He's like a vessel. Could you refrain? He's, he's a vessel. <laughs> he's like a vessel he for the dark powers. He's he an office a nightmare. You'll get that later. I yeah. wish yeah. I knew that before that, inviting that you into my home. Nightmare. <laughs> um, Look back uh, at so it's all kind of connected. Anyway. Right. This I, was delicious I, I, cake. I, I, yeah, right. Nobody else has touched this. Thank you for clarifying that for like, them. The yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. No, Calathak, not him. Calathak as a vessel. Right. Yeah. But he just let smoke come out of his oh, eyes. I'm a vessel for the table. Oh. <sighs> Probably well, shouldn't have mentioned that. Why, that. Why do you say please things? Why do you say things? <laughs> Why do any of us say things? What? Like, well, this has we, been great. I hope you've got somewhere to stay tonight. Uh, if we could stay here, that would be lovely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, in the morning... You, if you ruined this <laughs> just then. <laughs> and then that in was the just morning. From, from that thing you just did. Is ru- that's <laughs> they were definitely going to put you off. Yeah, they were definitely... Like, I'm not sure I want to... Oh, come on. I'm in full control it. of it. <gasps> See? Okay. And then Sorry. in the morning, if you could introduce us to the show, that would be lovely. We need to go around all the five families and have a chat with them. Of course. Um... Perhaps we do that in the morning then, yes. Um, Sleepy times. <laughs> and you, yeah, he's and you not are shown sleep to sleep here tonight, he's going to go somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> Yolen, uh, Yolen is, uh, <laughs> takes you out of the main estate and onto one of the other islands in the under the tiny dome um, that is the pool house, essentially the, the guest house. And they'll, uh, they'll take you out to sleep you out there uh, a little bit Makes further sense. away from the main house. Yeah. I'm going to lose the, my abilities, my, my bonus hit points, aren't I? Yeah. yeah. In yeah. the morning, though, speaking of bonus hit points, if we're going to the Selwyn family, things could get a little bit... Do you want to give us a little, a little, a little in the morning? morning. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. A little, a little, in the morning. Uh, oh, in the morning. Can little, you from uh, your? Oh. Oh, Budget, do you mind giving me uh, just because it's in the morning and just a quick little, a little, you know, a little. What do you mean? You know, in the morning you often give all, all of us like the little. Uh, what? No, no, no. Go. What? What? I, I mean the little, little pick me up, the little. Oh, oh. No, no. What are you doing? I yeah, so, 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 so the idea is to go to the cell It was twenty four hours, right? Twenty four hours. So you've got like. I think the hit points. Were, were twenty four hours asleep. from the point of the. Uh, so do I keep those hit points for the full twenty four hours? Yep. Oh, okay, sweet. You've got for points for the full twenty four hours until. Uh, so until until can you transfer from just saliva and get like if because no no no. Just no. <laughs> Yeah. So we're, we're, we're no, no. <laughs> I know where you're going. Uh, and dirty so Andrew, in the morning we have a little powwow. Do we want to go to the Selwyn family first, or do we and like start being like, are they evil, or do we want to go to the Phantasmos? Because the, the Phantasmos. <laughs> just just, just trying to get points up. <laughs> do do, do I try it? See if it works. No, I don't. Just look over comedy, and Bodger's just it. spitting into Co- Comedy rewind. rewind. Comedy Rewind. Comedy Rewind. No, no, thank no, you. And, I, had, no, I had the idea, but... And, I, and, I, pri- I, and private, no one saw that, but we did that. <laughs> so we did well, that. Well, how many hit points do I get? And it didn't work, and so <laughs> you were just left there the kind of awkward. Term. I just that's like that's your spit. Wait, yeah. Oh, wait. You're that's a D12, a D12. So you're never going to succeed on that one. No, seven. Um, plus 13, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> you, Interesting. So we, so we need you to go. No, I, 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 no, we didn't what, do that. So we you didn't don't. Do that. What, what are you mean? going on? Hey, so on that, actually, if we did hook up, would I get some of the benefits from you know your my heroic feast? Yeah. Would that? Well, I haven't of, flossed, so you, you well, could. Yeah. Oh no, actually, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, oh, I regret asking. No. Nope. You don't no, get. You no, that. you did it. Um, did you don't that. get oh, yeah. a, a, uh, any hit points, but you do gain a. Feeling of disgust within yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what yeah. You just did. yeah. It was it was one of those things that um. <laughs> one of those things you're like, why did I think that would work? Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. most insane. Yep. It's too stupid. Oh, that's that's not how science. That's not science. <laughs> no religion, no magic. Thankfully, <laughs> we know toilet. for a fact that he doesn't have any diseases or poisons in his system because of the fish list thing. Yeah. So, uh, so you didn't, he didn't pass on a disease. Luckily, from you, you yeah. took that after Sandra, drinking his spit. Okay. Yeah, that's a good Worth point. A you could have picked something up from Sandra and. Uh, Sandra. 
Same well, that's gone now. Does yeah, it, did exactly. it cleanse all my STDs? <laughs> <laughs> it did. I was trying to be a little bit coy, but okay. Uh, gone. All right, Toodaloo, love. Had a whale of a time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit, that burns. Hey, Reginald. Yeah, I think it's time for another hero's feast, if you know what I mean. I got the, got the dragon burn again. Oh, shit. Oh, I might have to burn it off for now. Oh, shit. Um, so, so it was worth it. It was kind of worth it. I know. I know. I, know I, know I will introduce head. this dragon if we keep going. I, with this I, I want to say: Are we going to the Selwyn family, the potentially evil family, to do like a little bit of digging, or do we want to go to the Phantasmos? I, as a cleric, shouldn't be saying this, but I think it's wherever the fight is. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not where the fight is; it's, it's where the it's stop the evil family. Yeah. The Phantasmos, you know, uh, Ricky Phantasmo once worked for Lethal at the time that he did all this Calithac thing. They might and be able to. He worked with Yaris Goldhorn. Yeah. And uh, Yaris Goldhorn up, and Ricky were both up. banished after doing their deeds. So Lethal got the two of them to help him with covering it up and falsifying records mm. and stuff. And then after he was elected a- acting high sorcerer uh, in the interim between before Subtation Day. He had them both removed to t- sort of cover his tracks, and Ricky Fantasma now lives here again. Yeah, and but you've neither been to, of those you've been to Goldhorn and like blew him up. Neither uh, of those things are pressing, records. though. It's not like Ricky's going to be scampering in the next couple of days. Well, oh, he might do now that we he knows we're here, actually. And you've just told everyone everything. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Fantasmas. <laughs> Fantasmas. <laughs> what then the so, Selwyn's so might just, know just, everything. Just, just to put it on the table, what we want from Ricky is information about uh, if he was in literally involved with uh, sending Calithac to the uh, Dark Dimension. Sorry, can we get one home? So Ricky Phantasma yeah. was literally involved with Leithel when he got rid of Calithac. You want to find this out? Or do you know this? I want more information from him. Right. I know for a fact that he was involved. He was involved, involved, but, but we don't know in what way. In he what was involved. exact capacity? Whether he was a willing. So who do you want? To, do we want to go talk at to the Ricky? time? He was he the was head. Willing. Yeah. Uh, at the time, Ricky Fantasma was the head of duplicates, illusions, counterfeits, forgeries, and unofficial copies, or yeah. dick f- for short. <laughs> um, <laughs> dick. F- <laughs> <laughs> what? That's canon. Continue. Um, <laughs> dick. F- and he That's was, so and dumb. he, and he, ha- he helped the head of forensics, <laughs> Master G- Goldhorn. Uh, to forge some forensic documents to say, oh, no, no traces of him. We don't know where he went. Yeah, so we want to know if there were oh, traces God. and get more information about Leithel and about Calithac disappearing. All right. So you have a long He's rest. A bad, he's a semi-bad guy, like Goldhorn. You have a long rest at, in the pool house of the uh, Eldrins, and in the morning you have breakfast uh, pr- pr- provided to you. They don't want to dine with you, so they provided it to <laughs> I you. I wonder why. To your pool house, Thanks. there's some bacon Bomb. and eggs and things. Uh, you eat your fill. Just, while, while, just over breakfast, just a quick, quick moment, please. A um, little speech I'd like to just say. Go speech. ahead, go ahead. Um, so. <laughs> We are gathered <laughs> <Just> here. <laughs> Chris, becoming a chain uh, smoker. All, all I want to yeah. do is talk about things that are rightfully yours and, and yours. <laughs> we all have things. Like my spell book, it's rightfully mine. It's rightfully yours. Yeah. And doesn't it feel wonderful? What's yeah. it? It's rightfully mine. It's rightfully yours. <laughs> you, your gear and stuff, that's rightfully yours. I've got things as well. So um, I hope you feel inspired. I do. <laughs> after, after 10 minutes. After 10 minutes. <laughs> Ten minutes of just going through the things that are rightfully yours. Things that are rightfully yours. Why do we feel inspired by? What do we get now that is at level ten? It is your level plus charisma modifier. So I think it's what's your charisma now? Uh, My charisma is two. Two. So you should get twelve. 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 Oh, plus his charisma. Okay. And because yeah, I didn't specifically charisma. mention, you did not. I <laughs> you didn't. We you get, get the full twelve. Mm. Well done. Okay. Well done. Why are you not? Do I inspire myself? I forget. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, are we are we off in a carriage to the <laughs> Phantasmos? So you are. So as you uh, as you yeah. uh, <laughs> as you mine, leave yeah. the as you leave the uh, Eldrin estate, a messenger a messenger boy rolls up and says um, uh, is greeted by Yolen at the 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 uh, entrance to the estate, and you over here as you're getting ready to get into the cabin, um, the messenger boy says, I understand the uh, the the. Um, Tholly family are here. I have a message for Stephen Tholly the third. Yes. With prop. Oh my God, props. Steve, uh, for Stephen Tholly the third. Yes. Is that? And wait, 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 wait. looks across and says, "Which?" Uh, hmm. oh, so I'll, I'll take that, that we, and I'll make sure that it gets to them. And the messenger hands it over to the butler and says, "Sorry, wh- who did the message come from?" As he's leaving, he goes, um, f- "From somebody in Godon." 
I, be I believe that's for. Uh, I'll hand it off to Stephen Thorley III. I'll hand it off to Stephen Thorley III. You don't hand you the. You were message. contemplating, am I going to lie? <laughs> and then I get to kill this guy. I'll, 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 <laughs> I know. Uh, so Stephen Thorley and I, we know each other. In fact, different story for different times. Don't worry, you're a messenger. Go away. The messenger leaves and <laughs> the, no, 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 and no, no, the no. butler. What's up with you? <laughs> what, what's your the best story? What's your favorite name? Fear? Is. Yeah. Gurglitznest. Yeah, um, Gurglitznest. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's. Oh, it's not a guy uh, called <laughs> It's it's from Schmagenrock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah classic. He's, he's half orcish. Name. Half orcish, but uh, he's. Well, thank you very much. I will give this to Stephen Thorley the third. Very well. Uh, the messenger leaves. The butler is mm, interested, and then leaves as well, and leaves you to it, and says, "I can trust. I trust you are you are welcome. You are able to handle your own bags. Um, it does not want alone? to be associated with any of you, and leaves you guys alone." It says, I had a real quick peek, Baradun. That says it first. Mm, right. uh, I'm being monitored and cannot. Baradun, I'm being monitored and cannot message you directly anymore. Lethal is about to publicly lie about you. It is bad. You must distance. I must distance myself from you until we can find a more concrete way to clear your name. I'll continue to work from here. Good luck, DP. Diamond Dallas Page, the wrestler. Oh my god. The famous no, wrestler. That's DDP. Oh yeah. Damn, uh, that <laughs> DP. DP. And what what's the dragonborn dude's name? It's not Domino Padre. Oh, Padre, of course it is. Okay, oh, so it's Padre. So who is it? P.S. So I think it? that <laughs> mask <laughs> be. What a pointless bit of information. Who is it? And P.S. I could think. I think that the mask might be involved. F shut up. <laughs> <laughs> not fucking involved. I'm not. And it says, could you please send the mask to me? I'm not saying. Can I? Can I? All oh, right. <laughs> 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 That's right. Because he got. He got it like was a like, curse oh, that oh, makes oh, a, a, yeah, a never-ending yeah. fascination. Oh, by the way, I think it's probably the master. You should probably send it back. Maybe just, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe just send it to me. <clears throat> Paradun, the mask is all I can think about. No, that's too desperate. Um, Baladun, if you send me the mask, I, I, he won't, he won't do it if he knows that I want it. Um, Baradun, do you remember that mask you had? What? It's not going to work. I. I if he just wasn't so goddamn selfish and just gave me the mask. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, leave it as a postscript, as if as if it's just a thought off the top of my head. I, uh, P.S. Um, do you still have that mask? Maybe I, I want the fucking mask. <sighs> okay, Patrick. Okay. Is there a code here as well? Also, I think it's got to do with Can can I just just gonna do a like a check for. Spells magic. and stuff. Check for spells? Sure, make a magic check. There we go. <laughs> That's the best person to be doing a magic check. Okay, three. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Just having a clip. How, do, how does Bodger do magic? So you know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, Bodger, <laughs> you, <laughs> you know from your study of magic that um, magic often uses words. So these guys will say things when they're casting spells. <laughs> Um, there's words on this page Me. that might be magic spells. Um, the the way that's that not the one words of those eye trick things. <laughs> like the way the word, magic, you've also yeah. seen Baradun has a, has scrolls which are apparently magical. <sighs> so guys, so this is probably a magic spell. I, I have discovered something. Uh -huh. okay. You know how scrolls uh -huh. can yeah. sometimes have magic on it. This must be a magic scroll. I can see, I can feel the magic coming off the scroll emanating with its magic orders and runes. You know what? I think this is invisible ink. If you can use, if I, we can find the right talisman and get the right magic gems to decipher the magic codes, this could be the key to the saving the world. This could be Leothel's note. Budget, that, that's, that's literally just the text. That's the text that is written on there. No, no it's magic. There's no, there's no magic. They literally just wrote, they just wrote that. That's just, the, that's ink. That's ink. Oh. There's nothing magical about it, it's ink. Oh. Yeah. Why are you? Yeah. Think about so it. Give it so you, Wait, you've done are you it. saying you've because that cracked the code? That's paper. It could potentially be a scroll, and because it's got <laughs> words, they could potentially be magic words. Over over the next ten minutes of the carriage ride, I do just ritually cast. <laughs> 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 You're like whatever, Bodger. Shut. This isn't a magical note, Bodger. <laughs> Just check it. No, it is not. not a magical note. Okay. Uh, there is no magic on the note. Uh, no magic. I mean, plenty of magic around the carriage and you guys, but nothing uh, on, on the note. note. All right. You are being. Uh, you've asked the driver to take you to the Phantasmo estate. Mm -hmm. And as you uh, as you are arriving at the Phantasmos, um, there is a, a sort of a goodbye happening uh, as you're arriving. Oh, one of them's trying to get away. Uh, it seems maybe. Yeah. 
Break his neck. Break his neck. You. There's one rookie with him. You see the yeah. You see that the it, there are um, uh, where are they? Phantasmos. There is an older woman, uh, older elven woman, and her husband. Um, you would you know them, Baradun? Probably. You know right? some heads of families, don't you? Yeah, you probably recognise the older woman as Renee. Renee Phantasmo. Oh, she's the head yeah. of the family. Head of the family. Um, the and elven. and her husband, you probably wouldn't recognise by by appearance, but you gather from context here. This is probably uh, Juethla. Joethla and Renee are saying goodbye to somebody that you recognize. Well, actually, you don't pay attention to the staff much. Can you can you roll to see if you recognize Ricky Fantasma? <laughs> oh, surely he's head of staff. I'd know. He was, but well, so was Yoris Gildon. 11 plus one I'm rolling on. Yeah, it's fine with your history. Um, you recognize him as Ricky Fantasma. He looks like he's had a few hard years, but he's saying goodbye to them. He's putting his, car- his bags into a carriage as your carriage touches down. Okay, so if they know... If I know them, they know me. So there's literally yep. no point. In yeah, Ricky would recognize you. Um, so I uh, do a minor illusion with some sunglasses on <laughs> and like walk up, walk nice. out of the carriage. <laughs> What's up, bitches? And I look at uh, I look at uh, Ricky and ta- as the sunglasses come off, they just disappear. <laughs> That's dark. Yeah. Um, so there's a whole yeah. point of just to make an just entrance. A, just, just to, to make, make an entrance. entrance. And I go, What's up, hello, Ricky. Didn't think. I saw Sir Baradun. Yes, it's lovely to see you. Had you heard that we were in town? So it's true. And then we that all you get are. out behind him, going. Is that why you, you're you, leaving? You huh? guys are all behind me, going. Is that why you're running away, huh? I do a whole lot of minor illusions on their faces as well. We've got sunglasses on. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Ricky, it's been a long time. Yeah. Woo. It's been a it's been a while since we've seen each other at Temple Carbo, right? Yeah. yeah. What's up? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> These are my lads. We're Baradun and the dickhead. We're Baradun and the dickhead. <laughs> What yeah. are you doing, Barry? Doing? You're trying to fucking escape, are you? Woo! You're trying to fucking escape. You're trying to f- you can't fucking escape from us, son. We're going, to, we're going to take you down. We're going to take you with us, and you got some shit to answer for, son. Yeah, 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 boy, down, boy, boy, boy. Boy. You, yeah. So it's, it's true what they say that you're not, you're not dead. No, I'm not. Oh, what's up? You know? so, what's up now? <laughs> Uh, hi, hey, hello, uh, Renee. Yeah. Uh, lovely Shit. to see you Shit. again. And you, um, hi, sorcerer. It's been Jeez. it's been too long. I uh, sorry, I, sorry that's I been see you're leaving, Ricky. I was <laughs> hoping to catch you, <laughs> so we could all have a chat. Shit. As these guys are still behind me doing this. He says, Shit. I, Shit. I'm, I'm unable to talk here. Ooh. If you if you visit me at my home in Milie- uh, Milius tomorrow, I can tell Is you. Is Ricky saying this? Oh, I don't know if I want him to leave. He's gone run, boy. He got he, he run. Gone f- <laughs> You're behind me. Go. He gone f- I have <laughs> run, boy. I have, docu- I have documents that you would be interested to see. Oh. If you visit me at my home, I can <sighs> provide them. Um, it's giving you some sense. How, I understand. How, how I could hear, be really good. I hear, could be a trap. <laughs> I hear that you've been going around the other five families and curtailing favors and uh, getting people on your side. Yes, and if you've been hearing that, then I worried that you're going to run when you leave. Why don't we go with you right now, boy? (laughs) Boy! (laughs) You can, you can, my carriage is leaving soon. You are welcome to come with me. Okay, now that he's open to it, I'm like, (laughs) 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 meh. Renee says, what's all this about, Ricky? And he says, it's about the unpleasantness with uh, with, uh, Bilandra, mother. She says, is that still happening? He says, I'm afraid so. Well, then, seeing you know about it, maybe we could have a very quick chat here. Where's my boy Zaza? <laughs> uh, Rene says, you, you know my grandson Zaza? I heard about him, bro. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yeah. He's still in his gang for Who are you? Shit. <laughs> I heard about him, bro. Derek and Zaza live next door. Should we go visit? After, at one point, we'll go, go and visit. Go visit, chill. <laughs> I wonder if we. It's been all over the place tonight. It's been all over. <laughs> Um, Renee says, I am uh, I am familiar with the unpleasantness that Belandra Leothil forced upon my family when he uh, dismissed my son, yes. Um, but not current unpleasantness regarding death. There has been more com- unpleasantness. Ricky, I wonder if we step... Uh, how urgent is your leaving, Ricky? Uh, you understand Ricky? we cannot be seen to be getting involved in Belandra's... Uh, do you not know the end of the world is at stake? You, in fact, Renee, you know. We've been told by the other heads of the family that the, you know the end of the world is at stake. I've, I've heard situations, yes. If you can help my son clear his name against <coughs> the unpleasantness with Leithel, 
dismissing him and inadvertently uh, inadvertently getting him involved in Califax's disappearance. Do you want to be talking about this on the driveway, by the way? Should we step inside briefly? I'd rather briefly? not. Henrik says, well, no, that's why I asked if you could speak to, speak to me at my home we, where we, I have we, abjurations in place. This is the thing we were rushing for. So why don't we just go back with Ricky? And we can't, we need to speak place. to the family as well, though. Okay. So I kind of want to... But Ricky is the family, is it not? Well, we need to talk to the head of the family. Although it sounds like Renee's just like... The quest for her is get my son out of trouble. Oh, right. So Renee is the matriarch. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about we're talking, talking to both on the, on the driveway. We're literally staying on the driveway as he's trying to get in the carriage. He was about to leave as you arrived and Renee said, look, if you can get my son, if, if you can get his name cleared, because back in the day when Lathil did all this shit, he kind of blamed a lot of the stuff on, um, on the two that he banished. Mm. Um, so, and, and so she's saying, if you can get my, my son's name cleared and he can potentially go back to working for the Order or whatever. Then okay, well... All right. I'm yeah. more concerned about Ricky making a run for it, so I think we him. I think we go with him. I and also, maybe he can pay for our fare back. Up. Oh no, we're not. Sorry, it's, that won't be free, free, free from Delarine to yeah. use. It's um, just forty nine to get. Uh, well, and but Renee, we will likely want to come back and have a chat with you about. Yes, other things. Uh, once you have this sorted and we can speak about things in a more private area she just just towards the house uh, looking behind her by the way to the house the phantasmos who are the innovators of the five families the people who uh, are really in charge of the um the new inventions and they're really pushing the frontier of magic the they're, they're the ones who've created the street lights and all of the things they're, they're literally built and the, the razor keyboards and the razor keyboards and the the sorts of things. yeah all those. Oh, yeah. they invented all that stuff yeah. Uh, they're the innovators, the and so they're... Did they invent the submarine? They did. They also invented the submarine. Um, the, the Leviathan. You can see behind them that their mansion is something that would only really make sense to somebody on one of Alfie's trips. Um, <laughs> the whole thing is hovering above the ground. <laughs> there we go. Ah, it's a normal house. The whole thing's hovering above the ground and on, upside down, so that the, uh, t it's top heavy. It looks like sort of an upside down pyramid, very uh, unarchitecturally sound. Um, the walls are wavy and kind of move around. It's like a mm. rotating uh, image of, of something. It's off. definitely, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely exactly that. It's yeah. clearly created with the intent of demonstrating the magical prowess of the mm. architects that made it. Yeah. Whoa. This Whoa. is so intense. Wow. Oh. I mean, this, this is quite beautiful. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That, that, like that, that, oh, that, that so is the kind of like the, the hanging garden. And I the, know. How would you even describe and the moving it's stairs that just kind of go from one kind place. Of inverts on and the itself. water flows no. upwards. It defies yes. all I logic. I tell you what, that minutes. would be a nightmare to try and produce on a oh. green screen. Can you imagine? Imagine, 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 imagine if you were trying to make it in a computer I system. Can't. It's oh like MC God. Escher. It's like, like it's in, like interlocking it's kind like of fractals yeah. within fractals. Somehow, yeah, I can yeah, tell yeah. it's multi-dimensional. Like there's time. There's time. Time and space is like moving differently everywhere. It looks so beautiful. And a beautiful animated dragon's flying. Flying over there. Wow. He's yeah. the biggest, most intricate dragon I've ever seen. It's impossibly detailed. Oh, this is the most oh the, dra the dragon's thing. flying this way now. The big animated dragon's He's coming, coming towards oh, 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 oh. um, <laughs> Great. So you'll be back here once you've spoken to Ricky um, about his situation. <laughs> okay, well, let, let's do that like really intimidating thing where he gets into his carriage and we just get in with him and sit there. <laughs> real tight <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. Right yeah, one. even though he's like coming across real genuine and <laughs> sorry, about it. and I'm just sharpening my blades. Looking yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you uh, you get in the carriage with him. It's a very nice looking, um, uh, wealthy, regal sort of carriage, royal uh, royal sort of standard, and uh, large enough that, to house all of you. It's got like a little mini bar situation and like a little uh, a little screen for projecting images onto it. A television. Y sort of. Yeah, <laughs> one might say. Um, <laughs> Um, and the and the carriage takes off towards the the port to take them across to Milius. Ricky is nervous and uh, doesn't want to speak here in the um, in the in the carriage because he's not got the same sort of abjuration and protection magics to make sure that people aren't scrying on him and things as he mm -hmm. would at his house. But he does say, "I've been I've been hiding from Bilandra's." Uh, while Belandra was here recently on a visit, visiting the families, I was careful to avoid him. I do not know what he would do to me if he, if he still holds any sort of ill will towards me. So he didn't know you were here? 
he he knows where I am, but I have certain protections in place to prevent him approaching me in my home. Restraining order. <laughs> yes, it's a magical restraining order. I want to ask more, but I feel like you're not so forthcoming right now. I, I'm not just going to tell you what what uh, what um, fail safes I have in place against the intruders to my home. Let's wait. I'm happy to have a little sherry. <laughs> About halfway through oh, that the was poison. Uh oh about, the, <laughs> about, halfway through the, about halfway through the journey, the screen flickers to life and a projected illusion appears that says, um, Countrymen, turn your attentions to the public squares. We have a mass projected illusion from oh, a high no. acting high sorcerer Lethal. Oh. Ah, here we go. Shing shing. It, it, <laughs> it, is, it is bad. Yeah, it's bad. And then the image of the uh, sort of news reporter goes away and then there's a moment of silence and then Leothil's image appears on the screen. My people, my countrymen, my friends and my family. I am Bilandra Leothil, acting high sorcerer of the Order of the Weave. It is with very heavy heart that I must appear to you to this day to report the grave news. It has come to my attention of the Order of the Weave that previous high sorcerer Baradun was not the man we all thought him to be. Many of you will know the story of how at age 10, young Baradun almost single-handedly saved the city of Godon from a particularly fearsome engagement the by the orcs of Schmargenrog <laughs> during the Battle of Kalabor. It's not gonna stay positive, it's not gonna stay positive. <laughs> In the second Sounds great war. Sounds pretty good so far. <laughs> oh, I thought this was gonna be bad, but it's actually totally rad. A story that has been told many times through the popular school play, The Boy Who Saved Us From Orcs. Story of how at age 10, young Baradun almost single-handedly saved See? the city of Godon. See, he's saying I'm a good a guy, because I'm best friends with him. Orcs Let's all celebrate, he's wanting us to celebrate. Let's many of you oh. know that he was he after, uh, shortly afterwards inducted as the youngest sorcerer to ever join like the a, order and go on a good to work guy, directly with then high situation. sorcerer oh. Kelethak until Kelethak's mysterious disappearance well, I'm, a good, I'm a good guy later. you're definitely not well it is my unfortunate duty you today to inform you that Kelethak did not fact. <laughs> many of you know that he was after uh, shortly afterwards inducted as the youngest sorcerer to ever join the order and go on to work directly with then high sorcerer Kelethak until Kelethak's mysterious disappearance around 10 years later well, it is my unfortunate duty today to inform you that Kelethak did not, in fact, disappear. He was murdered <gasps> by none other than his megalomani megalomaniacal, power-hungry student, Baradun. You dirty bitch! <laughs> Baradun <Baradoon> went on. <laughs> Baradun went on to force, force Master of Forensics Yaris Goldhorn and Master of Forgeries Ricky Fantasmo to assist him in covering up his crime, and then employed the use of memory-altering magics to rig the subsequent subtation day. <laughs> Thus guaranteeing himself fuck? elected as new How high sorcerer. Could you? How could <laughs> Immediately you? buying it. <laughs> Barra Doom! This whole time you've been saying it was Leofor and it was you! I don't know how to feel about this. His conspiracy would have gone undiscovered were it not for my efforts to save our lands from the scourge of the third wave of orcs from Schmagenrog. As master of arcane research, I was experimenting with a new weapon to turn the tide of this war in our favour without bloodshed from our side. When, as an unintended side effect of my unprecedented studies, Baradun's memory magic was finally nullified on me. I was only then able to see him for what he truly is. Dangerous, reckless, and power mad. What occurred next, I'm sorry to say, was probably not my wisest move. What remained of my long-held respect of Baradun swayed me to decide to confront him alone in my tower. As an example of the sort of danger his recklessness poses during that confrontation, he shouted at me, You think you can stop me? I am the most powerful man in the world. I could kill a whole town of innocents and no one would think any worse of me. Oh, you did this. And then he viewed in the distance the school children of Stavon putting together a rendition of the aforementioned Dude. play, The Boy Who Saved Us From Orcs. Oh, respawn, it's fine. Apropos of nothing, Baradun rented open the fabric of the very sky and rained down upon them fiery meteors. May they rest in peace. He's ready to go you there, man. He, 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 that part is, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that that's best way to, detail. Best way to tell, the best way to tell a lie is to base it in truth. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what he's doing. He's sprinkling in truth elements. Yeah. This is why I've never been a big fan of getting him back as a high sorcerer in the first like, place. I, I keep forgetting about this little point. What? He's lying. As master I of arcane research, that. I was experimenting with a new I weapon to turn it. the tide you know of this war in our that. favor without bloodshed from our side. Yeah. When, as an unintended side effect of my unprecedented and studies, that's a lie? I could kill a and whole town of innocents and no one would think any worse of me. Oh, what about that Baradun's one? memory magic was He's finally nullified. He's telling some lies about me. I was only me. then He's able to see him for 42 years. Dangerous. You know, guys. There were orcs off in the distance and I mean you I'm sorry to say was probably not my wisest move. What remained of my long-held respect of Baradun swayed me to decide 
dead really to confront him alone in the high tower. Sorcerer again. As an example like of the sort of danger his recklessness poses, and and you don't have to ever explode he shouted in an at me. Look, guys, it was Many of you know that he was after, uh, well, shortly afterwards like inducted as the youngest exactly. sorcerer to ever join exactly. the Order exactly. and go on. Guys, the at that moment, talking. all respect I once held for the monster was extinguished and I made to apprehend him with my own unique and frontier-pushing magical prowess. I was able to weaken him of his many powers, but he attacked me and fled and has been on the run ever since. I'm sorry to have kept this from you discerning public for this long, but I felt he, being dangerous, reckless and power mad, would be better to track down and apprehend myself. That is, until I just visited the home of former Master of Forensics, Yaris Goldhorn, only to find that Baradun had been there first, no doubt to cover his tracks. This isn't gonna look Master Goldhorn as, uh, and <laughs> Master Goldhorn, and once close personal friend of mine, was slaughtered. With such meticulousness, I could barely find a cubic inch of him intact. It is my fear that the same fate shall bef befall former Master Phantasmo if he tries to speak the truth. I only hope that I can get there in time. Please, dear people, be wary of, particularly wary of any interactions with Baradun or his, his associates. Bodja Blodja, a freakishly muscular former blacksmith. <laughs> Bartholomew Osiris Bladeson, a known, a known assassin for the unscrupulous family on Tule. Yep. And some other <laughs> farmer guy that no one seems to remember. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm okay with that. They are not to be approached. If spotted, inform authorities immediately. Stay safe. Under my leadership, we, pr we, sh we will prevail. Have we ever had a real proper chat that maybe Leia felt is better than Baradun? That's what I've been saying. Yeah, I don't know. I, he's doing pretty evil stuff. I like, but I mean, with your help, now it's his word versus yours. Hey, like, 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 serious. Ricky like, is shaking, knowing that he's in. Yeah, a... and I just start getting panicked. Does he believe him? No. Does he believe? Him? Shall I kill him? <laughs> Ricky, I'll kill him. I mean, Ricky, you know what happened. You know that freaking uh, Leothel did it. Goodness sake. That <laughs> That's good. not a convincing argument. Uh, <laughs> you're just uh, like, bro. Come on. I, I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about that very clear, veiled threat that I was to be slaughtered with such meticulousness that I will barely find a cubic inch of my skin left if We're I was to speak the truth. You. you may not, oh, but, he's worried about but he is eyes. acting high saucer about a doom, <laughs> and he has the powers of the Order of the Weave at his control. He's give coming for me. Did you not hear the threat? He is coming for me if I speak the give truth. Him oh, give him your mask. Give him your mask. Calm down. If, if, uh, no, I like my ass. <laughs> <laughs> not, um, I could, yeah, if we get what we, what do we, what do we want? Just so he just doesn't look like himself. Will I it, guess he's not worried about that. He's worried about telling the truth. Yeah. To us. It was a very clear threat that was barely veiled. That yeah. I worry the same thing would befall Gold, uh, Phantasmo if he opens his mouth. Look. Grow up here. You're, you're you're grow up here. The world's in danger. Yeah, exactly. the, You need to. We, you, we need mean, to take out. Basically, Caliphate. you're under threat from Lethal. Welcome to the fucking club. Welcome mate. to the club. Yeah, we can protect you. This is why we're here Actually, to warn you about you. this. Or, well, we, you know, we came to see where you were because we had heard the, you know, about the everything. We can get you to, sa we can get you somewhere safe. In fact, it seems like you're safe already. He was here for two weeks and didn't see you. He has other ways of destroying my life than killing me. And if he, I have it on authority that he was trying to find me while he was here. And I think he may have found a particular way around my abjurations yeah. if not being able to do the thing himself he has been known to use others to do his dirty work for him mm. yeah, you're not gonna start fighting us <laughs> <laughs> not what are you him. talking about I'm just, I'm just enjoying the, <laughs> the I'm just enjoying this lovely uh, book of look at the variety of things we can get such a variety of maps such a lovely variety of maps I don't think it's gonna be Ricky attacker I don't think okay, well, Ricky we can get you to a safe place we just need to talk yeah. to you. We're, We're all friends here. <laughs> We're all friends. Stay cool, Ricky! <laughs> Stay cool, Ricky! He's staying cool. Stay yeah. cool, Ricky he's, boy. He's pretty, he's pretty scared for yeah. his yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. I, I understand Ricky, that. Ricky, Why would Mick hey, think that he's not staying cool? Put both hands on your knees, both hands on your knees. Come Guys, what is that on the ground? That Hang grid? On. Hang on, that looks suspicious. Oh it's like God, a one by one meter grid. We're about to fight. Who are we fighting? Who are we fighting? It's a fight. It smells like fire. You better not be hatching your knees. Hatching your knees. We're fighting. 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 We're figh
Yeah, yeah. So maybe he's coming. But, yeah, but a, here's where I, okay, Meta. Here, here's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking by the flipping of things that a fight's about to happen. I don't know what you're talking about. I, 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 I think and, we're and, about to be attacked by someone well, else I to think, kill uh, Ricky. We're yeah. about to save Ricky's maybe, life. Maybe. Maybe. About I, save I think life. Ricky's about to go. I'm about to fight you because it's my nah, way. Nah, nah. Right. Got feeling. We'll, we'll find out. Let's Next just, time. Let's oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you uh, as you touch down and I knew Ricky was going to fight us. That's why I packed. <laughs> as you uh, as you touch down and uh, board the the, the uh, Leviathan across to Milius, you arrive at Milius to see that there is a kerfuffle in the town square. Not a kerfuffle. Uh, 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 Perhaps a brouhaha. A brouhaha <laughs> is a brouhaha <laughs> has broken out in the town square. Oh no! As there are a number. A kerfuffle is a foot. <laughs> kerfuffle is a foot indeed. <laughs> As you see a number of uh, a number of fancy, well-to-do merchants and and uh, and fancy people, ah, oh no, ah, the the nobles, the, the nobles and the and the wealthy folk are running for their lives, as it seems that there is a kerfuffle happening involving. Oh God, what a what a good word. That's a great. I presume that's it's one of my favorite words. Yeah. Involving a, a series of smaller, darkened, shadowy creatures that are running around them and slaughtering folk. Oh god. And you can see that this one, the tallest of them, is shouting, "Someone will tell us where Ricky Fantasmo lives, or we will slaughter everyone on this island to find out." I grab his <laughs> arm. <laughs> You're looking for Ricky. For no, 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 no. Retract. No, no, retract. We're trying to keep them safe. Were they not looking uh, for oh. Ricky? Ricky, Ricky, uh, Ricky, get behind us. Get behind us. Unless uh, how how good of you a wizard are you? Do you want to join in? Uh, <laughs> You'll find out as we go into a fight, and I'll have each of you roll initiative. Shit, dog. My first God. Time of the day. First time Shit's today. about to go down. day of no fighting. Lots of puzzles and things. Twelve. Fifteen. He's back, baby. Three. Seventeen. I'll roll for, right. roll for what's it as well, I guess. Bodger, Bodger, what do you do, plus Greg. efficiencies? Uh, three for, three for what's it, too. Uh, I, I am nothing no. if not consistent. Wonderful. Uh, sorry, what is it, plus again? Uh, initiative. Oh, yeah. uh, so it's up here somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah, 13. 13. Doesn't change oh, so 18, 18. And it doesn't yeah. change anything because of alert. Yeah, it's All right. plus four, yeah. And then, uh, and then we've got your allies. Ricky is going to go on <laughs> here. Oh, hey, good. Ricky, <laughs> the man of the moon, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, and the bad guys are going to go here. What was yours? 13. 13, uh, yes, with a four or something. Yeah, oh, no, it's uh, three, three plus four is seven. Seven, okay, not bad. So he's going to go in here. The other bad guys are going to go in here. And then the last one, what was yours, uh, Uh 15. 15, and Bodger, you got a? Uh, I got an 18. 18. Outrageous. Oh, not bad, not bad. Uh, Partly right, because I get... Um, in here. Is it instinctive pounce? Mm. I get initiative. All right. <coughs> uh, you have advantage on initiative. Advantage on initiative. Did you roll twice and take two? Yeah, I just did the highest. Yep. Yeah. And you've still got Yarish Goldhorn's weapon of warning. Did you roll twice and take two, Greg? Sorry, what was the question? You <laughs> have you have Yaris Goldhorn's weapon of warning, which tells oh, yeah. you when there's a, a fight about to happen, and it gives you advantage on. Initiative. I know I didn't roll twice. So I rolled once. Roll again. Yeah. Uh, Twenty. A nat 20. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so as uh, my house rules suggest, if you ever get a nat 20 on initiative, you can choose where in the order to go. Because sometimes it's actually I feel like I should, maybe I've got the after order. these years. After these two? Cool. Uh, actually, I wonder if I could do heals and shit. I think that for maybe heals and after shit, the baddies. Like yeah, could just yeah, fight right after here. Yeah. Where you were. They do some e oh, injuries no, no, yeah, and then you, you heal them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. Yep. Alrighty, so that's how the initiative order goes. Uh, Bodger, we need a, where's Ricky Fantasma? There he is. With his spell book in hand. Oh, look at we call Ricky. Oh, he looks like a bitch. <laughs> 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 he takes 1d4 psychic damage as Greg, Greg casts vicious <laughs> mockery. All right, let's do this, you little bitch. I'm what? sorry. I'm sorry. I Was that me? Yeah, no, I, it, was, it was. I'm talking straight to you. Bitch. That's uh, really unnecessary. I, We're in the middle of a fight. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean to bring you down. I apologize. I apologize. I'm... Okay, shouldn't do um, that. I take, take it back. Okay, this one. Are you, have you got Tourette's or something? Yeah, I know. No, I don't know. I just, I just point out weak little bitches. What? And this I, is really hurtful. I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm actually sorry. a very powerful wizard. Look, yeah, no, I look forward I to seeing that, you weak little bitch. I, oh, I, I don't put a lot of like work into athletics. Or okay, any. okay, no, I need I apologize. This is very strong, to, but I'm a wizard, so I need I to get better at this. I'm a cleric. I, I apologize. You're a little bit. Mm, sorry. Yeah, I'm, hurt, I'm not sure that I want you guarding me now. I, he just comes up behind us and I'm ready to go. So no, you look. <laughs>
Oh, 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 these down. Oh, oh, them around I'm them. trying. Shield a little. Uh, All right. Goes there over there. Everybody's running, spread out a little bit, running away with his wife here. I swap. Is that okay? So I'm gonna yeah, stand at the back there, so I'm like, you know, back there. Healing, healing. All right. I'm at the front. Perfect. <laughs> ah, <that's laughs> as you always wish to be. Uh, Bodger, you're up first as these guys uh, shout out about Ricky and you realise, oh, they've been sent to assassinate. Right hand. Right. Uh, frenzied Rage. All right. Okay. <laughs> 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 frenzied Rage. Frenzied Rage. Exhaustion token just here, just to remember. Yeah. After your Rage um, ends. Um, that, 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 that's the duration of this battle, isn't it? That one, uh, until one. you, it lasts until, until you yeah. don't take damage or make an attack. Or make an attack. Um, uh, 40 feet to that dude. Oh, 40 get, get feet, that it's about there. And then you've got instinctive pounce, which is that's like half your movement at the top of the thing. So it's another 20 feet, so you can go around the fountain here. And then with 40 feet, you can get to him easy. Okay, so, uh, and uh, I'm going As you to run up to them, you see that he looks like a shadowy, um, a shadowy figure, like an assassin. He's got his legs kind of bending backwards at the knees. He's got wow. a hooded cloak up and uh, very darkened skin with a, a mask across the face. So I'll hit it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit it with uh, my no. hammer. <laughs> uh, right, right. I'm in the train. I'm going to hit it. <laughs> um. All right, so we're in combat. Bodger, it's your turn. Uh, the monster right, you run what up is to, it? Yeah, the monster you run up to is like. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna shot. hit it with my hammer. Hit what yeah, is it? It's about this tall and it's like dark skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. It doesn't really matter what it's you like, say. When when you finish, I'm gonna hit it with my hammer. Yeah, but it's got like a, it's got like a hood up. Yeah. It's got like it's rage like, to bend and, backwards. And where is it? It's just it's here in front of you. Okay, great. And and I hit it with my hammer. Yeah. And when you hit it, 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 it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hit it. Yeah. Okay. Hit it. All right, Greg, your turn. I've uh, uh, action was to get into the rage, and mm -hmm. so now I've, I've just got bonus left. Is that how that works? Uh, no bonus action to go into a rage. So now you've got your action left. Oh, okay. Oh, I can use the other one. Okay, so now yep. I've got two two hits. So action is uh, yeah, two hits, two, two, two hits. strikes. Um, which uh, I only get the advantage if I'm doing if I'm doing a f reckless attack. Hey? Yeah, if you go reckless, yeah, then I'm, I'm you have advantage, but everything. I'm going to go reckless you. until I'm um, until you're sure. Yep. I'm sure what the hell's going on here. In fact. If I wanted to, I could. I might wait. No, I, I'm going to try my new ability. Um, intimidating. Ooh, okay. Intimidating. That would that would be my whole action if I use it now. I believe it's your action to do. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Intimidating presence on this son of a bitch. All right. Nice. Okay. Let me look that up real quick. See what happens. Have you got it available uh, to you? Uh, See if you can get there faster. Yeah. Barbarian. Can you, can you show us what that how that plays out? Rage. I just looks, I, I just kind of stand there and then I just kind of look at him and go. Oh. oh, what did I go? <laughs> shits himself. <laughs> and he literally shits himself. <laughs> and battles one. I shit myself and I just get <laughs> No, no, so not you. <laughs> he shit, he shit himself. Uh, uh, no, that's part of how I do it. I just go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, f That's yeah. bold. That's oh, bold. That's so bold. And that's why they move away from you. Yeah. Because they're like, oh. You can well, use your action. Who get naked for fights? Like, yeah, oh, let's yeah. go! So he has to. He, uh, he's, he's he has to. He has to succeed a wisdom saving throw with the DC equal to eight plus your proficiency bonus plus charisma mod. So you've got plus two charisma. So that's ten plus your proficiency bonus at this level is a four. So his DC of four, uh, fourteen. He has to make a fourteen wisdom saving throw unless he is immune to the frightened condition, which he is not. So uh, that is going to. Oh, 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 oh! That was a thirteen on the dice. What's his wisdom modifier? Let me just double check it. <laughs> if it doesn't work, you've just shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he's got a plus one, for it. Oh, <laughs> if oh. he's got a plus one or above on his, uh, on his just, charisma, it. <laughs> then you've just looked at him and gone, <laughs> Roger, what the f are you doing? Because we've never seen you do this before. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've got a new ability. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. D and D. Uh, D and D. Yeah, oh, Joe. yeah he, he makes it. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, he has a plus one, uh, plus uh, one so or more he, he got it, got it. so he does start succeed against that. Turn. <laughs> and you just shit yourself. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think you can still use it more times a day, can't you? Or I, I believe so. Uh, just not on the same guy. I think he he becomes immune to your. Oh, I see how it works. That's uh, all good. He's going to be so. dead, shall we? I'm going to make anyway, sure. Anyway, that it. is his situation. Cool. That's Bodger's action. Uh, then it is Baradun. Um, much like, uh, you might need to get a mini ready for me here, Rob. Much oh, yeah. like uh, earlier you guys saw swooping down over the, um, over the land and landing right 
there is a uh, draconic spirit. I'm choosing for it. I can actually choose what type of dragon it is. Yeah, please choose black. Uh, <laughs> black. <laughs> yeah. It just says chromatic gem or metallic. Sweet. Um, uh, I yeah, you can, it can be whatever you want. It, actually, have this it doesn't change too much apart from its resistance. Oh, this one. <laughs> that one. It doesn't change much apart from its resistances. Yeah. I don't want it near me. I want it there because it's got a cone attack. I don't want yeah, to hurt right. that person, but I want to hurt the three of them. Okay, they're awesome. just nobles, who cares? Exactly. So, um, uh, f well, I have to have my turn. Well, that is my turn, and then he has his turn. Cool. Um, I'm also going to um, quicken... No, yeah, quick? Wait, no, sorry. I'm going to put on my blink ring, which means I have to also use two sorcery points. Uh, yeah. Technically, it's because your blink ring is an, act uh, an item that you're activating, not a spell that you're casting. Um, that has to be your action, and then you quicken the Draconic Spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it you, yeah. Did you cast yeah, he just I, cast I Draconic like, Spirit. When did he come? Oh, right. oh. It's a new spell that he took I, at the 10th yeah. level, but he can basically yeah. summon a dragon, which is freaking um, dope. That didn't, why didn't that apply? Uh, cool. Um, you apply. keep a track of your summons and what they can do and stuff, because there's so many things yeah, on the battlefield. I've just pulled up the stat block. Do that. Um, okay, I do disappear. Excellent. And then it's his turn. I uh, have a Baradun for that somewhere. I put it somewhere. Where did I put it? Not somewhere. in front of the board. Never mind. While you're doing that, I'll get ready to attack. So the dragon gets two rend attacks and then a breath weapon immediately yeah. after. So he goes slash, Black slash, Black version breathe. of the Baradun to remind us where you are, but also to remind us that you're not present. Um, I might as well. I'll just go s far into the corner as well. Might as well for now. Why is he he's oh, blinked. He's blinked, blinked away into the ethereal space, so okay. you guys can't see him right now. Cool. So that was everything you can do, Barry. Mm. Uh, yeah, and now the dragon's attacking. So he does 2d6 plus... 2d6 plus... Sorry. Fucking hell, this is going to be hard. Plus the spells level rounded down. The spells level is 5, so it's 2. Doing it twice, so 4. 8 plus 4, 12. 2d6 plus 12. Ooh, wow. In uh, a cone, cone damage? Well, uh, no, there's just the rend. Oh, this is just a bite uh, his face off. So how can Four, we get... 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 12. 7 plus is 12 is 19. So 19 to that guy. That guy there. Um, so he... It, it, what's the range on that? Is it a 10 foot? 10 foot. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Yeah. And then, yeah. and um, then so he so does so his breath attack, which is 2d6. 19 to this guy. Um... And it says in, it's the type, the damage is the type of the dragon I chose. Yeah, so if you chose like acid, if you chose the chromatic um, damage, then it would be acid, poison, fire, lightning. And it would do one of those. Okay, well let's... Which one, did you choose chromatic uh, ge gem or metallic? I didn't really metallic? choose. Uh, choose one of those. Which one, uh, so chromatic and metallic do acid, cold, fire, or lightning? Yeah. Um, so I'll choose chromatic. Great. Cool. So chromatic. It's, fi it's fire damage. Uh, fire damage. Right, now I'm gonna use my new spell. Summon Draconic Spirit! I love that spell, that's awesome. So, uh, you got some options. You get three different types of dragon. There's chromatic dragons, there's, there's uh, gem dragons, and there's metallic dragons. Mm -hmm. Which ones? Like, uh, which one can I have? Well, the chromatics are evil dragons. There's the gem dragons are neutral, and the metallics are good. evil. Evil dragon, evil dragon. I want an evil dragon. Want Where an, is he? Like, if you summon an evil dragon, that says something about who you are. I'm gonna summon an, an evil that. dragon. Yeah, chromatic, color, colorful dragon. Hey, blue one. Oh, fire damage. Oh, I'm hoping they look like darklings or something. Yeah, that's that's what the I'm worried about. The too, little so ones I'd definitely do look like darklings. Like maybe maybe, darkness maybe darkness instead I should do lightning. I'll do lightning damage then. Lightning damage, all right. Uh, 2d6, 4, 4, 8, so 2, saving throw the from 3 of them. Saving throw? Or uh, is it just a <coughs> <coughs> Dexterity saving throw. Dexterity. Okay, uh, so I'll go with the big guy first. Oh, that's not good. What's the DC? My spell. Is it your spell uh, casting my, DC? My spell casting, yeah. Yeah, he's um, definitely going to fail that then, I'd say. So, yeah, mine's 16, so... Okay, yeah, he fails. The big guy fails, takes all of it. Uh, I'll do the one closest to me. That is a, that's definitely a success. The guy furthest away is a nat one, so that's a fail. Uh, and that's it, isn't it? Just a yep. I don't think I'll be catching him. Oh, not catching this one? Which I one are you going for? This, these three? These gotcha, three. I see. I so can't catch a four, can I? It's not in a cone. Uh, no. no, not in a cone of that small. <coughs> okay. Uh, and they take how much if they fail? Eight. Eight and four points. if they succeed. 
All right. What's up, Baradun's back, bitches? Guess who's back? And I say that Baradun yeah. to to just the ether. Yeah. Or like everyone, there's a. a We're turning another plane. We can't even hear you. Baradun is back, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. That is how you win a fight. Anyone? Anyone there? Baradun's back, baby. You're just saying it to yourself. I mean, uh, I guess it's back. Oh, I'm in the blink. <laughs> oh, I'm in, oh, I'm in the astral plane. The dragon tries to say it, it just goes, it comes out. Like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Uh, and it was. Let's have a look. Oh, resistant to lightning. That's good. Oh, fucking serious. Seems like it hits him for slightly less than you'd expect. Okay, well, I won't do lightning next time. <clears throat> Although you've already chosen the dragon. No, I've right? got. I can. He's, he's chosen the type of dragon, which gives him a selection I of five acid, options each time. Cold fire, lightning. Oh, ah, right. Oh, cool. So in that moment, the dragon spirit boosh, lands down, and then in, it's kind of like shimmering five different colours, um, and then it solidifies onto blue, <laughs> and fires lightning because right, blue right, dragons right. are lightning, <laughs> and then it goes back into like a five r yeah, array right. of five colours. So he's chosen. And the I'm type gonna have to choose dragon. a different one next time. All right, that is Baradun's whole turn. That's everything. Yeah, baby. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. Then it is baddies number three, which is this guy over the far end, who you can see is slightly different looking. Yeah, what's I also don't wild surge. You, do, you also don't wild surge. Keep a track of those. <clears throat> okay, within 30 feet, mm. right? So let's have a look. 30 feet is here, so he's going to want to move up. So his movement is that. He's going to move forwards. He's going to move up to his... Uh, his buddy and he looks at the dragon. Dragon can be treated like a regular creature, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Uh, y let's assume that for now and I'll read. He's going to use a... The creature resembles a dragon. There you yeah. go. Yep. Okay. The creature is an ally to you and your companions. His turn. He's going to step right up to the dragon as close as he can get and then he's going to use withering gaze on it. Uh, the dragon must make a constitution saving throw. Uh, his constitution is plus three. Ten plus three, thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen is just enough. That is an exact save. So half as much. What was it going to be? Because I'm immune to charm, fright, and poison. Uh, it's he's still going to take some damage from it. He'll just take half damage from it. Cool. Um, it is not. It is none of those things. Okay. Uh, eight and four is twelve, and six is uh, eighteen. And one is 19. 19 points have rounded up 10 points of necrotic damage to the dragon. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the people watching see that this creature steps up. It looks like a hunched over, uh, hunched over humanoid uh, walking on bare feet, but it's like long, elongated toes and really nasty looking. It kind of looks like um, a corpse beneath a, hu a, a shawl with a huge hunchback. And its face, for those who can see, as it passes under street lights and things, it looks like the scream mask with long eye, eye sockets that are just empty and a long drooping mouth. And as it gets closer to the dragon, it looks at this, uh, the dragon, and then you see some of the life essence of the dragon being sucked mm. off of it and into its eye sockets. Mm. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Uh, that is its action, and its bonus action is to activate its aura of annihilation. Cool, 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 cool. You don't want to end your turn next to the aura, uh, next to the bodak. Um, all right, that is the Bodak's turn. It is now the uh, the Babau. 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 Does bow, it bow. do the same? Yeah, it's going to do the same. Uh, the rend attack that just tried to bite this guy's face off. Did it? Did it rely on the dragon's strength, or was it your charisma stat block? Uh, uh, spell attack modifier. Right. Yeah, it's, your, it's using your abilities rather than its. Uh, you use strength though, so it is going to. To be fair, I didn't actually end up rolling for that attack. I didn't roll that. I do have a plus eight, so a very good chance I would have hit, but I didn't end up rolling it. Okay, that's fine. It's uh, it focuses on you. This babau turns towards. Bring it. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> having just shut your pants in front of him, <laughs> trying to scare him. <laughs> that's right. He is going He's to right use. He's the fountain though, so he can clean himself yeah, out yeah. pretty good. He's going right. to use weakening gaze on you. Someone in the fountain. It looks at you, locks eyes yeah. with you, and you need to make a Constitution saving throw. You can do it. My blood, can you? 
11. Ooh, you should be okay, I think, plus based on your constitution. He's got pretty high con, I think. Yeah, he's got uh, three. Plus what? So, three? Plus three. Uh, should have higher than that. Should have higher than that. There's a saving throw. Saving throw? Uh, next sorry, to I always same, same page. Oh, seven, it? sorry. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, pl plenty enough. So you succeed. So 18. Uh, does not do any effect. No, no effect. All right, so it's instead going to use uh, its, ac its other attack to make a claw attack. Um, might as well just go all in. It's going to go for you with the claw attack as well. Brilliant. I kind of want to take some damage. Otherwise, I'll lose my rage. There you go. <laughs> claw attack. That is. Uh, oh yeah, true. Because you didn't make an attack roll. So if he misses, you're screwed. Uh, that is going to be a 14 to hit. Uh, my yeah. armor's 16. <laughs> he misses. <laughs> so you your 16. Can you no allow worries. yourself to be hit? Uh, you can. Yeah. Oh, can I do that, please? You can just allow. Just uh, he yeah, comes yeah, in and yeah, you I take don't know it. I didn't know I could do that. That could be part of your intimidation. Yeah, go uh, on. Yeah, bring it. Free hit. Free hit. Yeah. Right. Everyone gets one. You get one. He is going to hit you then, and you are going to take seven points of slashing psh, damage. Psh, halved. Halved. Psh, halved. Psh, 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 and then four points of acid damage, not psh, halved. So, uh, oh, how do we so, have uh, it? Three round and a half rounded up? up to four. So, so, so four, four points of each. Plus eight four eight points of damage total to you. Okay. As he claws you, shh, acid being left behind. Ah, yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh shit, if I don't take damage before my next turn, I'm gonna lose my rage. Um, I'm just gonna let him hit me. Hit me. What are you doing? I'm rolling really badly. I'm, I'm right here, just standing still. Here we go, go. And go. Oh what god, what am I, Ben? Oh, oh nice Ben. Oh, I got him. Oh, you got, you got me. Yay. <laughs> guy's a little, guy's a little bit yeah, off that's my finish. That's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> are, we making, are we making this now? How do you shit, it I shit myself and then you claw my chest. <laughs> I think Absolutely. so. Degrade me. <laughs> yeah. um, oh dear. <laughs> oh god. All right, then this guy is going to. Because that's going to be a core party as well. Too. You're just going to shit yourself in every fight. This guy's going to come down and attack you as well. This guy's going to attack this fancy oh, guy. Right. This guy's going to run over there after this fancy guy. Um, and you're going to witness a whole bunch of uh, commoners oh. get murdered, oh. probably. <laughs> oh, this is a bit dark. Jesus. Oh, that, was about uh, that one definitely hits, and commoners, especially fancy fruity commoners, don't have many hit points, so he <laughs> goes down dead. Mm. That one attacks the we, we fancy tried. commoner. We tried, we tried, like, you could run. And then these two attack you, Bar uh, Bodger. Does he die? Uh, no, he didn't. He missed him. Oh, cool. I almost want, I want some to survive to be like, look, Baradun fucking saved the day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save some, true. <laughs> That's the only reason I want some of the comments. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, fucking they can die. All right. <laughs> uh, the first one misses you unless you're wanting to let them hit you again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just I don't want the one. one. Uh, the I can potentially if they all die, bring one back. Potentially as well. Yeah. Yeah. To, oh, not that they would have so seen first anything one misses? though. Uh, first no. one misses. They saw the him. Uh, the second one is also one. gonna miss. Oh, okay, because they were terribly even with advantage. For Ricky but they didn't see. B you want to see them Baradun save? That's all of the little dudes. All right, today? Greg. I'll just make Go. sure I'm visible You're later up. on. So I, I'm a little bit. I'm considering Guardian of the Fat of Faith. What does that do? Guardian of Faith. Guardian That's of pretty Faith. Pretty, um, pretty awesome spell. I'm just trying to in interpret it. Does that? Um, so it has a radius when wherever yep. I plant it. Um, is anyone within any enemy within that radius needs to? Um, can take damage, or is it if they mm -hmm. just move into the radius of the... Let me see this spell again. A uh, large spectral guardian appears, blah, blah, blah. Um, any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of it. So it doesn't attack them when it appears. Yeah. But if they move off of the spot at all, if, if they're in the area when you cast it, and yeah. then they move out of that spot, they're having to at move all. to another Use space. Use it to they? protect those four commoners. Yeah, that that's what I'm thinking. And like shout at yeah. them, move if they, close to my thing. If any yeah. hostile creature to any hostile creature to you moves to a space within ten feet of the guardian, the guardian smacks it essentially. Yeah, great. Um, move close to my guardian. Yeah, let's let's. I just, I'm just keen to see this play out. Uh, I, I summon the guardian of faith. All right. Um, Wish I had a. Uh, probably this guy. Probably that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah that guy, guy definitely. 
Yeah, that, um, that looks like him. Yeah, we, use, we use an unpainted Bob mini. Yeah, he, right. looks, he looks I like am a guardian, guardian of the fight, does look like though. Uh, where are you going to put, put your guardian of the fight? So it's with, with, within 10 feet of the guardian. So yeah, I just want to try and get as many of these guys these as guys? possible. Yeah. Oh, not them. What, what, what do you mean? Why not? What, would you not be better to put it with the commoners and say to the commoners, stand, stand commoners. next to stand it? Because then they can't move. Oh, well, you're the not saying like they, if they leave the radius. Okay, so like... So if the bad guys come to the commoners, then your dude's going to attack them. What would Greg do? Um, well, Greg's just learning the spell, so he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Where's he gonna put it? Where's he gonna uh, put it? He's gonna put it with. He wants these to save guys. people, right? But yeah, if, yeah, if yeah, he but puts it there, it's gonna, it's gonna damage them. It's as gonna soon damage as they them. Move. Confirmed there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If, so you're if with they these move guys. to it, if they move to a space within ten, so if they move from the space they are to another space within ten, then they're There's damaged. Damage. If yeah. they're already at the edge of ten and they move out of that space, they're not gonna take damage. But yeah. So they're right then. Um, All right. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yep. So check them there. What does it look like? Your first time casting this guardian of faith. He's a big glowing. Intimidating Bob. dude. Yeah, what Bob. Yeah, no, I think he's it's, uh, it's probably, and I've got the names of all of your gods here. Um, it is probably uh, a reminiscent of the god Irios, uh, Irius, god of war, violence, weapons, battle, thievery, tactics. Yeah. All that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. Athletics. So it's probably a rendition of him. Um, I imagine him as the guy from uh, Tyrell from. Oh, yeah, yeah, from yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That, that would be about right. Yeah. That would be about but right. What does it, but what does it look like from, from Greg's perspective? What do you do to cast the spell? Um, Can I see it again? Where yeah. is it? Uh, it is a vo vocal components only, so it, does, it doesn't require like movements or anything. You just have to say something. Um, what, is, what is the word? Scream in a high pitched voice. <laughs> 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 I was literally just going to go, Oi! Um, <laughs> no, By the power of Guardian Faith. But, but uh, yeah, uh, um, the power invested in me. I now pronounce you. you dead. Got it. <laughs> 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 um, I you say. You may catch the faith. <laughs> <laughs> it um, is so hot. It's very <laughs> it's warm. Good woman, yeah. By the Lord of Lights, I summon thee. Awesome. It Love it. Nice. <laughs> and out of the ground. And does he just appear? Does he come? Does he like? And there's a, oh, it's oh, a, it's oh, a oh, beam oh, of light from the from the and he, it's that superhero landing. Oh yeah! And oh yeah! Do we have a do we have a holy weapon for Irios? Do we have a particular what, weapon? Is it a warhammer? Is it a is it an axe? I would I would say it would be a flail? like a mace. Let's a go. Mace, yeah. Big old mace. Yeah, let's go mace. God of yeah. War. <laughs> he appears and he just stands there and anyone with anyone <laughs> hostile. And the area around him just kind of glows. Like ten feet around him just glows. There's an aura. Awesome! I love it. Um, so I'm just uh, so this is a, this is an action. I can do a bonus action. Uh, yes, but you can't if you've cast a spell as an action. You can't cast a spell as a bonus unless oh, right, okay. unless it's, uh, a, so unless I it's don't quick do and anything. Then. I, I'm, I'm just like I, I, I admire. I'm like holy shit! <laughs> I did cool. that. I did that. Uh, I gotta do something. Guardian of Faith, God of War, I summon thee. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's so awesome. You know, four months ago I was just a garlic farmer, now I'm summoning gods. He's fighting alongside me. Oh, you see the thing he just did? Woo! Let's go, best friend. You wanna move anywhere? Uh, no, I'm pretty, feeling pretty good where I am. <laughs> pretty good at the yeah. edge of the board. Yeah. All right, uh, that is Greg's turn. Bob and, Bob and Narsuach. <laughs> Um, these guys here, are they, like, if I attacked one of them with my bow, do they count as distracted? Correct. Because Bodge is there. Because there's an ally within five feet of them. Yeah, yeah, boy. Sure. All right. Uh, well Get then. that extra sneak attack damage. Yeah, exactly. So I sneak over to here, just around the side of the fucking fountain. Mm-hmm. And I if you also if take you a shit. like I don't know if you were saying sneak <laughs> 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 I shit also in the fountain. shit myself. <laughs> I think it's just customary, you know. <laughs> Um, if you want to sneak, as in like you want to hide first to give yourself an advantage, then you'd have to probably drop prone because there's not much nah, to hide nah, behind. Nah. I'll hide afterwards cool. because I've, I've already got advantage yeah. right because they're distracted. Uh, not advantage, you just have sneak attack. Sneak attack. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Same, <laughs> Same dip. Same right? thing. <laughs> All right. Um, attack. Yeah, because uh, I was thinking about putting my armor of Agathus, but there's a whole action, and then I go to. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to attack. Um, so yeah, I try and shoot that dude with my bow. <sighs> Closest one? Uh, yeah. Cool. Roll an attack. 17. Hey, you were dead. Hey. 17, and then my bow is plus 8. Uh, yep, yeah, definitely hits. Yeah. 25 definitely hits, yeah, which means he's going to trigger his reaction to into shadow oh. and reappear somewhere within 10 feet. 
uh, which he was going to do when he hit him, but he missed his stars. So it unfortunately happened on you the first time you actually hit somebody. So, yeah, yeah. Did, he, did, did, he take, did he take damage? He didn't take damage. He, they can, use a, they can use a reaction to being hit to in, before they take damage. Pff, shadow somebody else somewhere can else. Can he yeah, take so any damage? But you only get my, reactions once per round. Does he oh, take okay. any damage from my guardian of faith? He didn't move to a space. Didn't, didn't move to a space yeah, within right. ten feet of him. Right. Sorry, per, oh, around, but you've now around. established, you've now gotten rid of that guy's reaction, and you've yeah. established that these little ones, at the very least, can, yeah, as so a reaction, just so, so shadow a, step a to somewhere. Definition of a round? Uh, one round is the, the entire thing till it comes back Come to the back same to, person okay. again. So, so a round from him is me. until it comes to him, okay. him again. So by the time it comes back to him, he will have it again? Yes. You get your, you regain your reactions at yeah, the start yeah. of your turn. Yeah, right, right. So if you were trying to take so it, I, I, it, it wouldn't would be able to do it to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Not until it gets that back particular to him. one has used his reaction until it comes back to, to him again. Yeah, right, right, right. Sweet! Attack two. I don't have attack two. As a rogue, oh, as a rogue they only get one attack of No, no. <laughs> like, I can do it. If action. I've got my melee, I can go. Never mind. I reckon that's you next time then. You got a bonus action? Bonus action. Hide. And drop to the ground yeah. behind the fountain and yeah. hide. <laughs> oh, bullshit! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, stealth check. And then it is uh, Nathra's turn. 16 plus, plus a million. million. I'm getting good at hiding. 12. They definitely do not know where you went with 28. 28 hide. Stealth. He's like, that, that guy just went. Poof. Just like me, And then he was like, where the hell did the arrow even come yeah, from? I don't need a blink ring. I got skills, baby. Uh, it's what's it, and then uh, and oh then yeah, what's what's it doing? Um, Phantasmo friend. I was now. I'll keep. I'll keep what's it near me. I was going to use him to help distract. All right. Um, but I don't want to send him off willy nilly because he'll just get smoked. Fair enough. Uh, it <laughs> yeah, is Ricky exactly. Phantasmo's turn. Who uses his turn to cast Blink on himself and his um, uh, his image? Let's see if he goes away. Because it's a good spell. He does. Yay. It's above 11 goes away? Yeah. But yeah. Oh, sorry, 11 and above. 11 and above goes away, yeah. He rolled a 17. So uh, at the end of his turn, he will disappear. He's going to use a bonus section to... No, I think he's good. He's just going dis- to sort of run... Uh, save me! <laughs> and he, and he ah. runs away and then disappears into the if ethereal he's plane. In, if he's in the ethereal plane, I'll be like, come over here! <laughs> yeah, he pops into the ethereal plane. Come over come, uh, don't go oh, that way, come oh, this oh, way. Oh, hey, Ricky. You can, say, you can say you can say the thing to somebody now. Like, I'm motherfucking Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm back, back, baby! Yeah, there you go. So now you've got somebody so to now finally got someone to say it to. It's boring in the ethereal plane. I mean, I'm safe. I stand here watching a fight through mist. <gasps> Ricky! Welcome to the ethereal plane! Come over here! Oh, thank goodness somebody else is here. It's very scary. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to do something. Bardoon's back, baby! Bardoon's the best in the world! Are you bragging like you? the most bloody powerful sorcerer in the land! We're in the middle of a fight! Yeah, I know! You just done calling me a little bitch and you're now boasting to me about how powerful you are! But did you see my dragon? We're in the middle of a fight! And then I, like, did a big fireball. Alright, back to the top of the round with Bodger. Hey! I'm still raged. Still raged. Uh, uh, somebody hit you. Um, let's go for. You should go for the one that blinked out of the way. Yes. Uh, yeah, let, let's. Nice let, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see. I wanna see how many hits it takes. I'm gonna lay the full. Mm-hmm. The full three hits. At. At that little dude. The little dude behind you. You can yeah. go one at a time because it might. You might kill him on the first. Who knows? Okay. Right, right, I'll, I'll start one at a time. Um, to. Uh, I'm not just checking how so long your cone is and whether you'll fry everyone. <laughs> 11 plus okay. three, 4. He's tough. So uh, 15. It's like 100 tough. 15 different. Exactly. Did you roll an 11 on the d20? Yeah. You got way more than a plus 4. It's your attack roll, not your strength. So on the weapons page? Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, okay. it's like a plus 10 or something. Because you've got a plus so, 2. Oh, so, so yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm, well I'm just doing Warhammer. <laughs> well uh, enough. Warhammer two-handed. Two-handed Warhammer. Two, two, oh, if you're doing two-handed, your AC goes down oh, no, to okay. fourteen. One-handed, 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 one-handed. one-handed. Cool. You've got uh, shield and Warhammer one-handed. You turn around. You this guy bumps away, and you're like, "What the hell?" And you look behind yourself. You see him there. You just turn around and smack. Definitely enough. Was that, to hit. So was that was that plus? So that was actually 20, 21 to hit. Uh, yep, that's right. Yep. It was eleven plus ten. Yep. So it, uh, hits uh, him. Do damage. Uh, damage. D uh, D eight damage. One D eight plus six. Yep. One day plus. That's a d10. Ten. You got it. That one. We got oh, it. Yeah. We got it. Plus. Uh, six plus eight. Eight. 14. Uh, 14 points of damage. 14. 14 points of damage. All right. That guy is s- struck for 14 points of damage, but not yet dead. 
Okay, let's head on the game, please. Q. Come on, Borja. Um, here we go. Hiya. We get a nine plus. Nine plus ten. Thing. Not enough to hit. That's nineteen. That's enough hit. So. Yep. Go again with the two plus uh, six. Uh, uh, two plus six is six. Your rage damage. That should be should be more than that. When you're raging, you get extra damage. You've also got your strength, which is already a four or something. Then you got plus two from the Warhammer, so it's six plus your rage damage. So rage damage is four up in the top corner, is it? Four, is that what yeah. that says? Yeah. Rage. Um, oh, so you should have like 10 damage or something. Two um, plus nine. Plus nine. All right, 11 points so, uh, 11 of damage to that guy. Yeah. After the 14 you've just done, takes him to dead, and he can't. he be dead, you're tired of it. So he's dead. And I've got one, one more. <laughs> Are you all oh, what? Jesus! Smack him to yeah, yeah, he's frenzied. Okay. <laughs> he's gonna be exhausted after the fight from hell. Yeah, Furiously yeah, um, beating this meat. Let's <laughs> 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 get the other. Yeah. I might as well just get the other small guy, just because you get. I was gonna. Yeah, I, because because I was. Oh yeah. I right. was gonna say maybe attack the big guy to find out if he has the same blink. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, big guy, with my last one. Big guy with the last one. All right. Okay, on the wrong one dice. Um, hi, uh, hi, uh, uh, four plus. Uh, Four plus so 10, 10 is 14. 14 is not unfortunately oh, enough to hit his armor class, so you do not dang. know if it's enough. Uh, he doesn't seem to be wearing oh, armor. Man. You are standing close enough now that you can see that he's about seven feet tall. He's real skinny. He's got like a horned, uh, horned protrusion from the back of his head. He's got glowing red eyes and huge uh, mouth. He looks kind of like the epitome of a devil or a demon of some kind. Definitely okay. doesn't seem of this world. Mm. Um, and, uh, and is very... Very scaly in his skin. As you strike down, he just kind of tenses and brings his arm up and <laughs> hits against it, and doesn't seem to affect him. But that's all three of your attacks. Bodger, Baradun, you're up. As you I blink back into existence, somewhere within ten feet of that. Yep. I um, cast message <coughs> into Big the guy you're just describing into yep. his head, and I go, uh, "See what happened to your little friend? Tell me now who sent you, or the same's going to happen to you." Uh, make an intimidation check. Ooh. 20, baby. Plus Whoa. 9. Damn, son. That's very good. 29. Um, oh, wait. Actually, I'm not 100% sure Intimidation is also... Uh, no, Intimidation is only 4. 24. 24. Uh, tell me now who sent you or, uh, or the same thing will happen. He says, uh, I do not fear death on this plane. It merely sends me back to the... Uh, shit, what do we call the t eternal fires? The Firelands? Firelands. firelands. Uh, I do not fear death on this plane, it merely sends me back to where I came Tell from. Tell me now and I'll kill you on every plane. <laughs> it's good to have powerful friends. Some say even the most powerful friends here on this plane. Aye, there you go. Um, what? Are these Kalathax guys? No, he's from the Firelands, he just said. Yeah, Firelands, not the Shadow Realm. Two gotcha. different planes, um, two different underworld planes. Fire instead of Shadow. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, he just basically confirmed it was Leithal that sent him. Yeah. That's fine. Um, um, and then I go, well, uh, turn over your shoulder and uh, <laughs> and have a look behind you, buddy. I don't fear death. <laughs> There's a big um, dragon coming in. The dragon turns and uses his rend attacks on, these oh, yeah. on this little dude. Uh, I just need to quickly remind myself uh, of what... The you landed a rend attack on someone, eh? Was it the big guy? Big guy. Yeah, I landed Oh, so he doesn't have his blink attack. He doesn't have his blinky thing. Unless yeah. he wanted to save onto his re uh, reaction for something else. Yeah, so sorry. this is actually... I, I, just for expediency last time, turned it into two, one turned it into one attack. It's actually two attacks. There's two different rend attacks. Two different and a breath weapon. And a breath weapon, Jesus. yeah. So it's a powerful spell bird. <laughs> so I do, I do the first one. And, okay, And yeah. he... Uh, and seven plus... What did I say? Eight earlier. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen is not enough to hit these guys. They're too dexterous for that, unfortunately. Okay. They're well, quite well, nimble do on their feet. Do number two. Oh, I've got seven again. Damn it. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> the dragon um, is going So neither of the wrens get him. And then breath weapon is 2d6. And I've turned him. Sorry, Budger, what you're is in the, it. What is the ra uh, range of the cone? 30. I 30. Just nice, it you did, yeah. Um, Perfect. So it just gets the four of them. It will get. And Budger. And Budger. But not the lady. Bodger, you are... Hmm. I'll say either Bodger's fully in it, and this guy's fully in it as well, or they're both on the edge and get advantage on their saves. Sorry, Bodger. The, ba the dragon <laughs> takes a <laughs> Bodger, tiny fully step in forward. It. You take a tiny step forward <laughs> to make sure you're fully in it. Um, just make a dexterity save, and then you won't get fully in it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Dexterity it? save. Do I? You've got a oh, thing for that. Oh, danger sense, baby. Dang is it dang danger sense for giving me that? Bingo. Yeah. 
Hey, Bodger, I've got some bad news. What's that? I'm gonna use my big dragon over there to flame breath these guys, and you're in the way. So oh, get man, hurt. that sounds dangerous. It will be dangerous. Hopefully you'll sense it coming. Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, yeah like, I wish I, wish I because could. Because you have to Because like, there's roll. a lot of danger. But yeah. if you sense it coming, you could probably dodge like half Because it's a it. big dragon. It's dangerous. Yeah, I probably won't, won't sense it coming. There's way to sense the danger. Like if you had an ability called danger sense. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. If you could. If you could sense the danger and maybe like roll your dexterity and you're yeah. like don't get hurt as much yeah. or something yeah, that would be great be amazing right yeah that imagine if you had that ability mm. that would actually be you know what yeah that would be good mm. it would be so good. close anyway so, close. so the dragon's gonna breathe at you uh it's incoming oh, buddy well. sorry oh well try and sense the danger um danger sense yeah if only i had some can you just use danger sense yeah uh, well five and <laughs> the party, is it? max damage <laughs> ten nice. half of five uh, so max damage, uh, and what's the, it's the deck save of how many DC? What's the DC? 16, I believe. Okay, it's closest, nat 20, the guy in front of you won't, the mm -hmm. big guy will fail, uh, so the so other little guy will, uh, what was the DC, sorry? sorry. 16. 16, uh, the other guy will succeed, so two, the two little guys will succeed, this guy will fail. He gets and 10. Bodger? Uh, 14 plus 1. 15 will yeah. fail as well, so you'll take full damage, uh, and it's what, cold damage? Uh, I have changed it. Yeah, this time I'm going cold. Cold. So as the chromat uh, chromatic coloration of this dragon is shifting, the uh, shape of the dragon's scales and horns and things are shifting as well to all the different five uh, chromatic dragons. This time it solidifies on a more bestial look, something a little bit more like this. Oh, and yeah. it becomes a white dragon and then... <laughs> Breeds in, uh, actually breeds in, in uh, how I described cold damage is actually them. <gasps> They're sucking the heat from that cone of area. <gasps> they suck all the heat out and it becomes super cold in that area. Um, and it was 10 points of damage to the, let's see, the Babao takes half. He seems like he's resistant to cold damage. Um, and okay. resistant to lightning and cold. Yep. Lightning yeah. and cold. Okay, well, I'll try the next one. And sorry, I meant to. Technically, the dragon takes his turn after me, but can I quickly flick off a magic missile as well? I'll allow it. Um, I'm going to do magic missile at. Um, I'm going to do magic missile at fourth level. Should have. Fourth, fourth level, level, baby. So you get six, uh, <laughs> six <laughs> missiles. <laughs> Who are you attacking them all at? Uh, all at the big dude. All at the big dude? Cool. And because the message is probably still open, I'll just go, take this too, baby. <laughs> this guy's dead. How many did you say? Six magic six missiles? Six magic missiles. Plus six. Six plus six? Uh, six plus... Yes, uh, yeah, six plus six. Uh, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four damage. Twenty-four damage. Um, nice. The magic missile, do you have it open by any chance? I do. You do? Uh, can you read what it says? Create three glowing d darts. Each dart hits the creature of your choice. A dart deals the one d four. All darts strike simultaneously, and you all darts strike simultaneously. So as they strike, the oh. single strike hits him. Uh. <laughs> he takes damage, but can use his reaction to. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to go this so way. So he does, does take it. damage. <laughs> Uh, no, he takes. Hey, he doesn't know that. Yeah, just come, come on in. <laughs> he definitely <laughs> knows that. He's he a demon, oh, and you've just summoned a ga an Damn angel guardian. Come on, guardian he doesn't want to get any closer to an angel as a guardian demon. Of the faith. So he's gonna f away from that yeah. angel thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. the wording of it, uh, the the ability that I've given them is that they, uh, in lieu of taking damage when they would have otherwise taken damage, yeah, right. they can. Uh, Bastard. I so used a fourth level ways. spell for that. Yep, that's, that's nice. why he was holding on to his reaction in case something more than just a a, a claw attack hits him. Can we just pause for one second? Um, I really feel like de demons and cleric of the light. I feel like I should have some hard counters, but I've been trying to look through <laughs> my stuff and I can't find anything that's like hard counter to uh, demons. Because when you were creating this and choosing which spells you have, yeah. you're like, I'm just going to lean straight into healing, 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 yeah, healing, right. healing, healing. Yeah. Um, and so you didn't have a lot of hard counter stuff. All yeah. of yours are buffing and healing your allies. To be honest, this is a great scenario for you to save people. Like, yeah, yeah, totally. This, is, yeah, this just encounter. It's a, a little bit too easy. <laughs> You'll be useful later. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> You'll find, we'll find a use for you. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay, cool. And I'm paused. And <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I could just be doing like more. You know? You know? You, you know what I mean? We're saving lives. Yeah, we're saving lives, but I could just be doing more of it. More action. More, more, more madness. Just... These nobles are alive because of your actions. Yeah. Let's go. Yay. Good. 
What more do you want? You know, like, Alberto's got his fireballs and Bodger's got his hammer. And you've got a literal god standing beside you. Yeah, I guess it's kind of cool, I guess. What, you'd prefer a flamethrower? I mean, you got one? You had one. You had a sheep. It was a flamethrower. You want that back? Ah. Uh, Grass is always greener, huh? Grass is always greener. Okay. Think about it. I guess I'll see what I can do. All right. Uh, that was his reaction. So his reaction's gone now. Bardoon. Until right gone. now, when it's back. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Turn and it's, uh, actually, it's his. Because I was like, first. sweet, I'm gonna be able to attack him. Nope. That guy. Hmm. Oh, uh, the dragon. When he started his turn, by the way, he started his turn within range of the uh, the Bodak. So he's gonna take some more damage. Um, yeah. Can you have the dragon make a, I think it's still a constitution, let me double check. Uh, death gaze, when a creature that can see the Bodak's eyes starts its turn within 30 feet. Constitution saving throw. Uh, con throw, uh, 13. Again. 13 is exactly what you needed. Uh, hmm. If it fails by blah, 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 otherwise it takes blah, blah, blah. You took no damage from it. All right, so, so it tried to <laughs> get into the dragon's eyes and it quickly averted its gaze and looked over this way instead and <laughs> breathed its cold damage. Uh, but then you did end your space within his aura of annihilation. So He's you'll take- an auras, calm down. So you'll take a five necrotic damage further from the dragon, for the dragon. Okay. Uh, as will the, well, the commoner probably would have gone ah, and run away on his turn, which would have been the same Me, as this guy. I'm coming in. Ah, right, yeah, right. Yeah. right. I can't be common. Uh, common. Uh, not too common. So now it's the, the, no, the Bodak's turn. The Bodak is going to really wants to get rid of this dragon because he's doing a lot of damage. Um, not too missed render. He's got pretty good. Turn. Yeah, he's mm. got pretty good constitution. So maybe not. But so does the barbarian. Um, oh, let's see. He might have noticed Ricky before he disappeared. Let's see. Uh, just one. Let's see. Uh, he did. So he r he starts to wander over this way. On his turn, there is the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Gets to about here. Um, I notice this Bob lying on the ground. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I got twenty eight high. <laughs> he's gonna stay. He's gonna start moving his way over this way, and he's going to. <laughs> uh, a voice appears in your mind, Bodger, as he passes, and he says. Why is he worth anything to you? Why do you risk your life to protect him? That's a good question. He <laughs> 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 makes a good point. He oh, makes a solid okay. point. Yeah. <laughs> he is going to look at you, Bodger, as he goes, because he can't see um, what's his chops, who's in the ethereal plane, and he's going to use his withering gaze on you. Can you make a constitution saving throw, please? You're probably likely to succeed with your high con mod, but... Uh, four. Plus uh, four plus uh, six. Seven. Four plus seven is eleven. There you go. It's always a chance of a low roll. So you failed, and you will take forty ten necrotic damage. Forty ten. And that's that ain't that ain't half, baby. Nope. Yeah, yeah. That's nineteen oh. plus five is uh, twenty four points of necrotic damage. Jesus. Not I'm, I'm, no. I'm not. <laughs> and you see, as you just say no. So here, so you how hear how this. Twenty four. Twenty four. Uh, you're striking the people around you. You see the big one disappear as the magic missiles all strike him simultaneously. He pops out behind you, um, and then you catch eyes of this guy who seems like he's almost gliding on these weird, ugly, uh, long-grown feet through the cobblestones towards you. And he's, as he's passing, his long eyes, his empty eye sockets catch you up with yours. You hear that voice in your head, and then you feel some of your vitality being sucked from your body and into his eyes. Yuck. Yuck. Ew. Ooh. Uh, that is his Yuck. turn. He's still got his aura of annihilation on. Uh, it is now the big guy's turn. Big guy, what's he gonna do? Let's see. Spell casting. What's he? Oh, got? Was it, who was it? Was it? Was that, guy, yeah. that guy. That guy did this. Yeah. So he was looking at me doing yeah. the ice. Oh, with okay. his big weird face. Who's wearing metal? This is metal, isn't it? Yeah, we're wearing metal. Yeah, I'm wearing metal. I mean, no, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, wearing metal. To, no. You don't wear metal. You don't wear no, metal. I think I'm that's flavor, isn't it? That's not. Don't sound like metal to me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah. add in a dink dink sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> ah, damn it. There you go. Uh, range. All right, let's see. Easy peasy. Yeah, he's got plenty of range for that. Easy. Um, he's going to cast heat metal on you. Oh, no. And this is going to hurt a lot. Yeah. Mm. Because, as it says. <clears throat> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Higher! <laughs> 
As it says, uh, <laughs> choose a manufactured metal object, such as metal weapon or suit of heavy or medium metal armor that you can see within range. You cause the object to start glowing red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object will take 2d8 fire damage when you cast the spell, and until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your turns to cause the damage again. If a creature is holding or wearing the object and takes damage, the creature must succeed on a con save or drop the object if it can. And if it doesn't, it has disadvantage on all attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. So not only will you be cooking from the inside of this armor, um, you will be taking, you'll be having I'm a cigarette and a lighter on the middle. <laughs> 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 uh, as a, as like, just a shot. Oh, just a shot. Show. Like, like you can't do shit to me. Oh, thank All right. So I when appreciate you cast, it. When he, I appreciate the light. So this demon, he looks across to you, sees this cleric, uh, this cleric hello. of the light. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and then you start to glow red hot. Show him you don't you care. Take, Show him. You take, you take yeah. six points of fire damage. <laughs> so Everybody shit themselves on this deal. Uh, six points of fire damage, and he's gonna he's gonna try it again at this, uh, as a bonus action on each of his turns. Um, that was an action to cast. Is he gonna do his bonus action yet? Let's see. Is it a concentration spell or anything like that? It is. So if he gets hit, then if he gets hit, then yes, I like the things I know. There's probably something I can do. <laughs> protection from <laughs> heat. Uh, I, don't how, I don't know how you guys do that. Protection um, from middle. Protection from poison. Nope. No, he's not going to do anything. You don't have to die. Tell us where Rick is. Uh, that's his turn. Then it's the little guy's. Oh, Ricky! So do I. Oh, Ricky! Come on, Well. This guy. This I little guy. Definitely officially, we can do it on Ben's behalf. I think. Like, <laughs> yes. We because can. Like, this is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, like, we, and, like, we can, all down, we can take. Yeah, back. How dare you take Because he can't help himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. That guy's. He's 18, worse than I used to be. 18 okay. plus stuff to hit, so that guy goes down. Oh, dead. No. Did he not run away? Uh, he would have run away and gotten attacked. He got hit. Last one, he was like, oh! Oh! Someone save He's an NPC. He's like, oh! That guy's going to attack the dragon. Yep. How much damage? Uh, what's the dragon's AC? Uh, that was a. I think it's 19. my spell modifier. It was a 19 to hit. So no. The okay. AC. Yeah, yeah, he gets them. It will. Uh, cool. He is a roguish. Oh light. no! No. 19. Armor yeah. class is 19. And uh, nine, meets it, beats it. So oh, just okay. hits. Oh. Um, but that's a decent armor class. Jesus that's 14 Christ, plus that's the, the level of the spell. I'm crying. Is that? that? Surely that can't be right. 14 plus the level of the spell. Oh, yeah. If it's a fifth level so spell, if you upcast it, if yeah. you upcast it at a higher level, it gets even more powerful. Sure. Jesus, um, oh, damn, that dragon's over. Who knew? Summoning a dragon is a pretty powerful thing you can do <laughs> once you get to level five spell slots. All right. How uh, long does that hang around? This creature has sneak attack. Probably so as it something. strikes, that is going to be seven, eight, nine, plus three, uh, yeah, plus four is thirteen. Thirteen points of damage to the dragon. 20. Constitution saving throw from the dragon, please. Uh, con save. Con save, please. <laughs> Hippie, 21. 21, he's fine. There's, there's some venom on this um, uh, on this knife, poison on this knife that cool. could have done extra, but he succeeds against it. Takes no extra damage. That is them two. Then there's one on Bodger. Bodger! Bring it. Bodger, Bodger. Uh, is he surrounded? You'd have the surrounded condition, so he doesn't have advantage. That is all he can do. He's going to miss you. Little dude with his little knife can't hit Bodger for some reason. All right, that is awesome. everything. Greg, you're up. Um, so wait, so did I not take damage before? Like, you took damage. I gave you the damage. How much was it? To subtract it from your yeah, yeah, hit well, points. I totally missed that. Six, well, <laughs> six points of fire damage. Six, just six points. Okay, yeah. so. oh. Easy day. You rolled, rolled Polly on his 2d8, um, but he'll get there again on his point. next turn and his next turn. Well, next hypothetically, turn. could I use uh, I found a protection from energy? Uh, is it a reaction? What is it? Uh, it's an action, but a, like for a willing an creature, so resistant to fire. Yeah, you right. can do that. You can cast that on yourself now and uh, on your turn. It gives you resistance to any. So I don't know what's like. So I'm only going to be taking a little bit of damage. I feel like I could I could bless people. Mm -hmm. uh, Every time you take damage while you're concentrating on something, you see there's a little concentration symbol. Yeah, on. right. So you will you will potentially to. drop the spell. Okay, so I'm, let's do protection from energy, and uh, I choose fire. All right. So hopefully I'm resistant to heat now. Indeed, you like will be. You will get resistance to all the incoming fire damage as he's uh, concentrating on heat metal. He will not do as much damage. Uh, you pray out to Thadagar, god of metalworking, fire, building, sculpture, sculpture, and leatherworking. Yeah, um, and it is that gesture I was talking about before. Where I just go <laughs> like that. And Thadagar, uh, the Hephaestus of our world, yep. uh, the god of god of metalworking and fire, seems to give grant you the protection of of flame resistance for now. 
cool. it'll still be hurting, but not as much. And, uh, sorry, and I can spell, but and I, I can't cantrip it. Like, I um, not, no, no, because they're both actions to Yeah, test. cool. One extra, one extra. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. So what can I... Um, if you had a bonus action, Protection one. from energy is also concentration, but the fact that you'll be taking less damage will help uh, help with the DC of Other. Not, not dropping that. Yeah, cool. Um, so there's nothing else I can really do. Uh, movement. Sure. Moving on. Any movement? Uh, bonus sections. That's it. I feel like I'm gonna. Maybe I'll, go, I'll get run over to you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's going on? Hey. Did you blink at the end of your turn? I didn't. Didn't. No, you I didn't, didn't even. I should have because it automatically happens. So what I mean is I should have tried to do it because it automatically mm -hmm. happens. But I'm saying, did you? Did you? <coughs> did you actually blink? Yes. You did. Yeah. So as you run over to where Baradun was. <laughs> Hi, Greg. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I, but I hide behind. Hide behind, behind an invisible, an invisible Greg. Eyes oh, an invisible nothing. I thought it looked like. No, he disappears into the ethereal plane. Okay. You know, a better representation of that is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. No, you just have to remember. Come on, where Rod. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on you to remember, to remember where exactly I where he was every round. I'll remember. I mean, I'll when remember, remember back. because we're making a big deal about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he can move every time. Okay. I can move. And then he I might, can, might, can he might run over here on his turn and then blink, and no, you I have to remember where he was. Yeah, okay. back I don't want the responsibility. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> I take it back. That's the perfect representation. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would be a perfect representation is to get like a clear plastic one. Yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got some of those for other things. I just don't know how to print it in a 3D printer. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's ways of 3D printing resin. I'm not sure. We'll talk to you. Can do that. Hey, we got a nod. You can make a you can make a mold and then pour. Let's let's continue on so we can get this done. and You have 30 seconds for your turn. Go. I should fucking. And go. You just fucking. 25. Okay. Well, I pop up. And I, I think I'm going to take a shot at the big guy mm -hmm. to try and either hit him or get his reaction out of cool. the way. Yeah, got it. Is, and he's distracted, so I get sneak attack? You do? Yeah, sure, for sure. Sure. And you right. started your turn hidden from him, so you have advantage on the attack. Sure. You didn't know where you were. And you pop your head up over the... Over the uh... One, so that's good. Roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you got advantage. Woo! <laughs> 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 30 seconds, bro. You better get <laughs> cranking. 11. 11 plus your attack modifier. Oh, actually, might not. Let's see. Uh, my attack modifier was 8, I believe. Yeah, 8. So 19. Uh, 19 will hit. Roll damage. Sure. Sure. Uh, so, roll damage. This is sneak is at 1d6. Um, plus my sneak attack is what he, now? he gets to decide after hearing after how much damage, damage it is. Ooh. That's why oh, he was shit. like, ooh, 24 damage is quite a lot of damage, uh, he's going to use it now. It's always a risk though, because he might, he might be like, uh, 15 damage, I think I'll take it, because there might be something bigger, and then nothing bigger happens, and he's not used his reaction for anything. And this um, sneak attack is slightly limited. How many sneak attacks am I up? Oh, here, it's right here, 46. 46. 46. Okay, so I'll just roll it. 4d6 plus your uh, bow itself, which is another d6, I think. Another so. d6, so 5d6. There you go. Go up. Brrr. One, five. Oh, God, these are awful. It's <laughs> six, 11, 13, five, 18. 18 points of damage plus your dexterity. Uh, plus my dexterity of the modifier, right? Yep. Four. Four, so yeah, it's a 22. He definitely doesn't want to take 22, so he'll use his reaction. Uh, and does he want. You, you're causing quite a bit of damage now. With your sneaking, sneaky shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, he doesn't yeah. like it. <laughs> it's just right there. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I mean, otherwise, this guy's not done anything. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected you to do a little bit more. Me? Yeah, you. You. None of the demons have come close to me because of how intimidating I am. Yeah, I, I know. I just, I was really hoping some of them would, like, enter your radius and you'd just strike them down. No, that's not really happening. I mean, that's on you for choosing where I stand. Yeah. I'm Once you've summoned me, I can't move. I feel like wherever you would have gone, they would have been like, whoa. You see yeah. these nobles right here? Yeah. They're all alive purely you know, because I am the, here. Right, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. I just wanted to see God swing a hammer and... Be careful what you wish for. You keep complaining, you'll see a God swing a hammer. Fair point. He's forced them away from these guys, which try, is kind of the I whole point. Try, Otherwise, try. he would have gone this well, way. Well, these guys aren't running, actually. They're, they're oh, yeah, just like, oh. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, the up? NBCs and the frightened stuff. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, they're Whoa. Okay. frightened stiff. So <laughs> they're, doing that, they're doing that thing where they just, like, cower? They're attacking. Remember, uh, he's going to bump, bump this way because he wants to come close to you. Sweet, um, well, I'm going to hide, so... <laughs> All right. Are you going into the fountain, or are you like running around the fountain and dropping prone? Running around the fountain. Right. <laughs> Don't bring it this way. <laughs> 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 Over there. 
15, 15 plus a million. Plus 12. <laughs> D- just runs You're around gone. and dives out of the way, and it's like, <laughs> who could know where he is? Who, who knew? Uh, Nathra. Nathra uh, is. What a, what a champion. He distracts this dude by going. <laughs> <laughs> he sings it in his own uh, his own common tongue of abyssal, which is this guy's language. They're both demons. Yeah. So make, it, make so a like, swap performance check for Nahua. What's it? 12. Plus his performance. I'll say it's enough to distract this guy to turn towards him and go after him instead. Right. So what's it's probably going to die. Um, and then fine. we've got the allies. Yeah. All right, before I forget them again, they all go, ah! And they start running away. Great. Ah! Actually, this guy sees a guardian of angels next to him, and he's like, oh, I'm going to stay next to this thing. Yeah, great. Uh, and then these guys run away. Oh. Run, run. Oh, run. Oh. run, run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> uh, then your fella blinks back into existence uh, 10 feet closer here, and he is going to cast as his action. Um... Let's have a look at his Kill things. everyone spell. Kill <laughs> everyone. And he's going to kill so. all kill of you everyone. as well. He is going to uh, flick out a, a spell book and quickly look through it. And he's going to try and dominate this guy's uh, dominate this guy's head. Um, I don't know why I rolled twice. Dominate this guy's uh, head. He's going to dominate <laughs> this guy's uh, head. Uh, that guy fails. Oh, shit. Which means that Ricky now has full control of him. Oh. oh. That's going to be useful. Oh. Um, back to the top of the round. Bodger. Um, I'm th- let's go. Uh, I'm, yep, more heading. Smack this guy, you can no do it, you can Ricky, do it. Ricky, walk him into my thing. Yeah. The Smart. big guy's got no, uh, Oh, and no at the end of his turn. Reaction. Um. At the end of his turn, he blinks out. Noise. You're gonna keep track of where Ricky's? <laughs> I've got right this. Right there. I've, I've got, got this. this. I can do this. I can do this. Um, I might as well. I'm, I'm, Smack this guy that's right next to you. I just wanna go. Hello. Smack him. Smack him. You can do it. Uh, eight plus... Seven. No. Eight. Eight, plus, eight. Uh, eight plus ten. Oh, shit. Sure. Eighteen hits. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm Eighteen hot. hits, roll damage. Your rage damage is going to be quite a lot, so he's going to he's going to nullify it by using his reaction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but but you've got two more three, attacks. Baby. Okay. Hi-yay. Eleven plus ten. Eleven plus ten. That's, that's, that's definitely going to hit. Roll damage. Uh, roll the third one as well, just to, just as three just attacks, so just know. to see. Oh, just to get the first the, one won't kill him, yeah. but the second one will. Uh, 16 plus things. Yeah, hit. that'll hit. Okay. So with these two attacks, you'll definitely kill him. So blah, blah, um, your blah, minimum blah. damage from rage yeah. pluses and stuff is going to be enough. So you, <laughs> the second one, as he goes down, <laughs> you see him just kind of explode into um, into shadow. Yeah. Uh, that was and you've three. Got movement. Uh, moving towards I one mean, of these guys. The thing is, I can throw my hammer if I need to. Um, no, you've used true. three. Attacks. You've used three attacks. No, I mean, I, I don't, no need to move. Oh, no need to move. I, oh, I right, can throw right. if I yep. need to later. Good, 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 good. Um, so, I mean, oh, oh, screw it. I might as well make sense for me to be the one that, that's close. Go so. for the, that guy cause, so this guy can walk into my into my. Yeah, go for this guy. The, yeah, the yeah. ghost face. Yeah. All right, awesome. Ghost Barry Dune. Um, I shout out again. Uh, sorry, I message into his head again. Shout out the name of the person who sent you, or you're going to have much worse than death. I can give you another. Uh, yeah, and give me an intimidation weird. check. That's a weird thing now, right? Because he's under control yeah. of the other guy. That's what I'm thinking. Four, 14 plus 4, 18. Um, 18. Shout, shout the name of the person who sent you. And then Ricky Fantasmo, hearing that, I'll allow it as an out of action combat thing, he goes, do it. Um, and he commands him with his domination of the person said. And the guy goes, say, shout uh, so and so. Shout. Shout. organized us. Through means of, and his, his eyes are going like, what the fuck am I saying? Why am I saying this? Through means of the bone caller. <gasps> and all, all these people fucking heard it. All these alive people fucking heard it. And then this, what? Did you hear that? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I did. Oh, yes, I, I, I heard it as well. I heard it as well. He heard that the Belandra Leithel said oh, no. these demons. Get on the social oh, media and tell everybody. Quickly, get on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, th- apparently, Everyone, oh. there was a kerfuffle in the town square. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kerfuffle. A hoo-ha. <laughs> um, and then I It'll go. Be all over the top teaks in the morning. <laughs> and then still in his head, I'm like, I lied. Sorry, bro. We're still gonna kill you. <laughs> um, and I use Vitrolic Sphere, and I'm gonna center it here. Sorry, Bodger, oh. and sorry, Dragon. <laughs> okay, Vitrolic Sphere. Um, How big is it? Uh, Thirty Sw- feet, I believe. Jesus fuck. Yeah, big thing. Sorry, Bodge. You're Slide. gonna have to use your Bodger, Bodger. Oh, I'll try and do my danger sense. And because I can't be bothered rolling 10 like d4s. 
Oh, I can't quite get them all. Ish. Oh. You can kind of get it. Oh, I'll, I'll get well. these through. Let's knock the dragon and this guy out then and do those. Get these guys instead. So, yeah. Alright, yeah. and what's it? And sorry, what's it? You're gonna <laughs> pop. No, not what's it. <laughs> no! Um, no to, save rolling, to save rolling 10d4, I got a little uh, generator up. 25 damage. 25, which is exactly the average of 10d4. Okay. Um, 25 damage so. of. So, and uh, roll, roll a. I can't remember what throw it is. Probably I dexterity. I think it's dexterity as they're like trying to cower from all of the acid coming at them. I've got a lot of things up. Um, dexterity, yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I got 18. That guy, I'm pretty sure, was Dominate Monster. Uh, you got an so 18, you succeed, 18 succeeds, you'll take half damage. No damage from Four. one. No damage. Words, I got it in. <laughs> you'll take half damage half on a successful save. Oh, it's a half damage. Because yeah. um, there's still a big ball of acid is coming out. From okay. What does it look like when you're casting? Um, I cast from my staff, so just a massive ball of acid came out of the end of the staff and damage? splashed. What's 25, so you'll take half? 13. 25 halves there, didn't you? Uh, sure. You can use your action to price control of the blah blah blah. So most of the damage I've taken this this whole fight is from Burden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're about to take a little bit more from the dragon. I, so get ready. I, I'll have to check. <laughs> I'll have to yeah. double check this yeah. later, but I'm pretty we sure Dominic Monster well. means that he can choose to just not take a reaction from this guy. So he's just going to keep him still and oh, make yeah. him take the full amount. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Bodger, you have taken so much damage. You are such a shit fighter. I'm a shit fighter. Yes, you're a shit fighter. You're so reckless. Who won an us one on one solo fight? I think you'll find that in that one-on-one -on -one solo fight, the f I'm the best sorcerer in the land. I'm way more powerful than you. And look at you, you're so hurt and everything. You've taken a lot of damage. You've taken so much damage. All of this damage is from you. Yeah, because I'm so, the, I'm the, I'm the best sorcerer in the land. I'm more powerful than you. You suck, look at all the cuts, ha. Sorry about him. Okay. We've all got bosses. <laughs> uh, well, he's not my boss. Huh? He's not my boss. What? I uh, thought he was. Mr. He, look, he's not my boss. Feels more authoritative than you. Baradun and <laughs> the dickheads insinuate I'm the boss. I'm. I'm just gonna. This is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah th 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 <laughs> maybe yeah. I'm, I'm gonna start getting really cool. Uh, image my of throwing, so he's gonna cameras. do it. There's like, there'll be a really cool image gonna... like made up of uh, you in the middle of the sick of action. Aerodin summoning like some damage on you, me summoning some heals on you, so you're like in between the <laughs> two things. Like, <laughs> and Bodger lying behind, and B uh, Bob lying behind a fountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hiding. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It, Bo oh. Bob just dead in the foreground. <laughs> yeah. um, and this then one burns away into acid. The Babau is still standing, but looking heavily wounded. The Bodak, that's the first it's taken. And then I'm gonna. Oh no, so I used Message, which was my Quicken. Um, that f worked wow, a treat. Wow. Um, and then fucking Ren, uh, Ren from this guy is gonna go. Oh, yeah. one. Dragon. Uh, <laughs> the dragon's still there, so two, what did I say, 2d6. Um, so this is Bao Bao? Yes, the Bao Bao. Um, Bao Bao. Uh, 12, ba -ba 12 plus 6. Sorry. Uh, that hits, that hits. Sorry, I, I don't think it is. Like 12 plus 8, actually. <laughs> That'll hit, hit even more. Um, <laughs> That'll two more hit. <laughs> that will That'll hit, that will hit more. And then <laughs> one hit, hit, hit. Well, I'm going to do the first one just in case he puffs away. 1d6, 4 plus 4. Makes sense that he would try it because he doesn't want to okay, stick around and then anymore. The second, second one, uh, two, damn it. And he stays around. Just, okay, oh, then just. he does his. Uh, then in that direction to get all three of them and Bodger, sorry. Uh, he does his breath and this time he's going to do acid. Uh, five and Ooh, nice. two, seven. Um, okay, seven points uh, for those who fail. He's going to fail because um, Ricky's keeping, oh, a, keeping him there. 19, plus one, 20. He succeeded, so you'll take half of his acid so breath weapon. Four. Four? <laughs> yeah. you've nearly killed Bodger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're nearly really whittling. Is this because well, he beat you in this? This is literally why it is. Um, and then <laughs> I'm sorry, Bodger. Oh, whoops, sorry, I, Bodger. Oh, sorry, there Bodger. is no wild surges, and I don't disappear. Okay, and you found something that the Babau is not um, not resistant or immune to. Uh, so he's taking full acid damage. How much was it? It was eight or something? It was seven. Uh, seven. There we go. And the Babau is looking real fucked up, like real close to disappearing. As Baradun's turn, the don't the Baradun. Wait, no, I'm still in the plane, <laughs> of the ethereal plane. No. Budget. No, you're not. You didn't. Uh, sorry, I'm still in the real plane. Uh, you didn't blink. Yep. 
Um, Bodger, you let it be known your- that Baradun saved you all. <laughs> Bodger's like, doesn't feel like it. <laughs> uh, you ended not, your you turn know. next to, uh, in the aura of annihilation of this Bodak. Take another five points of necrotic damage. Oh, that's a fun. So yep. Shit, dog, you're almost down to my max HP. <laughs> <laughs> Stay safe out there. Uh, he is when going to... Still, <laughs> he's still got more health than me. Um, you also <laughs> started your turn within its uh, its death gaze, so uh, make me a, a constitution saving throw. 15 plus con. Yeah, fine, you take no two. damage, but he's going to turn towards you. And he is going to use a withering gaze. Again, tries to pull that uh, n- necrosis out of your eyes. So make another constitution save. 18 plus at 7. <laughs> you are fine, so you'll yeah. take only half the damage. Like I'm so good at rolling. Yeah, yep. you're I'm so good at rolling. You're so good at rolling. 19, 19, <laughs> 19, 19 10, you've got. 10 points of necrotic damage. Oh, what? And at the end of its turn, 5d4. Oh, yeah. Uh, you roll that. What? Uh, acid ongoing on ongoing acid damage. Oh, yeah. Build some heals. Oh, five. five. Well, we'll see how we go. Yeah, no, I'm still playing again. I'm sure it actually be He turns. Thirteen. To thirteen. He turns to the babau <coughs> and says, "What the fuck are you doing, bro? Yeah, basically, <laughs> bro. You will pay for this betrayal, Belandra." And then his cloak drops to the ground. And there's just acid on it shh, as it burns away and then kind of wilts like flush paper. So you're saying to him, you will pay for this? You will pay for this betrayal, Bilandro. What? What was the betrayal? But he's well, saying. He but thinks he's because he doesn't realize he's been dominated, maybe? He just said, you'll pay for this, Bilandro. That's Laethal. Maybe. Bilandro? I've got. Bilandro is Laethal's first name. And he's just said, you will pay for this Belandrel. But he also said Belandrel organized this or something. Hang on, just, so. just a like, detail. Did he say it directly looking at him? Or Belandrel might be looking no, through his eyes. No, he said it directly at this guy. He could be looking through his eyes or something, you're right. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. All right, that was his turn, and he's left the battlefield. Uh, it is now the Babau's turn. Can't do anything other than bow, what Ricky bow. tells him to. Bow, bow. And Ricky says, bow, bow, bow. Yourself. go give that guy a hug. And yeah. he turns around. And he walks against his own will through the acid into the range yeah. of this guy. Awesome. Guardian. Guardian of Faith, what does it do? Uh, so when a creature enters, moves into the space within 10 feet, um, uh, God of War brings up his mace. The creature takes 20 radiant damage. <laughs> Jesus. On a failed save. Damage. Uh, um, he's going to just fail the save because Ricky's yeah. dominated him with an 8th level spell. Jesus. Uh, and he's going yeah, to take 20 points. Oh, so what does it look like when your god of war kills this thing? It's kind of what it's like real sudden, like instantaneous. Ching. <laughs> yeah, like real. A little bit yeah. like number 14. And what, yeah, my little yeah, one. Like those watchdog cats in Elden Ring. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Slam, yeah. blasts into like black demon ichor, which tarnishes the Dope. town square. I'm glad he got the tarnishes the, the fountain. Just quickly goes. <laughs> <laughs> it tarnishes <laughs> the fountain and town square of Milius, the most wealthy, gaudy piece of shit place. Uh, it's gonna just be demon infested for the rest of the time because mm. it's got demon blood just in the cobblestones now. Um, you're going to have problems with that, I think. It's going to be a corrupted place for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, Welcome but there's demon blood around. Uh, that's him dealt with. Uh, and then this guy, he's no longer controlled by the, ba- the, the Bodak who is left. So he disappears as well. I turn to the At two. At the end of your turn, okay. your next turn, you take half of the acid damage. So all five. Oh, days. no. He, uh, if oh, if he you save, take, you don't right. take the uh, damage. That's right. So you don't take. You, 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 you saved against this acid ball. Um, I quickly turn to the two people next to me being like, you heard what that e- demon thing said, right? Belandra Lethal yes. sent him to kill Ricky. Yeah. Yes. My name's Baradun and I saved you! <laughs> and that's who we'll pick up next time. And just before, just before we'll end, I just go over to like this guy and I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> he's, oh, he's, he's got he's like gone, guts but ripped quite, open. But just like seeing if he's got any... <laughs> you're looting, you're looting but, but real discreetly, like, super, super discreet. Like, just kind of like, is he okay? <laughs> oh no! And you look up and I, I'm just watching you. Oh you. no, is he, is he right? And what, <laughs> do I, what do I find? <laughs> we'll, we'll start with what you find <laughs> next time. Ah, as you loot the cops of a, a no <laughs> worse. That's outrageous. Oh, good. Next time on, there's not going to be this campaign at all. In fact, there's going to be a little bit of a gap in the main campaign. Instead, we're doing something else. 
What's going on? Oh, that gives <laughs> that gives you a little hint. Oh. Oh. So stick around next week and see what we're doing. Hey, thanks for watching that episode. If you liked it, there's all sorts of behind the scenes and bloopers and things on Patreon. It's a good way of supporting Viva the Dirt League uh, by, you know, putting your money where your mouth is and being like, we really like these people who are making free content for the internet. So here's a little bit of money to help them do that. Thanks. <laughs>